Good morning, chat. How are we doing today? Let me get some tweets and messages out saying we're live. How we doing? How we doing, everybody? Put that there, bang. Yo, Danny, first one here. What's good, Danny? How are we doing today, man? How is your week? How's your weekend going so far? Just getting my tweet out. Just getting this tweet out real quick. Let me do this. Let me do this. Bang. Paste that link there. Boom. Oh, yeah, we're moving and grooving. Lost football 3-2. Oh, dang. Yeah, bro, we're on early today. I mean, matches start at... Uh, matches start at 12.30 my time, so... I'm like an hour and 40 minutes early, give or take. Nothing crazy. I, I figured I'd go early. I got nothing else going on. I mean, I missed the last two days, so I chat about the last couple days, predict some of the matches for today. Just kind of vibe out with you guys, you know? I missed being live the last couple days, man. I wish more than anything I could have been live watch partying, but it'd be like that, right? Got to pay the bills, so got to work the nine to five. Gotta pay the bills, man. It just how it be. Get all that. Yo, Oscar, how we doing? Uh, yeah, dude, I I missed uh Lamar win his series. I missed my my Thieves play. I mean I didn't miss it. I saw all the stuff, but I didn't get to watch it on stream. I'm so bummed that thieves are out, man. I'm doing good, Oscar. I'm doing good. I mean, like I just said, I'm definitely a little sad that LAT are out of the tournament already. But um, you know, I I'm doing good. I can't I can't complain too much other than about that. I got a juvie. We got our galactic berry juvie this morning. It's already 11 a.m. I've I've already been up for three and a half hours. So, but we're cracking open the caffeine. I haven't had any yet. Yep, they lost to LAG yesterday. Dude, dude, that's the thing that hurts about the Thieves losing is like, it'd be one thing if they played, like, just played like ass and they lost, you know, like that, it is what it is. But the fact that they, uh, the fact that they played good and still lost is just so sad. Like, I thought they were playing good. They just made some stupid mistakes. Their, their map picks were a little ass against LAG, but it is what it is. Only three and a half hours. Yeah, no, I got up at, uh, uh, no, I guess it's been, no, like three and a half hours. I got up at like 730. Oh man. Well, I'm hoping today these matches are bangers, man. I'm hoping we get some absolute bangers today. Let me, uh, get the tags and stuff on the stream as well. Like I usually have to. Uh, Modern Warfare 3. I really hope today's matches are good. I mean, obviously, we have the top four all facing off, which should be good either way. I wonder if we'll see any 3-0s in any of those matches. Um, But, yeah, I mean, it's going to be hopefully a really good day of games. Hopefully. You've been awake for nine hours now? Let's go. Hell yeah. We save this. Save this. Bang, bang. If Atlanta play good, if Atlanta play good against New York and Ultra. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, Phase New York and an Optic Optic Ultra. I think both of those series could be uh, they could be good ones, man. They really could be. It's going to be interesting to see. I mean, we saw New York beat Phase online. We saw Optic beat Ultra online. So we got some online rematches. Yo, Cohen, how we doing? How are we doing, Cohen? I hope your uh, weekend is off to a good start. Where is everyone? I'm on a little earlier. I didn't say when I was getting on today, so people probably just haven't uh, realized yet. So people will hop in. It's all good. Matches don't start for an hour and a half anyway, so... Yeah, Cohen, dude, I, I missed I missed you guys the last two days, man. I, I really wish that I could have been live. I wish more than anything that I could be live and watch party all the time, especially like Thursdays, the, the first day of the event. You know, we got the winners matchups. Um, but it is what it is, bro. Gotta gotta make the money to pay the bills. Not a full time, not a full time creator just yet. Maybe one day, but uh for now we just gotta grind through the uh nine to five. Yeah, Danny, I saw you in, ch in chats yesterday. I saw you in some of those YouTube chats yesterday. But uh, how are you guys liking the event so far? Do you guys, anything anything surprising to you out of the first two days of the event? Or overall, was it kind of as expected? For me, honestly, the only surprising thing was LA Thieves losing. Almost everybody had LAT winning. Um, at least against LAG, you know, like almost everyone had LAT still in the tournament at this point. So that's the biggest surprise. Yeah, the crowd's been a little dead at this event, bro. The crowd has been a little dead. I know they said the venue is kind of ass um, and it's a big open space. So that definitely doesn't help. Yeah, GB, Estriel was cooking, bro. Estriel was cooking. I got to tip it to him, man. Estriel in major one, I felt like Estriel was a little bit like he was just kind of okay, right? Like, he was just kind of there. He had some sparks. But over the course of the whole Major 1, he was just kind of whatever. But yesterday, dude, and the entirety of Major 1 or Major 2 qualifiers, Estriel has been on fire, bro. Estriel's been LAG's best player the last, like, three or four weeks, by far, in my opinion. Uh, so it's been really cool to see him sort of turning up his game. I mean, he put up a plus 17 versus Minnesota, and uh, he went even versus LA Thieves, but still. The phase loss against LAG wasn't even that bad if you look at it now. Dude, apparently LAG are lanimals, man. Apparently LAG are lanimals, bro. I gotta tip it. I gotta tip it. They're turning up. Journey didn't play. Yeah, I don't... Dude, I was watching the, like Zuma's stream, like the flank broadcast before the matches, and they were saying that Journey was going to be subbing in for medals because medals was sick. And then that never ended up happening. And maybe they should have let it happen, but it never happened, so... I got I had misinformation from a uh, Zuma stream, unfortunately. Oh man, dude, I just hope that the matches today are good. I mean, we got five games today. If they all go game five, it's gonna be a long ass day. But honestly, I'm here for it, dude. I'm here for a long day of matches. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Did I see the Zuma stream on Wednesday? Like the the IRL stream he was doing. He was he was walking around Miami and stuff. I tuned into some of it, but I didn't watch all of it. Um, here, let me pull this up real quick. Let me switch the Chrome. So this is our around the CDL predictions for uh for today's matches. For those wondering, who do I have winning the tournament? I predicted Phase in my bracket. Um, I don't know how good I feel about FaZe after LA Thieves almost beating them, but I have FaZe in my bracket. But yeah, this is the this is our picks from around the CDL for today's matches. Everyone's got different picks here, which is kind of crazy. We all have Legion winning the first series, which I think it makes sense, but who knows, Ravens could upset. Then Preston and I have FaZe. Alex and I have Ultra in the next one. Like, we got such a crazy mixture of uh, of matches or from for uh, winners we're predicting today. It's actually going to be a banger, man. It's going to be really good. I really think every series today is low-key a coin flip, except for probably, like, the last two series. I would imagine the top four teams have to win that. Ben was mad at Scrap and Zuma were trolling him. Yeah, dude, I, I got to watch the uh, the IRL video um, Zuma put out. Props to LAG making it this far. Dude, 
I gotta I gotta tip it to LAG, man. I listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. As a Thieves fan, seeing LAG talk hella shit after the match got me a little bit tilted. But like, what can you say, right? Like, I think th they deserve it, man. LAG turned up. They they deserve all the uh they deserve the right to talk shit. They deserve what they what they've been doing, man. They show up on land, they knocked us out two events in a row. Uh, it, it pains me as a Thieves fan to have to say that, but it is what it is, bro. Major 4 is apparently no crowd. That is true. I saw that. What's up, Matt? How we doing, man? How we doing today, Matt? I hope you're doing well. But yeah, Major 2 apparently is going to be no crowd, which is a huge disappointment. I don't know how the teams can say they're going to... Yeah, you see my cat back there? I don't know how the teams can say they're going to host an event and then just bail on it like i don't know how that works because they had to have booked the venue by now like that's the thing is like they had to have booked the venue in carolina for the event by now in order for them to schedule out the season so i don't know how the ravens can just uh decide they don't want to host an event anymore but hey what do i know man yo dumb yell we're live we are live playing some mlb oh yeah mlb the show came out recently didn't it How does no crowd work? It's just an event with no crowd. If they still, I mean, if they play it in Ohio, in like Columbus, like they have in the past, they'll just play out of like the CDL office or like the Activision office type of thing. So they'll, it just, it, you know, they'll just play on two setups in some room, no crowd, which is boring as hell if you ask me, but I don't get it, dude. I, I could, I couldn't tell you why that happens. What time are the, all the games tonight? Uh, I can show you the schedule right here. Uh, the first game starts in an hour and a half. We got Ravens versus Legion. So, uh, 1.30 Eastern, 12.30 Central for, my, for where I'm at. So, we got an hour and a half until matches start. Now, I think they, they would play uh, in the same room if they played in Columbus, I'm pretty sure. But, they just wouldn't be, uh, they wouldn't be out like on a stage, I don't think. What happened to LAG? They're on fire right now. Dude, I don't know, man. I, I I gotta give it to them. I gotta give it to them. They they're just I don't know. LAG's that LAG are them. LAG are them. Do the players enjoy that? No, the players definitely want to be on stage with the crowd for sure. The players obviously want to be on stage with the crowd, but you know, you can't win them all, I guess. You know, this league is kind of trash. You can't win them all. Do you think LAG can get top four? I mean, realistically, probably not, right? They're going to end up playing the loser of Optic Ultra. So realistically speaking, Optic or Ultra should be able to be LAG. But dude, you never know, man. The, the thing is, like, if LAG come out on fire today and let's say Optic or Ultra come out a little slow, like, they can win. Like, that's just the thing is, like, on any given day, any team can beat another one. Um, but realistically speaking, if we have to go based off of what we think it's going to be optic or ultra probably beating laj kind of look at the standings and who's qualified for champs right now yeah so these are the current standings i don't know if this has been updated like after yesterday's matches or not i couldn't tell you if breaking points updated it yet but yeah dude my pickums yesterday weren't great I, I went two out of five yesterday unfortunately um but it happens man you're not you're not gonna get every pick I hope everyone's doing good today, though, Chad. I hope you all doing good. It says we got over 20 people in here already. I appreciate everyone hopping out. I hope you guys have been enjoying the event so far. I'm going to be live all day today and all day tomorrow. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Yo, Slayer. How we doing, Slayer? Show my pickums. I can show you my pickums, bro. It's not going to be pretty, though. I'll tell you that much. Uh, so I got day one completely correct. Just like probably most people. I got day one correct. I got three points for this because I predicted 3-0. I only got two for that one, two for that one, and two for that one. So not bad. Um, but I got Miami Ravens wrong yesterday. Um, I got Legion Surge correct. So that should be points. I got Minnesota Boston correct. That should be points. And then I got LA Thieves Gorillas wrong and this one wrong. So I'm chalked here. Um, if Optic win today down here, that'll be good. If New York win today down here, that'll be good. Uh, if Legion win versus Ravens, that'll be good. So, you know, it, it, the pickums are okay, honestly, all things considered. But I, I would have preferred LA Thieves to win, man. LA Thieves chalked up everybody's pickums. It's actually really sad. 
Yo, Austin, how we doing? How are we doing? Dude, no, I really think that, um, I really think that anything can happen today, man. Optic Ultra, I mean, you can see my pickums here. I got Ultra 3-2 and Phase over New York. I, I can see New York definitely winning today, and I could definitely see Optic winning, but uh, that's what I've got in my pickums. Yeah, Nate Shot was not happy. I was watching his watch party yesterday. Nasty and Afro needs to go. Honestly, I think probably just Afro needs to go. I feel like Nasty's been solid. He's been shooting. Him and Kremp have had, like, each of them have had their bad series. But honestly, I, I feel like you get rid of Afro, you bring in someone that shoots shoots their gun back a little bit more often. And I think Thieves could uh really win. Because, dude, LAT were literally one round away from being in winner's round two right now and playing today. Like, it's just so unfortunate, bro. They literally just had to have a better defensive setup on an evasion round 11 in that game too, and they would have 3-0'd phase. So it's just like, dude, life comes at you fast, man. Life comes at you real fast. Yo, Earthless, how we doing? I think it's weird that everyone is surprised by LAG or forgetting DC is one of the best in the game. Dude, I think the thing with LAG is they looked so abysmal online. I mean, obviously they beat FaZe, but before that, they had four map wins before beating FaZe. So, like, it's hard to, to look at LAG, who went 7-20 and 20 online and think they're going to do much on LAN. Um, but maybe they are just LAN animals, bro. Maybe, I mean, after this, I believe they're LAN animals based on how they, uh, based on how this is going. Dude, I'm doing good, Earthless. I am doing really good. I'm happy to be live finally today, dude. I wish I could have been live the last couple days, but, you know, we keep it moving. Um, But yeah, man, it's, it's kind of crazy. What is this? If I click this. Oh, you can see. So Rocker got 15 points out of this event. Which is, I mean, it keeps them in fifth for now, I think, but... Yeah, LAG was top six in Major 1, too. They, I don't know what... They just start... They don't need, they need to start in winners, bro. Yeah, no, I mean, FaZe... FaZe versus LAG was obviously... They were testing maps, but also at the same time, like, FaZe should never be losing to LAG, in my opinion. It doesn't matter if you're testing maps or not. Like, it, you, you should be able to look at this and assume FaZe is going to beat LAG, but... I mean, either way, LAG, I mean, they apparently look good on land. FaZe looks a little shaky, so who knows, man? Who knows? Today is going to be an, today is going to be a serious, like, we're really going to get to see who's, who, who's made of what today, I think. I really think today is going to show us a lot. Because the top four facing off, I think, is going to be, like, an absolute banger, bro. I think it's going to be... I hope we see two game fives. I really hope these both go game five. Um, but anything's possible in the top four plays, bro. Anything's possible. We could have three. We could see a 3-0 where every map is super close. Or we could see a game five round 11 just absolute banger, which is what I would rather see, obviously. Think New York will beat FaZe. Think Ultra will still win. Yeah, dude, New York FaZe, honestly, I feel like I think more New York will win. But I picked FaZe in my bracket originally, so I'm going to stick by it. Matches start in an hour and 20 minutes, Earthless. Uh, they start at 12.30 Central, so whatever your conversion is there. 1.30 Eastern, 10.30 Pacific. But uh, in an hour and 20 minutes, matches start. I'm, I'm really excited for Legion's Ravens as well today because Ravens honestly looked pretty good yesterday. I mean, they played Miami, who haven't won a map on land, which is really unfortunate. Um, but... Uh, Ravens looked pretty solid, dude. Gwyn was him yesterday. Gwyn was cooking. So uh, it's going to be a good one, dude. Geo, Attach, Gwyn, Clay. They were all frying yesterday. And it's a rematch of online, dude. Don't forget, guys. Don't forget. Gwyn said that Legion were trash after their match online a couple, like, last week or whatever it was. So this has got a little bit of drama behind it, this series today. So I'm really excited. Never take the under for Gwyn again, honestly. Oh my god, dude. The LAT hate is coming in already. Hey, honestly, it's a little... It's deserved, bro. It's deserved. We went out top 12 two majors in a row, so what can you say? Yo, Dixon. Bro, T. Dixon, I'm ready, dude. I'm so ready for matches today. Yeah. LAT should not be... Uh, should not be getting double first rounded. They definitely shouldn't be. 
It's extremely disappointing, man. My vibe was just killed yesterday. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I was watching. It was a good thing I wasn't watch partying. Like, I wasn't live streaming. Because my vibe was so killed yesterday when LAT lost, dude. They came... Dude, they came out on this map one yesterday. Let me pull this up real quick. They came out on this map one yesterday and slammed. Dude, they slammed them on Rio. And I was like, dude... Like, this is it. Nasty went plus 13. Everyone went positive. I was like, holy shit, we're going we're gonna to crush them. Then we, we, we lose game two, and I'm like, all right, whatever. Round 11, it happens. Game three, we get absolutely cooked, and I'm like, there's no shot. And then sub base, man. It was close for the most of the map, but my, my, vibe, was, my vibe was chalked. You don't think moving Joe to C's is the play? Dude, but also the thing is, I don't know if bringing Joe to C's back in makes much of a difference. You know what I mean? He's cooking in challengers, but also we saw what he did on land. Or not on land, but well, on land, but we saw what he did in the league. I feel like they got to go with someone else, but maybe you bring in Joe and just see, see how it goes since he's still on the roster. He's still paying him. Yeah, dude. I mean, I was also watching Nade Shot yesterday, so... Not only did Thieves lose, but his vibe was down, my vibe was down. It was just not a good... Was not a good one. It was not a good one. Yo, chat, we got 35 viewers in here right now. I think this is an all-time high. This is an all-time high, I'm pretty sure, chat. Thank you to everyone who's in here, man. If you haven't hit the like button, consider hitting it. Uh, we'll see how many likes we can get before matches even start, but I appreciate everyone being here, man. Bring in Hixie. Dude, I can see Hixie being kind of fire on this team. I will give it to Afro. He he's he's not uh doing a ton of damage, but he's also soaking a lot of time, which is a bit annoying because the the hill time actually the hill time stat is here. Apparently he wasn't soaking shit, so maybe I'm faded. I could have sworn Afro had been soaking a lot more recently. Dude, the YouTube ad system makes no sense. Like Slayer said earlier, even uh even like members on YouTube get ads. It doesn't make any sense. Also, for the record, I, I wish I I could probably actually show you guys this. Hold on. I could probably literally show you this. I have, if you look on the screen right here where my mouse is in the middle, I have ads automator off. Like I I, I should be the only one able to run ads right now. And I, I got to click this button up here to manually run an ad. I haven't run an ad yet. And people are saying they got ads. So YouTube ads make literally no sense. I don't understand it at all. Um, it is pretty stupid in my opinion, YouTube system. This is why Twitch is probably better for streaming. So I apologize if you guys are getting ads and if they're unskippable. It's I, I literally can't do anything about it. I haven't even run an ad yet. Uh, times that start in the UK? Uh, that's a good question. GMT time for these matches? It should be, what, a five-hour difference from Eastern? So is it 6.30 GMT that matches start? 6 p.m.? Yeah, because matches start an hour and 15 minutes. So, I mean, uh, what, you know, add an hour and 15 onto your clock right now, and that should help you. Twitch is 50. Dude, I will say, Twitch ads, bro, you get like eight back to back to back to back. And I'm just like, God damn, bro. LAT need to blow it up. Dude, they need to, they need to make a change. You, you can't... You can't get double first round at two events in a row, man. Can't afford YouTube premium. I don't blame you, crime scene, dude. I, I'm not paying for that either. We're out here trying to save cash, bro. Inflation is a real thing. Save your money. Am I faded or are multiple rounds being played today? Uh, uh, yeah. So yeah, chat. So the way it works today is the um, winner of Ravens, uh, Ravens uh, Legion is going to play down here versus the loser of Phase New York. And then the loser of Optic Ultra plays uh, LAG. Think LAG win the major? Dude, if LAG win the major, man, I, I don't even know. And, and that would be... I mean, LAG, uh, you know, they won major two back in Vanguard historic runs. So who knows? Maybe major two is, the, is their... Is got, they got the groove in major two. Yeah, 100T lost an, an LCS yesterday too. It was not a good day for Thieves, bro. Had to get turbo. Miami needs to blow it up. Yeah, no, Miami also needs to blow it up, man. I feel I feel bad for Miami because I think it's really cool how they went along this whole Spanish roster thing. I think it's really sick that like you get more diversity in the league, more more global stuff. You know what I mean? It brings more fans in. But 
The Spanish roster is just proving not to work, at least on LAN. Um, so unless they bring in some other Spanish players, uh, maybe they just they just drop the whole Spanish thing. I don't know, dude. I don't know. There are other Spanish players like Super. They still have Real, obviously, they can bring in. They're not Spanish. They're Portuguese. I'm pretty sure they're all Spanish. I'm pretty sure they're Spanish. Maybe I'm completely faded, but I'm pretty sure they're Spanish and not Portuguese. Legion versus FaZe elimination round three. Yeah, Legion Legion versus FaZe or subliners, I would imagine. Diamond Con and Estriel have been frying so far. Dude, they have. I, see, I said it earlier. People obviously weren't here, but I major, major shout out to Estriel. That guy has been frying the last three, four weeks. So shout out to Estriel, bro. That guy has been different the last couple weeks. And Diamond Con has been good all season. He actually had a slow qualifiers, I feel like, for this event, but they're, they're cooking. Some really talented players sitting outside of the CDR right now. If you're not a top six team, you might as well be gamble dude honestly that's the thing bro i i saw someone tweeted it out today if you're a chat if you're a coach of any of the teams that got eliminated today you better be in the challengers pit watching the matches and challengers today because you got to be doing some scouting bro you got to be out there doing some scouting because i feel like every team that did every team that's out at this point should make a change i would i would imagine like i don't see a world in which teams shouldn't be making a change if you're out you know what I mean? Like, looking at the teams that are out, LA Thieves, I think you change out Afro. Boston, dude, I don't even know what Boston does, to be honest. I hear people saying Snoopy. I hear people saying Priesta. People saying Asim. Seattle, we all know, needs to make changes. Miami needs to make changes. Even Rocker, I still think you get rid of Awakening. Um, maybe even Vivid, but all these teams got to make moves, man. Every single team has to make a move. Scrap said they were Portuguese. Uh, dude, I think Scrap is just yapping. I'm not going to lie to you. I think Scrap is just yapping. Vegas 3-0 Carolina. Dude, it's going to be interesting to see how the Ravens come out and play. Because Gwyn and Clay were frying yesterday. But if, if they if they play like if they play like they did online, they're going to get cooked by Raven or by Legion. If they play like they did yesterday, we might have a good series. Yeah, dude, Daniel, the wake decline is crazy. Dude, it makes no sense. I said this to, to Preston and Alex yesterday in, in our DMs. I said, like, Wake's fall off needs to be studied because the last couple years, Wake was like a walking 1.15, 1.2. And somehow now he's dropping, like, insanely low numbers. And I'm not saying KD is everything, but you could just see he doesn't look comfortable on the map when he plays, bro. I don't know if it's him or if it's the, like, the, the team strategy, but something, something's up there. Do I think it would have been better to drop Afro instead of Joe looking back? Dude, honestly, I don't know. I, I do think keeping Afro and bringing in Nasty helped with the chem. Like, obviously, you know, Afro and Nasty had chemistry together. So maybe that is that is a, a bonus of keep will be kept Afro around. But what up, Daniel? How we doing? How we doing, chat? We got 40 viewers in here, man. I'm pretty sure that's an all-time high. I, I think that's a record for my stream. So thank you to everyone who's here. We're going to be watching all day today and all day tomorrow. So tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. So hopefully I'll see more of you guys here throughout the day and tomorrow as well. Yeah, Clay looked bad on online, bro. But yesterday he was on fire. I mean, they played Miami um, who haven't won a map on land. But Clay still, I mean, you got to tip it. He was looking good. He was looking really good, man. He was looking really good. Um, what do we want to, uh, let me, let me switch this back to just yapping since that's what we're doing anyway. We're, we're, we're just yapping right now. Did I see the Afro tweet? Uh, yeah. Yesterday after the games, I did see the Afro tweet. 85% of the series he has went negative and last year it was flipped. Can't remember the specific numbers. Yeah. Jack, I don't know what's up with wake, bro. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. I feel like it's got to be partially like a, just a Minnesota Rocker game plan thing. There's no way he's that much worse at this game than last year, but I mean, anything's possible, I guess. I also feel bad for RCDs. I do feel bad for RCDs, man. I, I, I feel bad for that whole team, bro. I feel bad for the whole team. All those guys I know are capable of playing better. Um, it's just not working. Whether it's a pacing thing, it's a strategy thing, it's a comms thing. It's just not working for Seattle.
You want me to look at Doug Doug Lieb's tweet? I can pull up Doug Lieb's tweet. Which uh which tweet here? The placings thing? Here, let me pull this up, chat. Let's switch back over to Chrome. We're we're done yapping for a minute. Uh yeah, so chat out Doug Lieb, first of all. If you guys don't follow Doug on Twitter, definitely follow him. This guy does some amazing statistical work about the CDL, so major shout out to him. Um This is the updated placings for this event. So as you can see, Ultra still have the highest win percentage, barely ahead of phase. Then New York. Optic has the lowest win percentage of the top four, which I think is interesting. I think is really interesting. And this is based on 10,000 simulations. I couldn't tell you how he simulates, but it's very interesting to at least look at this sort of stuff. Yeah, dude, Octane Octane doesn't let it slide, bro. That's what I love about Octane, man. He's going to tell it how it is. Even, even like when it comes to his friends, when it comes to the LA Thieves, like Octane's going to say how it is, man. It doesn't matter, which is I really, really like and I really respect. I really respect that out of Sam. But yeah, chat, what do you guys think about this placings thing? Obviously, simulations can't tell you the whole story. It's going to be based on stats. But um, it's very interesting to see that Optic, despite being like 8-0 in their last eight matches, are at a th only at a 13% win percentage. I think it's pretty interesting. So, I mean, we'll see. I Vegas also have a very, very tiny... Actually, you know, that, that might be green. That might be runners-up. Octane would Octane would be an amazing coach, dude. Octane would be a really, really good coach. I wish Octane was still playing, man. He would have been so good at this game. Octane would have been incredible at this game. Also, Doug had another tweet here. He's he was also testing out like expected wins. I this is a thing you'll see a lot in sports, like expected wins or like expected goals in soccer and stuff. I think this is pretty interesting. Based on his stats, LAT works expect... I mean, obviously, FaZe won the series, so their expected wins is likely to be higher. But LAT, man, they should have freaking won, bro. They should have 3-0'd FaZe. It makes me so sad. Soccer? Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Dude, US versus Mexico. CONCACAF uh, Nations League final tomorrow night. I'm excited for that. We got absolutely saved against Jamaica the other night. Nah, dude, Octane, Octane was never going to phase, bro. That's why he retired. He didn't want to go to phase. Saturn losing to LAG? No, uh, well, honestly, this is Saturn losing to LAG because we should have been playing today in winner's round two, bro. LAT should have literally been sitting back, feet up, doing nothing yesterday. But instead, they trolled round 11 defense on Invasion. And, and now look what happened, bro. Look what happened, dude. Life comes at you so fast. It's unreal. It's actually unreal, like, what happened, bro. It, it makes me so sad. It makes me so sad. We should have been vibing, bro. We should have been just chilling, going up against New York today. Probably we're going to get slammed, but it is what it is. Um, And then we lose to LAG anyway, which just makes me even more sad because apparently we yeah, struggle to beat those guys. We beat them last week online, and they shit on us on land, so. Tip it to them, bro. Nate Shot's gonna be mad. Yeah, dude. I know Nate is, is feeling it, bro. I know he's feeling it. I'm feeling it too, man. I don't even own the team. I can't even imagine owning a team and just, like, watching them lose, bro. Because just being a fan of the team and watching them lose sucks. Now, imagine if, like, you literally the owner of the organization. It's got to hurt so bad, bro. You know, LAG are playing good COD right now. 100%, Daniel. They're playing really good COD right now, so. Yeah, Earthless, bro. We're setting viewership records today. You guys are absolutely killing it. I appreciate everyone who's in here. If this is your first time in here, I appreciate you hopping in. If this is your hundredth time in here, I appreciate you hopping in just the same. Assault over. Dude, Assault hits the over every time, apparently. Flank tweet? Let me look at this. Let me look at this flank tweet. Random, how we doing? The Royal? Oh my god. Let me pull this up, chat. Let me pull this up. That's not the right one. Wrong, wrong screen. Wrong screen. So the Royal Ravens, who played the first match today, mind you, the Ravens played an hour, are unable to get to the venue for warm-up scrims because Kamala Harris, who, if you don't know who that is, that's the vice president, 
of the United States. Her motorcade is driving through town. So the Ravens can't even get to the... Dude, the Ravens haven't even started warming up yet and they play in an hour. What is the CDL going to do? That's going to be really interesting, bro. What is the CDL going to do? Are they going to postpone their match? Are they going to have someone else play first? Like, I don't actually know what they'll do for this. Because that's super chalked, bro. The fact that they're not even warming up is insane. Faye's not losing another map this tournament. Dude, Shane, that would be insane. If they don't lose another map this whole tournament, that would be absolutely insane. Just use nitrous. Dude, honestly, they, they, what are they, they can't, they can't like do a uh, freaking musty flick over the cars and get, and get to the venue. They might as well get out and start walking, bro. It can't be that far. It can't be that far, dude. They might as well just start walking. I mean, it is raining, I guess, which sucks ass, but. Hotel shooting again. No, I don't think there. I did see that apparently one of the hotels was caught on fire last night. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. If it was last, I think it was last night. One of the hotels in Miami was on fire. So Miami's going through it, but apparently this is normal in Miami. There's like it's spring break, I guess, for most colleges and stuff, and people that go to Miami for spring break, obviously. So apparently this is normal behavior in Miami, but. It does not look like fun, bro. Yeah, literally Vice City. That's why we're going back for GTA 6, dude. That's why we're going back. We are heading back for GTA 6, dude. Rockstar made a good decision, dude. Honestly, they knew what they were doing, man. They knew what they were doing. Oh, peak deck. Peak deck. Nice, dude. You're cooking. Yeah, I'm not very good at Rocket League. I think the highest I've gotten in Rocket League is like plat something, plat two probably, and that's because my brother carried me. And my brother's pretty good at Rocket League. Oh man, chat, you think we see any upsets today? Do you actually think we see any upsets today? Because like, I mean, the only real upsets I would say that's possible to see is like, if Legion, Ravens, or LAG beat one of the top four teams. I guess if Ravens beat Legion, that's an upset too. Optic taking down Ultra. I don't even know if any of the top four can be considered upsets at this point. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure if I would really consider either either of these upsets because they're all so closely matched. Like, they're all so closely matched. Hey, yo, Danny, becoming a member for one month. Danny, did you just become a member or did it like just give you a, a notification to prompt that? Well, either way, thank you, Danny. I appreciate it. First member of the stream. For one month, I could have sworn you were a member for at least two, but shout out Danny, man. You got the noti? Yeah. Pin the Discord for new viewers. Where did I just... Oh my god. Sometimes I just forget how to click things, bro. I swear to God. You're playing for a Carolina and FaZe Masterclass today. Dude, it's going to be... It's going to be a good day, man. It's going to be a good day. I don't know if we'll see three, any 3-0s today. We might see 3-0s in like the Elimination Round 3 matchups. Because it'll be a top 4 team versus LAG and versus uh, Legion or, or Ravens. But... Now, nah, Rick, I guess you're right, bro. I, I guess you are right. I, I did... Uh... I did show I did show this where it literally shows that Optic had the lowest win percentage and Ultra have the highest. So I guess it is kind of an upset to an extent. <laughs> Dude, Jack, that's hilarious. Dude, that 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 GTA trailer looked good, man. I'm excited for GTA 6. Dude, if LAG come out, bro, I'm gonna lose my mind. They moved it to uh they moved the Ravens to match two. Did they actually? Is there an official tweet? Do we got like an official tweet or an official notification from the league about that? Because if they did do that, that's actually, I mean, makes sense, right? I mean, Ravens haven't even started warming up yet. Ravens haven't even started warming up yet. Yeah, top four are clear, bro. Top four is so clear. NYSL versus FaZe first. Is there a tweet or something? I can see this. Or Zuma was just talking about it. Yeah. 
let's we'll see I'll, I'll wait for a tweet to come out so i can show it out on screen but that makes sense man that does make a lot of sense ultra beats optic it's an upset just because optic is undefeated dude i it the teams are all so evenly matched man the teams are all so evenly matched it's going to be such a good day it's going to be such a good day dude I'm not going to lie, though. I would love to see one of the top four teams be eliminated today. As much as I want to see the top four face off on Champ Sunday, seeing one of them get eliminated today by, like, LAG, Legion, or Ravens would just be so good, bro. It would be so good for the viewership. Well, unless Optic gets eliminated, then that's going to be bad for viewership because if Optic gets eliminated, we're going to have no viewers tomorrow. You can't play Warzone Mobile? Re oh, they what? They don't have it in... They don't have it there? Why not? FaZe would be objectively hilarious. Dude, if FaZe go out top six or something, let's say, that would be insane, considering they're, like, basically locks for, uh... They're locks for, for freaking second... No, I don't want to say second. I feel bad. They're locks for the finals. Would FaZe play NYSL, and if they lose, would it them, wouldn't it be Legion? Yeah, so the loser of FaZe New York will play the winner of uh, Legion Ravens. So probably Legion, but who knows, man. Ravens could come out diffy. Oh, because of the gambling rules. Yeah, dude. That sucks, man. I haven't played Warzone Mobile yet. I have not given it a try just yet. FaZe hasn't placed outside the top three since... Major five in Cold War? Good lord. Seriously? That's actually insane. That's actually crazy, bro. Clay's pissed he's gonna come out frying today. Or firing today. Frying, same thing. Dude, I I'm I'm really excited to see this, man. I'm excited. After after when Gwyn called them shit when they got 3-0'd online. Uh, it's going to be a banger, dude. We have some storyline behind this matchup. Can you imagine Clay knocking out... Dude, Clay knocking out Attach and then going on to knock out uh, FaZe would be insane. The storyline would be literally insane. I'm here for it, though. I'm so here for it. Still waiting for Scrap versus Draza. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we get it at some point this event, right? I hope we get it at some point. If they both win their matches, then we'll get them in winners finals. But if one of them loses and one of them wins, we might not we're not going to get it until grands. Or I guess we could get it in losers finals probably. I guess it's possible we get it in losers finals as well. Dude, I'm I'm so ready to see what happens today, man. I don't know if I necessarily believe we're gonna see an upset, but I I I want to believe it's gonna happen, man. I want to believe. Optic is taking the HP and the control and an SND three two or three one optic. Dude, we're gonna see, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be something. Plus, we got challengers going on. Who's even in on challengers right now? Like, how far into the challengers event are they? I couldn't even tell you how far into challengers they are right now. Apparently, challengers teams are breaking GAs too. People are running three trophies instead of two. So, it's just getting insane down there. It is just getting insane down there, man. God, Bowser's team runs four trophies, dude. I couldn't even, like... I wouldn't be able to look myself in the mirror if I was just breaking GAs, like, to give myself an upper hand. I just, like... I have too much... I have too much, like... I had too much guilt. I haven't watched Challengers since Doug retired. Ah, uh, dude, Doug was carrying Challengers, bro. Doug was carrying. 
What am I going to do in the break the next couple weeks? Well, next weekend, my uh, my parents are flying down here from Jersey to come visit. So next weekend, I'm going to be busy. But uh, the weekend after, I'm going to try and go live for sure. I still want to go live during the breaks. It's just next weekend, I got family visiting. So I won't be live. Uh, chat, we're gonna we're gonna do the wordle real quick, man. Let's let's do the wordle. Let's give the wordle a try. I'm gonna start with the word sixth because this is like the top six today. Uh, I know an X is probably not the way to go, but we're gonna start with the word six today. Uh, no one spoil it in chat, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you, no one spoil it. Uh, then we have an S and an I, man. I'm thinking maybe. Maybe rinse. How about rinse? Oh my god, chat. Am I cooking right now? Am I cooking? So then what is it? Is it risen? Am I cooking? Chat, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Oh my god. Dude, you ever seen a, have you ever seen a wordle play like that? Holy crap. Holy crap. Wait, okay, now we gotta do the connections. Oh my god, that was actually kind of crazy. That was actually kind of crazy, chat. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a good, that's a good word I'll pull. Chat, has anyone done the connections today? Don't spoil it, please. I'm so bad at connections, though. Like, it's actually, it's actually really difficult. Um, sometimes it's good. I mean, to, to chase, to track, to find, and to shadow, to like follow something. One away. I guess to discover? Oh, Lord. Maybe it's... Maybe... Dude, uh, is it... You think it's a discover, find... What'd you say? Discover, tail? Oh, to tail. Yeah, 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 to tail. Wait, so then you think it's chase, shadow, tail, and track? Like that? Because that's all, like following things yeah okay that's all pursuing things bang visa credit stamp photo chase discover visa credit that could have been interesting that could have been kind of let's see to uh to find something to discover something to learn something and to realize something bang oh chat we're cooking we're cooking hold on we're cooking your visa, your stamp, your name, and your photo. Is this all stuff that would be on, uh, like, th for, for traveling, maybe? Oh, my God, chat! I swear, I swear I didn't look up any of this. I promise. Hand on my heart. I swear I didn't look any of this up. This is actually... So, what is this last one? Just to give credit. To give, like, props. To, to like, to get... I don't know. That's kind of how I see it. Kudos, yeah. Oh, chat, dude. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. They don't make they don't make them like me, chat. They don't make them like me. Peeking at viewers and knowledge, honestly. Okay, well, you 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 know what it has to be. You know what we have to do now. This is the tradition around here. That's not what I wanted. This is the tradition around here. Oh, you want me to do worldle? Worldle. I'll do, I, I can do the, uh, world. Oh, please work. There we go. Bang. Oh, and the cod guesser. Oh, you guys are full of good ones. All right, chat. What do we got here? Is that Australia? I don't even, I genuinely am not sure what that is. What do we think this is? Who, who's good at their, yo, Tuzon, how we doing? Chat, who's good at geography? Who's good at geography? Uzbekistan? Who do you think is going to take over for Crone? Uh, what's it called? Uh, Justin Pistachio took over for Crone. So it's, um, I don't know who actually owns CDL Intel now, but, uh, Justin Pistachio, who's done like socials for Optic and stuff is running the account now. So I think he's probably, they probably work together on a bunch of stuff with like a, a couple people. Austria. Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan. I'll give Austria a try, man. I'll give Austria a try. I, I trust Danny. 97%. So it's something It's something right next to Austria, apparently. 
It's something right next to Austria, I guess to the left. Is that what? I haven't played World in a really long time. Bulgaria? Is Bul isn't Bulgaria south of Austria or am I faded? Is it Hungary? Is it Hungary? Is Hungary what's left of Austria of Austria? Hungary? That's what that's what Slayer just said. Now nah, we're still wrong. We went to the, I guess we went to the right. We went to the right chat. We gotta go to the left. I'm guessing that's what that means. Because we're a little bit farther away now with Hungary. What's to the left of Austria? Chat, lock in, man. We got some UK. We got some EU folks in here, bro. You guys don't know this? What sports do I like? Uh, I mainly keep up with soccer and basketball. So I watch the NBA and I watch like the Premier League primarily. Czech Republic? Is it Czech Republic? I don't know. I'm from Canada. It could be... I'm not even typing. Belgium, Uzbekistan. Bro, you guys are throwing out all different names here. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Manchester United fan, James. I support United. Yo, it's the kid is in here. Let's go. Switzerland. Is Switzerland, is Switzerland not close enough? It is Switzerland. Danny with the pull, man. Danny with the pull. That's a good pull out of Danny right there. That is a good pull. Okay, chat. Now it's time for Cod Guesser. If you guys haven't seen Cod Guesser, it gives you a map and then you have to say what it is. Isn't this the... Wait, is this the map from... Modern Warfare. It was remade into last, last year's game too, wasn't it? It's the map with the big middle building. It's got the street. Isn't it in one of the war maps right now? Candor Hideout. Is not is that what this is? It's not. It's not Candor Hideout, apparently. Your fellow man, you supporter. Let's go, James. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That game versus Liverpool last weekend? Holy crap. I was, I was going crazy. Lockdown from MW3. Underpass. Dude, I could have swore this was actually going to be that Candor Hideout map. I'm not going to lie to you. I actually thought that's what it was going to be. Elisilo? I don't think this is Elisilo. I don't remember a green wall in Elisilo. It's the map with the playground. That's bottom green. Is it? Is Slayer right, chat? Is Slayer onto it? Is this Elisilo? Dude, I don't... Wait. No, it is Elisilo. Because this is the front of that building where there's the windows up top, right? No, Slayer, I think you're right. I think you're right. Right? Because this is this is the courtyard where, like, the soccer field is. And then this is the building, and then the spawn is back behind this building. The main building's to the right. I think this is Elisilo. Chat. Wait, it's not Elisilo. Uh, what is this map called, bro? Bro, what is... I, I, I recognize this map, but I didn't really play it that much, bro. What is this map called? It's like the, it, it looks like the, like, palace? Is that, no, nah, it's not, palace isn't even a map, apparently. Dude, I don't know what this map is called, chat. I'm not gonna lie to you. Operation Spearhead? What the heck is that, bro? What, what are you talking about right now, Slayer? Something palace? Dude, palace doesn't even come up. Yeah, dude, this this map's big, isn't it? it? Wasn't there like uh could you play ground war on this map or something like that? Anea incursion? Or is it Anea Palace? Wait, there's two of them and they're both from the same game. Wait, chat, I need someone to pick. Anea Palace, bang. Target neutralized. We got it! Let's go, dude. Let's go. Yo, Jack, good pull, man. Good pull, Jack. Good shit, chat. Good shit. We locked that in, man. We locked that in. Dude, I actually really thought this was Elisilo. I'm not going to lie to you. This actually sold me on that one building. All right, chat. If you're new around here, we like to play higher or lower. And um, we t our high score is eight. Our high score is eight. So I need you guys to lock in because I want to see double digits. All right, Tottenham Hotspur has got to be higher, right?
I'm not gonna lie to you, I kind of thought it'd be higher. I figured people who are like looking up the schedule or looking up like scores would just look up the team. That's what I do. When I need scores of something, I typically will just type in the team name if I want to see what the team's doing. Uh, so that's ass. Turkey or Poodle? Turkey's got to be higher, bro. Turkey's got to be higher, chat. Chat, seriously, we need to lock in, man. I need 10. I need 10. The West, the West Wing is not more than Turkey, bro. What is this? Today's matches are heat, bro. They are, dude. Today's matches are really good. What was that from Thieves yesterday, Harrison? I don't even want to talk about it, bro. I don't even want to talk about it, man. It was so... Dude, LAT let me down so badly yesterday. Like, they let me down so, so bad yesterday, man. They let me down so bad. Masseuse? Chat, am I allowed to have this on screen right now? Is that... Is this legal? I mean, I guess it's not showing too much. Can we ban Rick? Eight is more series win than Thieves. That's messed up. Do you think Masseuse is more than David Copperfield? More than 200,000? Do people get massages that often? I don't know. I've never been to a masseuse. Is this like a common thing people look up? Like they're going on Google to try to get a massage? You think it's higher? I'll go higher. It's not higher. It's not higher, chat. We're throwing. Long lost twin? We're throwing. Nope. I'm you after Italian cooking class. I should have waited for M. Diz, bro. M. Diz new. All right, chat, please. Oh, shit. God damn. Wait, I should probably move my camera so you guys can see this better. Hold on. Let me move my camera so you guys can see. You think shooting is lower? It is lower, but that's a lot of search for shooting. That's got to be lower. What? 2,400? God damn. Scented candles? Nothing could be lower than 2,400. Okay, sorry, chat. I was speed running. I, I, this one's definitely higher, too. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm speed running right now. I'm, I'm going faster than you guys can type. That's freaky. What the hell is that, chat? What? Chat, what is that? Is that a movie? It's got... I mean, it's definitely going to be lower, but what is that, dude? Oh, Danny. That is messed up, bro. Danny's getting banned. I'm banning Danny. The horror film. Border Terrier. Border Terrier. Do you think a dog breed is getting more than is getting two hundred and fifty thousand or more searches? I see a lot of lowers. Oh wait, I see a lot of hires coming up. Wait, people are people are going crazy. Okay, now I'm seeing hires. Chat, remember we're trying to get over ten right now. We're trying to get over ten. I see a couple. Dude, Lax has said lower, higher, lower, lower, higher, higher, lower. Lower. This guy lacks all over the place. I'm going to listen to Austin because Austin has uh, has been right the last two times we've been wrong. So I'm going lower. And Austin was right again, dude. Shout out, Austin. Shout out, Austin. Also, chat. Matches start in uh, 40 minutes. Matches start in 40 minutes. Dalai Lama, dude. How much is Dalai Lama being looked up? Compared to Border Terrier. Such interesting searches. Boston made you mad. Dude, Boston did not do uh did not do very good at this event. Higher? You guys are saying higher. I'm going. And you guys were right. Let's you lost 500? God damn. Alright, chat. La La Land or Dalai Lama? This is a very popular movie. This is a very popular... I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't seen it. But this movie is pretty popular, so... Fantastic movie. I'm going higher. Yeah, 5 million. Holy crap. Uh, Genie. I'm so sorry, Genie. I don't know who you are, but you are not more than 5 million searches a month. All right, chat. Is the prestige higher than, than, than good old Genie over here? Good old genie Calment. I actually want to look up who this is. Wait. I actually want to know who this is. A French super cent cent centenarian. Oh, wow. She was 120. Oh, the oldest person alive. This is... Genie was the oldest person alive. She lived from 1875 to 1997. 
Shout out Genie, bro. Shout out Genie. I'm still thinking the prestige is higher, right? No one cares? Dude, I care, bro. I want to know why Genie's even in this. Homer Simpson, is this going to be higher? Is this going to be higher, chat? Homer Simpson? It's got to be, right? Oh, we threw. Hey, we we did. I think we, we broke the record, though. Let's go, dude. We broke it. Hey, we scored 10. I said I wanted double digits. You guys came through. You guys came through with the double digits, man. You guys came through with the double digits, man. That's already a new high score. Do we go again? Should we tune in to uh, the pre-show from, from Breaking Point? Or should we play more high or lower? You guys let me know. Should we watch Breaking Point's pre-show? See what they're saying? Or we do more high or lower? One more, one more. All right, we'll do we'll do an, we'll do another one. Play Wordle, dude. James, we played Wordle, bro. You missed it. I cooked. What's my bracket going into the final day? This is my bracket, real quick. I got Ultra over Optic today. I got Phase over New York. Um, I got New York over Legion, so that means I will have Legion over Ravens. And then I got Optic over LAG. Oh, that's not James. You're here. Doing any eights today? I uh, do probably not, honestly. Considering matches start in 30 minutes, and then there's also going to be like, oh yeah, Sergio Aguero. There's also going to be uh, probably a long ass day of matches. I probably won't even do eights after. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Try a speed run. You want me to just click? All right, Doritos is going to be higher. I'm speed running. When are matches starting? They start in uh, 35 minutes. Shawshank Redemption. I'm going lower. I choked, chat. I choked. I didn't think a movie that old would have more monthly monthly views than freaking Doritos. I guess people don't look up Doritos because, like, you just go to the store and buy them. Like, why would you look up Doritos? Dude, I didn't think Shawshank would have that many monthly views at this point, bro. I thought maybe we'd be a little bit past that. Highest rated movie of all time. Yeah, I mean... All right, wait, we chat. We just had Homer, right? It was low. All right, chat. I need help now. I don't know nothing about Top Gear. Someone tell me. Homer Simpson or Top Gear, chat. Please, please help. I'm begging. Please. All right, everyone's saying higher. I'm going to listen. Bang. You guys were right. New York Giants. Dude, do the Giants have more? Because Tottenham Hotspur only had like a couple hundred thousand. You also got to... Th Dude, chat, we got to think about this. Tottenham Hotspur, a, a, an English Premier League soccer team, football team, only had like a couple hundred thousand, didn't it? So you guys are all saying higher. I'm going to trust you, but I feel like we're... I feel like we're, we might be overthinking this. It was a tie. It was a tie. We were all right. We were all right. Instagram has got to be higher. Instagram has to be higher. No one cares about soccer. Chad, are we forgetting that it, soccer is the biggest sport in the entire world? Just because we're ignorant Americans doesn't mean soccer isn't popular. This has to be higher, right? That is true, dude. People, Dude, I also wonder if it, if it accounts for that, though, Slayer. Like, if, when people just search Spurs, do they, do they just count for that? I don't even know. Instagram's got to be higher, right? God damn. Wait, that's the biggest one we've ever seen. 151 million? I mean, I guess if you're trying to go on Instagram, you just look up Instagram on Google. This has got to be lower. I I'm sorry, tennis. I mean, I don't watch tennis, but... Vespa? This has got to be lower, right? This has to be lower, right? Think Amazon is the highest? Yeah, dude, I wonder what the most... Amazon might be the most searched thing. It really might be. I feel like Vespa is going to be lower. Yeah, that's the thing, though, Stripey. I was going to say, I know the, the people ride these in Europe. I don't even know if I've ever seen one here in the States, so... What do we think? I need someone from, I need someone from EU to chime in and let me know. 
Lower? I'm just going to go with lower. It is lower. Okay, we overthought it a little bit. Pair that has to be lower. I'm sorry. That's actually more than I thought paragliding was going to have. I'm not going to lie to you. Boxing is definitely going to be higher than paragliding. Bible. That's actually an interesting thought. Are people looking up Bible? Like, I guess you can... I guess you could read the Bible online, right? So I guess people would, would Google it. I would imagine this has got to be higher. I would imagine this has got to be higher. I see a lot of people saying higher. I'm going to go it. It is higher. It is higher. You just scored 19? Oh, dude, Zach is just showing off, bro. Zach is just showing off. Angelina Jolie. Or, or Bible. Are people searching up Angelina Jolie like that? There's no way, right? There, there's no way people are, like, Googling her specifically. Chat, we threw. We threw. I, we, we threw. Is she, was she in a movie recently or something? I figured she would have a, a good, a fair bit of view, search views, but, like... I, I mean, over 3 million is kind of crazy, or whatever that was. Oh my god. My name is Jared McCain. I go to Duke Your highest is 37. Wait, we did just set another high score, by the way, though. We hit 11. So we just broke a high score two, in, like, or not two in a row, but nearly. Uh, chat. They're here. To compete with an attach in a geo combo. Um, I think fellow didn't, he looked weak yesterday as well. I don't think we're going to see a master class out of fellow all. Sub ran out. Sorry, Strifey. Dylan. Um, yeah, I think Legion close this out pretty, pretty convincingly and then have their true test in their next matchup, uh, uh, which is going to be... Yeah, dude, look at Trey, bro. Who is it? Uh, Showing off the tats. They win that one. It should be against... FaZe or New York. They will play. FaZe or New York. Yeah, so I, I mean, I think I think we're going to see Vegas versus NY for the for the, for the the next setup. We'll talk about also, chat, we're time. already at 23 <laughs> likes on the stream, yo. Thank you to everybody who's hit the like button. The We've been live for like an hour, and we already have all these right. likes and, and viewers. I really appreciate it, chat. It means a lot yeah, to uh, be hanging out with you guys watching COD. And then you well, got, like, we're not watching COD yet, but we will be watching COD. We will be watching COD shortly. Actually, let me bring up the Gwyn tweet. Did he delete it? He probably deleted it, didn't he? we got to mention this. We will be watching COD in... Uh, 30 minutes. Also, oh, yeah, chat, yeah. I gotta get lunch today, no, and I need some ideas. Just for that. I, I need to know what you guys think I should order for lunch. Uh, because, uh... Just for that alone, this series is gonna be... I want to order lunch today, but I don't know what I want, man. I don't know what I want. Panda, Chipotle, steak sandwich, five guys. Dude, I'll take five guys. I mean, pause. Hold on. Um, bagels, dude, bagels are so hit or miss in Texas, bro. Bagels are so hit or miss in Texas. Yo, Fueled, how's it going, man? I'm doing good, bro. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good as well. Wingstop, I see two people saying Wingstop, actually. He's about to play them on land. Are we are we, are we optic supporters today? Do I gotta get Wingstop? It just makes him look ten times worse. Oh, this is so good, man. I actually didn't know I'd get these tweets where I don't know how he leased a dog shit, whatever. GG's Vegas, their beast lost 3 0. And then obviously Dylan Theory, coach of uh, Vegas, then said uh -huh. the weirdest thing. Yeah, dude, I uh I miss New Jersey bagels, shit. man. So if he beats I miss land, Jersey like, bagels a ton. Beats them on land, then Theory has to um, Ever had wing well. daddies? I've yeah, never heard of wing daddies, no. Incredible chirping of Carolina Beach. Yo, do, do, yo, do we think, do we think yeah, chat, the tweet on screen, by the way, the, this Ravens Legion series is going to be interesting. Because there's some shit behind this. Some shit talk. Sam Phoenix, for some reason, coming up and do that. Because Sam Phoenix is the passion, he's the passionate coach. I think we see Sam Phoenix come out and just go, you fucking shitters. Yeah, I see that's what we see. If you, if you told me Vegas and fucking... Uh, Raven, uh, Vegas and Ravens would have some beef. Yeah, no, Vegas should realistically win for sure. Hey, honestly, if Vegas don't win, I would definitely be surprised. That's definitely an upset. Um, but yeah, Vegas should win. There'll be chirping in between maps, dude. I hope so, bro. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see Vegas chirp back at Gwyn, bro. But I do think Vegas should be. What's Isaiah's CDL name? Oh, that's Gwyn. Isaiah's Gwyn. If Legion had have ever been to the UK, I have not. Well, technically, uh, technically, I uh, had a layover in um. Because Ravens have the dog in. I had a layover in the, at the airport at Heathrow. Um, but I 
I was in the airport Legion? for five hours, so I really haven't been outside the, the UK airport. I got a bit of dog in it. I haven't been yeah, outside the airport, so no, I technically haven't really been. Noise. The Legion actually have it now. Purge, Purge is making some noise. Like oh, fuel. That's just that's just rude, brother. That's just rude. Chill, but, nah, like, this nah, you're right, dude. You're right. LAG just, they're better on land, dude. They're better on land. This series is actually going to be crazy. And It pains me as a Thieves fan to see what happened the last two days, but... I gotta they tip it to, uh, I gotta tip it, especially LAG, man. Yeah. I'll be because, refreshing the timeline, don't worry. Because, like Scoot I said, beating already. someone on the Yeah, nah, Gwyn, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like the shit talk in COD, but Gwyn calling the other team shit after he just got 3 0 doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why pros do that. Like, when you get beat by a team, especially when they 3 0 you, you calling them trash doesn't make any sense to me. Like, you just got beat by them. So, if you think they're trash, like, what does that mean you think of your team? So, hey, I respect the uh, confidence, though. Gwyn thinks he's the best player in the lobby by far, so I respect. I got, the confidence. I got, I got Vegas winning that one. I want to say 3 1. Dude, no online league. LAG might be the best team in the game. I'm not going to lie. I can't squander my predictions. Not even going to lie. They might be the best team in the game. No, no, no. I'm taking Legion. For sure. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I got, but I, I think it's like 55%. You want to see Big Ben because you don't have clocks in America? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I like that. All right, phase New York. Let's get into it because I wanted to bring up this is the series they played online. They played a Karachi Scum said MJ said something like, you're a real shit talker, you talk when you're down. I mean, I guess a real shit talker talks shit no matter when you're winning or losing, but uh, I, uh, I, I like to, to err on the side of don't talk trash until you win. I feel like that's the, that's the best way to go about it is don't start talking trash until you win. I'm going to start by saying Siv at this tournament looks vulnerable. Uh, the last... Ultra are the best land team. We'll see, bro. Today is going to be a good test to see who the real best land team is. I think he will be shooting different today. But that is true, though. Ultra have not lost on land yet, so you got to tip it. You're going to get the guy who's giving you everything and winning you the series, or the guy who's you got to tip it. You kind of have to carry a little bit. Some teams haven't won on land, and Ultra haven't lost on land. So you know, Atlanta Faze almost got almost got kicked out of this tournament really early on, and it was getting scary for them. I think they're going to regroup restructure and come out shooting uh also now we're at 27 level. likes on the stream take it everyone to hit the like button i appreciate it a ton i say that a lot but i really do appreciate it be juiced up enough to come out shooting hot i have phase winning this in a, in a three one ace has phase taking this one I, I got phase Trey winning, also yeah. has phase so winning. Wow. To some people a lot of people aren't picking new york to be phase which i think is a little bit surprising um, considering New York, I've looked pretty good, and FaZe have looked a little shaky, but, I mean, I also have FaZe winning, so, uh, I guess I can't talk too much. To win, to win the event, to win these games. Dude, exactly, Dixon, bro, exactly. Don't talk, don't talk trash until you win, bro. Don't talk trash until you win. It's always gonna come back to bite you. For me, they're like an optic on a Friday. You know, they always... And why sell our fake? Against lesser teams. I mean, but we'll see, bro. This is the real... You know, this is a real you know, test for them on land right now. Face today. And it all just... Like you said, it all just depends on New York are shooting, too. Like, if Sib's not shooting... And they I have a lot Sib's to prove, bro. They have a lot to prove. Their best shooter. On they obviously got double either. first round in last major. I mean, they beat... Um, it just, it just comes they beat uh, who's shooting Boston yesterday, who they should have beaten, or two days ago, so... Honestly, this would... This will really show where phase championship are. whites dude optic really fans really would be pissed if phase compound championship whites they think that's their so thing this will actually determine whether like we've just got a dodgy phase what up danny how we doing gonna come out and smoke bet the house on new york honestly bro honestly winning it but this one will be a very good matchup as well um just, i have phase winning on. this i did because i did feel like they were gonna win the event but and I obviously it's still fake. Chat, I haven't but done my prize picks yet today. Days, I have not done prize today, picks yet I today. I feel like we need to do some them. prize picks. So I'm going to go with that. I feel like we need to run our speed, prize picks. I'm, I'm sorry, gonna... Rab. I'm muting you. I love you, Rab. Pick a number between what, 0 and 10. Um, I'm going to go... Dude, everyone always says 7. So I'm not going to say 7. I'm going to say 4. Give me. I'm going with 4. Simpa, BZ, more. Yeah, chat, help me out with the prize picks today. Someone help me out with these prize picks. What are we thinking, man? My prize picks yesterday did not hit. I was very sad about it. So I need someone to help me out. Kleenex and scrap over. Over 106.5, you think, bro? 
versus Optic too. I mean, that's going to be like, it should be a close series. So it should, the map should be long, but over 106.5, unless they play Rio, that's, do we have map sets yet? Has any map set come out yet? Gwyn over for ma first three maps for 100 and call it a day. Oh shit, Danny with the one gifted member and Strifey gets the gifted. Thank you, Danny, for the gifted, man. I appreciate it. Can we get some W's out of Danny in chat, man? And another one, and random gets it this time. Yo, Danny with two gifted. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate it. CDL scrim intel. CDL scrim intel map cell. And Danny with a third gifted, bro. Can we get Danny with a fourth gifted? Can we get some W's for Danny and Chatman? Four gifted members? Thank you, Danny. I did say four. You're not wrong. I did say four. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that a ton, man. Big shout out to Danny. Uh, this is the map set for Vegas versus Ravens. Kar or Skid Row, Karachi, Karachi, Rio, Invasion. Not bad. Not bad. No, uh, no, or Rio map four. So that doesn't really help our prize picks. What is the Gwyn? Dude, honestly, I don't know, dude. You think Skid, Karachi, Karachi, Gwyn could hit the over? Fellow and Purge more? Over 91? You think Fellow and Purge more? Dude, where's Assault, bro? What's Assault's line? Assault's not even on here yet because he doesn't have an opponent. Death hit the Sib attach more? I could see Sib attach hitting the over for sure, actually. I could see Sib attach definitely hitting the over. I actually do like that one. Over 100 or 100.5. I think that's actually not a bad one. You really think... Fe I don't even know... If you think Fellow Purge over? I mean, 91.5 is a low line. That's a low line. But Purge hasn't been great. Fellow looked pretty good yesterday, but I don't... Did they move the first match? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I saw so someone was saying that they said that on the flank, but... Kleenex and scrap more. You promise it'll hit. All right, dude, Lax, I'll trust you, bro. I'll throw it on. I'll throw it on the Kleenex and scrap more. Any of these numbers look really low here. We could take the Gwyn over. The Fellow over 43, bro. Fellow's got to be hitting over 43, dude. You, you, you think Fellow's not going to drop 44 kills versus Legion? On Skid Row, Karachi, Karachi? I don't know, actually. Take the purge lower. You think lower 47.5 out of purge? Oh, shit. Slayer with the $1.99 super chat. Hey, thank you so much, Slayer. I appreciate that, man. Major W for Slayer in chat. W's for Danny. W's for Slayer for the, the gifted members and the super chat. I appreciate it, guys. And there it is on screen. Thank you again, Slayer. What are we thinking here, man? Dude, Selium over 49? I could see Cell hitting over. I'm not going to lie. I could see Cell hitting the over. You think the purge lower? Rock, paper, scissors? Uh, give me, dude, give me, uh, give me paper, Danny. Give me paper. Give me that bread. You know what I'm saying? Give me that paper. You really think the purge under... Upcast, if you say purge under, I'll, I'll, I'll trust you, bro. I'll trust you. Give me, give me confirmation, Upcast, and I'll take the purge under. I'm taking picks from chat, man. We're building out of, we'll, we'll build out a six parlay, a six pick parlay from chat completely. You'll send it to me in Discord, and then I can say best of one or best of three. I, I mean, sure. I don't know. I'm down with whatever. Lax, what did you say, bro? Purge lower? All right, dude, I'll take the purge lower. I will take the purge lower for Lax and, uh, and upcast. Danny, what do I have to do? Do I have to just say what I'm, say what I'm saying or, or what's going on here? I, I said paper earlier, so I'm still saying paper, Danny. I'm still saying paper. How do you gift subs on iPhone? I have no idea, Slayer. I couldn't tell you. 
I could not tell you how to gift subs on... Dude, YouTube is such a hit or miss platform. Kismet under map one. You think kids under 22? Do I want a best of one or best of three? I'll go best of three, Danny. I'll go best of three. Gwyn over. Gwyn over on what? What do you think? How does prize picks work? You basically just pick one of these prompts and it's just over or under. So you can pick maps one through three. You can pick... um. You can pick like map one, map two, map three, and you just pick. Um, I don't know what New York is, but this is the Ravens, Ravens Vegas. But when you when you win, oh, you just uh, you just get your money. So there's different multipliers. So like, you, if you see here on the right side, I can do flex play, where if I get two correct, I get a 1.25 multiplier. If I get three correct, I get a 2.25 multiplier. Or I can do a power play where if if I get everything right, I get all that. So it's, it's definitely like, it's pretty cool, but it can be pretty difficult. Envoy over because he's the GOAT. Uh, Danny, I'll go with, I'll go with paper again, Danny. I'll go paper again. Scump is live, but you're staying here. Hey, thank you, Slayer. I appreciate it. Thank you, Slayer. Harrison said, do, your, do yourself a favor and quit. Your stream is quite sad that you do this with 30 people in it. Dude, chat, little does Harrison know 30 people is like... That's really good for me, man. That's really good for me. So shout out Harrison for the love in chat. Shout out Harrison for the love in chat, man. I appreciate that, Harrison. He said, I actually feel bad now. Dude, Harrison, 30 viewers is actually like top notch for me, bro. 30 viewers is actually higher than usual. So we're cooking right now. We're cooking right now. Show them the ban button. Nah, bro. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ban someone if they if they don't like the stream, you know what I mean? I mean if they start saying crazy shit, then they'll get banned, but just saying just saying like, hey bro, you suck is not like I'm not gonna ban him for it. I ain't gonna be soft skinned like that, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so uh, let's see. Do we wanna do Gwyn over, bro? Do we wanna take a Gwyn over? Do we take Gwyn over for maps one through three? Maybe just just control or like just HP. Uh, da dude, Danny, I'm going, I'm going scissors back to back to back, Danny. I'm going scissors back to back to back. I don't think you're predicting. Oh no, I said paper the first time. So I guess I'm going scissors again. I guess I'm going scissors again. Give me scissors. Never bet the Gwyn under. Skid Row Mixie for sure. Dude, I can see Gwyn hitting the over on this map one, dude. I could see, I could see Gwyn hitting the over. All right, chat. We need two more picks, man. We need two more picks. I need someone to, someone sauce me something, bro. Someone sauce me a pick. Oh shit, Danny coming in with ten gifted. Yo, Danny, that is absolutely insane, bro. Thank you so much. Can we get more W's for Danny in chat, bro? Can we get some more dubs for Danny in chat, man? Thank you so much, Danny. A BZ more on uh, what do you think, Cohen? On the series, on hardpoint, on control, on search, what do we think? I won? Oh shit, dude. Let's go. I'm the rock, paper, scissors, go. A BZ more on the control? All right, dude. I I'm, I'm going with it, bro. I'm, I'm trusting Cohen. Hey, thank you again, Danny. That's way too, that's way too kind. All right, chat, we need one more, man. We need one more pick. Is New York or Optic game first? Uh, I believe the New York game is before the Optic game. Insight under? Insight under for what, Lax? Maps one through three, map one. Insight under map one, under 19.5, you think, bro? You think, do you think under? New York phase map set is out? Where's that New York phase map set? Now you're saying over? You're switching it up? I right, so you think insight over, Lax? Insight over 19.5? CDL tweeted it. 
CDL out here tweeting out map sets? Oh, wait, we got a Rio HP. Wait, we got Rio. We got Rio. Should we? Should I be taking the over on someone on Rio for FaZe New York? Lax, do we lock in this insight or do we go with someone on New York with an over? Yeah, Danny, I had to, I had to edit that video because uh because more people could see it now. Hydra over. Alright, dude, we'll put the Hydra over. And we'll lock that in, man. Bang! Chat, we're locked. We got attach and sib over, scrap and Kleenex over, purge less, Gwyn more, Abizi more, Hydra more. We're locked in, chat. We'll check back on this after and see how it does, but. We are locked in on that one, man. 30 likes already and matches haven't even started. Yo, chat, you guys are absolutely insane. I appreciate all the support a ton, man. Seriously, thank you guys for all the support on the stream, bro. I really appreciate it. All right, chat, we got matches starting 10 minutes. 10 minutes till matches, man. Four seeds are moving into the winner's bracket, and it looks like our teams right below them also somehow surviving in that loser's bracket. There is not a single match today that isn't super exciting. They are all equal across the board. Nameless, I think the big surprise is the people who made Ali dye her hair. Dude, the New York versus FaZe on Rio is going to be a banger, bro. Got that last win in the online Hydra versus Simp on Rio? Oh, Lord. I'm so ready. Majors, dude. Yeah, they're replicating what they I'm so ready. Draza and Sib, Abizi and Kiz. Oh, it's going to be so good. yesterday there's six and two map count throughout this tournament and some of the major pain points that they had online like control they were 0 and 7. that is the that is a fake purple yeah her purple hair is almost more like a gray it's almost like kind of gray in my opinion it is purple i guess when you look at it closer but it does look a little bit more gray i'm not gonna lie to you Kismet is a scary player. Dude, kids, kids can be him, bro. Kids can be him. Look at those stats, though, out of Diamond Con and Estrell, man. They cooked LAT, bro. I was so sad. I'm still sad. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm still sad, but they... They fried our shit. <laughs> they fried our shit, dude. I can't keep, I can't say it any other way. But now it's Estriel. They're playing around them, and it's working out in their favor. Another squad that we knew had the potential of continuing on to a Saturday is the Carolina Royal Ravens. If Sid is locked, you think they'll win? He got in the pool and the chlorine stripped the color. Oh, that sucks, dude. That's actually, that actually sucks. If she got her hair dye and the freaking the chlorine in the pool ruined it, I'd be so upset. LAG have not lost since they beat FaZe. Actually, bro, it's actually crazy. Dude, LAG, uh, FaZe better be scared if they got to play LAG at some point, dude. I'd be scared. All right, so Vegas, wait, so Vegas Ravens is still up next, apparently. Apparently, Vegas Ravens is still up next, so... You're almost plat three and ranked. Hey, let's go, Danny. You're cooking. Let me change the title of this to CDL Major 2 Watch Party. Change the title. Yeah, dude, there's beef here too, random. There's beef. Yeah, Lax, I saw that, bro. I saw that. That's actually crazy that uh, the Rocker boys were freaking had shots going off right next door to them. But I'm glad they're okay. I mean, not everyone was okay, unfortunately, but I'm glad they were. Has there been a team who hasn't beat another team? I think Legion. Uh, I think Legion Faith might be the only ones all time. 
Yeah, you're right, Shane. Legion have never beaten FaZe in the history of CDL, which is kind of crazy. Everyone thinks Vegas Legion, bottom tier org. A lot of new players are trying to like prove themselves. So I think that might be the only one. I think there's another team that actually hasn't beat um someone. Hold on, let me see. Finally get Vegas to champs. Hell yeah. Um, I think. I think um I think LAG hasn't beat Optic either. I don't think LAG has beaten Optic either. Heretics haven't won against Optic. Nah, Heretics beat Optic online in Major One. Yeah, Legion's definitely a bottom tier org. But this team is doing good. This team is doing good, man. Chat, I'm going to use the bathroom real quick before this starts. I'll be right back. You know, this team is a top four hard point team. They're amazing it with the deep map pool and in control there as well. Sitting six and three, six, six point seven, one percentage top four as well. So look to them to make a run. It's that Legion versus Royal Raven matchup going down on the main stage next, followed by our winner's bracket showdown. We've got Optic versus Ultra, Subliners versus FaZe, and at the very end of the night, the Gorillas are going to fight again, Nameless. Yeah, and I, I mean, they're just trying to build upon Major 1. If they get top 4, it's all because of Alley Diner here, Purple. I'll just be honest. <laughs> if you're looking for top performers in the building right now, I'm surprised to see this. We have Gwyn and Glacer in the top Two, all four members also in the top eight. I mean, wow. I, first of all, I just have to tip my hat to Gwen to just continue backing up everything he has to say about possibly taking over that Rookie of the Year leaderboard, but also all four members of Optic Texas being in this list. They're just that continuation, right, of being the top team coming off of that stage two qualifier. There's always those questions of like, well, how are you going to do on land? Well, they've shown us. They all played Miami. Yeah. <laughs> I just had to My bad, Miami. call spade a spade. The, the local squad? Yeah, they are. You're going to talk smack to them in front of their fans? Lock me in. Come on. All right, let's focus on the positive. Come on. The beat down of Miami. You saw Shotzi continue his run, but the rest of the team seem to be even more... It's time for an absolutely banger day, man. Let's go. What match is starting in five minutes? Oh, I'm so ready. Scroll back and look at the KD leaderboard. KD leaders. Oh, let me let me move my camera. KD leaders. So Clay, goddamn dude, it's literally Gwyn, Clay, Optic, Hydra, and Simp. That's actually kind of crazy. I mean, they've only played one series, so like, it's kind of uh, you can't look too. Dude, the craziest part, if you look at this scoreboard chat, the craziest part about this is the top five players all beat Miami. It is or that's like literally. Six out of these eight players just crapped on Miami. Everyone's farming Miami for, for KD, apparently, at this event. It's actually crazy. That's actually crazy, dude. I feel so bad for Miami, man. I feel so bad for Miami. Also, chat, I got to change that chat box color. I do not like that dark blue. Hard to read. These guys, they're built for, man. I mean, they they went down a lot of series, had the tenacity to fight back and win, and they put a lot of. What do you even do if you're Miami at this point? Do you get up on the Spanish team? I, I think you either bring in more players, like you could look at like Super from Challengers. You have Real on the roster, um, or you just blow it up completely and you just go with something different. When do LAT play? Oh, Danny. It's pretty terrifying right now. Oh, Danny, why'd you have to say that, bro? I heard LAT play uh, last series today. LAT are already in the finals. They're just waiting. Clay and Purge Beef, some of the funniest in the league. Dude, that, dude that's actually true. We got Clay Purge Beef. We got Gwyn versus Legion Beef. We got a lot of beef in this first series, bro. I'm so excited. matchup in the semifinals we also got a uh, march madness games on today right we got to start here with another elimination as we go from seven teams yeah we got march madness games on right now arizona's beating dayton not surprised out of curiosity as an lat fan how do you feel about the coaching staff um i like the coaches i mean i think like i don't know i it's hard to judge as a fan 
how impactful the coaches are, I feel like. Yesterday, they absolutely threw the freaking map picks. I don't know what happened yesterday, but... I feel like I still feel good enough about the coaches. I think I still feel good about the coaches. I really like Shane, bro. I feel like when they brought Shane on, the team looked really good. They brought Shane on back in, like, uh, Vanguard, and they started winning. So I really feel like Shane has a lot of impact. J-Cap needs to go. Yeah, people keep saying that, bro. Yeah, it's it's hard it's hard to judge how um like how how good you think how good you think a coach is or like how much you think a coach is doing for a team. It's really hard to judge. Nade needs to take over. Was not a good player or coach. No, okay, lax, chill, bro. J Cap is a top ten player of all time, bro. J Cap is one of the best players of all time. Coach wise, he might not be on the same level, but Cap was a really good player. Yeah, Cap has two rings, bro. Three rings if you count his uh his coaching ring. Faded? Bro, what? J Cap is one of the best players we've ever seen, bro. That dude won across like five different games. Five or six different titles. He made He's the only person to make three champs grand finals in a row. That, or no, him and Apathy are the only people to make three champs grand finals in a row. It's actually insane. 25th at best? Nah, you're faded, Lax. You're faded. That's actually one of the most faded takes I think you could say. J-Cap is without a doubt. Top, top 15 without a doubt. I have him top 10 almost without a doubt too. I had him 10 in my top 30. I think Alex and Preston might have had him 11. Simpin and Beezy did it three years in a row. Uh, no, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess that stat on the wiki is not correct anymore. I guess you are right, right? They did it in BO4, MW, and then Cold War. And Vanguard, wait. Yeah, wait, that stat is just not right. The CD, the COD wiki is lying to me. <laughs> its status is not correct. Chat, I gotta, I gotta look for lunch. I'm looking for lunch while we, while we do this. J Cat biggest nose of all time, dude. I don't know, bro. I could have him beat, bro. Look at my nose. I got a big ass nose. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Zuma also, bro. Zuma's got a big one. I'm gonna hit a 2x real quick, just in case we're like freaking a mile behind. Zuma clears. <laughs> I mean, listen, dude. Zuma can have the he can win the big nose battle. I'm not gonna fight him for it. I'm not gonna fight him for it. Hey, Danny, what the hell? Bro, how far behind was my stream? Holy crap. Oh my god. Why was my stream so far behind? I hope we go map 5. I want to see Rio, man. I want to see Rio. They don't decide to battle on that high rise once again. Instead, go for a Karachi, but it's because they're actually top three offensive teams. So they're going I want to see this real map four. Double Karachi's all right. Skid isn't bad. We don't see a ton of skid, I feel like. Attack Sib over is definitely going to hit. You think so? Skid row Karachi. We'll see, dude. We'll see. I hope it hits, man. We'll see if the chat's, the chat's prize pick hits. You're in Florida and your stream was way behind yesterday. Can you make it? Can you get mod? Correct predictions. Where are you going? Oh, I've been on point. If you guys are on, uh, you know, the picks, make sure you take mine. I'm going to mm -hmm. go with okay. the Las Vegas Legion. I think they get this done. Like I feel like Ravens always lose Karachi. It is true, dude. Coming out. All right, Alex, At least they're not playing Invasion. Uh, this is probably like the hardest match. So Did I add stream elements to my YouTube chat yet? I didn't, bro. I, I forgot to do that. I guess I'll go Carolina Royal Ravens. I did not. I have to do that. I got to write that down somewhere. Yeah, now what? You can't spell yeah, what? win without Gwyn. <laughs> Ravens might be the worst invasion team. They're like 0-8. Oh, you can't spell Gwyn without win. Well, 
They're like 0 and 8 Ravens on uh, Invasion Hardpoint. That's my pick. Um, we're done here on the desk. Let's send to the stage. With Guy there you go, Danny. There you go. All right, Chris. Danny has so the power right. now. Miami, I am so ready. Danny has the power now. Can you help me set this I trust Danny right? to use his mod powers Where properly. Yeah, dude, the this the 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 venue for this event apparently is ass. I heard a lot of people saying they went to the event and it's just super underwhelming. It's just like massive. They were supposed to have like a whole dream hack event at this uh at this like at the same time as this in the whole convention center, but they canceled the dream hack thing, so it's just COD, so it's like way smaller uh, or way more empty than it was supposed to be. Come on, man. Let's bring him out. Fantasy sheet should be updated. Hey, let's go, Lax. Bring out their opponents, and they don't matter who they're going up against. They'll take any gamble. Need Adam App, dude. Adam App is still a better comeback, bro. Can we get him back somehow? Boom, boom. Yo, show me Dylan attacks, bro. Yeah, there he is, dude. There he is, dude. Dylan attacks, bro. The most handsome guy in the league. For sure. I love Attach, man. I love Attach. I've been a big Attach fan for a long time. Boston. Boston was crazy this year. Yeah, Boston events are apparently really good. Yo, Loesh. How we doing, man? How are we doing, Loesh? I hope, you, I hope you're doing good, man. I really hope you're doing well. Hey, Lax, we'll see, man. We'll see. Maybe I'll give you the power. Dude, attach, attach age is like fine wine for sure, bro. That guy gets better looking every year, man. It's actually kind of crazy. Attach gets better looking every year, man. Yeah, the crowd, the crowd should be better today and tomorrow because you also do have to remember, yeah, like Thursday and Friday are weekdays. Some people don't, can't get off work, so they're gonna show up for Saturday and Sunday. So the crowd should be a bit bigger and louder on the weekend, but we'll see, man. We will see. Yeah, no, we'll never see uh, Attach's champs record broken. I don't think. The only way it would be broken is if someone picked up a rookie right before champs and they somehow won. That's the only way. Mm, I'm looking at I'm looking at food right now while uh while this gets started. Yeah, Loesh, I'm hoping we see some good ones too. Matt five round eleven. Who do you have attached or Clayser? Dude, attached for sure, bro. Attach Attach is one of the clutchest co players in COD history. Attach is one of the clutchest players in COD history. Kamala Harris figures your Ravens get 3 0 Yeah, then she was talking their time. Alright, here we go, chat. Attach kills Clay in the first battle of the game. Oh man, if that's not gonna be foreshadowing, I don't know what is. And into P1, we will quietly creep. Nero and Joe find their opening kills. Felony answering back, trying to get things going here again. P1, always a scrap fest. A lot of back and forth. But here on Skid Row, chances that top left hand side of the minimap we were. All right, we need Purge to not get a lot of kills because we have Purge under. Okay, Purge is on like a three spree already. Oh, poor fellow. Oh, Rick, dude. Rick's testing his limits. Oh, attached with three. Purge is already in P2. Okay, here we go. Purge is on a three spree. Uh, I think the prize picks are chalked already. I think their prize picks are chalked already, chat. It's a solid lead to begin things, and it's only gonna get bigger. Here we go into P2. TJ making the cross. Those are good nades to get Geo weak, but the bullet connection is just not there. He's done such a good job of staying alive, and the stuns are on point. 
How is Gwyn alive? Okay, he's dead now. This is a good this is a good start, bro. This is a good start out of Vegas. Gwyn got in though. Can Gwyn get the kill? Nope. Purge knows him die. Purge doesn't die. Yeah, Purge is in the hill, which is good, but he's still killing people, man. Purge, stop. I love seeing Purge success, but come on, man. Yeah, Purge long term is going to be a problem. When these two squads faced off, Vegas Peace. I'm all for. Did he just get stuck? Oh, no, I went through him somehow. Did these get 12th in both majors? They did, Tommy. They did. Thieves did indeed get 12th both majors, man. I'm down bad. Purge is 5 and 0. Purge drop of 4.4. Can you imagine? Oh, Purge. Fat Tease and Grayster. They're going to turn around. Don't worry. They're going to turn it around. I believe. Nero is cooking. Cooking. Dude, uh, Vegas looks so good right now. You know they want to be Gwyn after what he said, dude. You know they want to be Gwyn. Days look shaky right now. I mean, they lost against LAG and then they barely beat LAT. So I guess you could say they look a little shaky, but I still think they're going to be all right. Old enough to remember when Attach was the main sub. Dude, I miss sub Attach, bro. Zuma Attach sub duo is one of my favorites. I miss the Zuma Attach sub duo, man. Legion may be phased and losers today. Dude, if Legion can play like this all day, I mean, god damn. T just two kills, bro. Purge has died less times than freaking uh, uh, everyone has kills, dude. Purge has died once, and T just three. Yeah, dude, I wish Zuma would have played longer, too, man. I really do. It sucks that you have to... Yeah, you, I hate when I see, like, in pro sports especially, people have to retire like, due to injury. It's so stupid. I mean, it's not... It's stupid, but there's nothing you can do about it. It do be happy. Nero might be the best of all time. Dude, Nero does this, but then he makes like boneheaded plays and costs them that. So hopefully he plays a bit more disciplined today. Hopefully he plays more disciplined today. Had to retire from sports at 21. Oh god, they got it got you bad, huh? Oh, Gwyn's weak. They might break this. Oh, uh, they broke it. Oh, what a break. Oh my god, what a break. Oh, he was just he was just crapped on him. Yeah, dude, the round eleven, dude, they trolled against Ultra, bro. They trolled. I think Alex still played for KD yesterday, dude. Actually, I, I thought I thought RCDs was playing pretty, like, playing a lot better yesterday, bro. He looked like he was just getting more active on the map. Like he looked like he was actually like getting into more gunfights and not like playing his life as much, which I really liked. His damage was a lot better yesterday compared to the last few series. I feel like. Yeah, Purge still only had 8 kills. This is what I need to see, dude. I need them to keep slamming and him keep soaking up hill time. He, look, he's already at P2, bro. He's already at P2. I love it. Shaky star from Ravens, honestly, though. Really shaky star from Ravens. He just up to 7. I mean, everyone's negative on Ravens right now. Attach is cooking. Geo's cooking. Nero's cooking. Dude, I love it. I like this Legion team, man. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think Legion is like my second favorite team this year. I think Legion is my second favorite, bro. If we could get Attach... Attach, like, freaking... Give me Attach on LA Thieves, bro. Attach and Nero. 
Or well, honestly, like, dude, I, yeah, dude, bring me a Tatch and Nero onto the Thieves, please. Might have to drop Miami for Legion. Yeah, dude, Legion are so good, bro. Oh, he would have got that kill. Purge, stop. No more kills, Purge. No more kills out of you, Purge. Respect the prize picks. Purge. What was the over-under? I think it was like 40. It might have been like 49, actually, the over-under for a Purge. It's uh, 47 and a half. Under 47 and a half. Oh, Purge. Chill, dude. Chill. Right now uh, he shouldn't get much more, honestly. They should win on this next hill, so it should be over. They set themselves up. This is an embarrassment of a map one. It's an absolute purge masterclass. He's on a six spree, 14 and three. Dude, he's 14 and three. A tremendous. Oh, my God. Vegas Legion. An absolutely devastating. My God, bro. To start the series off. Dude, he just had like a 5 KD. What was that? 3.8? What? This guy's insane. Holy crap. Dude, Purge was like, I didn't do shit, guys. Good work. I didn't do nothing. Yeah, dude, they still haven't fixed the hill time on the scoreboard, which is just legendary work out of uh, Activision and Sledgehammer, dude. Three deaths is clinically absurd. I mean, that's ridiculous. Dude. Again, for Ravens, that's an I mean, look, 2,000 damage, bro. He didn't have to do anything. That's not a nice start. That's a bad start. There's no getting around that. Dylan attached, man. 3,700 damage. Lee in the lobby. Gwyn, least damage in the lobby. Gwyn's going to talk all that shit about Legion, and he's going to do the least damage in the first map. Oh, come on, bro. He's not doing anything fancy. Come on, man. He's just trying to get his boys to win. Absolutely. I mean, don't make any mistakes. 14 and 3. He is. Dude, actually, bro. That means his teammates are putting in incredible work, and it was. Right Has Sledgehammer Treyarch even acknowledged it? Honestly, I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you, Fueled. I couldn't even tell you. Dude, that's actually insane. I cannot believe they just slammed them that bad. I mean, that was like great slammage. Playing with extra motivation. Yeah, no, they actually, I think they are. Dude, I can't believe they slammed them that bad, though. Like, I thought Ravens looked pretty good yesterday. Like, obviously, they were playing Miami, but I thought they looked good enough yesterday to come out with some fire today. I thought for sure they were going to go out with some fire. This is not a team that is exactly proven that they have those capable bounce backs. I know there are a lot of Lanimals on that stage, but a devastating map like that, not going to be ideal to go into that map number two. Dun, dun. They made the adjustments in the pick and ban, so it's a new S and D map we're working with. So, oh, Chad, I gotta put up a TikTok, man. I gotta, I gotta put up a TikTok story to say I'm live. Chad, everybody say hi TikTok. Put hi TikTok in chat so I can show it in the. Show it on the video. Give me a couple high TikToks. So they so they believe me when I say there's people in here watching and they don't think I'm lying. Ravens asking for a little bit more. And I can see the time. Purge had three minutes and 40 seconds inside of the whole point. What's going on, TikTok? We're live right now on YouTube. Watch party in the matches. You can see all these people saying what's up. Hop in here. Link is in the description. We're going to be watching matches all day. Bang, chat. Bang. Good work. Good work. Hey, welcome back, Strife. Good work, chat. That was, that was wonderful. Hopefully, people will come in now. Because now they'll believe me that I say this people in here watching Kyle man they don't think it's just me by myself yeah strife you got gifted the sub bro you won one of the gifted subs you won one of the gifted subs strife that's actually insane because you were like i'll sub later and then you got the gifted it was actually i mean hey deserving how am i this far behind in the stream bro Come on, hey, man. Mr. Fundamental, you are not wrong, Jay. Actually, Ravens have to win this SND. They do, dude. They really do. Good shout there. And Chris, 
wants him to be the mayor of Vegas. Chris, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, I don't know how many hills there are in the in the in the Vegas area, but uh, he can take him, brother. But there we go, Purge. Nothing but love going his way, and rightfully so, Charles. I mean, look, he evaluates the right things in game. Dude, Lax, you actually did call it. As well. How can you set up a poll, Danny? That's a good question, bro. I have no idea. I've never been a mod on a YouTube chat. For me, there's a button that just clicks like engage, and then I click start a poll. So. And attention towards the w podcast this week hey thank you stripe i appreciate it record on this map all year long but they found their first we got back-to-back -back, uh podcast episodes with over a thousand views so I, we're, we've been living it up dude we're loving it the adjustments in the time that has been put in for carolina it's been shown raves about to get put to bed but we get that true test now again here we go map two Last time we saw this oh, new record purge 220 seconds at hill time. That guy is a super soaker, dude. Holy, holy lord, super soaker. We may not see anyone break that. I was about to say, I think that might be the all time record, let alone just from this year. Like 220, bro. He's soaked 220 of the 250 seconds. Oh, and purge is getting in. The playmaker on this map, he's already found the route and he's all but assuredly gonna get a freebie. He's getting active. Let's see. Not the first blood, depending on the action breaks. Down, but there he is perch getting active that's bombed down as well in carolina well nobody's around for the oh game. perch with two dude perch legacy series chat purge legacy series here we go perch said i'm rookie of the year boys i am rookie of the year oh my god attach is just wall banging win from the equation it's a 3v1 you can't wall bang that anyone know that attach clip bro you can't wall bang that that's a legendary clip, dude. That's a legendary COD clip. Yeah, Raven's gonna get to warm up, really, so maybe that's what we can chalk it to, dude. Maybe we can chalk it to them not getting much of a warm up. There's Perch, three on the round. Is he a one-trick pony? We'll find out after this. Well, I mean, if you're talking about one-trick ponies, Purge has a handful of different routes he works with. But we've seen him on Karachi on defense. He runs it down. He will run straight down mid, straight down any given lane, and he will go for these flanks immediately. We've seen him do it time and time again in Carolina. They just let it happen in round number one. He finds just an open avenue. Carolina Purge going no crazy, dude. This guy is... He's him. He's him. When the only one able to find a kill... Purge, this has been more of his bread and butter game mode, so he can do it on the kills here. Well, the Ravens have certainly woken up on the wrong side of the nest today. Let's see if they can right the wrongs in the defensive round now. 2-2 two -two split, very even down the map for them, 2A, 2B. It's a heavier stack towards B for Vegas Legion and Purge. Bomb down, smoke out. Can't make a poll, you need Lord editor or something? Great work there to start the round. Attach with the immediate uh, I mean, let me try. Let me try something, Danny. One second. Didn't even bother throwing a trophy. Just hard committed for the plan, and at least you get the trades. And in the meantime, Nero. Here, Danny. Tr you could try it now. See if you can make a poll now. I just like upgraded your mod, mod, them, mod ship. There's like two different levels of mods, so I just put put you at the second one. So see if that works. See ya. This is gonna be the. This might be, dude. This is gonna be a DoorDash series. I'm actually on DoorDash dash right now ordering food we'll see if this series ends up being a complete door dash you don't waste any time you don't bait out tax and aids you just go for it just to get the round over with vegas not wasting our time and purge might have sacrificed his life ravens are actually missing bullets yeah dude because they're not warmed up man also chat we're at 35 likes dude thank you guys so much for all the likes i really appreciate it what am i getting i'm gonna get wing stop bro i'm gonna get some wing stop in honor of optic gaming we're gonna get some wing stop really roll but when purge and attach are shooting like they are you'll forever be my boy what does that mean lax what are you trying to say looks like he's going to be alone but he's going to run into plenty of legion players well nice little square up as well purge taking the exact same oh. route this time clayster catches them so hmm. adjustments being made by the ravens oh. now plenty of map control the instant bounce back they were looking uh okay danny i set you back to what you were i don't know i only have two options so <laughs> you've now seen both nothing to do Ravens get back on the board, and again, if Purge doesn't even switch up the route, what Carolina flavor? Uh, I'm getting uh, 
much more efficient on that attack. What did I get? I got hot honey and I got hickory smoked barbecue. But I low-key might get... I low-key might get uh, two of them and save one for like later today or for tomorrow. Controller layover is dope. Yeah, the controller cam is kind of cool. Oh shit, Danny with another 10 gifted chat. Can we get some more W spam for Danny? Oh my god, this guy's going crazy. This guy's going absolutely freaking crazy, bro. Danny, thank you so much, man. Danny is an absolute gifted maniac. Thank you so much, bro. Seriously. Purge is four and two, by the way. This guy's crazy. Yeah, the controller cam is kind of cool. I feel like it's like useless for the most part. Like I don't really need to see that, but uh, it's it's cool. It's definitely just a sponsorship thing. They definitely package it in for their sponsorship deal with like scuff. Think the amount of subs helps your stream get pushed out too, dude. If it does, then Danny's really freaking putting in work, bro. Not a whole lot attaching the one versus three. You had fell into getting active at the right time just to at least make the attach one v three. Do we believe chat? Over by bridge, shooting just a pixel, but 22 seconds left. Nothing really attached can do. And you're searching for an errant kill. Oh my god, he's shooting through walls. Testing the wall. It's attached walling. So, who's plays claw? That is true. That is true. All right, he's gonna go down finally. He's going to go down finally. Dude, I love how... I, I got to figure out wh why the OBS goes off every time for the 10 gifted subs and not once for, like, 10 gifted. You know what I mean? Like, it goes off for each person individually and not just for the, the 10 gifted in the... In the, uh, the 10 gifted as a whole. Purge was able to just run it down, but Carolina team that has certainly done their homework playing off of that level of aggression... That doesn't mean Purge is going to stop and get active again on defense. Carolina 2-2 two -two split. All right, 2-2. Two -two. Ravens bringing it back, man. Ravens bringing it back. You got to tip it. Matash versus Clayster. Here in this long-range gunfight, but Gwyn might be able to get in there and soften up attach before the fight has to kick off. Very, very tight setup now from Vegas Legion. Eyes on both the bomb sites. 2-2, two, two. so again, anyone who gets into a fight is going to be have someone to trade it right away. Yeah, dude, I don't know why, uh, I don't know, I don't even know if that's OBS. That might just be a YouTube coding thing that it counts it one by one. Oh, careful, Dill. They're just going to make the move and go for it. No smokes, no trophies, just going to go and get this down. Smoke coming out after the fact, and that's to get him out. So Carolina end up playing this perfectly. Bomb down for the 4v4. Gwyn not getting active yet, and he times it perfectly. Catches Nero for the first play. Gwyn was the first Gwyn's getting active. All right, Gwyn's not getting active, active anymore. <laughs> See you later, Gwyn. Goes boom, Carolina Royal Ravens take the lead. For now, it's towards the bombsite. Oh, oh, is this going to be a... This might be a clinical retake right here out of Legion. Oh, my God. God. To take the advantage, Tej in and out has to win another battle. Someone get on the bomb. Seconds to go. They're gonna double back for the bomb. Wait. TJ might have done it. Dude, oh my God, Tej just won them the round. What are they doing? Yes, indeed. Superstar strikes with a fantastic one v three situation. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm feeling like Tej too. Man, dude, Tej, my God, dude. This guy just cooked them. Give him too much to work with, but. That might be the momentum they need. Yeah, that got him a cruise missile, too, so that's good. That did just get them the cruise. Yeah, dude, I don't know why someone he just didn't hop the bomb and the other guy just, like, held the archway. I mean, I guess they didn't know where Tej went, so he could have been, like, to the right or the left of the arch. I don't know. But, hey, Tej saved him, bro. Tej saved him. What will they do with it? Vegas on the attack over towards B. This is the only player that could spot out anything. The stun maybe connects with some intel, but if it doesn't hit, he just... Here comes the cruise. Wow. Bringing it out quick. He killed Clay. He killed Clay. Feeling like Teach. He curved that baddie too. Looking great. 
Clayster just getting in the way. Well, TJ wow. Bloody the way. So he that, the wrong I didn't see that coming, bro. I didn't see that coming. I'm not going to lie to you. From the Ravens. Similar story for Vegas now on the Purge has died more this map than map one. Oh my god, it's actually insane when you think about it. He's uh, trusting his teammate Geo just to watch the bomb. Bomb's completely free. No one's crossed over towards Bruce. <laughs> what does Miles mean by that? Ah, uh, dude. Who even cares, bro? Wait, he might get insane timing. Oh my god, he just got the most insane timing! Dude, what is that? Back to back post plant 1v3s? What is this, dude? Dude, that's insane. Back to back post plant 1v3s. Oh my god. What the hell is going on in this game? Dude, both teams are literally selling. This is crazy. That's actually insane. What was that, bro? Oh my god, what was that? There you go. Well, the cruise is gone. We're not going to worry about that for a long That's actually crazy. All right, see you, Purge. Red card. I'll see you, Gio. Oh, my God. I literally... Uh, dude, I can't believe that happened, bro. I can't believe that happened. Anything's possible. The touch is on 2 HP. Can he get away? Yes, he can. Covering fire there from Nero. 35 seconds. It's a That's crazy, two. dude. Clay holds it down. Nero's all alone now in a 1v4. There's there's no hope, right? I, look, Purge just twice as many deaths. Dude, Purge, he's, 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 he's just shocked, dude. He's shocked. It's over. Chalk it up, dude. Chalk it up. Chalk it up. Oh, my God. You just gotta troll a bit. Get it out of your system. Have some fun, man. Have some fun. Hey, that's not a fun moment. That's not what that is. That's not fun at all. Hold my monster. <laughs> Watch this cruise missile. I'm still trying to decide my wing stop order, chat. Because they have a deal right now where if you spend thirty dollars, you get a free six piece. But like, I, do I want to spend? Do I really want to spend thirty dollars? You know what I mean. But also, I could save it for later for tomorrow. So it's like, it could be worth it. And you have the bomb at least leaning towards the safe side. It's not going to be aggressive because it's 2-2 split right now. But long term, you expect this might be where the action is taking place. It's double stack, though, for Gwyn and TJ. So Carolina have made the perfect counter on the defensive end. Gwyn somehow managed to hop away and get one. Team's keeping you on your toes, honestly. Purge, you're in trouble now. Gwyn's looking for three. He doesn't need it. The teamwork is flowing right now as Gwyn and TJ on that side of the map. The tenth you want some wing stop, bro? All alone. That stack completely on point. If there wasn't three there, maybe things could have been different. But Carolina, again, the perfect strat in the moment. And Clayster, the PF flyers on. All right, Geo gets one. Doesn't hit a bullet. Geo gets one. Let's see it. Seconds to work with. Geo, Show me something, Geo. Not a fun situation. He has no intel on where these two players are going to be. But Show me something, Geo. He can get active to try to create just a little bit of magic. Yo, Junior, Junior how we doing, man? They're completely split. I'm yeah. doing good, bro. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good as well. I thought Gio was going to do it. I oh, might have had the creak of that door. It's possible. The bomb recovery. Dude, if he 1v3s right now, he didn't even grab bomb. Ah, he, Gwyn can see it, though. he didn't even pick it up, though. He didn't give himself a chance in this round at all. Why didn't he pick up the bomb? All right, whatever. Why, why didn't he pick up the bomb? What just happened? Yeah, credit to Gwen as well, getting that initial two piece, and then TJ and Clayster were both nearby, or felony rather, sorry, not Clayster, to make sure they stack the right side. So that is a nice blind counter. The intel coming through All right. from Carolina in another strong round. Ravens, well. dude. Ravens might be able to win this S and D. Out of your system, you're feeling great after this point. Oh, don't jinx it, brother. There is no five three curse. There is no five three curse. Yeah, I mean, there's no way they were going to let him plant, but... Search and destroy. Can they get it done? They've left the bomb. Don't need it. Don't need it. Dude, this is the Tej everyone's been waiting to see in Search, man. This is the Tej everyone's been waiting to see. He hasn't really had, like, many SND maps like this. Tej is not going to be able to get into the fight. Felony, though, from top. 
he might be able to get on that player and at least give Tej the space to work forward. He has that smoke as well to work with. Uh, purge again. He's getting active. Yeah, it gets caught again, though. This oh, time it's felt purge, dude. For it. so again, we have purge has died like triple no the amount of times he did in map one. What's going on here, Purge? Around it perfectly. And now because the kill came through over by the B site, A is completely open. It's going to be... Buffer, yeah. Yeah, who doesn't love a good buffer? A free bomb plant. And Clayster, not quite planning it for the default spot, but you can still check it from a few angles. You get pushed out P2, you got... Pickums need to update faster. Dude, they they take before their sweet-ass time with Pickums, bro. Carolina. I swear, they take it's days to update the Pickums website. Hit, which doesn't make any sense to me, because uh, I feel like it should take one down. person, like, literally five minutes to update the Pickums tracker. But what do I know, I guess? Just to stay alive in the map. Maybe it takes a lot more to update it. I don't know. Or maybe it's because they have literally eight employees that it doesn't work. All right. 1-1, one, one, chat. Absolute slammage in map one, but uh, they, they balanced it out. They balanced it out. When finished with nine kills, TJ ended up with double digits as well. So that SMG duo putting in some serious work. I know Clayster and Felony effect. Chat, our prize picks are looking um, not the greatest right now. Uh, we could the purge under could still hit from maps one through three, but we missed the Gwyn over. Gwyn only got 12 kills on map one, and we had him over 21.5. So the prize picks aren't exactly the greatest right now, but you know. But a great one there. So Purge unable to keep up his historic gameplay from the skid row hard point into the search and destroy. We need attached to keep cooking, bro. We need a big map out of attach for this map number three here. For the picks. For the bread. Purge under is a lock. Yeah, unless he unless he drops like 30, 35. Like, I think we're all right. But we need attach to cook. Um, so him and the attached sib over can hit. Whoever said Gwyn over can't help but pick him ever again. I don't even remember who said it, bro. Honestly, Gwyn over and HP did not seem that crazy, but they got choke slammed, bro. Yeah, no, that was a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid SND out of Ravens. Let's go, Ravens! Upgrade your game with a scuff. Let's go, chat. Come on. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, <sighs> the official energy drink of the CDL. Let's see, dude. Legion might slam them, honestly, in this control. Ravens aren't the greatest respawn team. Ra Ravens might ser or Legion might seriously just slam them. Making breakfast and editing. Hey, do your thing, random. Do your thing. You have 50 on purge under and Kleenex scrap over. God damn. All right. Shotzi under. Oh god. Careful, bro. You can't you can't say Shotzi under. You might get freaking roasted. They might come for you, man. You got to be careful. You have a 1k bet with your brother that Ultra win? Like, if Ultra win, you get a grand, and if they don't, you give him a grand? Or, like, you don't give him anything if they lose, you just get a grand if they win. Because that's not a... That'd be a crazy... That's a pretty crazy bet if you have to give him a grand if, you, if they lose. Did your brother pick a team, too? Or is it, like, straight up, if Ultra don't win, you give him $1,000? Oh, you get him if Optic win. Okay, so that's that's a bit more fair. You both got a team. How do I feel about the performance of the Thieves? Oh, Junior, don't even get me started, bro. 
Honestly, I said this when, when I first started the stream. If the thieves came out and just got shit on and like they got double first rounded, I'd be like, all right, like it is what it is. But the fact that they actually looked like they were playing pretty good and they still got double first rounded really hurts, bro. Like I thought thieves looked pretty solid on land. I'm not going to lie. The problem was Afro had some bad maps. Kremp had some bad maps. Nasty had some bad maps. Like they didn't really have maps or all of them did good. Like always someone I felt like was struggling, which I think hurt. But yeah, someone has to lose, man. That's a good way to put it. So yeah, it definitely sucks. I really think they could be better, but they just got to make more changes, I guess. I mean, they just got to... They make a little bit of a change, probably. Afro out, someone else in, and then... I don't know. You got to work on your strats a little bit, man. They both make it to grand finals. It becomes a $500 bet. Uh, okay. All right. You're big balling out there. Yeah, no, Afro's definitely going to be gone. I I don't see why they would stick together because they just got back-to-back -back top 12s. I really think this team could be better, but I feel like you got to make a change, man. You can't get back-to-back -back top 12s and not make a change, I don't think. Not make another change, I should say. Welcome back to the Call of Duty League. Straight into our scuff play of the game. We're giving it to TJ the Iceman with his brilliant 1v3. And it is just called... Oh, shit, Danny. Did you just hear that, bro? Did he just... Miles just called TJ the Iceman. Ireland or Belgium football? Are you talking like the countries are playing each other or like their leagues? <laughs> Which I think long term, maybe teach, don't call them in. It's all Thieves have back to back to back top 12s. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, probably, I would say Belgium. I'd say Belgium for sure. Over Ireland if it comes to na like national teams. Again, he's a vet player. I don't know what happened to the comms in that moment, but him and Clayster just absolutely having a little bit too much fun on the main stage, but they got the uh, the messy business out of the way. Now they're locked in. What do we got? Karachi control? Karachi control. Indeed. Karachi control. Map number three here in our elimination matchup. What are the records? You put 50 well. euro on Belgium in the second half now, 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah, I don't know how good Ireland is, but I do know Belgium is uh, is a pretty pretty good team. But I also don't know who's playing. Like, is De Bruyne playing for Belgium, or is he sitting out? At least, like, maybe 30 or 35 of them. I know Clayster has had an especially bad run of control for the past few years, like Vegas Legion last year when he was on the squad. Same thing. One of the historically worst control teams we have had, and well, they have not exactly Wow, that's a good control. Oh, my God. God, 19 and 2? 19 and 2 in control defense? He's sitting out. Yeah, Belgium should still be able to be... They have a B team. Maybe they could lose then. Maybe they could lose to Ireland if Ireland has their, like, A team playing, but... All right, man, come on. This is the only help he's getting right now, the support around the actual time. And, well, Felony was able to give you two, but he got naded off the opening break. Makes your job that much more difficult. TJ trying to make a play up towards B, but he's getting caught. Fellow right now, the shining light for the team, staying active, keeping that pressure on as the A capture continues. There's two players now in the zone. It's Gwyn and Clays to get the job done a little faster. Felony's four spree now continues, looking for five. Oh, he gets it! That was a very unfortunate moment there. Yeah, dude, Danny's out here making freaking money moves, bro. Danny, is this where you get all your cash from? Are you like a sports betting god? And again, you can see their idea too, just flooding the point. Glacier's not playing foul positions, looking for kills. Just get on the time and Oh, let's go Raven chance are out. Now he's gonna be top red. Decent damage done, but no kills coming through. Trying to wait for his teammates and the teamwork there. Perfect. Clay was about to get traded. TJ's got his back and Okay, Clay's cracked. He's shooting his teammates. But him and TJ, man, stay away from each other. Look I don't know. Literal blue on blue there, boys. Chill. You're in purge. Great defensive. Okay, wait. To cut his way through the defense. He now They're getting on B. Hold on. A single man for now, but you have the numbers to work. TJ's got to stay alive here. TJ, just lay down, brother. Just lay down. Two players in the long alley, one top red. Gwyn's hunting for a few of them. And TJ right now has to just be the motor mouth. Yeah, they're going to win this round, I think. Everybody off the intel from TJ. They're going to win this round. Now you get to stack the zone and watch it fly. Oh, damn. Okay, Danny, you got to stop betting, man. Nero, Kenny calls the damage. 
Here comes the third man on the stack, potentially fellow locker. Yeah, this is over. Keeping these players at bay. That's the round. Wait. Oh, okay. I was gonna say for a second there. All right, dude. Good offense out of Ravens, man. Hold on. Are the Ravens coming different tonight, dude? You saw the idea was all about the objective there from Carolina, right from the opening break. Barely any power positions being played. It is get on the objective and go from there. And for Vegas Legion, the night. Do not throw. Dude, let's see. Yeah, dude, wait. We literally just saw that Vegas were 19 and 2 at control defense, and they literally lose the first round. Some serious work. Now they're 19 and 3. See if Fellow can keep the blistering pace he set in that opening round. This time ago, Vegas Legion. Fellow eight and two. Good lord. Carolina Royal Ravens. Clay one and two. Clay Sir was just vibing, dude. What the hell? Anyone know how many kills Purge has overall? Uh, 14 plus 3, 17 plus... What did he have in search? Like 5? 6? I think he's sitting right around like 22 maybe. You know like 5 people playing in the Belgium squad? 6? So he'd be at a... Uh, 23 kills right now, Purge. 20, 24, I guess, because he just got another kill. Oh, yeah. Hunting him down. Come on, Vegas. Get active. Come on. I'm a, I'm a Dylan Attach fan. Let's go. Stop the clock. Get back on this A zone. But right now, you have opportunities for a few different players on Vegas, or uh, Carolina, rather, to go on these flags. Be able to get purge. purge, we'll see ya. Very least. Nice work. Geo from up top. Again, they've kept that A zone safe. One segment remaining and only 45 seconds on the clock. Carolina Royal Ravens holding it down here in Karachi so far, but the round is far from over. Lovely work there. Dude, wh why? Why do Ravens look so good at this control right now? As well, so every single player off spawn. Clay is going to be dishing out these comms to his teammates or just getting the kills himself. The longer he's alive... Ravens are looking good on control, man. And on a five spree as well, it would have been nice to get number six, but he just feeds the comms to his teammates. TJ on the flank. He might fall, but you get these kills. And right now... Oh, oh man. Fellow's piecing him. Fellow's 12 and 4. Pick it up. Big kills left, right, and center. Pressure on Clay. Nero with a seemingly infinite amount of ammo in the magazine. Fellow is 12, 13 and 4. Oh my god. Uh oh. I think Ravens are warmed up, man. I think Ravens are warmed up. And that is a gorgeous round on the defensive end. They win that opening break and just the coordination that they had. While TJ and Gwyn are working those flanks, felony time. They just subbed that. Oh, dude, they, they just subbed those three out, Danny. Your bet might be screwed, bro. They just wasted so your bet might be screwed. Time that you're not able to take your time and coordinate and get on the zone together. So Carolina keeping things mixy. Felony 13 kills in two rounds. Not too shabby, but every poppy picking it up there from Ravens. If I'm Carolina, I'm thinking about the objective again. Just bully your way through and straight to that A zone they go. Yeah, they wasted no time, no lives. Dude, I mean, attach is double negative, purge is double negative, Geo is basically double negative. Two players, Gwyn, nice coverage. Geo unable to find Someone help Nero out. Come on. Harm's way to even get into the fight. Good work out of the Ravens again. Someone give Nero a little bit of help. I think he's waiting for his teammates to get active, but Nero does get traded. Finally, his teammates stop. Okay, good kills. They sniff him out, read the spot to get the power positions as well, but the close junk spawns come through. Dude, Ravens are just winning all their gunfights right now. That's why they're winning. They're just they're winning every gunfight. going to be doing the same. The Clasers made it to the back alley, so the clock is being stopped. The objective is slowly going to trickle. The Clays on B. Oh, nice shots out of Geo. Not enough to stop it. Ah, Teej, <laughs> the assassin. Seemingly unstoppable. He's won another one in top red. Absolute demonic play as the three members of the Ravens... Dude, the Ravens are going to 3-0 them in this control. control. Looking a little bit uncomfortable with the movement up top, so he's going to have to... Oh my god, jump. Ravens are literally going to 3-0 in this control. They warmed up, man. They warmed up. ...looking for a flawless Karachi performance. Control has been a big problem for them, but right now, it's looking like their best help. They haven't checked every corner, though. Geo in such an interesting spot. I can't believe they haven't noticed that. Finally, Nero, there you go. A Nero behind them as well. So a couple of P's and Q's, dot and I's and cross and T's for the Ravens there on the approach. But not a problem. Gwyn is going to turn and hold these players at bay. The Dude, oh, if, if, they, if they win this, Gwyn is going to talk hella shit for sure. And the map is done. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. 3-0 in the control? What the hell's going on? Legion! Uh, dude, I need I need Dylan attached to freaking give some motivational speech or something, dude. What are we, what are we doing? Urge under hit? <laughs> yeah, that shit hit for sure. Dude, Attach might have chalked up my, uh... Attach might chalk my Attach and Sib more, though. I'm gonna need Sib to cook, dude. Sib is gonna have to put up insane numbers in order for that to hit. After that decisive Karachi control game, Vegas looked absolutely lost, man. They were stunned. Nothing to be had. I mean, it's just like the the little thing, like the Karachi special, right? We're watching Geo and Attach get the two dude. Kills per J Nassim is team. back, bro. God damn, dude. Six, eight, six, and eleven. No one even had two K damage on on Vegas. That's nuts, dude. They no one had two K damage on Vegas. Dude. Ravens, man. They look piss poor online, and look at them on land. Same thing with LAG. Dude, this game might be uh. This game might be uh fraudulent when it comes to online play, man. Maybe with the one, maybe with the 150 HP, because there's a longer time to kill. Ping really makes a big difference because every bullet count like matters. So I wonder if the extra, if the higher HP with the with people playing online makes a big difference. Maybe. Yeah, dude, this is kind of crazy. Clay is like, these guys are ass. Clay is like, these guys are ass, dude. We can all guess and we can all do our own best to improvise. I'm sure Reddit's already on it, but now it's dig deep time. This is what I wanted. That's true, bro. I'm I'm all down for some upsets, bro. I'm here for some upsets. One more map and they yes, and we get Rio HP. Has got to be something special. And we get Rio HP. Come on. Invasion search and destroy if they really want to stay alive in the series, but this is going to get very interesting if that Rio gets a little bit too hot for them to handle. Ravens looking fantastic. And look, it's not like I have my degree in orange hair psychology, but even looking at the player cams. Dude, this Rio is going to be a banger, man. Vegas boys just did not look comfortable on that Karate. Vegas should win this. That's the case. If the land are Vegas should win this. Getting to them because we've seen them on Rio. They've had strings together. Map four prize picks. I can't even do it, bro. Prize map four isn't even up anywhere on prize picks they built themselves a hundred point lead and it took the best hard point team in the game to be able to make that comeback ravens beat miami on rio they did but i don't know dude nero attach nero and geo go crazy on this map tough one for the vegas legion fans we've heard you come on give me a game five to start the day dude give me a game five to start the day Carolina Royal Ravens looking fantastic so far. And this is stage two's hard point. These are the break comparisons, Charles. Can you break this one down for us, brother? Well, both of these guys have just been fantastic. Part of this certainly does come to Wow, what? Played as well. These are the two best teams at breaking hills in, in, in stage two. That's actually crazy. This might be a, a break fest, bro. Maybe to play off the back foot a little bit and put the emphasis to the proper hills, especially P2 and P3, where you really want to lock down those back spawns. Oh, chat, there's nothing I like more than Rio Hardpoint this year, bro. Rio Hardpoint is by far the, the best viewing experience in, in this entire game. I don't think anything even comes close. Like, I don't think there's a map in this game that comes close to Rio Hardpoint. Miami Heretics. He came out on this map. He was shooting. That boy was shooting. Let's see if we can get the Thursday Legion on us here. They look good against Toronto Ultra. How will they look against the Carolina Royal Ravens? Into the hard point, we fly. Is Carolina looking good so far? They spawn on the preferable side, not necessarily the best side. There's the contest. And soon to be the time. Gwyn's gone around the world. Around oh, yeah, we'll see ya. Oh, okay, good kill. Uh, maybe I punk for that second kill, but his teammate's there to pick him up. Oh, dude. I, I miss Bo Cage, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought Bo Cage was fun. 
I know, Jacob. I know, dude. Thieves should have been just sitting pretty right now, doing nothing. But instead, they're freaking on the beach. Need KDB or Lukaku. <laughs> Some of it. Tuscan was a good map, too, yeah. We got a lot of banger HPs on Tuscan and Vanguard. A lot of really good endings. Or at least keep these players off the time and it's done over towards p2 we now wow 35 to 0 to start you've covered so much all right legion already got points we're gonna win there nero playing a deep pocket of the map and you also have attached pushed out incredibly far. nero insane timing let's go how do you play phase that close and then get stomped by lag i mean dude you could call it a stomping i'm not even gonna lie to you i don't know bro i don't even know Oh, yeah, dude. I actually really like watching Vanguard, Rick. Vanguard might have been my favorite CDL uh, game to, to watch. Yeah, Jacob, I would like LAG to lose, too. I'm not going to lie. But I would also love to see some upsets today. So, I don't know. I guess it's a win-win either way. It doesn't matter to me. Maybe it's going to be close to tied up, but... Vegas set themselves up pretty well, but they actually never got active and tried to push through for the uh -oh. spawn, so a squandered opportunity. Purge or Purge A to scene? What are we going to get? These nerves on the main stage getting to him as Carolina win that rotation. They do indeed. There was a bit of discovery there over towards the hard point. Nero? Nero, oh, he's just guessing all over the place. Looking at teammates, there's a lot of noise up there. Come on. Get active, Geo. Get active. Back in the hands of the Ravens. Breaks on breaks here. Geo now lining up for the hit. Trophy working overtime. Tej, he's been pushed back. Can you get into the hill now? Purge leading the charge. He and Gio yeah, no, the gap is crazy, Rick. The gap is crazy. I mean, just like Tron, he's trying to have himself a legacy series right now. He has been on point, and now Glacier just gets to be the super soaker in the. Attach has been top three this split, dude. Attach has been so so good. Bro looks like he's in his prime right now. Just like the Empire and well, that hill time, the final bit of scrap, Carolina get to run the score up. Are they gonna run the score up one more time? Because they had it to begin with. Lightning fast hit from Nero there. Gets Nero, the ten and six. And now the if Geo or Purge get cooking here, we can see uh we can see a really good Legion run, I think. New hard point, Vegas in control. One of them gotta get going though. Drop the rotation and they're not trying to drop the beat on this new hill. Vegas to get the back spawns on their lock and key. A couple kills flowing their way, and it is now just a full. Geo's just super soaking right now. Carolina trying to flood in through the back, but right now, Vegas, it has been a very comfortable hold for him so far. Oh, Danny, you you might be chalked, bro. Belgium are chalking your cash. Do I think Boston makes another roster change? Yeah, absolutely, Jacob. They, they absolutely have to make another roster change. I don't know what they do. I think it could be interesting if we see them bring in like Cami. Um, maybe another, maybe like Pentagram, Cami and Pentagram in for probably like maybe Snoopy and Priesta. I don't even know. Really set yourselves apart, and I know Geo, the man that was looking uncomfortable on the Karachi, only two kills so far. Yeah, I don't know why Geo's soaking. Maybe, uh, maybe Purge just said, "Hey, I'm feeling myself right now, so you you sit in hill. I want to cook." Tej keeping them at bay, keeping them on their toes. There's so much work to be done here for Vegas, and they are being drowned out by Carolina. Dude, Legion are playing. So, I'm Legion. Ravens are playing so good right now. Snoopy's the only player that looked good though. Dude, Snoopy just makes a lot of plays that I feel like costs them. Like he makes a lot of plays where he gives up map positioning, he gets himself killed, he throws away his life. Like he might need more time in challengers to learn. Like how to play his life better and how to play a little bit smarter and then you bring him back but at this point you're trying to qualify for champs and i don't know if you can spend the time working with him to try and like make the right plays at this point shotzi does the same thing but he does it i mean shotzi's just better i mean i shotzi's just better like you know Plus, Shotzi's a face of the league. I mean, you break in that cash, you know what I'm saying? And plus, Shotzi is an MVP player in the past. Snoopy's a rookie, so like... You know, Shotzi has a reputation, at least, that can prove that he's capable of playing really good. 
Come on, Legion. Give me something, man. Give me something. Let's go. Geo's getting a little bit better. 8 and 12. Uh, dude, if Geo gets active, they're winning this map. I'm telling you. Geo's got to get active. Attach making plays for spawns. He's going to go down now. He's snaking it. He's not. I don't think he's snaking it, but he's definitely uh, playing that heady. All right, good kills out of Ravens, and they have spawns. Dude, this kid, this kid pulled them ahead big right here. This hill isn't gonna make or break the game, but next hill might make or break it for Legion. Dude, I feel like the slaying numbers aren't anything crazy in this map. Like, I feel like no one's really got crazy kills. I mean, Nero's at 19 now, but like, I feel like I would have thought there'd be more kills on the map. For Rio? 300 seconds in? Uh, Preston had Legion in the finals, Lax. Preston has Optic versus Legion in the finals of his bracket. Come on, man. This is it, dude. This is it. Attach, keeping these players out of the bridge. This is it. They got to go huge here, man. They got to go huge. Geo, go big, man. Go big. Yup, that's one. Get another one, Geo. Yup, that's two. Look, man, he had maybe four kills on the first set of rotations in the second half. He has really found him. Come on, man. Legion fighting back. Geo almost even. I get EH8 and 8. Attached? That timing was so horrible. Alright, this this hill, man. We had a tie game, basically. This hill is going to be huge. Dude, I just want to see a map 5, bro. I don't really care who wins map 5. I mean, I I'm a big Dylan Attached fan, but I want to see a map 5, man. I want to start the day with a banger game five. Top of that little bicycle is a magnificent power position here on this hard point. Can James Eubanks keep Get in there. That's two. Come on. That's three. That's all four. That's all four, chat. Coordination for the stuns and nades there just to overwhelm the trophies. The break is important time to get it. But the Viper scrap is still good. Okay, that's a good win at a purge. At least he got one. Geo. Nero and Attach are doing their thing, man. Come on. Oh, chat. This might be a banger, man. This might be a banger. Although, I will say, Ravens did pretty good on this hill last time around. So, Legion might be a little... I might be a little worried if I'm Legion right now. They got to figure out how they're going to win this hill. Nah, this isn't a burger bowl, bro. This is like a mid-off. You know what I mean? This is the mid-off. Not really the burger bowl. Okay, wait. Oh, TJ's gonna kill him. They can win off this hill, man, Legion. You gotta break. Yeah, this is like a cheeseburger bowl, dude, or something. Wait! Big kills! Legion can't win here, though. Legion cannot win. It's gonna go back to P1, though. It's gonna be mixy. This is gonna be so mixy. This is it. Every kill, every kill is gonna is gonna matter so much in the next ten seconds. And look, Carolina are gonna be here first, but it is gonna be about a four second game for Vegas to win it. It is. Dude, Vegas might win this. Carolina. A, 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 a freaking. Oh my God, he just just cooked. This is it, man. This is it. Uh oh, it's all down to Tej. We're going five. We're going five, chat. Come on. We're going the distance. What a rumbling 
Let's freaking go, man. We are going game five. First series of the day, game five. Dude, injected in my freaking veins, bro. Injected in my veins. And my wing stop is almost here. Come on. My wing stop is probably going to be here before the freaking game five starts. I'm lit. Obviously, that's credit for the comeback. His teammates got Vegas 3 2. Yeah, I have a. Uh, I definitely had, Ve I had Vegas over Miami, technically, in my bracket. So I would like Vegas to win. Wing stops overrated. Yeah, I'm not the biggest wing stop fan, but um, chat, a couple people in chat said to get wing stops, so I went with I like wings too, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, I like wings. Dude, Purge ended with 23. Geo ended 19 and 19. That was a good regain out of the boys. That was a good regain out of Legion. Yeah, I mean, whoever wins this is probably losing anyway next map, but this is for top six, so you want this. Oh, random. I'm sorry, bro. Wow, look at that, dude. They were up 150 to 90 at one point, pretty much. It really was eventuality. It's not like crazy mistakes. Oh man, here we go, baby. Here we go. We're just certain players they could not trade. Geo picking up two pieces left and right. Nero was at one point a one man wrecking crew lighting up the kill feed. So the trade's not there. Yeah, that was a sell out of Ravens, dude. Saving Vegas in this series. Nero, Nero is cooking, dude. Nero is cooking. We're going to invasion, man. Let me look up the records. What are the SND records for these teams on invasion? Let me look. So, Ravens are three and one in invasion SND, and Legion are three and seven in invasion SND. So Legion have a lot more reps, but Ravens actually have a much better record in Invasion SND. So this could be interesting, man. This could be really interesting. Dude, we might get the Attach versus Clay. Game 5, round 11, one, one, uh, 1v1. Oh, I'll hit that 2x, don't worry. I'm probably like a year behind. They're probably already halfway through Game 5 at this point with how far behind YouTube gets. All right, we weren't that far behind. We were like 15 seconds, probably. Optic versus Ultra map set is out, chat. We got Karachi, Invasion, Invasion, Skid Row, Karachi. No Rio for Optic Ultra, unfortunately. Double Invasion, I'm sick. Honestly, dude. Honestly. At least we haven't seen Invasion yet today, right? So, so far, we're off to a good start. Optic gonna get 5 0 Holy, can you imagine? Right now... Wow, look at this scoreboard right now, chat. Look at this scoreboard. Let me refresh just to make sure this is accurate. Look at this scoreboard. This is what happened. This is what that map one HP did to the scoreboard. That's actually crazy. That's actually so crazy. Look at that shit. Hop in core. Dude, I don't like being in core during the matches because it makes it too difficult to talk to chat. I can't think when I'm like trying to talk to other people. Attach has been actually cooking though. These guys are going crazy. Oh, hold on. Let me drop a like on the stream. There you go, CDL. Biggest choke ever. Well, uh, what happened, Danny? Add a skirt emote. Dude, do you think they're ever going to get rid of the skirt thing? Or is it too much of like a meme at this point that they're never going to get rid of it? Oh, dude, game five. Let's go, man. My food's almost here, too. My food is almost here. It's literally around the corner. Nah, I don't think they could get rid of Skirt. I agree. I think Skirt is going to live on forever. He missed a free shot one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Damn. I'm sorry, brother. I am sorry.
What's going on in March Madness right now? Arizona is about to be Dayton. Okay, that's expected. That's expected for sure. Oh, chat. We're at 37 likes on the stream, by the way. Almost at 40. You guys are cooking. First series, almost at 40 likes. Bro, we might hit 50 likes today, honestly, for the first time. We actually might. There's the Gator. Look at your March Madness bracket. Is your bracket good? I haven't even looked at the brackets, honestly. I haven't looked at brackets since the like the end of the first day. Not the highest just yet, except for the fact that if you lose, you go home. Winner advances to top six. These teams looking to make a deep run in the tournament. Carolina, they entered into this tournament as the 12th seed. A victory here. They jump into the top eight. That is the threshold cutoff for champs long term. They you know nothing about March Madness. I don't know anything about it either, bro. I don't know anything about March Madness either. And you get to continue to play Call of Duty. Game five, though, for Carolina. Do really well when you start before Scump and Zuma. Honestly, bro, I might have to go live tomorrow at like 8 a.m. In the game five. This has been a squad that breaks down in Vegas Legion. With a yeah, game fives aren't great, bro. They're not good. For Carolina, it is not They're not good. I mean, honestly, neither of these teams are great in game fives, but Ravens are <laughs> Ravens are pretty bad. 12-hour stream tomorrow? Dude, we might hit a 12-hour stream today. Good Lord. With how, with, if we see a bunch of game fives, we might, bro. Six three finish, and as you can see from the records, I mean, either way, both teams have had their fair share of reps. All right, yeah, these are dude, those are the records for this map, man, for Invasion SND. So, a lot of reps for Legion, a lot of reps for Legion. Oh, Fellows game five is not too good. Yeah, 0 and 12 on land is pretty bad, bro. It's pretty bad. Their S &D weirdness Will I be in cord for the Optic fall. Ultra match? Dude, I probably am not going to, man. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I like being here and just talking with chat. In the middle of the map, it's only Geo that can watch over him. And Carolina not wasting too much time. They are clearing space. They are leaning towards A. Ravens win this. Dude, we did just see Legion absolutely chalk this against uh, Ultra the other day, though. Purge is that man right now. We did just see Legion totally throw this versus Ultra. Spots are there. But right now, it's Purge. First blood. Day one oh, yeah. Purge gives you two. Oh, he's, he's going crazy on main stage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Purge, dude. That's Purge J right there. That ain't Purge A in the seam. What a way to kick things off. What a way to start it. And can he close it with an ace as well? He's had eyes on Clayster. Is he going for it? No. I think he got his ace stolen, but it's all good. Dude, I think my DoorDash driver is lost, chat. They haven't moved in like five minutes. Game five like this. If there was any nerves he had, they have just been washed away. Looking at it again. Freebie first kill. Carolina. I think my DoorDash driver might be eating my food, bro. Not trade this man purge. Gunning them all down. Absolutely outstanding stuff. Wow. Good first round that a purge, man. If that doesn't get your team hyped, dude, I don't know. I don't know what does. They're doing another order. They already did another order. They dropped it off at the house, and they've just been out in front of the other house for a while. So, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, they don't eat my food. Dude, random. I'm sorry, bro. Hey, thank you. Yeah, Lax, let me know, bro. Let me know. Send me the leftovers. Dude, there's no way Vegas can lose after that, dude. There's no way. Can you imagine losing after that start? Uh, Clay, what are we doing? Oh my god, stuns galore. 
He's gonna get traded. He's gonna get traded. Trying to get into the fight, not without a pound of flesh. It cost him a lot, and he's have to pull back. Attach spotted as well. They know Gwyn is gonna be in this corner. They're looking for the trades. The nades coming through. Nice, good nade usage. Attach doing his job perfectly. Man advantage. Give me around eleven, man. Give me around eleven. I have the reads, but you almost don't want to give this bomb out. He's had to double back quickly, but it might not have been fast enough. Nero. What? Down. My God, Geo! Did, did Geo just miss e miss every bullet? How did he not kill him? Clay, just go to fuse, bro. Just go to fuse. On that bomb before it explodes, attached going for the chat. All right, that's two. That's two, chat. In Vegas Legion, that is a perfect round. Those players might have getting getting pieced up by the nades over by the tank. TJ might have gotten the first blood, but the trades are there in the read. Oh man, dude, I can't get over that purge, freaking three piece. How does that flank watcher want to play the rounds? Attach, well, so experienced now at this point, gets the job done. This freaking advantage, I can't. Carolina, you get opportunities. I can't get over that one. three piece. There's no trophies on the board, but offenses they get more tougher as the game goes on. Indeed, this trophy system's working brilliantly here. On this is the blow it up bowl, dude. Honestly, I feel like if Legion lose this, do you think they still make a change? Because they look significantly better than Major One, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like they don't look, it's not like they look bad, like, they look so much better. I feel like they're on, they're on that line where, like, they stake maybe they should make a change, but also maybe they don't have to. You can see just how concerned they are about Nero, but a player that is occasionally over child, patient. Now help them? How do I help them, Tanny? Yeah. What would you like me to do? How much does T6 make at champs? Like cash? I had no idea. I don't even know what the champs prize pool is. It's an old trick, but a good one. Playing against Nero, man. I don't even know what champs prize pool is. Belgium's doing a goalie sub out, dude. They they don't care anymore. It's over. With only thirty seconds on the clock, you're gonna have to start getting active. Five dollars. It's got to be at least five dollars. Less than thirty seconds. Geo having a back up. He's taking a hit or two. He's going down swinging. A lot of damage dealt, but that is still the site in control. For the Let's see. Can we see an attached freaking master right here? Well, so attached can't even get kills on the cross. Trying to make a play Whoa. through it though, but doesn't have the angle. It was a dead body, not TJ, and small feet on that man, staying alive. After okay, the there's one. Three v two now for Raven. Two v four retake. I mean, wait, he just picked up. Oh, he picked up another one. Gwyn on the side now. Purge moving forward. They wait, wait. Felony versus attach. Somehow just a few still just a fuse this moment 20 on the clock I can't believe felony made this play he wrapped so far around oh man attached and diffuse still yet to be touched the 15 seconds on it attaches there eyes are up ready he may have missed his uh attached could have diffused it bro doesn't want to be brought down by a stray gunfight I didn't get it attached could have diffused it oh man I guess he thought fellow was gonna chow him so he didn't diffuse moment for fellow attach if he hopped damn in. well he's on a five spree at least so he's one off the cruise players getting after it but maybe a small amount of good news for attach in a round that is a two versus four for the post plant he still finds enough kills that he's just one away from the cruise talk about making the best <laughs> of a bad someone situation. just yelled let's go daddy play but carolina just avoided what could have been a dagger round we found out that that was rotation from fellows only a rookie hops that yeah that's one of those things where it's like you're just you're just thinking they're gonna hop but fellows thinking you're not going to it's just you know take all the time in the world to try to get this extra kill other it's just a 50 50. you you either hop it or you don't oh no it's accuracy hops that every time bro again on invasion of cruise missile that kind of ordinance incredibly helpful one minute on the clock. I probably would have hopped it. I'm not going to lie to you. I probably would have hopped it. He crossed with that smoke. So I don't think Fellow knew he crossed the site yet. So I probably would have just hopped that shit. 40 seconds have gone by and they don't have any intel on any player position. Chad, I think my DoorDash driver is lost. They started moving and then they stopped moving again. I think they're enjoying my food. The smoke teaches him trying to get out with his life. 40 seconds. We're still clocked. Dude, that's crazy, Tuzan. You might be right, but that's crazy. TJ buying time. Ravens reinforcing now. TJ, check it. No, Nero, what are you looking at, bro? First blood. Now you just don't have time. Attach has been playing for a kill this entire time. Okay, Attach got the cruise. the cruise. But you don't have time. You got to get active. Purge finds an extra. But 20 seconds on the clock, they got to run it down. Make something happen here. Thank you, Lax, dude. I'm glad it tastes good, bro. His life flashed before his eyes. He's still alive, though. Oh, the pinch has been picked up. All right, all right. 
New York's event to win. They've been so impressed at this stage. Dude, honestly, I don't even know what to expect, really. New York has looked great. Optic has looked great. Ultra and FaZe have looked a little vulnerable, but both of those teams are great. Even with that little time on the game clock, Ravens cannot ice up. And Vegas right now seemingly can do no wrong. 7-0 for Attach. 6-2 from Purge as well. And you got a cruise missile. You got a defense. Vegas are in prime position to get themselves a massive lead. Just outstanding composure from Purge. They're at 6-2 and two in this game 5. Right, and they can burn it as much as they want. Vegas holding it together. The Ravens, though, we're looking towards the A-bomb site. Why do they have the shit chairs? The players get to choose whether or not they want the, like, the comfier chairs or the crappier ones. It's just because I think most of them is just if you want armrests or not. If you don't want armrests, you get those, like, dinner table chairs. Tiny Terror's eating my wing stop. Dude, I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. First blood and what should be a bomb down for Carolina, but taking a little bit too long and felony in the meantime. It looks cheap. Ball. Yeah, I mean, it's just preference. It's just player Space preference. Over. Space to maybe plant the bomb here. You still worrying about those other players from Vegas? Paul, a driver, dude. I might honestly send him a message. That's TJ's job now. Plant that bad boy. If Nero can catch him off the plant. You keep the man odds even. There's the hope for the retake, but the Vegas boys definitely have to work it out for him. He's staying very close to the site as well. Yo, Sparta, how we doing, man? How are we doing? Geo guns him down. Over to Quinn. Plenty of noise being made. Clay can't get a boost. Nero 1v1. All right, Gwyn got him. Gwyn got him. And Gwyn came very, very close to losing that round for the Ravens there. Oh, the DoorDash driver is moving, but they're going the other direction now. I don't know what's going on, chat. Nero just ready for this snap on the doorway chow, but either way, that is a big round from Carolina. You win an offensive one. I know the cruise is still in the back. They can't buy game chairs with that armrest. Nah, bro, these venues are cheap. I don't even know if it's the venues chairs or if it's the so far in this game five. If it's the the, the league's chairs or if it's Miami's chairs. I don't know actually who provides the the chairs. <laughs> you know, I don't know who provides that stuff. Huge amount of information gained there from Vegas, Legion off the opening break. All of the Ravens players seemingly made aware. Well, Vegas actually, they might have seen two players on the cross, so this is an isolation play trying to find Gwyn Whip it. towards P1. They know Gwyn is indoors. The cruise doesn't buy you. Wait, anything. they use the cruise. And in the meantime, they might you can't use the cruise and get nothing. Go! Virtually nothing. Over towards the A bomb site. Gwyn. They used the cruise and they got nothing so, from it. Michael Bay movie over here. Oh my god. Well, that's a wasted cruise, man. That sucks. Well, it's just a default round at this point, so the cruise missile completely. Oh, my DoorDash driver's calling, chat. Uh -oh. Oh, that's a knows what's up and they know the plays on a too oh, oh. that makes it a little bit more interesting nero can't finish it but clay can my god a series of unfortunate events in that round but we find the equalizer and that is a heads up play by felony in that moment clay's feeding in the cons they know the bomb is absolutely over on the a site Felony trusts it. He gets active, and then he knows that trade is coming through. He just slides away. Chat, she said they they sent her the DoorDash order after she had already drove to another place. So she's got to go back to the store to get my order. She never actually picked it up, even though DoorDash says that she picked up my order. So whatever. It is what it is. She's going back. She's going back to Wingstop to get my order now. So it looks like my order will be here in like 20 minutes, probably, instead of uh, negative 20 minutes, like I thought it was going to be. Making the adjustment, though, he's found a hiding spot over on the A Street, so he's going to wait for the timing, or maybe. Yeah, food's going to be cold now, bro. I, I could put a little DoorDash complaint in. I don't really care, though, dude. I just want to eat. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm just hungry. Trophy, so it is a risky play to attempt. Three, three, chat. Three, three. Purge trusting himself and his teammates in this moment. Yeah, this nah, the driver sounded like a nice old lady, though. I'm not going to lie to you. She sounded like a nice old lady. He could stop the bomb plant with good communication from his team. He could stop them getting out. 40-ish seconds to go. 
Vegas are trolling. Dude, they better stop trolling. They better not be trolling my guy attached, man. Is G Geo has like one kill, doesn't he? 30 seconds left. They're going to have to go towards A and purge. He's remained in this spot. Tremendous. What happened? You had stream muted? I was talking to my DoorDash driver and uh, Vegas are trolling. Might order some Dons. Hell yeah. Good shots. They know Clay's on tank too. Oh, purge fellow. Are you going to peek it? We're not leaving this POV. He might go big against Felony. His teammates through the middle of the map now. Nero sends it. Oh, Felony Clay. Pressure now on. The purge battle on the outside of the map continues. 25 on the clock. And now you just don't have time. He's going to close the door and try to make Carolina. Wait, he's defusing. Maybe he's just going to full send Quinn, though. Hey, okay, they got the trades. Wait. There for the trade. And with 15 seconds left, Vegas, they gotta fly. Ravens are gonna win this round. I think. Yeah. All right, Ravens with another one. That's 4-3, man. Oh, no. Vegas are trolling. What a banger. And these young players on Vegas people are trolling, bro. Coordinate in the way they need to. Purge makes the play, but Nero just overcommits on the chase. Oh my God! And cannot get it yeah, I want, dude. Exact. I want Vegas to win for my picks and for attach, but also I want Vegas Ravens so to win for for Clay. Are there, but the execution. Just a it's a win-win either way. Win. Although I would like the the pick 'em points if Three Vegas gets this. From Carolina and yeah, dude, bring attach to LAT, please, now, dude. To go on some I would love that. Three. Feeling more confident and getting a good chunk of map control as well. We've seen players clear out this spot, but Gwen is going for the sneaky one. This might be the round when no assault plays. LAT. Nah, bro. No, thank you. No, thank you. You can you can keep him. He's trying to check. If he sees it, Nero, is he going to oh, see him up there? He doesn't see him. Oh my god. Go Gwyn Gwyn might make a play here. Gwyn might make a play. Oh my good god, Gwyn, will you be gifted a pair? Information. Oh, Gwyn. One. Oh, good trade out of Purge. Wow. And Geo picks up Clay. All right. Legion, come on. Dude, Lax, honestly, I think we could do better, bro. I think we could do better. All right, they got two kills B Street. Just go. You got to imagine there's no one there. All right, 4-4, chat. Look at those two players go. Purge and Geo. <laughs> Sorry, Danny. Together executing in that round. Purge on the trade. That is Dude, AM, goal. this is a Wayne banger of a first series. Setting himself up for the two piece, but a big I couldn't ask for anything else. First Gio series of the day, game five, maybe round. coming all the way down to the wire. Gunning down one of the best players of all time and follows up after Lax, that. Lax, we could 2v4, kills. bro. Geo making plays. Asking you shall receive two from the rookies. All right, come on. Geo's turning up. Right place, right time, but not necessarily as lethal in the gun skill department. If you look at, dude, if you look at the scoreboards, you would think Legion should be winning this by a mile right now. All right, maybe not by a mile, but at least a round or two. Dude, attach Clay round 11 1v1 might still be on the books. And with number one and number two in the back of the map like this for Carolina, I think they're waiting for car. like Nero maybe to get overactive. They spotted him and broken a couple shots coming through, but no first bloods have fallen just yet. Oh, fella, watch your head, bro. Gameplay from Purge. Patience running out though. Fifty seconds on the game clock. They're they're giving up a site. I don't know if I like this out of Vegas. To find the space. But I mean, maybe they they they're confident in their their teamwork to retake. Looking for this trade. How fast can you get out? No, Purge. You got to look at door first there, bro. You got to look at door first. Okay, wait, wait, wait. 3v3. Dude, Dylan Attach might be making plays, bro. Dylan Attach is making plays, bro. You know the two players are going to be around Cafe. Hold it together, Gwyn. You know they have to cross. 20 seconds. Wins one. Can't be traded out. Felony now has to keep the bomb safe alone. Oh, Geo with a big two. And that's match Dude, Attach is not letting them lose, bro. Attach is not letting them lose. Oh my god, Attach is Attach will not let them go down. He's gotten the, the two piece in back. He will not let them go down. G1 point trades there. Nice shots on felony. And even though good kill, good shots out of Geo on the one, second guy too. Really good shots out of Geo on the second one. Dude, I'm pretty sure Geo was like one in four at one point or something. One more round. 
for Vegas Legion. Dude, Vegas have a chance at top four, but also, if they're playing like this against Ravens, they'd probably get shit on by a top four team. Like, they got to come out and play a lot better against a top four team than they are right now. Dude, I actually can't believe this is four or five if you look at the scoreboards. TJ finally makes the moves, but they know TJ is going to be by TJ's the beating the door down. Now the question is, I mean, Ravens have 22 kills, and Legion have 19 between Purge and Attach combined. Legion have, like, 12 more kills than freaking Ravens, and they're, they're only up by one round. Which is actually just insane. The Ravens are holding firm. And TJ's been left. Clay's are wrapping back, so... To make this hold on the defense. Why does Miles seem less happy than normal? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he he, he had a kid, so maybe he's just tired. <laughs> he's just tired. He's been doing dad duties for the last few months. So maybe he's just a little run down, not getting as much sleep. Or maybe he just doesn't like COD, bro. Maybe he doesn't like it anywhere. Oh, no, fellow. Or no, Gwyn turned. Gwyn's dead. Back over to Clay. Shots at range. Time is running out. Someone's got a bomb's going down, eh? He's trying to get active, but the bomb gets planted, and Nero still. Nero knew he was there too. Nero read it. All right, good kill out of Siege. Good kill. We got a three v three. Three v three. Thirty-five seconds on the clock. Geo. Thirty seconds, Chad. Thirty seconds. He's in danger. Purge through the middle of the map. Clay with a big one. Clay doesn't want to go down either. Attach one v three, and we're going round eleven. And we're going round 11. 11. Now, Miles had a kid, too. That's why Miles didn't cast for, like, the entire stage one. Miles was out, like, the entire stage one because he had a kid. Here we go, round 11. Yeah, here we go. Chad, I'm, I'm, I'm going to run an ad. I'm going to run an ad. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Can you imagine round 11, 1v1, I run an ad? That would be insane. Attacking round for the Ravens. Vegas Who has the ice, chat? Who has the ice? Is it Clay? Is it Attach? Dude, is it freaking Purge, bro? Who even knows? Purge also has 10 right now. I like this. I like this. Ravens getting a little bit active. Not playing scared. Do you try something new? Do you get creative? What do you do? Forget how to feel and just get out there. Come on, man. It's quiet. It's quiet. Attach sees him. Nero's going to kill him. That's bombed down. That's bombed down. Big moment for Vegas on the defensive end. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chat. It's okay. They say, hey, the same thing happened last round. The same thing happened last round. Legion got first blood and they ended up losing. So it's not over. They saw him cross. They saw him cross. Fellow just saw him cross to broken, so. Wait, are they running two SMGs? Oh no, Purge might be screwed. Purge caught out. Purge got caught out. 3v3, bomb going down. Wait! Two players grouped in the back, and maybe Nero the opportunity to make the flank on the play. But for a 3v3, Carolina, can they hold on? Dude, chat, wait. One more crack at it. Gwyn kills Nero. Oh my God! Ravens are, are Ravens gonna do it? They got 25 seconds. You gotta get moving. Fellow checks it safe. You gotta get active. Geo takes down Gwyn. You gotta get active, Legion. You don't got time. Wait, attach. It's over. Ravens win. Ravens win, chat. It's the Ravens. Oh my God! It was a split second decision, and Felony wins it. Oh my God! I cannot believe what we have seen. Oh my God! Legion, we'll see you fudging later, baby. Holy crap, dude! No, dude, Dylan, attach, my guy. Oh, attach, my guy. And Clayster is top six. The crowd goes wild for the old man. Dude, it was a it was a fellow attach round eleven. It wasn't Clay, it was fellow.
three. Attach a smile and bro. He knows he did what he could, bro. He knows he did what he could. Attach did to try to do everything in those last two maps, man. Vegas don't know that Tej was carrying the bomb for certain there. They don't check the body. Nero doesn't cover it well enough. Clay goes on the impossible. Wow. And with that, you're given that opportunity. Dude, can we get attached on LAT, please? What a round 11 that was. What a search that was. What a series that was. Can we get attached with Ghosty on LA Thieves? Come on, man. It's got to be a Clay interview, bro. It has to be Clay. They just got to keep bringing Clay interviews, dude. Who wants to see anyone else? Who wants to see anyone else other than Clay on the stage? Come on. Has been a, a spectacle to watch on the main stage, double digits in the map five. I know a pain point, maybe one that'll wow, dude. Wow, a few weeks, but that is not a performance. Yo, ho, Chuck, how we doing, Chuck? More so just credit for Carolina, rookie of the year interview. Yeah, dude, we might get Gwyn. I mean, Gwyn was talking shit after their series on, online, so PC check, Carolina. Hey, <laughs> right, little Neslo, little Neslo for the dub. What a series that Lil Neslo for the dub, man. Commiserations, Las Vegas Legion. We'll see you guys again in the online qualifiers for Major 3. But until then, wow. What an unbelievable matchup. Well, that noise in the background, ladies and gentlemen, is good news. It's our Monsters Winner Spotlight with Teej. <laughs> we got Teej. We got Teej. All right, guys. Give it My food's about to be here. Royal Ravens as they survive this elimination matchup. Teej, what a series this was. You guys come out on top. You take maps two, three, and five. Now, let's go back to maps uh, two and three there on the Karachi. You're making some big plays on the s &D. You're doing a lot there on that map. And you guys go into control, but how are you feeling to kind of close out that s &D going into that control? Uh, yeah, I mean, Karachi s &D has been like a <laughs> uh, lately, so um, we've been working on that map since we got to the event, and I uh, felt good to clutch it off that map. I think we went down 0-2. Uh, second map too, so I think we went down 0-2 both S and D. So to be able to come back from that, heading into the map three. And did that map three? The map three looked effortless. Okay, it was yeah, dude. Three honestly, the the Ravens you you control was insane, was like bro. They crapped on them. 3-0 instant. I'm sorry, was it? It was like you didn't expect how 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 they played there in that control because it was so easy. Why was it so easy? Yeah, they beat us on the map online uh, pretty convincingly. So we made some adjustments uh, on our defense, especially. So we'll come out with that map, and uh, we played it flawlessly. That was a really good map out of us. There you go. And then now, you guys, I want to say that was like your fourth or third s &D in a row for the game five. We know the struggles there. You go down 3-1. The cruise missile misses, and from there, you start to rally back. What was the comms like? What were you guys talking about? Yeah, I said I was streaking, and then Clay was like, Clay didn't say a word that whole round. So <laughs> I was killing him, and I think we ended up clutching that round, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, I've just been calling strats recently in s &D, and it's been working off, so... Okay, okay. Definitely does seem like it's been working out. Do Ravens make a change? I don't know, dude. I mean, you just got top six. But I also do think they could be, be I feel like there's got to be someone that makes them better out there, you know? Yeah, appreciate you guys showing support. Hopefully we make this Chat, my food is my food is here. I'll be back. All right, hopefully we'll see them on Sunday. Show some love to the Carolina Royal Ravens. Chris, it's a lot to break down. Thank you so much, Blaze. And Allie Nameless, if the day ends right now, I'm going to bed happy. We got yeah. one of the best series we could ask for here at Major 2, and it's Carolina, who is desperate for points, continuing on in our tournament. There are so many moments where this game could have gone either way throughout every single map in the series, except for the map number three. We pretend that one didn't yeah. happen, but the search and destroys in the series were stunning from the London Royal Ravens, simply because they went behind, excuse me, Carolina Royal Ravens, they went behind both search and destroys like Teach said and they made adjustments in the middle of the game and started crawling their way back just flawless gameplay out of the vet nameless we've always credited attached with this 1v1 prowess his ice today felony gets my mvp of this game five the man came through three different times for his squad are you kidding me chris i mean to start this map we put up a graphic and it showed his woes in game five point five he's had in game five so far this season he completely flipped the script throughout this one left in very difficult situations oh, yeah. one versus one versus attached where attached had that like weird timing where he could have sneak defused it or had the advantage on the gunfight he says i'm gonna take this gamble because i know how you like to play wraps the map ends up winning that round gets left in some crazy situations where it's like we need to get a blood we're in a three versus four situation fellow's the guy who gets the blood for them that kill on river was massive on purge towards the end 
Capello, man, this guy came to play in the clutches today. And you got to think it's because it's like a lesson learned, right? All of my notes from previous Carolina Royal Ravens games in Game 5 specifically was they would get information and do literally nothing with it. What do they do in this series? They mostly got outslayed when it came to this Game 5, but they took the information given to them. And what was Vegas Legion doing? They were leaving a site open for plant time and time again. And Carolina's like, you want to give us the free bomb lay? We're going to take advantage of it every single time. It happened at minimum three times in this series. And they were able to come back from a man down advantage even in that round 11. Yeah. Toughest draw for them possible here in the elimination bracket at this point. And Carolina gets the win over Vegas. Clayster and friends are continuing. And nameless, I was looking at the numbers. They were 12th coming into the day in overall points. What's the ceiling for the Ravens? They play New York or Atlanta, whoever loses next. I mean, I think they can make a run. If you're playing search and destroy like that, I mean, you look at the hard points through that series, The Rio was very close. They should have won that map, and Vegas is an extremely tough opponent. We went over the numbers. Vegas, at times, top four performer when we talk about respawn. So for the Carolina Royal Ravens, that momentum going forward, they can absolutely keep going in this tournament. We say goodbye to Vegas Legion. They are done, but they have enough points to stay in your top eight for now let's take a look at your bracket of where we are at at major two four teams left undefeated in the winner's bracket and up next we will see subliners versus phase followed by optic ultra and we still got two more battles to go in the elimination bracket alley oh yeah we still have to watch and see who's going to go down and meet the carolina royal ravens and lag who has been waiting for their match for quite a couple hours now if you're having fun make some noise miami when we come back we go yeah. to the winner's bracket new york takes on Atlanta after this. I'm having fun too, Chris. God, I underestimated how much food I got. Well, not like it's a lot of food, but too much to carry at once. With a scuff. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. Start the season strong with the Call of Duty League Pack. Grab yourself the CDL operator, weapon blueprint, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in game now. Drop my chicken sandwich on the floor. God damn. I'm struggling. All right, Chad, I did it. Food is secured. Food is secured. That was a uh, freaking dude. I didn't realize how much food was going to be in that bag, man. But early in our seventh circle here, there's still 30 teams left. You don't have any resources. Get to the zone. We got the we got the the, the, the wings. We got fries. We got chicken sandwich. There are so many squads. This is unprecedented. Being able to see this from the Codcaster is so special. Oh, we're lit, chat. We are lit right now. Chat, what are you guys having for lunch or dinner? What are you guys eating today? If I could open this ketchup, that would be lovely. Optic gonna slam Ultra? Dude, I'm ready for it, man. 
I'm ready to see something, man. I'm ready to see Optic go some, do something crazy on land for me. Japanese curry to cure the hangover. Nice. That sounds good. Got nachos in the oven? Oh, that sounds good too, dude. I love nachos, bro. Nothing because you don't want to spend money. That's fair. Do you have uh, anything at home? <laughs> I mean, I guess you have to buy groceries too, but... It'd be cool to see LAG win. Dude, if LAG win, that would be legendary. That would be legendary. FaZe looks shaky. Bold prediction NOSL beat FaZe and then LAG beat FaZe. Oh my god. Dude, if LAG beat FaZe again on LAN, like from online they beat him and then they beat him on LAN, that'd be insane. That would be actually insane. Where am I looking here? It's Mother's Day, all right? Call your moms, all right? And maybe I'll call them too. Dude, Krim is so funny, bro. Obviously being one of those players might have a little dance. Taco salad for lunch. Philly cheesesteak for dinner. Nice. I'm going to eat this wing stop for lunch. I got leftover chicken parm for dinner. Why is LAG so much better on land? Dude, I don't even know. I really don't know. That's the best gun in the game. That is the best gun in the game. I actually don't know why they're so much better. Selium is going to drop a 1.5 for the loss. Oh, Lord. Can you imagine? Dude, if, if FaZe lose to LAG on land, bro, they might need to blow it up. I'll say it, chat. If FaZe lose to LAG on land, they might have to blow it up. Rancher blue cheese? I got blue cheese. I like both of them, but I like blue cheese better with, with wings. I like ranch a lot, don't get me wrong. I like ranch with pizza, but I like blue cheese with wings. I also got boneless because I'm sitting at my desk. I don't really want to like get my hands all disgusting. I usually would get bone-in wings, but... Considering the fact that I'm sitting here on stream, I really don't want to have to use like a thousand napkins. I don't know if anything can save Surge. Dude, Strife, you might be right, bro. Optic versus LAG Grand Finals. That would be... Uh, that would be the a, a wet dream for Optic fans, bro. If they got to face LAG in the finals. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine? I have a plan. Ranch is better for most stuff, but with blue cheese. Dude, when blue cheese hits, it hits, bro. For sure. There's this one blue cheese I got at the store one time. I wish I knew what brand it was, but it came in like a literal glass, like little glass, like jar sort of thing. Oh my God, dude. It's so good. Yeah, I need a Sib Masterclass for the picks, man. I need an absolute Sib Masterclass for the picks. What did Attach end up getting? Attach ended with 19, 24. Attach ended with 32. So I need Sib to drop 70 in maps 1 through 3 for this to hit. I need Sib to give me 70 through the first three maps. Yeah, phase intro is not good. Prize picks wouldn't let you add money. That's weird. Was it just giving you an error or is it like not allowed in your state? Yeah, New York intro is good, bro. 
percent. The last time these guys played, it went all the way to a game five. It was oh, dude, it's definitely possible for Sim to hit 70, especially because they're playing Rio, map one. If he drops like 30 on the Rio, 35, that'd be crazy. That's weird, Coda. I don't know why he does that. I've heard a lot of people have issues with prize picks, so I'm not really surprised. He's an allowed in Denmark. That sucks. Yeah, it looks like the New York team we've been waiting to see sort of since the beginning of this season. And the thing about New York right now is they are getting so good at search and destroy off of the back of Kismet. And not only that, they just have Hydra on their team. One of the best search and SMGs in the entire um, game. So for New York, I don't know what, uh, what control it is. It is high rise. It's Rio Terminal High Rise for the first three. Esports Awards Controller Player of the Year. He's got some numbers to back up. You have ATL 3-0. I mean, that's definitely bold, but honestly, I wouldn't count it out. Dude, the thing with the top four teams is, yes, they're so good, but we could just have three really close maps where the same team wins all three. Like, I don't think we're going to see FaZe or New York and come out and absolutely stomp the other one. But it's definitely possible we see a 3 0 here just with close maps. Let's take a look at our Monster Energy pregame as Hydra gets his earbuds ready. New York subliners, you gotta stay hot. Ignore that loss to Optic and keep going with the... Energy. Yeah, Ultra's intro, I think, is the best slacks. I, I agree. To put this into perspective of how unique it is, is they don't have anybody that's carrying the bomb over 50% of the time. That means they're consistently changing who has it, not letting the other team get a read on them when it comes to those maps 2 and 5. And that's really important when it comes against a team like Atlanta FaZe, who has no attack plan. And you can see their second and post plant win percentage. Well, guess what? They also get the bomb down. Some of the most in the league at top three. So on offense, look for them to get those bombs down quick and make plays. It could be a battle of the SMGs at the end of the day. I'm looking forward to Kismet. And Did you know they can't have their phones on main stage? Uh, I mean, that makes sense. I guess I never really thought about it, but that makes sense. I guess you could be getting fed, like, information through your phone, you know? Very good. And honestly, it hasn't even been the SMG duo. Because, like, even if your phone is in your pocket, there could be, like, a thing. Dude, imagine. This would be high-level cheating, bro. You have your phone in your pocket, and your coach is like, hey, anytime your phone, your phone buzzes, that means they're, like, hitting this side of the map or something like that. And they only text you when they're going on that side of the map and you use that to cheat. Or if your phone buzzes back to back, that means they're hitting A bomb. If it buzzes once, that means they're hitting B. You could do some insane cheats, bro, with the phone in your pocket on main stage. Yeah, Monster Energy pregame, don't get phased. Own four versus Toronto, New York in series one of five at S and Ds versus the top four teams. I will say, you know, for Atlanta phase, a BZ, this has been off stage for him overall. Yeah, they said it's exactly their mom texting him. Can you imagine? Second lowest on the team in terms of engagement, something you don't really expect out of him. But when they did go, Chat, I gotta say, Wingstop fries. Might be the worst quality fry I've ever had, but they have good flavor. Like, this fry is just like a wet, like, potato. It's literally just like a wet slice of potato. But the seasoning, the seasoning is good. Yeah, Dixon, we're the Patriots. McDonald's fries? Dude, I will say, chat. In and out French fries are actually the worst fries. In and out French fries are so bad. If you don't get like cheese or like the the in and out extra shit on top of it, the fries are just literally ass. They're cardboard. In and out burgers are really good. In and out fries though, that shit is terrible. That shit is terrible. We were so close, but it was Allie catching up. She is now just two matches back. So that means Allie has to go first. Allie, who are you picking in this one? Actually, I think I'm only one now from you. You're two matches Whatever. back. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm going to catch up anymore here because I'm sure we're all going to go New York subliners. You're going subliners. Atlanta face. Going out. Phase. Wow, she's surprised they went phase. I am going with the subliners. I had them to win the whole event. Merck agreed. Let's see what they get done right now. Guy Blaze, it's all you, my guy. Oh, thank you so much, Chris. What's the drink? I got a Coke. I'm so excited. I went with a Coke. As it's time to light up this stage in yellow. I like Coke a lot, bro. Coke is like a. I get cravings for Coke. It's weird. Like. I don't usually crave soda. I like soda, but I don't usually have soda cravings. But sometimes I get a craving for some Coke, bro. Some of that white stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
Petra. The New York Subliners ready to get it done. New York has been hitting their stride. The newest edition Sib has been frying and respawning. Classic Coke is a solid choice. Yeah, bro. I like so Coke. Damage and everybody around him in search and destroy as well has been putting down Coke is the greatest hangover cure. Six and one. Really? Prove it on that stage. They've been there before. All the I've never drank Coke show. while hungover, so I guess I can't really say. Yeah, it's time to bring out them demons from Atlanta who ain't ready to play no game. I will say every time I drink soda, I always feel bad because I know how bad soda is for you. But God, I love the taste of it, dude. Coke and a greasy burger will fix a hangover. Hey, Lax, are you wilding out, bro? Oh, shit, chat. We're also at 40 likes, yo. Thank you to everyone who hit the like button, man. I appreciate it. Second series is starting. We're at 40 likes already. God damn, bro. We got a long... What is... What is Maven wearing? The elves. Dude, I think, I think the elves dressed Maven today, bro. I think I think the elves got Maven dressed this morning. I'm not gonna lie. Why we love you? Honestly, looks like the remake of Malibu's Most Wanted is about to come out. Honestly. Yeah, no, that's that's basically what it looks like. But focus now to the match. This one, yeah, went the distance. We expect this to be a match of heavy hitters. He's next. New York Masterclass. All right, we're gonna see, bro. We're gonna see. This should be absolutely sensational. What are your kind of opening thoughts about this match of these two teams? Well, I think when you look at the maps, that it's. Dude, you don't like seeing Maven's thighs, bro? Nah, dude, I want him to show more. Show me more thighs, Maven. Has been so strong there. And then even for New York, uh, show me more they thighs Skidrow versus Boston. You know, a couple of days ago, they opt to go for Rio, which is a, a great map for Atlanta face. So True. there are some map, you know, just higher than the sky. God damn. All right, Lax, let's go. Just one of those things where if you look at just the stats, you're like, maybe why didn't you pick this? But uh, draw is going to drive a point four. Dude, I hope not, man. I want to see draws fry. But also, I need Sib to cook. So maybe I don't want to see draws fry. Dude, this should be a banger, dude. Oh, we also have Hydra over on map one, so we need Hydra to hit the over on this map. We need Hydra to hit the over. We need Sib to fry. And then I think we have a BZ over map three, so. Here we go. Who's going to make it to our winner's final? A battle for a guaranteed top three. They go the distance last time. It's a BZ. Mr. First Blood, Mr. Opener. That's three for a BZ already. With a triple and uh, not all four is Sib. Able to pick it up from there, but due to the play for a BZ, you get a nice setup here early. This is a New York Jordan map. Dude, well. Bays yeah, are uh, apparently pretty good at it too, though. Series versus LA Thieves picked it up really on the second half, but he knows he's got to play better, and he has throughout Major 2 qualifiers. So he finds a nice double, but you get to flip if you're phased. You have 25 seconds. You're getting more and more. So this is the best start you could ask for. Yeah, I think one of the questions maybe with Faze recently is, uh, I don't know, were they guilty maybe of playing down to their competition a little bit in some of these recent series? Will they turn it up when they're playing like a team like New York, or are they just flat out vulnerable right now? All this we will find out pretty soon. Yeah, come on, Sib. I am sure, but, uh, Hydra 0-3 to start. Not start. what you want to see out of Hydra. I just said we had the over on Hydra, and he's 0-3. They've got the control. Pressure on New York to try and break. Yeah, no, they're going to go. Hydra with his first kill of the map, but that's going to start. Bro, a busy chill. He is locked in. Finds a double. He's up to six. My God. Four. So a great start. A BZ cooking. Selium is so far pushed up. Who it's picked Hydra up. over? Uh, I don't remember. And this is what teams are getting better at. Controlling this P2. Pushing out. Layering the map. Making this so difficult to break. And I think if there's anyone... It's okay. Hydra will get going. going. Like if you're in New York, you do not want a BZ to get going early. I, listen, he's been a little up and down at times. And that's four dead. Goddamn. Is gone one. When he is winning entry, you picked Hydra over, but I, I will say, Lax, I'm pretty sure we got the bet in before they might have updated Rio. 
I don't know, actually. It's, it's over 24 and a half, so. Hard point so far here for FaZe. Can they keep it up? A couple of players do spawn out, though. So, now it's on Abizi to recognize this. Oh, okay, dude. So Abizi's frying. Subliners responding and now putting the pressure on. Yeah, Flip, maybe it's a little bit too early if you're FaZe. You, you can't hold it long enough to set up for next, but Abizi's just sort of waiting, lurking, waiting. Dude, they look the good right now. The pounce, when the rest of his teammates ready to get forward, but it's high you know something's crazy when Celium has the most deaths on on FaZe. Celium has the most deaths on FaZe right now. When have you ever seen that? It was 21.5. Oh, so they updated it on my end too, bro. What the fuck? I thought I locked in 21.5. Price picks is shocking my cash. But I think you know you break that hill up if you are Atlanta Phase for New York, you find some time. Now you're down only around. Come on, Sim. Should have went inside over. Honestly, maybe I should have. They're gonna be set up at B4. But before we get ready to go. All right, New York, man. They might uh they might pull this back here. Answer, maybe get a lead change if you can get a solid hold here. One lurking towards mid. That's going to be Sib. Then maybe you can play the disruptor. But here we go. You're getting close and personal real fast if you are phased. The flank coming through though, it's Sib with a chance to break this up. Doesn't finish the first. Oh. the wrong corner for the second. So still Ooh, draws. You are phased. It's draws with two. Yeah, he's able to stay alive inside a box. Is what draws. Oh, uh, no trophy on point. Matches based on those pinches. But behind draws. Oh, high just he eating nades. Able to find a third sim off a spawn. So oh man, New York. He's on five in a row. Oh, New York. Cell shooting bodies. Cellium shooting bodies already, chat. <laughs> Stellium's already shooting bodies, and we're only two minutes into this map. Draws is cooking. Ravens beat NYSL next round. Oh, Lord. Or not, so they decided to go back to top bridge, but they are cut down. So another break comes through a four Atlanta phase. You don't see this often. How's a big one? Slow start here, six and thirteen, able to find one, make it two headshots in a row. Maybe they get going. Almost snaps onto a third, but sell him. He's gonna win those. As well, they're just trying to fight their way back into the game. Probably All right, New York making this a little bit closer. New York bringing this back a bit, which is good. Difficult, but it's set now. Looking to pounce, getting the angle, taking the fight. But not quite finishing off this second. So lead still hovering around that 60 point advantage with Hydra killed Kismet. Let's go. Does that does that count? Hydra forgot to turn his monitor on. Oh lord. Well, I mean, I think just the first couple of hills for FaZe were perfect. And then, you know, it could have got a lot worse for New York, but they're able to bounce back. But the, the break there at P5, I think mean, that's the difference maker for Atlanta FaZe right now. Why they hold this a large lead. He had a couple of chances if you were subliners, maybe to tie the game up. But the breaks are on point. You know, I mean, you just look at the slang right now. Draws. Draws is frying them, bro. Draws is frying them. What is that going to come into play? But it feels like he is locked. This is going to be like a 6K damage game out of Draza. Even though he had like a 9 and 27 like triple negative map, he still had like a point eight five and was right there on the damage watch with the rest of the team. Like he still battled back so he can be resilient. He can show what he's capable of here as he's plus 10 as well. But some solid time and maybe spawns currently. And that's all dead. For the next hard point. If you're Kismet, you're at least able to take out a Dude, FaZe are cooking them on P1. What the hell? Pushing through once again. It's gonna be the pressure from Draws. Trying to get the openers for them. Make this staggered early on. Set things up maybe for Sip to make a play. Yeah, and then Sib now just playing his life. When does that cruise come into play? Sib though, he's gonna be on the cop car position. Nobody in the time for now. It's sort of a battle. Kismet 17 and 17, by the way. I didn't even peep that. Kiz is doing good. Use the crew. So we see this, but look at Kismet number one. He's gonna find him inside. There is a quick trade, so you still have the crews in bounds. Okay, he killed his teammate, but it's all good. Messy, but it will lead to a break and control for phase. Yeah, first I thought I was like, what a read. I thought he was picking a mid <laughs> for the push coming through, but no, it's to get mid and call the streak. But you survive it, you find a flurry of kills behind that now and sell him. He's on three in a row. You're pushing this lead out once to, once again as it's gotten up to 80. Sip trying to push Yeah, dude, they're gonna be at 190 points, man. He will drop, but 
This is great time on a P2 Skies hasn't been great. Skies hasn't really been good on this map, I feel like. I feel like Skies has been struggling a lot on Rio. They have done it so, so well here on the main stage to start the day. Now still that 90 point lead on <laughs> He goes on a 3-3 as soon as you say that, too. So. Corner on the hill will be Sim. So a nice setup here, but it's been the phase breaks. Can New York cash in on an Oh, Cell's still shooting bodies. We'll see if they can do it. Cell is still Cell shooting still bodies. And now trying to track back Sim with the opener trying to give them numbers. Sim. Dude, Sim we'll see, dude. If Cell if they end up like winning the event after Cell starts shooting bodies. That's just like, that's insane. They usually say you shoot bodies and you lose, but with phase, it's like you shoot bodies and you win, I guess. Dude, Kismet is just begging for Hydra to help him, bro. I just know Kismet's like, please, Paco, please get some kills. Oh, good kill, Kiz. Oh, okay, there's no one. Optic's gonna win the major, dude. I, well, I'm excited for Optic Ultra because today is a big day to see who's in form. New York could tie it up with this hill, though. Kiz just picked up three. Dude, I should have took the over on Kiz, bro. Kiz is gonna drop freaking 50, dude. What the hell is going on? Kids and Draza are cooking. Are FaZe choking? Are FaZe choking? FaZe are definitely winning and slaying right now, but... Dude, yeah, they're lit. It's the case is 1v4 right now. It's just literally trying to 1v4. Hydra can definitely hit the over. He needs six more kills. Honestly, during the listen in is where you come roaring back if you are subliners now down 30 and you kind of heard them on phase like let's slow it down really set up this break is they're trying to get forward get through to the hard point trades abound trades like all over the place the board, not many left around trades the all over the place and finally a double kill out of draws he's still got this wait he's got another cruise draws is on 34 oh my god Sort of combo to get New York back yeah. into the game. Yeah. Only down 30 now is Atlanta phase with the extra crews to work with. Just with this is exactly what you want to see from Draza. Really starting to take oh man, now cutting them down from up top bridge. No, he just bailed them out. It felt like it was unraveling, right? Like wheels coming off. They're starting to struggle. Selium's on a five. Uh oh. Uh oh. One away from streaks is New York. Uh oh, New York. What's happening? Uh, New York's falling apart right now. New York's falling apart right now. But you're in the point. You're set up. You've got mid map control. Can you hold? Simp is going insane. Kismet's doing everything he can, bro. Kismet's breaking hills on his own. He's trying his hardest. Hydra, please pop a three, bro. Get in the hill! Get in, New York! Ah, uh, dude, I think it's shocked. It's shocked. Oh, the prize picks are chalked, bro. The prize picks are chalked. This is what we saw with this map set, right? You know, not taking... Oh, man. Chad, our prize picks are not going to be hitting, bro. They did not pick. They opt to go for Rio, and you can just see how strong Atlanta phase is. And I think, I mean, listen, New York, they just start out a bit... Who could have predicted the Hydra was going to start like that, though? It's really Kiz, who, you know, was popping off, making plays, going on sprees, the multi-kills going his way. It was just a little bit too late. Yeah, and uh, no, you said like that four and five. Damn, 33 deaths. Draz right hit the 6k damage like I said he would. But Draza, moment after moment going I said Draz was going to get 6k and he, he came through. Damage. 
35 and 23, 24 non traded. Abizi started out like 8 and 2, and he ended 23 and 23. From Abizi, you had some big multi kills late from Sip, some nice stretches from Sally. Nah, not your fault, Lax. Not your fault. It was 21.5, and we picked it, so I don't know what happened. I mean, he bailed him out with that last. Now, the, the line was 21.5, and we submitted, but I guess they changed it right as I submitted it, and it didn't notify me. I don't know. We were literally looking at it on stream, so I don't know what happened with that line. I thought it would tell you when the line changes, so I don't know. Oh, uh, dude, Kismet was doing everything he could, bro. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's just an in individual play that bails you out. Well, it's my good buddy, uh, Sam LaRue said, you know, uh, weeks and weeks ago, like, it was what, after Rocker beat Ultra on Rio, Rocker beat... Ultra Ravens Ultra knocking Rio, NOSL out two majors in a row. Can you imagine? It's possible, dude. It's possible. You could have taken the kids over, honestly, dude. Dude, I'm going to start taking the draws over on Rio. I swear, Draza hits his over on Rio every time. Draza got like three Drake missiles during that game, bro. And this was sort of that ending moment where you sell up top bridge. He goes on another spree. Simp with some great plays, great finesse, avoiding the stuns, playing his life. Yeah, draws the shit to bed next to Rio. He got crapped on in that invasion, too. Oh my god, that invasion the other day? Holy crap. No, it's certainly, it certainly has. Homie got stuck in the invasion blend on Thursday. It was a little tough for me to hear it, honestly, at times the crowd was going when New York was rallying back, but. Oh, dude, I love Drake Missiles, Lax. Wow, New York didn't lead at all that entire game. Dude, who doesn't love a Drake Missile? You know what I'm saying? Take our time. We need a break. They saw getting away from him. And sometimes I think in hard point. Homie has a literal missile, though. The late game moments like that, they didn't take a breath. They let it get away from him. All those close games they lost in these past couple of years. Yeah, Drake, must have went, <laughs> Drake must have went on a six kill streak or something, bro. Like, because goddamn. You probably want to rotate there earlier. <laughs> he had a shotgun. Holy shit. In, but does it really matter? They get the victory in map one. That's too funny. But now it's really interesting. Terminal S and D, similar to map, the map one choice here for New York, for FaZe, it's like you have... I don't know if Sib is going to respect our pick either, dude. Are the or our prize picks. Terminal S and D, they're undefeated on this map. You and your boy talked about Drake's missile for two hours? Oh my god. The rest of the pack where they've been so so good on this map. I mean they're girls never listening to Drake, honestly, dude. I mean kids and Hydra here. This is My one friend told me my one friend told me that uh his girlfriend is the one who showed him the, the video, the Drake missile video, and I was like, brother, you're cooked. I was like, brother, you're cooked. Your girlfriend should not be showing you that video. That ain't your girl anymore. That that ain't your girl anymore, dog. CDL over the course of the five That's Drake's girl now. More often than not, I feel like they've been considered the best search team. Yeah, there's been my one friend, honestly. But, you know, you lost both. I'm sure I don't even have one friend. I'm lying. I made that up. That's not even true. I have zero friends. Subliners. It's been their bread and butter, and looking to keep it going. Yeah, nine and two throughout stage two. Phases search on a couple of maps. I think really what you're looking at is a high rise in invasion where start to fall off a little bit. Uh, I think you go one and two in both of those online, so those get a little bit worse, but you have such a deep map pool, still seven and four solid for them. But you see that conversion rate, 83% for subliners. After they find that first blood, they're turning it into wins. Well, we'll keep eyes on the first bloods. We'll get ready to head to the airport Wait, terminal. Let me put Coming my food up, inside real quick. This best of five, eh? wild day of action ahead of us. If uh, the first series is any indicator, crowd is packed. We're building for Dude, chat, I have so game. many. I have so much Wingstop to eat this weekend. It's actually going to be kind of crazy. I'm going to be eating Wingstop the entire weekend. Right into this one. It's a winner's round two match. He's moving back to Alaska? God damn. Yeah, that's, pre that's pretty far, Lex. Or, uh, that's pretty far, Tuzan. Can the Bulldog get going? Or the first Blood Lord in a BZ be the difference? Yeah, you've only played this one. All right, let's get it. Come on. You're sitting at one and oh. I got phase in the pick them, so honestly, just keep winning. Of the time. So the thinking is here, right? You've been working on this in scrims. You have something. Yeah, this map could be interesting. Phase might have a lot more to it than we've seen, or also maybe they just won their one time they played it, and that's it. What are the two? I'm sure. We'll see if they've got some secret sauce. It's Kismet. 
in a position he can be so lethal just playing for info playing his better join a league dude did the lakers need a center bro what is he doing our subliners number seven deep security as we sent that's going to be in a deal with the two that are trying to push through but they're trying to double team him kismet dealing with the kids might get ripped off a heady bro but two on one on one side and the three on two here towards the side uh hello what is that how did he stay alive so long yeah i mean that's just it you buy enough time and then sip he's able to find the players on the flank and there we go i gotta hit a 2x too i haven't hit a 2x in a minute i'm probably three rounds behind at this point dude there we go every time terminals played the stream freaks out Ooh, that's weird terminal cooking people's computers what's going on for the next kind of movement right you know you're trying to get out yep just thinking a step ahead and that cost him it certainly ends up costing him sell nice run out of him with two great job from sim kind of staying alive when he was about to get two on one two with the security push through watching the b-side defense for now two two split and set up your macbook freezes every time you write a message oh lord for information or a pick and the pick comes through it's sim able to drop one all right sim keep getting kills dude keep getting kills them use that spot hydra likes to use it you know watching the flank waiting for the pinch but it turns into a first blood cell trying to even things up but Sib is ready for it ready for the next gunfight maybe behind that with how weak he is but he's ready for both Sib doing such a good job while that's going on they're gonna get active play inside oh double hit in play. mid they know there's just one player on the opposite side. watching on a 75 inch tv let's go Draza lurking underneath for now but everybody here he's got three players this side to deal with backing up to get to the action Will uh you're dead see you later guys oh my god draws is pissing draws is slamming right now last alive 20 to go watching at times square get this bomb planted and sells gonna spot get the rips in but can't finish it so it looks like this plant's gonna be going through he just doesn't know where the other player is now he does and yeah, now he does now he's oh, the God. tries to use the movement to pop Oof. dude draws is cooking right now bro that guy must have that guy must have been hanging out with dan ghosty before this series because good lord just trying to push it back and like sibs like i'll give up five feet i'll give up five feet once the elves are playing for draws bro just using the environment is prone to the table cells thinking maybe but they're doing good for once him. great job from sib first blood and playing his life in yeah that was a big ego challenge so i guess he thought he was screwed either way but three in the round and that first blood face i mean they almost had the time i think it was hydra who was a mid hall he wasn't watching the jet bridge and that just allowed draws it a sib on a three they dealt with the a damage. cruise missile isn't exactly as useful on this map but uh all right well he's he's dead anyway <laughs> he's dead anyway as soon as i start talking about it numbers a chance here for phase and that should be a kill here for a bc wow you get the information the second he shoots you're lurking on the other welcome back danny yeah we'll see dude hydra brother turn your monitor on dog Turn your monitor on, Hydra. Honestly, I'm okay with this, though. I got, I got FaZe uh, winning the series, so I don't really care, to be honest. If he wants to get cooked, that's fine, bro. Let FaZe move on to my pickums. Dude, this is a big pickum for me, too, because Alex picked uh, New York to win this one, and Alex and I, I think, are tied in our pickums right now for the season. So I would love for New York for uh, FaZe to win this so I can get an extra win uh, over Alex in the pickums. One a little slow to get going. Zero and three here, but at any moment, like a lightning strike, he can erupt and take over. We'll see when that moment may come. One of the best at lurking on this map. Dude, we need a controller cam for Hydra to see if his his is even on, bro. And it's aggression. They're three hitting this. This could be really good or really bad. They're trying to shoulder it. I thought maybe he had a freebie at first. Wall bang. Wall bang's in. Do 41 damage. Nate comes through. Can he take out one? He's at least able to do that. Draws it from the back. It's one. It's two. Hydra got bomb. All right. 2v2. Two two. Two for one if you're Atlanta phase. You take that all day. Draws and a BZ versus Sib and Hydra. You no, know, he's just lurking burger. So he turns this into a two on two. Once again, such a... Oh, BZ. Good off angle. He's just playing his life with the MCW. Back and forth we go. We aren't snaking, but we're definitely popping up. Okay, I kind of like this out of Sib. He got a little, he got a little aggressive. Too much. Sib, one v two. 
35 to go. Someone yelled Sib, I know you're nervous. Ah, he couldn't run. He got the bug. He got the post plant bug where it doesn't let you run. And yeah, just those first bloods, I mean, the fact that Simp's able to find one, he gets wall bang, he gets Yeah, Lax, you're cooking in the pickums, bro. Ground. You're cooking him. Ravens over in onliners, dude? Dude, subliners, man. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. He gets, well, he hit for one. They don't look yeah. like they have any map control. They don't look like they're shooting back. I mean, Sib is the only one shooting back this map right now. I'm hoping you get one or two of your draws, but yeah, the fact he's able to get a kill... Huge in that scenario. Not not fun. The gunfights when you're the crowd is just screaming, bro. The crowd is yelling at New York. It's maybe it's getting in their heads. After the massive map one. Yeah, it's been the first bloods here for Phase on on offense, leading the way. They're gonna go right back up to B. This could be a very oh, BZ screwed, bro. Three man stack for now for New York. Trophy gone. Zib climbing the ladder. A BZ. How is a BZ alive? Starts all the trades. Oh my God. Trophy is gone. Another one takes its place. And well, Draza in the position finessing in there. Okay, Hydra got two. Cellian looking over him. Always one more player here for Phase. They trade a fish. Buffer. Big buffer. Efficiently, you're into the 2v1 now on Kiz. L event. Yeah, this event apparently has not been that good. Really turn the tides. A lot of the people like on the flank and stuff that like went to the like have been to the venue are like, yeah, it's kind of boring. He does not cut down on the cross. Faye's starting to roll in this map too. Dude, who would have thought that Vegas Ravens was gonna end up being a better series than this? Maybe uh maybe New York turns up, bro. Maybe New York turns up. Yeah, we do need a UK event. Very familiar with comebacks in this scenario. What is the venue name? I don't even know, dude. I literally have no idea. Can you turn it on? The belief system's gotta be there, but Honestly, it's just no life out of anybody but Sib right now, really. I have no idea what the venue is. Struggling. The Bro the Broward County Convention Center. B R O W A R D Broward County. They're working the triple hit towards that. Come to Ultra Event, dude. I wish. It, it, plane tickets are so expensive, bro. Loach's going to the Ultra Event. Oh, let's go. We got a couple people that are going to the Ultra Event in here then. Yeah, he gets dropped. I'm guessing 99 Ks to 69 Ks. Dude, Kids is the only one sh really shooting back in that HP, though. Kind of in position verse three, another big gunfight win there. So I do got to give it to him there a little bit. Numbers in this round. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, between a rock and a hard place. I'm not sure how he's alive. Finally, he will fall, fall up easy alone. And you know, all right. This one really bad. All right, all right, all right. This is one of the yeah. better S and Ds we have seen from him, just individually. Yeah, the plane tickets are pricey. I would love to go to every event, but obviously that shit costs money. You gotta get hotels, like you gotta get lights, like you gotta pay for food. I ain't out there cashing out like that. Everything's expensive now. The world sib, good chance to win it, and he's doing that here. Seven and four now. Sensational map, but still rounds the claw back into this. Any more adjustments? Or yeah, dude. I. Need to do, you think, to what's it called? I mean, it's uh, New York definitely right? need. I uh, just feel. I'm, I still final can't final believe they dropped Priesta, bro. Me, so. So I still can't believe they dropped Priesta. It's yeah. actually so crazy because it's like You've you won three out of six here. events, bro. You won it three out of six. Like it's just so insane. You'll DM me this so week. All right, Lax, I'll be on the lookout. Sell kill the BZ. That's not the way you typically want to start it. Selium rips off a BZ's head, but Traz, you get fortunate he brings it back to a 3v3. Yeah, he's ready for <laughs> he's the next one. Traz is just so familiar with NYSL and how they want to play this. And after that, Sell finds both. Yeah, I mean, Sib is definitely a better individual player, but like, I feel like Prisa is just a, an enabler. He's a good, he's probably, he might be better at teamwork, better comms, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, random, bro. 43 likes. It says 42 on my screen, but still. Absolutely insane. Only second series of the day. We're playing terminal. You don't see that very often. It tells you something. Like, they feel good about it. And yeah, lots of VOD to go over of subliners and they are making it work draws and sell get all in the round one more round match point here for atlanta face 
back to the defensive setup with two players over at A. It'll be Draws and Sim working together. You know, if I'm a beast in cell here, it's just sort of either childish together or don't get picked apart by Sim. It's the only rounds that they have won is that man kind of carrying the way. Back to the same Save it to New York. I started bad, you heard? Over towards that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. That's not how That's not how you want to start. Did he get spotted? It looks like he did. So I think his cell was coming down the SCs. He's going to get found. Oh, man. First blood for Draws. Draws continues to have a series taken over in this search. I mean, one second. Oh, Lord. Fine, but Selium was rotating bottom. Just able to spot him. Just the game of angles. Dude, the crowd is really chirping at New York, man. The crowd is really chirping at New York. Capitalizing on the first blood, just got to do it one more time. And this map is done. Sell more information as he spots Hydra. That'll lead to the kill then for a beat. Bomb down. 1v4 for Sib. Let's see what he's got, man. And we'll see you later. Sell shooting bodies. Look at Sell, bro. Sell's lighting him up, dude. Still spanking him. Wow. 2 0 phase, man. New York are not really fighting back. That hard point was a little bit close because Kismet was popping three pieces left and right, but. Damn, dude. Probably not in the whole world. Joe might be the only one that. No, I'm a, I'm a native Dude, FaZe are insane. Dude, get Sib some help. Look at the the numbers. Look at the numbers. Sib put up 2K. The rest of them at 600. Leads the way in damage. Map one was incredible. His mentions on Thursday. Dude, you're not crazy for the 3-0 anymore, AM. God damn. You must have been. You were. You had the script or something. This is crazy. He's back up his game. He's doing it right now. No, it's really it. And I think if you look at sort of stage one and the way he played search, probably wasn't happy about Dude, it. Dude, yeah, New York cannot play Ravens like this because freaking Clay will beat them into the ground, dude. Clay will send Hydra packing. Screw it. Like, I'm going to jump out and get the next kill on the kids. I'm going to have a great idea where that next challenge is. Wow. Just his ability. This is slammage, dude. This is slammage. Every single situation, you're starting to see it here. No, oh, I mean, if it, the big thing was the bailout and the hard point, it's a couple round bailout. You're I actually can't believe this is happening right now. I really thought they were going to fight back. I thought they were going to fight back for sure, man. We went the entire distance to Sel been hanging with scrap, dude. Honestly, he might be. From last year have got to show their resilience. If they look to fight back, get this crowd riled up and make a run or to phase end it now. We get to the map three. Danny made a comeback in the pickums. He's tied with me. Oh shit. I'm throwing. Oh man. I mean I'm cool with this though. Like I keep saying, I got I got phase in the pickums, so like Dude, Earthless Maven's freaking outfit is hilarious. Maven's outfit is hilarious. Get better with the scuff. Get better with the scuff. Optic phase winners finals. We'll see, dude. We'll see. They gotta get their ultra, man. They got to get their ultra. It's going to be interesting, man, because we haven't seen these teams play in, 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 in two days now, right? Like, we haven't seen them play since Thursday. So, New York, I thought, looked good against Boston. And then they come out and they look like this. So, like, Optic or Ultra could come out slamming or they could come out getting slammed. Or they could both come out playing like ass. Who knows? This might be a quick 3-0, man. This might be a freaking DoorDash. Dude, DoorDash challenge might not even be a good uh a good word for it anymore because my DoorDash took like an hour and 20 minutes to get here. <laughs> so may maybe DoorDash challenge isn't really a good way to call it anymore. Might have to change it to like Uber Eats, bro. Is Uber Eats any quicker? She was too old. Uh, that poor DoorDash driver. I, I, she, she got me my food. That's all I could ask for. That's all I could ask for.
When you do pick them, you just do it off gut? Yeah, me too. Me too. I mean, I have whatever I know about the teams and their stats in my head, but I just, I just friggin' pick shit, bro. Optical tries the ability to be the best or worst looking series. Depends on how they come out shooting. Dude, honestly. Oh, man, dude. New York, can we shoot back a little bit, though? Like, just a little. Like, I'm all for FaZe winning the series 3-0, but I just want to see some, like, fight. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of fight. Uh. Apparently the Flanks uh, apparel drop that they did sold out in five minutes. Shout out the Flank, man. That's awesome. That's got to be so sick, bro. To have a community where, like, you drop apparel and it sells out in less than five minutes. Can you imagine? I don't know how many pieces they had, but that's a lot of freaking... That's a lot of to sell out that quick. I mean, come on. New York have not won a map one on land all season. Yeah, I mean, I guess they've only had, what, four map ones? Five? Four? Four map ones? You buy a Jake Maverick ball cap? Dude, should I get some hats going? Welcome back, and away we go. The action continues on, but a shout-out to Sandman Beach Art as we get ready to go. It's called Duty League on the beach and in the vineyard. That's a pretty cool, that's pretty cool sand art, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, just imagine me behind that uh, young drip god that I am. Yeah, something like that. Uh, I mean, I can't draw probably our logo on a piece of paper. No, no, uh, ever since uh, computers came to existence, my handwriting is atrocious. Yeah. Joe, I can't do much of anything. Also, Trey Zero dropped a uh, dropped his own apparel brand too. His stuff actually looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. If you haven't seen Trey's stuff, look at his Twitter. He's actually got some pretty cool designs. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're very comfortable in control. I mean, you look at the last well stage two. Outside of Karachi, you're undefeated. So we're going to high rise. They've been solid here. On the other side of the map, it's a great map for Atlanta Phase. Undefeated on the year, sitting at five and zero. But I think if you're New York, you're just trying to get somebody else going outside. Dude, I think Cell started shooting shooting bodies because Ake said they don't play cocky enough. You guys remember that? Ake literally said, like, after Major 1, that FaZe doesn't play cocky enough. And Cell has just been shooting bodies nonstop. So maybe maybe Ake's unlocked something in him. At least in Cell. I mean, goddamn. All right, this should be a good high rise, man. These teams are two of the best teams at high rise control, so let's see what they got for us. 511 is the best clothing? I've never heard of that. Reminder, this is a winner's bracket match, so a loss here is the team still continuing on and fighting throughout today and tomorrow. All right, I need a BZ and Sib to cook. I need a BZ and Sib to cook this map. Oh my god, he's shooting bodies already! Yes, oh my god, Cell is going crazy! Dude, first kill he gets in the map and he shoot He's still shooting bodies! Oh my god, dude, he still he was still going to shoot bodies there. Wait, that's crazy, dude. Cellium's wild now. Imagine they get reverse swept. Yeah, Losh, I agree, bro. I am so glad that there's no snaking. Dude, if they get reverse swept after all this body shooting, can you imagine the memes? Cell might never shoot bodies again if they got reverse swept right now. Imagine he just shoots bodies every time he gets to kill this map. Alright, that time he didn't do it. And as the trophies come online, now you start to be able to focus the objective a little bit. Oh, good win out of Kiz. Tries to be that hard kill, but it's clean headshots through for Kismet. Ooh, okay. So the fact that he gets two after two drop, at least... Yeah, dude, Cell's just having fun, bro. Maybe getting held in for a bit. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, he kind of finesses that, right? He gets onto the point and then just kind of finds a time. His team shots are coming through, so maybe finds a weak player or two. Getting aggressive with the rival. You have one player draws on A to pause the clock. 
That's going to divert some subliners over towards that point. While that's going on, the other two players starting to work over towards B. To nice. Good early. job, BZ. Eating chicken fries? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Like Burger King chicken fries? Or, or like just like general chicken fries. Is, but not the nade soaring through the sky. An instant response from draws. An ability to stop the clock and get the extension minute on. As draws, all right, it's like the human bailout over the course of this series. Yeah, I'm surprised Skies doesn't challenge. I thought he was. Dude, draws has been incredible right now. Decides to just lock down behind the elevator. Draws has been so good this series, dude. Homemade chicken fries, hell yeah. It works out, it works out, but yeah, maybe one of those situations he's worried if I get gone. Simp two and six, bro. He's just vibing. He's just vibing. Yeah, could just be that, but. With the life disparity, it is all tied up now. Is New York have stabilized? We're gonna play a, little, play a little TDM, I think, for a moment here. Seven v seven now. Fifty seconds to go. Every the girl made them homemade. Hell yeah! Any sauce or just straight up chicken in your mouth? It's a little bit of wiggle. Comes through for the rival. No response remaining now. This will do it. Okay, kids and a busy. Running into each other. All right, the New York are going to win this round, I think. I mean, maybe, maybe Draws makes a play, but Kiz is reading it. Wow, Kiz, that's a good read. That's a good read out of Kiz. Buffer, let's go. Barbecue, I like barbecue. Good buffer. All right. All right. New, New York got the round. This is the start of the reverse sweep. This is the start of the reverse sweep right here. Hydra looks sad, bro. You uh, you might not be able to see him. My camera might be blocking him, but he looks sad. Keep it messy if you are Did I hear about Major 4? Yeah, I saw what uh, Parasite said, that they're not having, like... They're not having the event, basically, with fans. Normally mix ranch and barbecue? Ooh, a little mix. All right. Kismet's got to get going here. If Kiz gets going, Subliners can definitely win this map. He's been pushed up to the base, the timing not going to work out. And that's He's four dead. And Draws puts him down, everybody drops, and now this is where the trap might be on. You try to get the position for phase, how long can you hold him in? A tough gun fight Oh, for man. Sit there with the help, and this might get ugly for subliners quickly. It's not looking good. When we can accept yeah, Sim is the best player of all time? Dude, he might be. The fact that Draws is able to win that gunfight must have had the intel, but he snaps. And now, as you said, Sim might be the greatest player of all time. The attacking of base, trying to find any kills he can. They almost line up. Okay, side, okay. A couple kills. A lot of damage out of A, but couldn't finish anybody. But man, the time that is burnt there. When Miami wins. Oh, Lord. Miami on land? I don't know. You have not had a presence mid map for so, so long. Can you just flip this round though, Hydra? Sib. Multi billion dollar league, yup. Maybe be a threat on offense. It's been all yellow in the feed since they got out of the base. Draws once again trying to be the bailout. Get what kills he can. Stay alive as long as he can. Trying to finesse, but not able to do it. No First trophy is done. No trophy. Look at this. Yeah, uh -oh. Double nade. So all the stuns connect. Hydra trying to find six in a row, though. You wanted him to step up in this series. Nine and four the first round. Now five in a row. I don't think Clay will be winning a, a ring this year. I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe to help them work with sure he does. One tick complete over towards B. Okay, Hydra's heating up. Wait, Hydra's 16 and 6. Hydra's heating up right now, chat. Hold on. Maybe maybe he's got something. Maybe he's got something for us. Ooh, Kiz. There's another one contested in. Trade is through. It's a flurry. It's a blow. Ah, all right. Phase gets it. Kill for Sip and Cell come in. It's a defensive. Phase are up on a tick now, too. And a tick advantage now for Phase. Did they did they get anything on? No, nothing. Okay. 20 seconds behind. Okay. Hydra, a top 10 name all time. Yeah, Hydra's a pretty fire gamer tag. I'm not going to lie to you. 
able to fight on through. We're going to watch the replay. Of New York just wants to drop down the losers and they can farm Ravens and get some confidence back, I think. I mean, all the stuns were connecting on the point of view of Skies and Kids. You see the stuns hit. Well, three just right in the New York is like, let's just uh, let's just go down the losers. We'll farm Ravens, get our confidence back, and then we'll uh, we'll play the loser of Optic Ultra most likely. Dude, they got hit with every stun and nade in the world just there. We know who's heated up for New York. It's Hydra, and that is scary because if you're gonna bring this back and you're gonna win this series, that is when your super mega stars go wild. Sib 7 11. Dude, I think Draws is one of the coolest names, bro. I think Draws is one of the coolest COD names, for sure. Listen to some music just hanging out, but that is going to be three dead. Sell the last player alive. Kiz battling back. Explosions around him. Nice job taking out Draws. Honestly, this, this lobby has a lot of good names in it. The only name that's like kind of like whatever is simp because it's just like simp is a meme now obviously but i mean and sib i guess is a little bit basic but the rest of the names in this lobby are actually really fire yeah dude the fact that draza is hazard backwards and that draza i think just sounds cool and it's just it's just like the, the double meaning is sick or like the double it's like got a double plus from me no, I don't think simp was a meme before he chose it. Like, I'm sure, like, calling someone a simp was a thing, but it wasn't, like, a popular meme before, uh, when he chose it. He chose it, and then, like, years later, it became, like, a thing. Because it used to be Simplicity, it used to be his name, and he just shortened it to simp. Just one tick of progress, and you're going to send it all towards A. Spawn comes out that side. They're flying forward. We'll see how it plays out. Skies, the point man. Skies, the damage dealer. As he's able to take on two, that might seal it. Kiz all right. 2-1. He gets laid out, and they got him on clamps. <laughs> married early. Around. Yeah, he, he got married early. I, I thought, like... I didn't think it was going to work out at first because they kept having like somebody get forward, but not when it was like a, you know, kind of a clean spawn killing situation. There was always still somebody up for phase towards mid, but like you never really got to a good four man push and setup of your phase because of that. They yeah, kind of kept I, staggering it, right? Teams have done a fantastic job on their defense. It's just yeah. not uh, really allowing that to happen. And any time it looks like map control is going the offensive way, they all bounce back. They deal with the player in the spawn, trying to find kills. This is just uh, two of the best teams in the world going at it. It absolutely is. We've got a top heavy league with the big All right, four. come on. Hydra still has his cruise. He hasn't used it yet. I mean, now is probably the best time to use it because I'm pretty I because they are down on ticks. So I mean, I guess they could. I guess they could be up on ticks after this round if they can't be. Oh, all the hiccups. Nothing too much opening on the objective yet. You have to deal with Hydra. Oh, he's, he's cooking. Coming quickly and cells focus on something else. Now Hydra's cooking right now. Wide open if you're subliners. Hydra's got to drop before you can do anything. Yeah, this is what teams uh, throughout this map have done so well dealing with finding that one player. They Sib to cooled off too, man. Sib's only at 15 now. Trophy starting to hit. Only one trophy down. So one tick is through. You are tied in the lives though. Here comes the cruise. Use this. Okay. Streak going to come in. See maybe what this opens up for him. It's going to take out okay. the same time Sky's a kill, but he drops right after. It gets me they can't sure be. They get defense for the last round, so this could be huge. Will it lead to much else? Cause you get this oh, good trades. A busy little one-two punch in there that leads to two for him. Well, they, don't for it. they want the ticks, right? So they're going for it in terms of that. It's not done it's yet. It's a one tick lead right now for Atlanta phase. Hey, look how close it is. In look how close it is. Kind of setting it on this. They got it. There All right, ticks are tied. So Who's winning in kills out. though? It might be New York. That's why you saw that I don't know. Through. I'm not doing the math. I don't care. Well, they might just get the tick, get the extra minute. They're still a contested is here, yet. though, to kill... Draza's chasing kids. Hunting, looking, lurking, as he gets another cell is through. Two players spawning up and trying to fly over towards A. Similar predicament you kind of had if you were... New York is up on kills. Oh, well, here we go. Scramble, find something with no time. 
and this is just gonna be down yeah i don't watch a lot of halo but um i i think i know what you mean obviously fueled bays do they play their lives extremely well these final kills should be the clearance bays play their lives extremely well should have it just based on the fact you have i i think hydra's like plus 11 Skies is right around plus four or five. It is very close, and a couple of kills do come in towards the end. Well, that's why I think you saw Atlanta phase. Yeah, I mean, two people kind of holding their base, not going out, trying to throw away stupid lives. But it should be phase on offense. Let's see if phase are on offense, man. They're going to need something crazy out of per 3 out here. A massive round five here. A chance to swing this series for New York and push it. It's here we go now, round five. Phase work to do. Is it All right, phase on offense. Dude, draws and sell on threes, though. If they could get a cruise missile or two, that could be huge for them to win this. To make a play like we saw with Hydra. Skies, a pick and he's out. See if Draza has maybe another heroic moment as he started to get it going. That's five in a row, closer to a streak. One okay, here we go. Draws one away from a streak. They're stacking B. Dude, I love how teams just like always sack in the last round. Like, why why don't we stack more often? It's, like, that's why Optic is so good at control, because they get they get four dead and they stack, bro. Like they just go. Like they don't care. They'll just go stack. You gotta, you gotta just stack and control, man. It puts so much pressure on them too, where they can't, they can't stop, they can't slow down and make plays and think. They just gotta run at you because you stack it. Especially if it's the last point, the second point. No kill out of the cruise, and they're not. Oh wow, save locking them in base, man. No, this is a brilliant answer from Subliners. Such a good opening from Phase. Great job getting the streak. But you quickly solidify your defense if you're Subliners. You force out a streak. And they use it to no avail. Now with a minute 20 to go. And basically dead even the lives department. We see if Phase can do what no team has done so far in this oh one. That my. is get A. The Bulldog hitting foreheads. Yeah, able to find the headshot. Oh, okay. Simp killed him. Ugly for phase. It pretty much does. Yeah, All right. A minute left. Kills. Pretty even on lives. Come on, Sib. Go crazy for me. They had to focus him down. A team kill comes in, and now you're back to the trap. Uh, you nailed it when you said they're not panicked. They're not worried. They know they can do Yeah, she is. She is loud. You can hear her yelling. It also doesn't help that nobody else is, like, making any noise. So, like, of course you're going to hear her because everyone else is freaking quiet. Lives against you. Time against you if you're phase. Just a couple more hits and opportunities to really push this forward. But the team shots have been on point for subliner so far. There's okay, wait a couple kills for phase. A couple kills for phase. Hold on. They're going to they might three stack A here. Do they have a trophy is the question. Uh Hydra's going big. Uh, Hydra's not letting them lose. Hydra's not letting them lose. Wait, draws it with two. Wait. 6v3. 6v2. Draws it with another one. Oh, my God. All right, New York take it. Is Germany going to win against France? Oh, I don't know, dude. Those are both good teams. Wow. All right. 2-1. Yeah, Hydra's awake now, bro. If I'm phased, I might be a little nervous. I might be a little nervous if I'm phased, dude. If Hydra starts cooking, it's going to be a, it's going to be a little bit harder to beat him. Very impressive stuff. Every single time there was an opportunity, they used their nades, stuns, get those trophies off of B. Didn't allow many takes over towards A. Yeah, and like with the Skies 31, Hydra 33. I don't know if they traded more efficiently is the way to put it, but like everyone had over 5k damage. Everyone on phase got kills too, but individual play sometimes for phase like got them in a good spot. It was like everybody threw on the feet for New York when it was going well. Outside of Hydra. 
they were all having their moments. Yeah, I think it probably looks that way a little bit more. You have the three defenses. That's true. Uh, that's true. That's a good point. That's a good point. Well, our prize picks definitely are not going to hit chat. You guys cost me $5. But it's all good. It's only five bucks. Sometimes it comes down to a little TDM. And now it's obviously all phase early. Yeah, Clay just uh, passed Scump and what is that? Like, uh, making top sixes in a certain amount of years. Top six in 13 titles? What the hell? That's insane. That's actually crazy. Top six in 13 COD titles? Good lord. That is the difference between these two. We got an invasion to close out the series for uh, all right chat i'm gonna use the bathroom real quick and i'm gonna put my food in the fridge and then it's matt four this is going so far in the battle of these heavy hitters and that uh, listen that, that series one got me ready for us a day of bangers it was one of the better ones on the year and potential now for it here because what i think in the last time they played it was a 2-1 advantage for FaZe. Like, they were up in the series. They were looking good. You thought they had the victory, and then you pull it. You steal it if you are New York, and same spot. Well, I mean, you weren't in an 0-2 hole last time, but, like, still, you're in the 2-1 hole. You brought it back. Yeah, I mean, they're used to this. It's a world yeah. championship yeah. game. So, uh, they know. They just had to get a map on the board, and now the pressure is on for FaZe to try to close this out. Or are we going to an invasion S&D? Well, we're headed to invasion hardpoint, a solid map for both of these squads. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we keep it going now in this best of five. But New York Hydra, how big of a piece is that going to be with how well he started to play? Some of the crucial multi kills. Felt like it was all kind of simp and beasy and that kind of frontman push that was dominating early on. But now that he's getting it going, we'll see if he sparks some life into this New York team. Uh, Listen, uh, most of the maps and modes are pretty solid when you're talking about top four teams. There's not a ton of weaknesses where you wouldn't be a top four team. But just stats aside, is there anything, maybe a big advantage for either team we talked to about Invasion? Well, I think, honestly, just due to the rotation, that the fact that New York Subliners are number one in the league, that is going to help them, right? Uh, when you're talking about these P2, P3 combos where you're really finding all the time on the map, that is going to help. And then FaZe, we saw them on this map versus Boston, it, and it got very messy, or, or versus LADs, it got very messy in that. So it's a hard point in which you played on land, Maybe you go back, fix those mistakes, make it better for yourself. But New York, this is a chance to tie it up. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, that's just the nature of invasion sometimes. It's very gritty, scrappy, messy. That just is kind of how it plays out sometimes based on the change to the hard point. Now you have to focus on map control more than the objective at times. But like, you would think a team like FaZe would be good in those moments, but they get outplayed by Thieves. The invasion doesn't look great in the control either in that series. The respawns there just have been kind of lackluster, at least as of late. But as you said, you talk through the coaching staff, you know where your weaknesses are, you try to improve it. But the story for now is whether or not New York can bounce back, win two straight maps, get us to a game five, maybe make this an all-time series. All right, lock it in. They try to fight back. You see the stats there for Invasion Hardpoint. Lock it in, Chuck. Yo, what's good? Subliners. What's good, Chuck? From app five. This Kismet had some ludicrous gunfight. Quick bathroom break? That was, Hydra stepped up, wasn't that quick. A couple minutes. Those are the two. Oh, dude, hands really are clean, bro. I just ate, too, so I had to wash my hands. They sure do. Is, uh, I always wash head. my hands after I eat before I touch my keyboard and stuff again because I'm not trying to get, like, any food in my keyboard. Really have, uh, that street. Skies with the pistol. Sib with the pistol, getting on the hill, off the hill, just finessing. Look kind of bored during this long stream. It's not even, we're not even that long yet. What's the most important? We're only, f uh, we're four and a half hours in, actually. Where do you really I'm not bored, though. We got some good maps. Well, I think, obviously, you want these P2 early spawns. The first series was actually a banger. If you're the either team. Can I do a pen spin? I can't, bro. I can't do that thing. He's on four in a row, up to five and one. I don't know how, I don't know how people do that shit, dude. I don't know how people do those pen spins. You've got the spawns, so see if you can maybe push through. Dude, I literally can't do it. Yeah, I don't know how people do the pen spins. I'm gonna hit a 2x2, actually. It's a good shout. Dude, I'm so, I, I always thought about that in school. I'd see, like, the kid next to me spinning his pen, and I'm like, brother, I, I don't know how you do that. Like, I don't...
I, I doesn't my my fingers don't work like that. I have a habit of chewing on pens when you study, dude. Yeah, there's a lot of people that actually do that. There's a lot of people that chew on chew on their pen or pencil when they're studying. Hit the penjamin. No penjamin over here. Can I hit the? Can I hit the lead pencil? Oh yeah, dude. Phase, dude. All these cod bros got to be going through like some sort of like. Freaking! I don't even know what you want to call it. Like hand therapies, dude. Like icing that stuff. Hand massages. What does Yo Tiero Estudiar? Uh, I don't know. Do you study? Have you studied something like that? That's my guess. It's impossible unless you're born to do it. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I can't do the pen thing. Are there any, any other sites than Prize Picks? Um, I believe Bet, Bet 365 is one that people use. I think Ben J. Nassim uses like Bet365. Um, Bovada Sportsbook is one you can use. Tend to bite your nails and you're bored or anxious. Yeah, I, I don't like bite my nails to, to like rip them off. I just bite them. Like I don't ever rip them off. I just chew on them sometimes. If I can't use prize picks, would you use one of them? I've seen Ben I've seen Ben J use uh, Bet365 or whatever it is, and it looks pretty cool. It looks a little bit similar to prize picks, so. I mean, all sports books, as long as they're like, as long as you look them up on Google and like see if they have reviews and they're not like some random website, it should be fine. Get your fingers all wet and gross, yeah. They're just gonna take the points. You get Hydra towards the mid tank, finessing. He's up 14. Dude, Hydra is cooking. Hydra's frying right now. He does not want to lose. It took him a minute to warm up, but. Is he the only one getting kills? Bro, I haven't seen anyone else from New York get a kill. There you go. God damn. Hydra's like, I had to put you guys down last year. I'll do it again. Yeah, the spawns are so frick, dude. You're going to lose money again? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Danny. Say, don't, don't bet any more money, bro. Save it. It's who can deal with it better, but it's Cell trying to maybe match Hydra as he's trying to earn his six. What the hell was that? Able to hit one runs past him and kills him on five in a row. A chain of hard points now for some. No way, New York reverse sweep these guys on land, right? After Cell was shooting bodies for like three maps straight, if they get reverse swept. Can you hold on to this? If you are subliners, you get the scrap time now. If you're phased, you try to rally back. Spawning out gas will be Sib. Is he'll try to maybe cut through people on the cross as they look to get in, but first... You have, like, a parlay, Danny, where, like, they all have to win for it to hit, or you just have three individual bets and you just want all three of them to hit? Dude, Hydra might break the kill record this map. Hydra might break the kill record. Kind of what we thought. I mean, it's not what you're talking about, because... If he looked like a different player over that map three, you think maybe he takes this right into trophy system's bouncing. He's done exactly that. Uh, the in the map Probably kill record is what 44 45? So or is it 50? Yo, ho, Sean, how we doing, man? How are we doing, Sean? I hope your Saturday has been going well. Thanks for joining the stream, bro. I appreciate it. They give up some spawns. They don't. They don't block, and then it just gets messy. We're on the other side. It's a 60-point lead. Where did those 60 seconds come in? It's the P3. So New York, they win that rotation. Dude, if Hydra drops 40 against Phase, that's insane. Especially on Invasion, because Invasion's not like the highest engagement map. I feel like. Like it's not like they're playing Rio. Skies though starting to heat up is a moment ago we had four up to twelve. Hydra demonic over the course of this one as he's gone insane. Let's hear the cops now and listen in with New York subliners. 
Will be better if Optic win? Yeah, dude. Hey, we get to see Optic next series. Maybe FaZe will send us there soon, or we're gonna... Maybe they can get reverse swept, but... Optic coming up probably in the next 30 minutes to an hour, if I had to guess. Good calls on the flip. Yep, they're tracking it easy too. This is good comms out of New York right here. Dang, they were tracking him, but they they didn't find him, bro. Uh, no, there wasn't a delay, Sean. They just, I guess they just had Ravens play without much of a warm-up. I mean, who cares? They won, but they didn't end up delaying or moving the maps around at all for the matches. Sky's style of play reminds you a bit of formal? Hmm. Maybe, I guess. I don't know. I never really... I never really th thought about it too much or noticed it. Dude, has Hydra just been soaking? He's still at 24. He's, he's barely got any kills in the last, like, 60 seconds. You had a chance to run away with that if you were subliners. You flip out phase the palisade again with Assault was prime for me yesterday, honestly though. Assault was cooking yesterday. He stays alive. They were dominant well, but but then a couple of players layered up the map is sit finding some spawn kills here just playing his life. So phase they stay alive in this game. Dude, we might be going 5 chat. The game probably put away, but they still have a 60 point lead. We might be going 5. Since what the dawn of time it feels like ages you cannot overcome this if you are oh oh he didn't get all three i thought he got all three light it up for subliners the multi kills coming through the talent on full display sib is beaming 17 and 19 sure but he's one-on-ones he has been fried and again a busy the only player who has really pushed on up but he loses the come on man rotation. so five seconds left a chance here towards this p5 yeah, IW formal was the was the, the best individual performance I think ever. Him at champs was like the highest peak player we've ever seen, especially in an advanced movement game. Trucking across the map is what it has been. Celium is shaking right now. Dude, Cell's doing what he can, too. I mean, honestly, FaZe are doing their thing. FaZe are doing their thing. Abizi's looking pretty good on LAN. Simp looks a little bit, little bit down, but it's like, who cares, honestly? If you, you know, if you're winning, you're winning, but they're not winning this map. Yeah, they're going to need this time if they want to try to win this map. They do need those bad parking lot spawns. This is coming down to the wire, man. FaZe have to play perfect from here on out if they're going to win this. New York's only 35 away from winning. Oh, no. So I got a gift from Illy. Nah, dude. Cell is just hoping they don't get reverse swept because he's shooting hella bodies. Dude, can we talk about the fact that Hydra was like 23 and freaking 14 and now he's 25 and 24? I thought Hydra was going to go for 40. He literally has gotten like three kills since we talked about that. I mean, his teammates turned up and he's been soaking time, but bro has gotten like literally three kills in the last like two minutes. Make that four. Yeah, no, his teammates started turning up and he was just soaking time for a minute. It's not a bad thing, I'm just saying. Like, I thought he was go I thought he was about to go for 40. It's been an answer early and often from subliners to stop the bleeding. Make sure you can't rally or make a run if you are Atlanta Face. Uh oh. To go for the victory now for NYS. 13 seconds. Kismet has gotten a kill. The next hard point is up at New York. We're going to reverse sweep on land. The pressure is on. You got to send it. Abizi gets it open. Phase are looking Phase are looking vulnerable, bro. Can you hold and Phase be looking vulnerable. Absolutely. 
I do gotta say, man, I really wanted FaZe to win this just for the sake of, uh, my pickums, bro. Think about the pickums, man. But they don't play around the hill. They play around connector control. Now you can get on it, get some trophies down. But they know FaZe have to push on forward. Kind of baiting them in. It's the wave of kills to get on. You just realized Palace Point is gone. That's hilarious, dude. Palace Point has been gone since uh since the since Major One. Uh. Oh, Kiz is talking shit. Let's go. Uh oh, chat. We're going five, man. We're going five. Phase, what are we doing? What are we doing, Phase? What are we doing, Phase? Can we, uh. Can we stop this? To something like the P3 and find a full 60. Yeah, and getting, I mean, up 100 on that map, you're getting slammed. Like, they, they were outplayed, but you're right. It was like, it was inopportune deaths. Or just I, over and over again, like, they would get like three or four kills. They would get the break. But that next fight, the next fight to just get a little map control, feel comfortable getting. 29 out of Sky. Dude, they had 29, 28, 27, 26 on New York. That's awesome. Everybody right around the same damage. Hydra leading the way. He's at 21 non traded kills. 28. Skies has 29. France has to win. You're happy. Let's go, Danny. Well, think about it. When he had like 15, the rest of the team had like six. He slows down. Dude. Yes, everybody else this, steps it up. Dude, it's another. That's the first hard point. New York never had a lead. This hard point, FaZe never had a lead, man. Somebody can take over and. Well, we've seen it now from both teams. When someone has Make a poll. Up, able to do it. We thought this might go five. It has. Maybe not in the fashion we thought it would, but the fact is we got here. Now we look forward to the invasion. Yeah, we'll see uh, what's going to happen. But just looking at the game flow. Yeah, Kids uh, isn't even a body shooter, bro. Kids just, Kids just comes in and he just wins. And then he gets on stage and he says, you know, dude, I ain't going to forget. Kids doesn't talk until it's over. Well, we're going to Invasion SND. What are the records for Invasion Search, man? What are the records for Invasion Search? Faze are 8-3 and three on Invasion Search. And Subliners are 3-2. and two. So, Faze have a much better record and a lot more reps on Invasion. But that also could hurt them because that means New York has more VOD on them and they have less VOD on New York. So, this could still go either way, man. Kids only shoots Havoc's body. Yeah, dude, I saw that video. I saw that video. Dude, he literally knew it was kids within like the two rounds of that game. Yeah, New York has momentum now, man. Let's go. Chat, you guys are voting for fa for New York in the poll. I see you. I see you, man. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with the Scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. I got to get out a tweet for game five, bro. Oh, man. Come on, man. Turn me up. Turn me up. Dude, Maven's outfit is cracking me up every time I see it. Come on, SL. Want to see a different team in the finals? Yeah. Hey, Sean, I'm glad you like it, man. That's what a lot of people say when they come in here, that they like that the uh, the chat isn't insane and everyone can actually talk, which I, too, also really like. I very much enjoy that. I can actually, like, read everyone's messages and always talk to you guys. It is really nice. Dude, Faye, sh Dude, Faye should have been 3 0 by Thieves, man. I'm so upset. We should have 3 0 him. We should have 3 0'd Vase, man. I'm so upset. And now they're going to possibly get reverse swept. 
I mean, we'll see, though. We'll see. Maybe they ice up here. Maybe they just absolutely stomp on New York in this last in this last map. 45 likes on the stream. Guys, thank you so much. I believe 46 is our high. So we're one away. One away from our, our, our high on stream likes. We're definitely going to beat it. I mean, we're literally in the second series of the day. We got th we have three more series after this. I hope you guys are freaking locked in, man. I mean, I know you guys in EU are probably going to get tired and have to go to bed at some point, but everyone else, I hope you guys are freaking locked because we're going to be we're going to be here for probably at least another 4 hours. It also kind of pains me that last match of the day we have to watch someone probably stomp on LAG, but it is what it is, you know. Feels like we watched four games the map fives honestly bro it's actually kind of crazy too because we haven't had i mean knock on wood bro we haven't had any delays like we haven't had any problems any restarts at all today and we i've been live for like five hours i mean obviously matches haven't been live for five hours but upcast comes in whenever lag is mentioned you love it love to see it sell worse they are in the game oh lord okay now jacob is just being silly he's just trolling now Start a new job Monday. Hey, let's go, Loesch. Good luck at the new job, man. That's that's super hype. Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is the most top heavy season in CDL era. Uh, it could be. I mean, if you look back at some of the other eras, bro, some of the top has been pretty top heavy. We have seen some top heavy seasons, but this is definitely uh this is definitely pretty different. How's it look for either team? Made a promo in your Discord. Hey, thank you, Danny. You're starting a new job too, Sean. Let's go, dude. Chat is catching dubs. Let's go, man. Dubs for you guys in chat. The map you've played the most. Eight and three. Played it 11 times. But yeah, I mean, if you look, I don't know how the Cold War standings looked. I don't remember exactly, but obviously FaZe and Toronto were like the only ones really competing most of the most of the year. Playmakers, this is their playground. This is where the heroes are made. This is when one moment can be the difference between a crowd erupting for you or booing you. Like FaZe are a bottom team, honestly, dude. All players that have dealt with this for a long time now. They have made deep... Dude, did FaZe go out top six at this event? Uh, they fall out of the top four the in the power rankings. The power rankings might be crazy after this event, bro. The power rankings might actually be crazy after this. Oh, shit. Danny with another five gifted. Hey, yo, Danny. Thank you so much, man. Can we get some W's for Danny in chat, dude? Hey, thank you, Danny. I appreciate it, man. This guy's way too kind, bro. This guy, Danny, is way too kind. Thank you so much, Danny. I appreciate it, man. He can be a clutch god. Can he do it here? Map five, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Dude, LAG top four. Can you imagine? Maybe. Numbers to Atlanta phase. Dude, five gifted to kick off a game five? Let's go. Is that is that like uh is that a signed? Is that is that what you meant for there, Danny? Five gifted for game five? I mean what our first series is just a banger. Oh shit, Loesh. Don't give me all your money, brother. Don't give me all the money. Keep your cash, brother. Invest in the stock market. I tell Danny the same thing every stream, bro. I tell him invest your money in the stock market, bro. Utility be exhausted. Yeah, you have one player and Tim kind of on an island over towards B. The other three ready for this transition. Oh, good wins. On both sides. So that's All right. I am the stock market. Dude, that would be kind of sick if you could like invest in a streamer like a stock market. And then as they grow, you can get returns back on your stock. Can you imagine? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Sell him. Holy. He might I don't think he snake snake, but he definitely hit a pump or two. Two. Yeah, I think he might have only t double pumped, but still. Building an athlete out with paintings. Oh, that's sick, Loesch. Mm, he might have triple pumped. I don't know. I'm going to need to see a review out of uh, Zuma, but I think that I don't think that was a... I don't think that was a... 
Too much. Anybody still have money in semiconductor stocks? I got some money in Intel. So I have some Intel stock. Sim now his turn with the opener. Once again, numbers for Hell yeah, Danny. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Pain of power, dude. I would love to, to pay it forward if one day I'm I'm big streamer, big streamer man. Gun you to sleep. Play behind the numbers. Keep the advantage, but now. I'm gonna hit a two X by the way. I I don't know if I two X before this map, so I'm gonna hit a two X real quick. Chat, make sure you hit a two X on my stream too if you haven't already, because you could be behind on my stream as well. They haven't started the bomb plant yet, as Sib and Hydra are going to get active. Yo, Stan, how we doing, Stan? Gonna deal with that player connector. I hope your weekend is going well. Yeah, I don't think he snaked. I don't think he snaked. Gets the plant down. Now time starts to dwindle. 30 to go. Hydra, tough gunfight. Good job. Just backing down for now. Repositioning. But Sib again. The guy that brings it back into a three versus three. Winning his ones. But a trade this time comes through. You keep numbers. Only for a moment. Ah, good kills. Skyswitch is one on one. It's Sib and Skies again with massive ones. Big kills. Yeah, you can also press this button down here sometimes. But that's it doesn't always show. It doesn't always show. So... Sometimes you just gotta hit 2x. I haven't seen Oscar in a while. Oscar is here, uh... Oscar is here this morning, Losh. So he is good. Can confirm. He was here at the beginning of the stream. He was actually the second one in here. Danny was here first, and Oscar is here second. Don't need to 2x on Twitch. You're not wrong, though. You're not wrong. You do not need to 2x on Twitch. Yeah, no, I mean, you feel like you should be up 2 oh, 100%. Snaking your ass off in rank, dude. Honestly, in rank, bro, who cares? And Siv just continue to be the mid round Reapers that bring them back into this one. Attack now for subliners and just based on position. Yeah, YouTube streaming, they I would say they should work on it, but also it's not their priority. They're focused on shorts, obviously. So. Shorts and just regular videos. If the CDL was allowed on Twitch, I would be on Twitch, but four trophies in your rank stack? Honestly, bro. Four trophies, four smokes, snakes, freaking everything, dude. Who cares? It's ranked. I don't think YouTube or Twitch has really given out many contracts recently, though. He's the one really winning gunfights. Trying to continue on is Simp able to get him before Simp is able to cross behind the tank. So no big play. This is looking like a round for phase here. Time started to dwindle down. Yeah. Seconds. Simp is popping off. Kiz 1v4. Can you imagine? Nah, it's not gonna happen. And the stair glitches. Hell yeah. One of the best to ever do it. They can't get through him. And he's been the one kind of playing on an island over here towards B. A lot of the times when we've seen him, at least earlier in the year, he was kind of the guy mid tank. Yeah, exclusive contracts for streaming platforms is not the great, is not a great idea. Definitely not. But as for now, they just have him with the MCW playing over towards that B side on defense. You got to think, even though they've, you know, had some long... Abizi first bloods, they were insane last year. Abizi still is, like, leading in first bloods this year. It's just he's not winning them as often. Like, I feel like his percentage is down, but he's still, like, total number-wise up there. Trying to make an impact at 5-1 and one and take over in this map 5. You got banned from streaming on YouTube? What the hell did you do, Lex? From subliners, you're playing deep. Yeah, it's all good smoke smokes out i feel like i'm watching counter-strike right now they are very comfortable doing this stuns connect for simp smoke in the right spot so he lives yeah but honestly they don't aren't able to use it to use the bomb plan because the stuns hit so as that sort starts to dissipate now he's going to start the plant yeah able to get the angle though with the help from his teammates oh my god he's wall hydra with the wall bang he pulls it out out of nowhere did we see that wall bang Oh my god, dude, we haven't seen that yet. I th is that Shotzi, bro? That was like Vanguard freaking Major 1, bro. Why are people not using that more often? How many bomb plants could you be stopping if you were doing that? 
Hydra, go do it again, bro. Oh, he's only got 12 bullets. He doesn't have a lot of bullets. He can't really. Oh my god, that was sick. That was sick, bro. He's gonna be the one to start the retake because he has nothing left. Oh, that's three for Hydra. Someone just defuse. Yep. Hydra with all four. Hyde, he's laughing on main stage. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's laughing on main stage. Early in the round. I mean, this is just playmakers going up against each other three in the round previously from sim hydra now let's watch his replay uh, i mean this is just where is this from uh, i mean so we don't have his point of view but it is through a window this is the extra work that it has made this team world champions at times and there we, there go. we go right from that staircase shout out to the coaching staff Yo. SD nerd whoever it was oh man what a good spot bro that, that is such a good spot if you don't get ice cream control, B is done. I mean, you're. This is where uh, you know those those mid-game adjustments. Maybe one of the bigger ones you're ever. Really need face to win. I feel you, random. I need face to win. Yeah, dude, he was back there, bro. That wasn't like he was just in ice cream shooting through the wall. Like he was. Wait, the second kill he got from inside ice cream, but that first one he was way back there. give him a dose of their own medicine. Well, yes, yeah, FaZe, can, uh, uh, as much as the reverse sweep is cool and all, I really would like to pick them points, brother. I would really like to pick them points, I'm not gonna lie to you. They're gonna get GA'd? Dude, I wouldn't be surprised at this point. What if it was a GA'd spot this whole time, and that's why no one's used it? There's no way no one thought about wall banging that before, right? Like, there's no way no one was like, hey, let's see if we can wall bang this if someone's on bomb. What if it was GA this whole time and he just broke GAs and we don't know yet? Giddy up, here we go. Is we're tied up. Is that considered an unintentional line of sight? No, I don't think so. You have trophy protection here close if your skies. There's just so much to So shots he tried weeks ago. Oh, okay. So then they're allowed to do it. I guess people just haven't really timed it well or whatever. Here we go. A nade going to connect. Okay, nade's connected, but oh, he's dead. Wow, a BZ. A BZ. That was big. That was big. Hydra find 250k. Can you imagine? Hydra, in answer, some clinical search and destroy being shown on both sides. This is this is awesome. Yeah, but it starts with Sam right after. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, good play out of a BZ. He didn't even need Simp or whoever that was with him. He just did it on his own. But the trophy not gonna protect Hydra in that spot. The stun, the nade connects, and they just kind of let. Dude, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place, bro. I would love to see Faze get reverse swept because they were shooting bodies, and I think that's hilarious that they get reversed. But also, I have Faze in my pick them, so like, I think I want that a little more. Yeah, no, this is the this is the question. That is a play that is gonna change invasion across the board. So he's gonna go back to that spot yeah hydra's fine he's just to give clay his ring can you that'd be insane I mean, really the only thing you can do is is get ice cream control not allow to tell him when he's on the bomb just sim is the key here or whoever's playing ice cream watching the cross to be yeah no he has to forfeit his current ring locks he has to just give it up i don't care you won that last year sauce it over he's had some incredible moments from that position but now you're just grouped up talking things through looking because he he's because he, if he broke GAs that's his fine over towards a Atlanta face ready to go kiss oh how does he get out okay I was gonna say there with the trade a 3v3 oh Sib with trade though why are we buffering so much all right looks like we're going 3-3 BZ was thinking let's rotate off the kill that I got on the kids but they had nobody there to trade with him. Sib with some nice movement, but Selby wait, 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 wait. Twenty-five seconds left. Should be able to collect this bomb. And Hydra's just got the spot on the cross from everywhere. As he's deep palace, so he's still out. Nah, nah, go B, go B. Move. Not sure where Skies is at this time. He's not planting. I don't I like this. He might he's gonna try and catch him. And he catches him. He catches him. Makes the play. Wait, does he have enough time? Ah, Sky's smarter, dude. Sky's smarter. Damn. 
It was a good play out of Cell, but just not enough time. Not enough time. If he had 10 more seconds, 5 more seconds, he could have he could have won that. Definitely could have 1v3 that if he had like 5 more seconds. Oh, are we going to see another game 5 round 11? There's no way. But yeah, Cell almost makes it happen. Almost, yeah. Don't don't count him out uh, ever. I mean, Hydra also already has seven on this map. This guy is turning up. Simp at seven too, by the way. But some utility hitting Draws is getting crapped on. Wait, one and five. Come on, Draws, bounce back. Bounce back, Draws. Come on. Abizi with a first blood. There it is. Greatest Saturday of all time, dude. It might be. That we say that now until we get to until we get to the last two series and we just see absolute slammage. His first bloods over the course of these titles, all the titles, just unbelievable. Yeah, just near this eight bomb site, he's got three first bloods, I think. But draws, what are we doing? Draws having a rough map now, one in six. So that man advantage video on the best Saturdays in history. Holy shit, that would be some research. Has any team gotten a second kill after the first blood yet? It doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it at all. Hey, well, welcome back, Slayer. What did you get to eat, bro? What did you get so to eat? Beasy does his job, and now he's knowing I gotta do more. Time dwindling. 25 to go, and the execute. Start to come out of your subliner. The Beasy's gonna get caught. Faze! What are we doing? Alright, 2v2. Bomb going down. 2v2. 15 to go. Cell's got All right, 2v1. Bomb is down, though. Bomb is down, so it's not... It's, skies could win this. Versus Simp and Cell. This is not an easy retake for FaZe. We saw this just a match ago. Fellow, time and time again, able to clutch on up. 25 seconds left, but the smoke going to help. So he's going to have to peek this sooner or later. Maybe take a shot, but he's not going to fall for it. Ah, uh, they got him. Good teamwork. He's on four in four and three phase. You have the smoke just to make him make him had some Turkish food. Nice slayer. Nice. Also allow you both to get across, play tight. Dude, come on, man. Phase, yeah, respect my pickums. But they traded out. Respect my pickums. Deeper into this map five. Yeah, no, Cell does do crazy, crazy saves for phase, bro. He be doing it. Everything we'd hoped it'd be, but he do be doing now. it. Seven and two, four cell chance to maybe earn that cruise. And that smoke on both defensive ends has been so key for retakes for both of these teams. We saw it there. We saw it in the round before from Hydra. Trying to get a little pre aim off this stun in a very aggressive round here inside a cafe out of New York. Absolutely. Oh, so if he would have kept shooting, he might have killed him. Down for now. They know he's a lot off the Dude, if Draza gets going here, it might be it might be game over for for New York. If Draza gets like a couple kills, bro, <laughs> like a few kills. They're thinking maybe not. They're playing that way. They backed up more to their standard. And now you see what Hydra might be able to do. We could see a five three curse come into play here, though. We could see it. It's gonna be this long play. Hydra's in that spot again, bro. But it could come down to these two players inside a cafe. It's going to be Skies and Kismet in the two-man game. Who is going to fight first? Right. Just all a game of information. This is a slow freaking round, bro. Can we make some moves? What are you playing, Counter-Strike? Finding more and more openings on the map. I think Abizi's going to get them to rotate. Yeah, so Abizi gets through. But again, it could come down to this wall bang. Hydra by wall bang the heck out of him again. But he's going for it. Simto readjust the plan to ah, it's not gonna work. And a BZ kills him. Okay, Draz got one. And that is how champions adjust. They deal with it. They reposition the plant. Two v three retake. This is really tough for New York here, especially because they're retaking from the same side. Wait. Wait. Ah, uh, cells on the flank. He's shooting bodies. He's shooting bodies. Sells back to it. If he dies, the last phase player was on the flank. Sells back to shooting bodies, chat. And there we go. Nice job by Simp, but a BZ getting He's eight and two though. I mean, I gotta give it to Cell, bro. He, he's he's earning his body shooting. I'm not gonna lie. Cell is doing a lot for this team right now. So he's got Cell is doing a lot for this team right now. But they get it down. Hey, you having fun watching two spectacular search teams go toe for toe. This is awesome. Five in a row for Cell. Maybe the ability to earn a cruise that could 
be the final call. It's gonna it has to be a sell or a kismet interview depending on depending on who wins. He's farming first place. Sparta be booing his pants. Near this a bomb site. And a couple of them have been on Kiz. A BZ is another first blood, by the way. So comfortable with this MCW, and then they're getting aggressive up the street. Couple trades. Uh, Sky's in a 1v3. It's over, chat. It's over. I love you, Skies, but I don't know. I don't know, brother. Bomb down right there in the middle of the map, too. And another winner's bracket for this trio. Can Skies do it? Time to work with. 40 or so to go. Doesn't have bomb now, so yeah. he's gonna have to cross here. Might get spotted. But he knows. Yeah. And that's game. Reverse sweep denied. Okay. Okay. Phase phase fans can't be throwing up the choke symbol. New York didn't choke. Phase almost choked. You can't be saying New York choked there. I'm sorry. That's just a little cheesy. You you can't say that that New York choked that. That's not. They were down 2-0 and they brought it to game five. Choke symbol's a little cheesy, but still. Thank you, FaZe. Thank you, FaZe, bro. Number one and number two in the league for a reason. But FaZe, get back to the spot that, uh, yeah, they're known for. Into a top three a winner's final on Sunday. New York will have another match tonight. You know, a slow start for them, but just... Dude, I, that was... I think Draza might have, uh... I think Draza might have broke the damage record for a series. Draza might have broke the damage record. Maybe it's going to go the same way, but just tucked behind the bomb to cut off that angle. And as you said, the push from a BZ to eliminate him. That's how great teams... I think the damage record is like 20,000, 20... 21,000, maybe? Draza had 20,997 damage. He might have broke the record, man. He might have broke it. As we look through the stats real quick, but I know it's nine to seven for a B BZ. It doesn't look like that crazy of a stat line, but the opening picks. Does Draza's girlfriend ever be quiet? No, she doesn't. Jacob, you should know this as a Thieves fan. Draza and Sell to a top five ARs. Yeah, in this game for sure. Around that B site. Yeah, three and eight, but fifteen hundred damage. So I mean, not bad. Dude, I will say, Cell sometimes seems like he plays for stats, but he also is like literally winning them maps sometimes. Like sometimes Cell just puts them on his back and wins things that they shouldn't be winning. So sometimes in HP he might play a little too slow, but the, the dude does big things. Oh, he's gonna call him shit. He's gonna call him shit. Here we go. stage and man game five crazy just your initial thoughts on coming away with that one how you feeling yeah obviously it feels great so you get so team showed great you know composure game five and i feel like we were making a lot of good plays and they had me for game five so i appreciate them so i'm happy with the w definitely are happy with that w now you had your teams back in games one and two a better performance than yesterday how you feeling about yourself in this series as a whole yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. Obviously, the game five, I could have done better, but um, I feel like we were playing lights out and the control, we were one kill off getting defense game five or round five. So yeah. I think we played it really well. And the invasion, I think we messed up a few times. But other than that, I feel like we played it really well. And a game five like that is going to keep us going. Now, my next question is, is that in the S&D game five, you guys came across a situation where you're getting wall banged on B site and not knowing where it comes from. What's going on in the comms as you're seeing something unique like that? And how do y'all adjust? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just we all play S and D, so it was like obviously if it doesn't work the first time, and we it kind of was hard to plant the whole time. So it's like we just made a you know we just adapted to the play and we mm -hmm. just threw a smoke on bomb and planted. Okay, because right. like we're not gonna go to the same place you just wall me. Yeah. Wall bank does that. Like hello. Yeah, kept it simple and got it done. I I like draws it too, random. I like draws it too. In front of the stage to cheer for you guys. Talk to them for a second. Draza. Yeah, pro players play S and D chat. Appreciate you guys. Insane noise is the whole script or the whole <laughs> match, so I appreciate you guys as always. Much fucking love. Much love to Drowse and Atlanta Phase as they go to the winners' finals. Chris, let's break it down. He didn't talk shit. He didn't talk shit. I gotta respect it. Dude, I, listen, I'm all for players talking shit. Like, I think, especially when you win, you earn the right to talk shit. 
but when you nearly get reverse swept and then in Draza's case you, you kind of got carried in game five by your teammates I think he's right in not talking shit you know what I mean like there's no point for him to say anything there he got carried in game five and they almost got reverse swept so like I actually think I think I get draws more respect for not saying anything there because he could have very easily been like all those guys are shit like so I actually kind of respect it to adjust to it, Abizi goes up through ice cream and finds the kill. Like Atlanta Bays, they lost two search and destroys the last time they played New York. Hydra teaching us some new spots, by the way. Gotta call that out. That is quick. insane. He's kept that in the here. back pocket. Yeah, Cell doesn't seem to like ang to, to like anxiety, to like interviews. As well, like I was sitting there, like, is he gonna do it again? Is he gonna do it again? He's done it twice, but he literally runs out of bolts and MC. Those are good shots. Like Charles said, like those are really good shots. Yeah, there's. I like a nice humble interview, especially when like. You could talk shit, you know what I mean? I mean, his teammate was shooting bodies all series. So, like, he very easily could have just came out and been like, yeah, those guys are ass. Like, we knew we were going to beat them. But you got to like it, dude. You got to like it. All right, dude. It's time to freaking see Optic versus Toronto Ultra, man. I'm so, I'm so ready. We thought New York was going to be able to take care of business, except for... Optic Atlanta. Ultra, I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. CDL Scrim Intel tweeted out a red card at Celium. We'll see what Zuma says. We'll see what Zuma says. Let's put a exclamation on this series. Do you have an MVP? I'm going to go with Abizi. I just love what he did in that game five. Draza, everybody had their moments. Yeah, I mean, Draza in that map one, like, he needed that. Five hours in? Performance yesterday and he really yeah, five hours and nine minutes into stream already, man. Allie, my favorite player to watch today earns your scum. New York won't win any, anything this season? Dude, you never know. It's hard to win this year. Ah, oh, Danny, dude, you're too nice, bro. You can make me blush. You can make me blush. Yeah, five hours, only two series. I mean, I did go live like an, an hour and a half early, so. <laughs> the nameless just said they got snaked. Damn, dude. If the if cell breaking GAs though, I mean, is uh, if that's if I, I gotta see a, uh, dude, Chad, it's here. It's out, Chad. It's out. Zuma red card on Celium. Red card on Celium. It's official. It's official. The commish has talked. The commish has said it. Man. Man, that's, that doesn't feel as good, that win anymore. Doesn't feel as good. Dude, Fuel, they literally just did the red card, too. That's crazy how you just typed that, and I shall pull it up on screen. Oh, man. That makes it feel a little bit not as good. That makes it feel a little bit not as good. Let me put up the poll for the next series. And then I am uh, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick before we get into intros. So I'll be right back. CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. Start the season strong with the Call of Duty League Pack. Grab yourself the CDL Operator, Weapon Blueprint, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in-game now.
match. I'm feeling very sexy. Joe and Dell ready for a fantastic match. This one went the whole way last time. I have a full matching ensemble. These are shorts. Yep. A little yeah, bit of thigh, a little bit of thigh. Yeah, you look like an absolute moron. But Thank you, Joe. Why we love you. Uh, you honestly, it looks like the re remake of Malibu's Most Wanted is about to come out, honestly. Yeah, no, that's, that's basically yeah. what it looks like. Craziest play I have ever seen in my entire life. I don't know if anything will ever stack up to this play. I mean, I can't believe he had time to reload for the first one. I mean, part of that at all. And the fact that Prisa accidentally mantles the Godheady. To make the play, it's been all about him all tournament long. It can come down to a 1v1. Oh! Whichever bomb site they choose to go to, 30 seconds on the clock, and well, if he's been seen, he will drop off the map. It's up and about, as is tradition. We're going to fly towards that ring, that first hard point, as both teams will jostle for position. New York in first. Over to Selium, who finds two right off the rear, makes it three. Phase will take those points. straight back on it he's got time to get it done no one there to watch it will it go through formal oh he kills him oh my no, god no subliner's got the win he got to defuse the kill did not come in time no. you have the streaks you have the bomb planted you have every advantage in the world but the defuse came through he got it he yeah he stops the clock you have to do a selling on the top side of the flat does indeed that's good oh the snap Max stays alive. Another for Mac. That's unreal. 23 seconds. Oh. All right. Unless Priesta can come up with something magical, something historical. All right. Oh, it's this clip again, dude. We've seen this clip on CDL TV like a bajillion times. Literally a million times. I feel like we've seen this tweet or this tweet, this clip. Oh yeah, Draza did set the new damage record. Get to the window and Shotzi just lying in wait. He's waiting for the call from his teammates. The moment of pounce, he's trying to bait these guys out. And the bait indeed. You got the two players on the flank coming through. They've got the spawns. Now the pressure's on Cammy. Oh, looking for the second, looking for the third. He takes him down. Oh, Cammy! Standy will get free info here onto Assault. Quickly finds Let me get out a tweet about Optic versus New versus Ultra. Put out a little Tweety. Ultra 3 1 incoming. Do I think MC was snaking? It was hard to tell, Cohen, like the one or two times I saw it. I definitely thought it was close. Um, but if Zuma issued the red card, I, I believe I agree. I agree with him. I believe what Zuma says. So, And if Zuma issued the red card against a phase member, you know it's for real. So I do think he hit a little bit of snakes. So. England lost to Brazil. Intro is out, but we're still we're on a break. What? Yeah, a uh, red card was given. Lax Zuma tweeted it out. You hear sirens when we sleep. Zuma wouldn't lie about it. Nah, dude, especially against FaZe, bro. If Zuma throws out a red card against his own team, you know, you, you know it's true, bro. You know it's true. Intros are out, and we're not even getting them full screen. What is going on right now? Yeah, so FaZe might not get a warm-up tomorrow. We'll see, I guess. Two of the better intros, though. I do like it.
Dude, I think the fact that you can hear Scrap scream is hilarious. Come on, man. Come on, what are we what are we thinking here? This is about to be a banger. Yeah, dude, that's me, dude. That's me. That's my movie, Top Gun Maverick. That's my movie. I'm actually in the movie. I'm the main characters, and I am the director, and I'm the producer. It's the moment we've all been waiting for since seeing the bracket announced. It's our winner semifinals, and we just had an epic one go the distance. The car using the ultra intro is Scraps car. Yeah, dude, Scraps got a nice car. With the top gunny, you know, you know, dude, you know. See, Slayer knows. Slayer knows about that gunny. Oh, we're going right into it. We're going right into it. Kleenex versus Shotzi should be a banger. I hear something going off. Christopher Ford? I guess that's how you'd say it. Christopher, Christopher, thank you for hitting the sub button, man. I appreciate it. Shout out to Christopher for subbing. If we do go to five, it's Karachi S and D Optics Playground, more specifically Shotzi's Playground, and he's the guy. Thank you again for the sub, Christopher. For real. Three point two in the control. So Toronto Ultra, try not to get in this loop. Ali, two questions. Yes. Who is the best player right now in Optic Texas? Ooh, best player in Optic Texas right now, Shotzi. Ah, uh, you gotta say Shotzi. And who is the best player on Toronto Ultra right now? Scrap. He's been so consistent. And you gotta go with Scrap. Dude, and I wish we got to see Rio, man. First winner of the day. I wish we got a Rio map one. Who are you so choosing nice. first in our scuff pick 'em? Script scripting, nobody's gonna like my answer uh, because it kind of goes against the favorites. I'm gonna go with Toronto Ultra. I don't know why I'm feeling it. Toronto. Ultra. All right, Ali's taking Toronto. Who's nameless going? You're up next. I think Texas have just been better at search destroying control, and that wins championships. I'm going with Optic Texas. Nameless goes Optic. It's a fair take. I saw Scrap's dad this morning. He was telling me their search does not suck. Toronto Ultra. Dang. And Pucket goes Toronto. Side, now you're going to be 0-3 on the day. That's crazy. Or it could be 0-3 on the day. The match <laughs> is ready. Make some noise, Miami. Your winner semifinal. Oh, Starts man. Here we go, place. bro. Here we go. Yeah. And man, this stage has been electric. These next two teams are looking to play phase in the winners' finals. But get ready, Miami. Looking to do it brick by brick. Here brick by brick. Brick by brick, chat. Give it up for Kenny, Shotzi, Pred, and Dashy. Green wall unite. Because I think Texas is ready. Oh shit, chat. Also, we are at 47 likes on the stream. That's a new record, man. That is a new record. 47 is now our new watch party record, yo. Thank you to everyone who's who's in here. Hit the like button, chatting, watching, listening, bro. Thank you guys so much, man. 47 likes is insane. Okay, lax on like. We're back to 46, bro. We're back to 46. Oh, we're going down to 45. Everyone unlike. Everyone unlike the stream. We got scrap. Envoy. Insight. Dude, I got ultra winning this one. Ultra. I got ultra winning this one. I do think obviously this is a this is a coin flip, but I got ultra winning in my pickums. Optic haven't lost in a... Optic hasn't lost in eight matches, though. They have not lost in eight matches, so... We got Miles and Chance on the call. That's not Merkin, Maven. so far non-stop great games and this one's bound to be a delight as well the chance of USA in the background already 
I wonder how that's going to affect the cool USA stuff. chance. Uh, the the crowd's rooting for Optic, clearly. Respond. Speaking of trying to pretend to be Maven and Merc, they blast their own headsets. It has been a beautiful day. Yeah, Ultra. It must be cold in that venue, bro. It looks like Optic are wearing sweatshirts, too. It must just be cold inside because it's probably hot outside. Today, you absolutely can. We have two bloodbath game fives. It has been ridiculous gameplay. And now we get to Rano versus Optic, a rematch from the qualifiers on the main stage. Yeah, Study and Shift are not in Miami. We'll work our way through the players and make sure we study and shift are not in Miami. Shotzi was also stair glitch, dude. Shotzi didn't stair glitch, bro. Shotzi drop shotted on a set of stairs. If you watch the clip, you can tell he's not stair glitching. He's literally drop shotting. The only people who said he's stair glitching are literally like phase fans. Face fans and like ultra fans are trying to say he's stair glitching when in reality he just drop shot it. Even even Zuma and every all the street all the flank guys said that it was just a drop shot. And it wasn't like an actual stair glitch. Every single map in game mode in absolute menace. High IQ plays, trigger discipline, anything you could possibly ask of this young man. He is delivered. Oh, we're gonna have a banger, chat. We're gonna have a banger. How did I know you were gonna say he's stair glitched? Do you think he's stair glitched too, Lex? We saw them play as well. Very similar stuff. Expect his flashy. You can't even stare glitch those stairs. Yeah, see, I don't even know about that much. I don't know that much about the game. All I know is he was literally shooting as he went down. Watch this be a 3 0, dude. If we see a 3 0, that'd be insane. I mean, we thought FaZe were about a 3 0 New York in that last series, and then look what happened. I mean, they won, but we got a game five. They virtually gave them their best maps and well, Greenwall chants are out. People are getting lit. Now they come out in the picking bands and they make the adjustments. They wanted to people are lit right now. Six one bopped. Well, they get rid of it. So when your search and destroy map is going to come into effect, and that's the map to invasion. That being said, Optic making some adjustments as well. They struggled in the hard points, but I think what's funny for this team is Ben stream having less than 100 viewers is low key sad, dude. Honestly, uh, the people are probably just all watching Zuma. You know, most of the uh, most of the most of the viewers that want to watch like the flank boys are probably just tuned in, tuned into Zuma. Um, so Ben's viewership probably isn't really isn't really that important. Skump has 40k, dude. Actually, only 40k. I kind of thought Skump would have more than 40k for this. Maybe once the series starts, it'll people will start locking in for for Skump stream. A break is when you don't rotate to the hard point, but you're ended up getting through and collecting the time. But it's not just the fact that they have one of the higher break. He's 77. Okay, wait. That makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. They make a break. You only get five Zuma, then Octane, then Ben. Actually capitalize and turn bad yeah. I mean, Ben's literally at the event with Zuma, so his stream is the exact same as Zuma's. So, like, unless you just want to, like, go donate to Ben for some reason, you're probably just going to click on Zuma's stream most times. So, they're going to be a threat. Got to be on the lookout for him. And I know we talked about that map one, Karachi. It's a low map record. Who we got map one? Like, who do we think is going to win, or? Map one, Karachi HP, bro. I, I could see I could see this being ultra. I'm taking ultra map one, I think. Ultra's so good at hard at hard point, bro. Flank has eight four dude. Oh, the fact that we're saying the flank only has 14k is crazy. I have 17 viewers. <laughs> I have 17 and they have 14,000. And we're gonna say they only have 14. I mean, I guess compared to Scump, it seems small, but that's insane. I can't even imagine freaking 50 viewers, let alone 14,000. Ooh, melted them. Nonetheless, a good series. Here we go. Shotzi's getting moving. Okay, he missed the jump. Scump makes bank. Dude, I can't imagine how much money Scump makes each each stream. Like, it's got to be, like, genuinely, I think Scump makes more in, like, a week than most people make in a year. It's actually kind of crazy, especially on Twitch. Twitch's ad revenue, they made some changes to it, I think. It's actually insane now. So, Scump definitely makes more in, like, a single week than probably 99% of people make in a year, bro. Might have the opportunity to attack and jump all over these optic players. 
but Fred and Shotzi roaming together, collecting the kills. <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't know how. I don't know if it costs him any money to do like stuff with Activision or not. Oh yeah, no, Scump's balling, bro. But he deserves it, dude. He worked for it. He deserves that shit. Same thing with Zuma and the flanks. Same thing with Nade Shot. All those guys worked for it. You know what I mean? And that's the world we live in, man. If you if you're entertaining and you provide some sort of value people want to pay for, like then you you deserve the money. Should they deserve more money than like teachers or doctors and stuff? Probably not, but that's just the the capitalism that we that we live in. Looks like Shotzi though wants to be annoying. He knows that these players on Ultra are gonna have the back spawn, so he's being aggressive. Him and Pred want to get them out of this scrap. Okay, good shots out of Pred. Find him for doing an ad, yeah, bro. For the battle for I wonder how much money Optics paid in fines. We're now going to see around CDL and 100,000 viewers, dude. I can't even imagine, bro. And that's gonna be another break. Scump doesn't even have 100,000 viewers that often, so I couldn't even imagine. Can I turn up the sound a little? Yeah, yeah. Let me know if that's better. Well, now you got Kleenex on the wing. Good damage done, but now the pinch on the time. Scrap two directions to look. And well, the question Insight is, seven and five. Dashy seven and five. She coming. Doesn't make the oh. fight easier. The hold from Optic is in. Oh, not only the hold, but cutting off the reinforcements, the lifeline the Ultra had towards this point. Snuffed out. Reddit's going ham on the red card. Yeah, I don't, I don't, da I don't doubt it, bro. Now Ultra coming from, and they are taking. Reddit loves that stuff. Center. No one's getting to that hard point without taking a bullet. Yeah, Toronto uncomfortable even off spawn. You got a guy like Fred shooting in the back. And this isn't 200k really on that time. video. Can you imagine? Boy, he wants to control the power positions as we go. Okay, Ultra, you, you broke it with five seconds left. I don't know. Uh, well, Kleenex just wants to get that was the best use of your time. time. Good kill out of Kleenex. Fred coming in behind. Are they going to read him? They're playing both sides. Watch for the pinch. Kleenex a lot of work to do from the side of the map. Oh, perfect timing from shot. See there, the drop shot, the hop shot now from Scrap. Can he take care of that player behind him? Hit See a Scrap. Work out a little bit of a bullet hero there, but Optic have cleaned the streets of Toronto Ultra players. And all that effort to try to get those powers. Dude, I, that hydro clip is so funny. When they're swimming in the water, the nade's screaming. Just over them. Inside, trying to be a nuisance, but easy gunfight there. For Optic Dash. playing a good hard point so far, man. They're just out slaying. They're just big time out slaying. And he's 12 and 6. Well. God damn. That is a gorgeous amount of scrap time. And plenty of time for a guy like Shotzi to go for the breakdown. He's pinching right now with Pred. All the Optic players are doing now, they don't want to jump on this hill. They want Ultra to look two directions, and they're already forcing that spawn out. Here comes the fight. Pred from up high. His teammates below him. No good shots. Close. Bullying the boys These are some good shots so now. far. Over to the scrapyard. We now send this is a really good. This is good yeah, HP out of optic right now, man. This is really good HP out of optic. A clinical approach. Kleenex on the flank. Anybody get another? Kleenex with two. For Tobias, Johnson, Kleenex with three. three. What a break that was. That's a good break out of Kleenex, man. That's a good break. They were just a little bit too slow, and Kleenex able to fly through and well jump on these kills. Shotzi gets baited. He ended up in between two, and what could have been a wonderful moment from Optic Ultra do the near impossible and turn that into a good junk kill. And honestly, with a hill like that, they are going to be all right. We're we're just about going to be tied after this. Virtually going to be tied up as we go into the second set of rotations. Ultra are surviving in this map off of scraps now. They've got a little bit of meat on the bone. Let's see how they can flourish now with an opportunity to push back towards the middle. We're over to P1 again. First go around. Nice even score line. Let's see how things fare. New hard point open for business. Yeah, scrap on a scrap five getting in the hill. He's on a five spree. If he can get a cruise here, that could be really good for them. Shotzi's making a play to get him behind. He might be able to get behind and kill Scrap here. Oh my god, Scrap turned. Wow. He turned at the perfect time. And that's covering fire as well. He's keeping both these players back. Dashy though, the final bullet. Number six going to see if he can flip spawns. Let's see if six can get behind, man. Envoy, he's not going for spawns, actually. I thought he was going P2, but he went back to P1. Wow, dude, I thought for sure Envoy was going to go hit for P2. This is a big 1v1. Gatsy wins it, but the trade, okay. 
Fury in the main AR on the flip side, putting in the heavy. They don't have spawns, but no I mean insights here by himself, moment. dude. He's gotta take things slow and let the kills come to him. That optic no. They're not gonna push him too hard without. Yeah, with shots he just annihilated him. Don't worry, I'll get it done myself. Cleans house. Ultra with a slight lead. Hard point up. Envoy though. He sneaks on through. Envoy, big two. Finds two. Any more to be had here. Get stunned out. Gets the wall bank. Trades like, all oh, over the place. Nobody's getting time yet. Scrap, couple shots in. Great damage being done, and now we can work with Envoy to go and try to Envoy getting piped. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely uh, starting a little slow. Him and Shotzi actually are both. Uh, Shotzi's had some good kills, though, I will say. And there's two of them. Nothing to say there, but I'm sure yeah, Optic's playing good hardpoint right now. But they're about to barely be in the lead. Oh, he's gonna have two here. Two out of Kleenex. Crews missed, but they got intel. They got kills. Ooh, big kills out of Dashy. Kleenex with another two-piece, though. Oh, one off the Crews. Sounds like Scrap has reverb. One more new probably, or bridge. He could have spawned in bridge as well. Just check it. Nothing spawned bridge. Two and out, two and out. Dude, Kleenex is having some crazy two pieces. Some insane two pieces out of Kleenex. Wow, wait, Optic just running through them right here. Oh my god. They got the power positions in ultra pin in the back of their spawn. Pinned, but not in too much trouble yet. Scrap trying to help his boys out Pred from upstairs. Red killed Scrap too? Whoa! Beautiful work down the hard My god, how did he kill Scrap too? Dude, this hill is horrible. I'm sorry, this hill is so bad, dude. Oh, Kleenex is snapping. Alright, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a tie game. We're gonna have a tie game. This hill can be hard to break, so we'll see if, if they can do it. Envoy needs to get going, though. Envoy needs to get going here. Over to the scrapyard once again. And Kenny's made himself very comfortable in this top red room. Shots in the other side of the map, prowling, trying to slow down the approach. Insight's got a nice angle here. Not enough to get the read though. Beautiful work again out of Optic, holding this one down over 200 points. We've now crossed. And 40 seconds left on the hill as well. This is massive time. Optic can't win here, Ultra but they can get within three seconds. So Ultra need to break. So you need the breaks in these moments, but the front line from Optic, they're looking pretty strong. So Ultra needs to break here. Ultra need this map too. Ultra needs this map, man. They can't afford to lose a hard point, I don't think. Oh, Pred's roaring on main stage. Oh, he ran out of bullets. Alright, a good little contest. Decent contest there. Oh, Shotzi's moving. He's not even reacting either, if you look at his cam. I think this is going to be map one optic. He glides across the map. I think it's going to be map one optic here. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Ultra has spawns for 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 two, but optic is rotating. I... Or are they going to read him? They are going to read him. Wait, wait, wait. Optic got to be careful here, man. Optic got to be careful. Oh, it's over. If seven dies, it's over. Yeah, I think it's Jeej. I think that's Jeej. Map one optic. 
The crowd's gonna go crazy. Map one optic Texas. Of a comeback there from Toronto Ultra on the P1 to P2. They end it. 250 to 217 Wow, that's a big win, man. That's a that's a really big win because Ultra are definitely better at HP. And Optic have looked good at SND recently, so impossible. He messes with your timings and he quite literally bounces around with those cutoff kills, but that is a well orchestrated team effort there from Optic. I mean the damage output from everybody just about We'll see if Ultra has anything different for SND right now, dude. We'll see. Well, but that was a very strong Fred was cooking, dude. Kenny had 27 kills, but Fred was had a thousand more damage. It's only the fourth time that we've seen a monitor, Honestly, not a lot of engagements out of Scrap. In the mix. I kind of thought Scrap would have a little more engagements. Strong. It's a map one they needed, and they took it right away. For well, map one in the books, 11 minutes flat. Great looks there across the board. Can we get some green walls in the chat? <laughs> not a hill kitten. He prefers to go by King of the Hill. Cross the highlights now, and a lot of it's going to be shots. I mean, again, just, uh, Dude, Kleenex was making some big plays, but it just wasn't enough. The entire time, the only sort of separate uh, Austin said my chest hurts. From Optic the second time around, but it was truly back and forth. But I appreciate sort of the stabilization of Optic when they have the right side spawned at the end on that P1. It's guys like Green. Just slow it down. Green. We need 66 kills out of Scrap and Kleenex. Dude, Lax, at this point, it doesn't even matter because because we already got uh, three wrong, so we're chalked no matter what. Even if we hit the scrap and Kleenex thing, I lost my $5, unfortunately. They have been the clutch kings. They do not fear these spicy hard point moments. That's the beginning of the series, and it's a good start for Optic. Can they maintain that composure throughout all of it? That's the question. Search and destroy a very different beast. Hydra bread dashy skies versus Shotzi kids make Kenny Sib. Who wins? Let's see if they can keep this MW uh, Hydra Pred Dashy Skies, so, probably. So good. So I think Hydra and Pred would just be way too much for that team to handle. Should be looking for. Slow presence, very, very methodical. And the key to the success there in map number one. 250-217. Hard point done. s and on its way. Yeah, Lax, we hit, uh, we hit the Purge under and we hit the Abizi over, but we missed Hydra, we missed Quinn, and we missed Attach plus Sib, so... Even if Kleenex and Scrap hit, we don't make any money. That rotation to Junkyard where they truly took that lead. And you see the pressure that Toronto's going to take in. That was a close game, man. That was a close game. Credit where credit is due. I mean, he dropped a 1.0 KD. 25 and 25. But when he's playing top third and getting... That was a close one, man. We got to see, dude. Ultra need to show me something in this search because they've... Yeah, those final two they obviously were great at search in major one but people got a lot of vod on them and really started countering them so you definitely need to like have some different strats here bye bye karachi we'll see you at the very end of the series maybe for now a double dose uh yeah i could still get three lakhs but you need to get four to get to get any money i'm pretty sure that's alex's is that alex's girlfriend i think it might be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at Alex and his girl, bro, on stream. Interesting one to watch because I know these players are at least the coaching staff going to be watching the series on the main stage. Hydra showing off new wall bang spots on invasion might be the type of thing these players. Have shout to out Alex, dude. Shout out Alex. Shout out his girlfriend, man. Middle of the tournament. SND on its way. Quick look at the metrics here from stage two. SND oh, stage two yeah, metrics. Optic, a very solid record. Much Even better record for Optic right now, dude. Much better. Five. Chance anything that sticks out there? Well, look, it was a, a Neslo series from Optic when they played Toronto. They How short is Simp? I think Simp is like five, six. I don't even know. And that just means they're gonna be. Who's Alex? Alex is on the podcast. Optic Texas Burner. He's on the podcast with me and Preston. Set up those expectations for the team. Don't get me wrong. I think we're expecting Toronto's S and D to be a lot better on around the CDL co-host Optic so Texas Burner. Five and five record for them, but it is going to be Gonzaga beat Kansas. Battle. Let's go Zags. These players adjust. Again, for me, at least on the side of Ultra, Envoy is the player I'm going to pay extra bit of attention to. Struggle. All right, man, come on. But man is world champion. You know he can bounce back and adjust. Bounce back potential on. Breaking points go. tweet. Invasion S and D. Who knows if it's as spicy as the New York Fay series? We just yeah, he looks short, but apparently Ace is like six four. 
I saw someone say that the stocksman is like 6'4", so I think he's just really tall. What am I eating for dinner? Uh, either leftover wing stop or leftover chicken parm from last night. We'll see. I'm not really hungry right now, so... Oh, good tags. Massive advantage now win this round. Killbox is set up, didn't cover my key. It's made of very sturdy stuff. 40 odd seconds remaining here as Envoy and Kleenex now scrambling to try to find a bomb site that might be welcoming of that plant. Pred says absolutely not, pushes Kleenex back. There's a Who's the tallest the person I know? Well. Like IRL? Very strong advantage for now. That's a good question. I don't know. I have a friend from home who's 6'3". I guess he's probably the tallest person I can think of off the top of my head. You fear Optic looking different? Dude, Optic are looking good, man. Optic are looking good. You're 6'5"? Hey, let's go, Fueled. Why aren't you in the league, bro? Come on. Ringing, who will answer? Two in the we gotta get you in the NBA or something. You could definitely be like a shooting guard in the league. Ultra. Double nade. Uh oh. I fear. I fear the COD gods are on Optic's side right now. I fear the COD gods are on Optic's side this series. Oh no. And these first two rounds, Kenny's laughing on stage. Oh no, chalk it up. Strong round. You keep that going. Does Optic wipe him out? Good shots at a dashy. Uh, puts the trophy question still in play. I mean, they weren't alive for long enough. Uh, yeah, man, yeah, Ruh, uh, Raggy. By this time around, they'll have one. If not, Ultra gonna have to play slow off the rip again. But I think that's Kenny. It's okay, that was only yeah, two rounds, throw right? Bet. Throw some nades over. We'll get those kills, and they might have just been. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Losh. Just the sprinkles on top. Now from Ultra, they gotta dig deep because at some point, well, it really. Yeah, it's only too well, bro. They could come back. They could come back. Yeah, if Ultra have no trophies, they're gonna play a little slow. They can concede a lot of the Your cousins are like six, eight. God damn, bro! You guys better start a freaking team, dog. What are we doing? very, very quickly, but. Yes, Austin. This is exactly what it's like, actually. This is exactly what it's like. Trades from Kleenex. You'll take the trade on void just to bait, but now for the three versus three, that B site is Get used to it. Every team is gonna lose more than they're gonna win. The cross up until Kenny gets in position. Almost your Cold War face. You effectively have these three Toronto players trapped. And no one from Optic over committing. No mistakes being made. Nice little stun check for the info. Oh, the hiccups again. Dashy not even trusting it inside of Pop. Doesn't oh, no. see it, but still gets out with his life. Ultra. Well, they're swinging the bomb towards A. Guess who's been ready and waiting? Pred. The extra kill. Man advantage towards Texas. I so fear Kleenex is about to get sauced. Kleenex. Wow. Oh, Pred's 4 0. Fantastic round from him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ultra. What's going on? Sorry, unable to finish Dashy in their opening fight. But Dashy finishes him 3 to nothing. Optic have seemingly not skipped a beat when it comes to searching. Oh Ultra. lord! Hey, it's not. It's never over though. It's never over. We we thought phase were about a 3-0 smoke New York last series. We ended up going five. So it's never over, no matter how bad it looks. Three-two piece and Fred and Dashy eight and zero combined. But it definitely is not reassuring. It's not reassuring if you're an Ultra fan. And there is not a, a single mistake Optic has made. In okay, his, big oh, kill out of scrap. Those are beams out of scrap. Damn. Shutting down Dashy. Three kills on the side of Ultra and four kills from just Pred or Dashy. Optic, this is still plenty of time to man down. And if anything, this is even better test of how great Optic Texas. You know, Pred so wants to so streak, so they down. might play reserved. Uh, you're exactly right. They are gonna which could to be good for Ultra forward, for a minute here. Toronto still a good setup on the map. Two players double up towards mid. The ARs watching both of the long flanks. So nothing on the map is open just yet. Nades out. He's got a trophy though. Looking for the nade to connect. Oh, the trophy's wow. too far ahead. That was so close. Scrap was probably one HP. That's the trophy was too trouble, far up the street. Scrap's still alive. Optic. Well, got to pick a new direction. Scrap's still feeding. Hex wants to get scrap so bad, honestly. Pred doesn't see a Kleenex in this position. Thirty-five seconds. Insight takes down Shotzi. All right. Well. 
That's number five as well. All right, 1v3 for Pred. He needs, if he gets one more, he gets the cruise. He might be dead here. Yeah, that's a good kill out of Insight. Nah, that's a good, that's a good round out of Insight. Ultra finally able to break the mold. You get the extra kill and... That's a good one. MVP caliber bailout moment from Scrap. It is an incredibly short list of players I think should even be allowed to challenge Dashy at range. Well, Scrap is on the short list in a first blood like that. A nice momentum shift moment from Ultra, but still, they are down 3-1. They got a long way to go. It only takes one to get the ball rolling. Here we go. Attacking round for Toronto Ultra. There's trophies in those boys' back pockets this time round. How do we go down alike? <laughs> Some people unliked it's earlier. Up the left flank. Some people oh, unliked so earlier. It's all good, though. They'll like again. I trust. Now, has well What's the member goal up to? And he might be um... We should be. It says they're at 156, but it should be at like 180-ish right now. But the counter doesn't count for gifted for some reason. I don't know why. Yo, Kenny's got a hammer. What are we talking about here, Chance? Is Kenny got a Drake missile, or is that what we're saying? The guessing game begins. Scrap pumps the brakes, hoping for an. An opportune moment to catch him moving. Pred lying in wait. If that bomb gets planted, which it is about to be, this is going to be a problem. Can he get away? How fast is Pred? How fast is Envoy? Oh, he just picked the wrong Dude, way Dude, Pred is playing so good on land. Pred is playing so good on land. It's Pred and Dashi. The bomb planted and Pred. Oh my god. Pred is playing so good on land. With the bomb diffusing. The round count will be Dude, Pred might have a Drake Pred missile. God damn. Is, simplifying the game. Everything is, easy for him. The is Pred the Aussie goat? I mean, yeah. You see the plant yeah. From Envoy. For it's sure. Exactly for that chow from B Dom or the tank for Scrap. And well, Pred says, I know where you are. I know where you're coming from. This is just easy reads. <laughs> Pred on land is a different beast, man. Pred on land is a different beast. Kenny's also been looking better on land, too. Shotzi looks pretty much the same. Dashi looks pretty much the same so far, but Pred and, Pred and Ken have been pretty good. Pred wears a cup on stage. He did. Pred has to wear a cup or he, he would be showing too much. You know what I'm saying? That missile would be coming out on stage, bro. Slow and steady on the approach to the inside of shop. Yeah, ultra digging deep. We need to get Pred like a Skims, uh, a skim sponsorship. Kim K, hit him up. All right, Dill. Get moving, Dill. Get moving. Good shots. Really good shots. You know there's a guy to tank. Yeah, bang. Well, now they do. Got to keep him off that bomb. Insight handled. All right, Scrap, that's two. Again, toe to toe, two outstanding ARs, and this time the defuse goes the way. Double Rio tomorrow, dude. If we get a double Rio phase versus the optic tomorrow, I would. I feed families. Much mixier round, but if you don't miss a bullet and cod, well, that obviously goes such a long way. I'm a bit surprised Optic don't make that aggressive read from Envoy, but it's a rarity for players to make those aggressive plays on the defensive end, but. Here's a look at these electric shots. Apparently the uh, bullet tracking completely on point. He's doing that with apparently the mics in the in the venue aren't picking up the uh, the crowd very well because because Alex Optic Texas Burner for those who don't know who's at the event said that the crowd is like really hyped and loud it, when you're there but on stream you just can't hear it so apparently the uh, CDL is lacking in their production because we can't really hear the crowd that much best CDL map of all time uh it's a good question bro I don't know not including remakes best CDL map of all time maybe maybe Moscow from Cold War or like Tuscan maybe or like that's the first blood in and out I don't know this is the first two I think of Jake Maverick's Inside thirst trap? No, please, Lord. Reason. I don't need a thirst trap, brother. I'm taking. Unless it's a thirst Shotzi. trap of my pod skills. Bo Cage? Hell yeah. Time. 
He is the clutch king in MW. Raid, yeah, raid, obviously, but he said not remakes, so. Not a whole lot you can do. You need a little bit of magic. Uh, a map like this as well, those tank positions. Phase versus Optic, who wins right now? Dude, right now I'd say Optic. Based on what we're seeing, there's Alex again on screen. Look at him. Blistering round from the boys in green. And I love that from Shotzi too. Sees how Envoy won him the last round and says, I like that strat. I'll give that a shot. Dude, literally the entire crowd is just wearing optic gear. The entire crowd wears optic gear. It's actually insane how there's just no one's a fan of other teams. It's like kind of sad when you think about it, but also like optic deserve it because they literally pioneered the esport pretty much. Across the board right now, optic remain completely on point. Winner's final is tomorrow. Potentially the final round for Optic Texas. Toronto Ultra still a little slow to the trigger on Invasion. Nades out. The stun's going to help just enough, but Shotzi certainly feeling himself as he now makes his way forward, and he is way... We have a uh, loser's round four, then winner's final, then loser's final, then finals tomorrow, I think is how it goes. Those four. He's made his way all the way back to showers. He's taken a decent amount of space. So Optic are playing with options in the first blood. Kleenex is challenged. He is dying. This is, so is they are pissing on, on them. Optic looking dominant on invasion. Oh my god, dude, they're getting pissed on. This is a brutally impressive performance. Yeah, Rick, we saw Alex. They take the initiative. They do not relent. Bomb plug. Green. Oh, oh, Green. No. Big Bruce has gunned him. Can he take insight as well? This is for the map. The pressure is oh there. my god. Oh, Toronto Jesus. Ultra, what are we doing? Another masterclass. Toronto it's Ultra, it's what are we doing? I mean, GG, that was not have Ultra fallen off? Are Ultra f have Ultra fallen off, chat? That is clinical. That is efficient. That is fantastic word across the board. But Pred. Now nah, I'm not saying the series is over yet, but it's definitely uh, Ultra ain't looking the same. As was Dashy, as was Shotzi. I mean, Optic and Search and Troy against. Dude, Optic improved and Ultra regressed. Ultra go from. Kleenex only 400 damage is kind of tough. That is kind of tough. Pick them apart. 6061 in a 62 on the three maps that they played. Green. They've been paying attention. They've Green. Been the in and, well, all for a, a good situation. 2 up in the series, and a control away from. Optic are 18 and three in SND rounds across the last three searches they played against Ultra. Optic have only lost three rounds against Ultra in the last three search and destroys they've played. That's crazy. Invasion up my tall. It's actually crazy, crazy. Of Ultra. We'll see if they can make it happen, but ahead of me. Wow. An absolute I'm hitting a 2x real quick, chat. Make sure if you haven't Wow, I was caught up. If you haven't 2x my stream in a minute, make sure you do. You might be behind, you never know. Let's go in the control after this very quick commercial break. Don't go too far, friends. This is gonna be an absolute treat. Will it be a 3 0 or is it the Whoever wins map two is ten and one this major? God damn. This is the CDO. That's actually crazy. You win map two and you're ten and one at the major right now is actually nuts. Doesn't let you two X? Oh, then you must be caught up. Forty-seven likes on the stream again, chat. Thank you guys, dude. Like I said earlier, that's a that's a like record on our on the watch party. So I appreciate it a ton, Mo. I really appreciate it. Ravens map set is out. The first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff. Ravens versus New York map set chat. Rio Invasion High Rise Sub Base Karachi. Not bad, man. Not bad. A bunch of different uh, a bunch of different maps. Ones that we don't always see. I do like that. I will say I do like that. I do like that, I will say. So done with Invasion? I, I feel you, bro. I feel you. The only bright side about YouTube streaming is the quality and rewind. That's about it. Yeah, YouTube has the higher bit rate, which is nice. And the fact that you can pause and rewind is really cool. Sometimes I, I like will watch a uh, Twitch stream and I'm like, damn, I wish I could go back. But you can't. Ultra gonna piss slam LAG. 
Dude, they better. I don't know, dude. Adam Assault might just come out and slam you guys. Adam Assault might come out and just absolutely slam. You never really know, man. You never really know. Let's get it. Skirt. Let's get it. Some channels on Twitch need to sub to get the VOD? Really? That's crazy. If, if Assault slams Ultra, you become an LAT fan and die? Oh, Lord. If Ultra slams Assault, Blacks, you're an LAT fan. Let's go. Lock it in. Or if Assault slams Ultra, whatever I just said, bro. You know what I mean. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Toronto's only been down 0-2 twice and got swept in both. Uh-oh. Is history about to repeat itself? Dude, the odds of LAG or Ravens winning today is so, like against one of these top four teams is so slim. But also, I mean, New York looked kind of trash. Uh, New York didn't look trash. I mean, they almost reverse swept. But Ultra looked not good right now, dude. Ultra looked not good right now. Do I think LAG can beat Ultra? Dude, the, the thing with LAG is I don't know how they're going to come out and play today. Like, I, ideally, I would say no, right? Like, I, I would think I would think most more often than not, I would think Ultra should beat LAG. But LAG might come out absolutely slamming like they were yesterday. Or they could come out and play like how we expect them to, which is which is going to get beat, obviously. So I don't know. We got to see how LAG come out and play. Control. Welcome back, folks. Oh, we're looking for another Apex Predator. Are we chance? Well, I think we may have found them so far. Toronto Ultra Optic Ultra is slamming. This map. We'll find out in a moment. Can we get some green walls in chat, bro? Can we get some green walls in chat? This is absolute slamage. I ain't even cap. It does not look like they are playing their game at all, and that's because Optic is. I didn't know. Green. Now we go over towards control, and it is the attacking rounds where Optic. If Optic gets reverse swept, though, we're in a totally different. Uh, we're in a totally different conversation if Optic gets reverse swept here. Yeah, Ultra are not as good in control of the split, so... Come on! We're going back to Invasion! For some control! Here we go. Map three. And yeah, Optic are feeling awesome. good. Yeah, They're five and two. Ultra are four and three. But Optic stats are just better. Better round win. Better attack win. Better defensive win. Ultra are gonna play three times tomorrow. Do they might? Clean up those mustaches and clean up those nades. Ultra, they want to bang out this A zone straight away. Dashy, not a care in the world. Gets the first blood and stops the push in its tracks. Fred, easy kill. Oh my God, that's four dead. That's four dead already. Make it five. Oh God, it's getting ugly real. Is the invasion freaking? Spawn trap already in, bro. It's a ferocious offense so far from Optic Texas. Uh, well, they're on All right, that's that's one kill. That's one kill. Oh Lord, I fear it's over, chat. I fear it's over. Dashy's 5-0 already. Oh, we'll see you later, Brucey. 
Kenny takes on Scrap in the middle of the map. Less than 30 seconds. Fred and Shotzi haven't died. Shotzi dies as soon as I say that. I'm sure Fred will be next. Dagger. No one has even come close to even touching a zone inside a nice win. And maybe the opening over towards B. Ultra desperate just to stop the clock. And well, Fred, he's on a four spree. He's thinking about a cruise. He's let two players pass. But if they touch this zone, might be free kills for him to shoot in the back. Oh. Maybe great vision from on. Wow, he stayed alive. Stop the clock for three seconds left. Oh dear. Yeah, Dashi has to name his son Bruce if he has one, bro. Kills are still there. Kenny finds himself one shot. All right, dude. I, I, the fact that they're getting ticks out of this is actually insane. They were able to get two ticks, which is actually crazy. Wow. They're gonna get three ticks off this, I think. They got three ticks. That's insane. They should not have gotten those ticks. Also close in the ghosty predecessor on Optic Texas. Well, Shotzi having flash. I mean, they're down seven lives, but they should not have gotten ticks there. Twelve lives to work with, and well, that falls an extra down to eleven. Nice shot. Wait, dude, wait. Three in the feed. Your moment to jump to the A zone. It's gonna be Scrap leading the charge, getting tagged up on the cross, but he's made it to. He's on A. He's made it in, and you have turned one. No trophy yet, though. No trophy yet. Wait, there it is. Finds his. Fred now trading out, keeping the capture going. At the very least, you're looking at a, a segment. Can you keep the play going? Scrap fighting from the inside of the zone. Trying to not let the pinch happen. Kleenex is there for it. This is Dude, the what is Scrap that? Another, They're going to win. Down again. There is They're about to win this match, this round. He's got Kleenex for the cap. That's two ticks of progress. Already Wait. Is success in this round. Optic desperate just to get him off the zone. They're trying to swarm, but Scrap on a four in a little bit of time. Okay, and okay. Okay, hold on. Oh, wow, okay, dude. Ultra if if, if Optic would have sold that, I would have lost it. Trying to make something happen, Kleenex. Lives to fight for a brief moment. Wow, what a push forward. 15 on the clock. Kenny's gonna kill him. Oh lord. Last attempt, they are all grouped up together. Ten seconds. They're gonna have to fly. Got him down on the cross and Dashi and Shotzi. Well, they're gonna be all right. to deliver Optic Texas. Well, they win the battle, but Toronto Ultra. Wow. Set Dude. Up for the war. I mean the way this round started, five ticks out of Ultra there is surprised that like Ultra actually really tippable. Major one champions. Oh, I'm, I got the hiccups, chat. Ultra. Again. Well, they for the third the time today. Why they're champions, the resolve to Get that wow, that five round. ticks out of that was is really good. They were down. It was twenty nine to twenty at one point, and they ended up getting five ticks. Attacking round ultra, they'll take it. We will absolutely take that. Optic Texas, even with the incredible prowess in the mode, you can't let the good teams have an opportunity. Let's see how they go now on an attacking round of their own. Over to B we fly, and uh, uncontested so far. And Fred's going to be your island player. Just well, no four hit A. a drawing some attention as his team gets that capture over towards the B zone. Double stack coming through. Shotzi, nice angle as well. He knows every little detail about the map, but where he gets traded. Well, players off spawn, shutting down the flank. Dark being watched by Dashi, who, by the way, kill away from a cruise. Again, another cruise on the menu for All right, that's Will he eat this time? Two, nearly two and a half minutes for Optic here. Nope. Very close to no cruise for Dashi either. Drake shot missile shot denied. Shotzi made the play to A though. Contested. I don't know where Ultra R chance. This could be an unbelievable turn. Oh, he's playing sneaky too. Well, there's a kill. Now jump on the zone, stopping the clock. But he has absolutely no support. He's got to do it himself. Oh, oh man. A bit too slow off the stun. Envoy wins a big one in Kleenex now. Just living in your spawn. That is a clean four-man wipe. Everyone. Can they stack cruises? They can't. They can't. Right now from Toronto Ultra. I don't think. I think once you get one, if you stay on like a streak or you go on another one, I don't think. So. Responsible for the bridge. Optic, plenty of time to break Dude, no, Shotzi, Shotzi jump peeking that wasn't bad because he stunned him. He just took too long. As soon as he stunned him, he should have chowed. He stunned him, though, and he waited like two, like a second. And the stun basically wore off. If he would have just chowed immediately, he would have won that gunfight. Kleenex continues to be a pain. Five spree, still alive. 
This is an interesting moment, man. When we saw Toronto Ultra play in their first series, oh. they had the opportunity to get beat by Vegas, but it was one mistake that got made, and then Ultra ran him over. Optic could have. That's a that's a Drake missile for Kleenex. One mistake, and look at what is happening now. Kleenex has the cruise. They had the spawn trap set up in Toronto Ultra, a deadly team on defense. Reverse sweep and uh, then they get beat by LAG. Can you imagine? The I'd be down bad if I was an Optic fan. You get reverse sweeped here and then you get beat by LAG. Can you imagine? No way. Scrappy's trying to put the boys on his back right now. I mean, they're actually all doing pretty good, but Scrap's really trying to turn up. It's a slow and steady Kleenex stunned himself. The A side of the map. Dude, Kleenex has stunned himself like twice this map. Well, Ultra's going to be up on ticks here, I think. Now you just need to watch the cross. Optic creating a little bit of space, but Envoy, who's on a four spree and has been alive this entire time, still winning gunfights. He might get traded, but now Scrap just looking down the streak. Optic, 10 seconds. They're going to have to fly. Trying to make their way in. There's a lot of guns up right now. Kenny goes down. Shots E on the cross. Damaged. Enough to get the kill. All right, dude. Ultra are going to be up two ticks, man. Considering how this map started, Ultra being up two ticks after two rounds is actually really good. No, it is not two good rounds out of both teams. Miles, I hate to correct you, but again, Optic, they dropped the ball in that round one. Yeah, no, the, that's not even good rounds, honestly. That's two choked rounds by both teams. With the way that first offense went and Kleenex in that next round was able to get the cruise. Yeah, and they're up a lot on kills if they end up having to come down to that. Get that spawn trap set up of being dominant on defense. One small mistake has been incredibly costly, but still plenty of time to make up for it. Optic back on defense. Ultra this time not playing any games. No way hits. It's the standard. The B hit. They go. Thank God one of us knows All right. going on here. Little standard B hit. Fred is actually visible from this position. At insight creeps to the right somewhat. Oh. Yeah, he could have saved Donbo's life in that life in that moment. But either way, first segment done. Toronto Ultra now trying to get the pace set over here by B. Kleenex is the middle of the map. Relatively long. Looks like Optic aren't really contesting this. Second segment done. The opening at B. They're not really trying to contest this too hard. I mean, obviously at this point, who really cares? But Ultra are going to be up a bunch of ticks now. So. Only three lives expended. If Ultra can win an offense, man, they really can start this reverse sweep, I think. I mean, I guess at the very least, they're pretty much guaranteed. They're, they're pretty much guaranteed offense, our defense for round five, if it goes there. They, all they need is one more tick, and they're pretty much guaranteed, so. Working the map, not an easy thing to do in invasion. There's plenty of places to hide. Set up little oh, they're gonna get on A here. The they are gonna get on A. Team, but so far, scrap 20 and 11. Relatively easy approach. And they're on the zone. I mean, they got one player here right now, but now make it two. This is gonna be an extra. Kleenex team. still has the Drake missile, by the way. Envoy. Yes, he's gonna fall in. Actually, no. They didn't, they didn't get the tick, tick though. They didn't get the tick. Barely in time. Make no mistake, that is a big moment long term. Is Kenny doing his very best to stay alive? But as he gets traded, reinforced. Scrap shooting nukes. Yeah, he's up to 21. Scrap and Dash here, one v one and over here. Trying to keep these players back. Here comes the hit though. Will they be on the inside? The pinch is on. Whoa, have a nice shot from Kenny. All down to scrap for now. Has to hold this position. Dashi has the bridge cover, so you're not getting out that side unless you manage to peel him off of those power positions. As long as scrap is alive, he's at least keeping the pressure on. Uh -oh. But every single player that falls, well, it's going to put Ultra Whoa. so deep in their spawn. Dashi now on a three spree. That's a clean four down. And well, this is the official spawn trap blender. Bruce is in. He's on the inside of the walls for a moment there. You're chasing red dots if you are ultra. You get him out of this position, you're good to go. Still trying to fight forward, but Optic have encircled that embassy. You are not getting out without a bullet or two. Oh, well, if you have Kleenex with a cruise missile, Shotzi may be able to get one of his own. He's on a five, and well, Kenny's on Some a good four. kills. Sorry, I think he's definitely winning this one. They're up 10, 10 kills right now. These guys are a kill away. Kenny lives. To fight another day and you need this utility. dude this is good for ultra but also optic players, what if optic go huge on offense next teams. round can you imagine was a big one a little bit of help from his friends shotzi close oh misses out kenny at range oh he's still in trouble as well no cruise missile yet 18 seconds to they're go. on a, on a. 
has no more bullets in the MCW as well. And now as you're on the cross, well, now you're going to have to make a run for it. Kenny's going to fall as well. They're on A, I mean. They could just go for the yeah, okay. Offense. He managed to get one out of it. Scrap through the middle. Damage out for the kill. Wins it with the Renetti. Flying for Okay, again. there we go. We're going, we're going another one. We're going another one. Next, though, the last man. He's on the prowl for the kills, and I don't think that's going to be We it. are going another one. Somehow hold. I mean, look, they hold, but keep in mind in that moment for Ultra, it is four players working out of Palace, both Shotzi and Kenny on five sprees. Neither can do that little bit of extra work and get the job done. Ultra, all the little things have been going right for them on this map. They got 3 0 on Invasion last go around, but they have improved on land. Still down around though. Optic, make no mistake, the number one team on the attack can still get it done. So they're like, man, you? Oh, God. If you're Optic, especially so, you want to burn the cruise missile from clean Dude, honestly, Man United and Optic are literally. When you actually think about it, they're both like the most popular team, and they underperform in recent years. They are kind of the same. gunfire to prevent shots from getting into the zone. You're fortified now, you're set up. Fred on the flank might be able to make something happen. Do I think United have players like Shotzi, Dashi, Pred, and Kenny? Oh lord. I don't even know, dude. It's Rash it's Rashford like Shotzi, bro. Where like you think he should be better and he always kinda lets you down. Except for last season, he actually was insane. Right on top of him, you'll take the free B, but right now Optic, this might be just a tick through. The trophies though not there, and Dashi forced it back down. It is a hail of gunfire stuns and nades landing on that zone. Uh, no, winner of this match uh, plays phase in winner's finals tomorrow. So you're guaranteed top three if you win this game, um, but you're not in the finals yet. Over towards the B zone, but make no mistake, the play still over towards A. Fred and Kenny, well, they're doing what they can, but Ultra, Vanessa on defense, keeping that pressure. Ooh, big kills out of Ken, wait. He's brought the pressure they might be able to get some tick. No, don't chow, don't chow. I mean, who cares, bro? Who cares? Chow all you want, brother. Chow all you want. That's going to be one tick. And they got a tick at B at the same time. Is Kenny really about to go crazy on his own here? Okay, they got him. Dude, they'd be using hella stuns, but honestly, it's smart because stuns are insane. You're basically dead if you get stunned. It's actually insane. But you are now just back to square one. The B zone you are first to work with. And uh -oh. now Shotzi feeling the pressure as well. Uh -oh. There's only 30 seconds left on the game clock. Shotzi needs to stay alive. His teammates... All right, they're going to get this tick. But no concern about the flank. He's about to get it done. Could have been time for the they're going to get this here. Has been Dude, wait. They're only down one tick now. They're only down one. If they get another tick, they're going to get defense. Because they're definitely out slaying Ultra if they get another tick here. Optic might pull off like a freaking insane win this control here. They're looking for Shotzi. They know he's back here, I'm pretty sure. Envoy's looking for him. On the search and destroy mission to find Shotzi, and he's on the prowl. And it's not just Envoy. Envoy's calling out the help for Scrap as well. He's I don't think Sh Shotzi might not read this corner. Oh my god, he killed him anyway. Oh, okay, he died. But they're going to be able to get on A. Kenny's got to go huge. Kenny has... Ah, he's screwed. There's no way. Wait! Wait, this guy's insane! Oh my god, he, he almost just did it. Oh my god. Wait, Shotzi got the kill? Or is that Fred? No, it's Shotzi. Kleenex still has the Drake missile. He still hasn't used it. 6v6 in lives. Holy crap. Slow things right down. Envoy battling through mid. Huge damage. Not enough to bring Kenny down. Time dwindling. Optic are on the other side of the map. Not enough. No response. Three v four. Hold on, dude. Optic could win this on. Li oh, no, there's only six seconds. I was gonna say they could win this on lives, but uh, it's not enough time. Oh man, we're going five. Ultra are gonna get defense. Kleenex still has the Drake. Kenny is making monstrous plays on the map right now. 
leaning back in his seat because he's just oh man chat gonna take to get chat it this is kind of crazy i'm not even gonna lie well they're gonna have to find out in a round five if there was any dude kenny almost four pieced them for the freaking dub there bro the that was actually right insane now, is just having <laughs> Clinical performance, 36 kills. Oh my God, Scrap has 36. Record, and he might do it in control. Yeah, dude, Scrap might set the record here. Keep in mind this long-term problem. Kleenex still that cruise missile in hand. Chatsy, he's creating that space. Well, Kleenex is gonna get the trade, and now the convoy. Good play. That's four dead. That's four dead. I have ultra in my pickem, so I, I wouldn't mind an ultra, an ultra victory here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Here comes the pitch. Dude, if you get this pick right, you're basically guaranteed to get two right because whoever goes to losers is gonna win against LAG. So like, if you get this pick right, you're pretty much gonna get two. So I really like this one, but a reverse sweep's gonna be hard. All right, the cru I don't know if I would use the cruise there, but uh, okay. I mean, but you got to make your way towards either zone. Cheeky spot from Kleenex and B is going to be that much more difficult to clean up kills of rain and optic. You got to make a decision. Dashi is leaning towards A. Scrap has 40. Scrap still Scrap has 40. The reinforcements are no longer there. Optic, they are forced to flood. My God. Scrap has 41. Final 20 seconds now. Scrap holding. Kenny with the big two. Scrap has 42. Dude, he's going for the kill record. Oh my God, this guy's insane. Oh my God, he's got a Drake missile. This man is breaking records. Oh my God. Uh, Cohen, the Abizi over did hit. The Abizi over did hit. Wow. Scrap is Scrap is standing up, bro. He's trying to hype his team up, man. Uh oh, boys. Uh oh. Dude, reverse sweeps might like we might see a lot game fives all day today, man. Let's see if they can keep pulling this back. Also, Michigan State is beating North Carolina by 12 right now, and North Carolina's the one seed in March Madness, just for the record. Seven and a half thousand damage. Have a look at the stat screen in a minute. Don't just take my word for it. Wow, the kill record was tied at 40. He tied the kill record in freaking control, bro. That's crazy. That is an absolutely clinical. That's crazy out of scrap. Scrap paid every girl watching a little wet. Oh lord. 7500 damage. That has to be a record. You trapped him in Palace. They got the next wave as well. 7500? Toronto in a situation where there's what? 18 seconds left in that round. Not a single tick had come through. And not only Toronto still capped the B zone, they also somehow get two ticks on A. And that was a round where Big Bruce was able to get 12 kills in round number one, and yet it was still an advantage for Toronto. The difference maker on that map, but the absolute... Oh my sins. God, that's got to be insanity, bro. 7,500 damage is insane. Matchup highlights now, folks. Looking across this one, this highlight reel could go on for 30 minutes in itself. A brilliant, brilliant showing. Ultra finally able to crack Ultra the reverse sweep incoming. Good. We'll see, bro. We'll see. Outstanding in the mode. They proved us the stats. Yeah, and very, very important. But that performance today, something special. I mean, this is ridiculous. Like the plays that Kenny was making on the A zone, Shotzi finding the openings. He was just an absolute god in this section of the map. But that is simply just the way Invasion plays. Dude, I mean, he carried his team there. He's he literally just carried his team through that map. I'm not gonna lie to you. That literally takes a meteoric performance. Chat, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. I really gotta pay. He's drinking too much water. Cling on and win some of these rounds. Absolutely electric stuff as far as invasion controls goes. That is a, as exciting as it's really gonna get. And again, make no mistake, there has been some incredible Call of Duty play today. We have seen two game fives in the first two series that we have had, and well, Optic might not want to see that game five. Not that they're scared if they get there, but at least the map four on the horizon. It's, I know it's possible, man. We could get another game five. And I was going to say, I know Karachi, that was the map pick there from Optic. That's the one they wanted in the map one, which means Toronto undefeated on Skid Row. Happy to see this map four.
But also, these are two titans right now of the CDL going to be going at it. It might be a perfect record for Ultron Skid Row, but it is still one of Optic's very best. So I wouldn't make any bets on this series. Gambling is a dangerous game. Indeed, you are. A very, very interesting matchup ahead of us now. So Skid Row Chance, talk to me about what makes Toronto Ultra so, so important and so brilliant on the map. Well, if you have a guy like Scrap that can break records when you need him to, that's going to be incredibly helpful. Insight, maybe the most structured player that we have in the CDL. On a map like Skid Row, there are obvious key rotations, especially towards P2, where you got to get them up in that tower in the prime position. It is just weapons. Everyone on that map main stage right now are the playmakers, the heavy hitters, the slayers when you need them to be. And MC doesn't, doesn't care about really the red card, just reacted on Zuma's stream. Oh, oh Lord. Potential. I forgot about the cruise missiles. Optic had like three different players on a five spree. Got to peep Charlie Intel. And if he didn't run out of bullets, who knows what he could have made happen. But good news in, he spawned into Skid Row with some extra mags. Not actually, but... <laughs> X Defiant oh, yeah. has been delayed yeah. multiple times because the game's executives no, keep four. trying to copy Call of Duty features. Oh, Lord. They might be cooked, bro. They're trying to copy COD. Oh, Lord, it's cooked. It's cooked. X Defiant, more like X Delayed. What the hell? as well so they're both titans and again because it is toronto's map pick that means optic start on the good side and oh dude wait ultra haven't lost at this hp yet i mean optic are good at that too but this might be a banger hp right here bro they're gonna be clinging they're gonna be fighting just for for top three optic texas looking to close it out here and ultra looking to push it to game five absolutely towards the time couple trades coming through it's a pinch on the hill kleenex and scrap they execute that is a clean four down in p1 time secured maybe more importantly envoy he's got oh he gets ripped by dashy though so no early rotation but the kill feed being ultra are really good at this hp man this is going to be a banger four from ultra nice little stranglehold on this hill they're going to have a kleenex is like historically dropped insane numbers on skid hp too so this is going to be fun they're just spreading the map playing heavy for this rotation yeah this is what we see on skid row we'll say this all year long until maybe something changes but for now that lead ultra have is going to vanish quickly well something has changed but that'll be a little bit later at this stage is complete pred crawling on his belly him and ken envoy still hasn't gotten a kill a he still hasn't he still hasn't gotten a kill but now Looking to respond with a full Envoy hasn't gotten a kill and Insight hasn't died. We're, this is fun. Dashy. Well, the hill super soaker up top, winning gunfights from up top as well. Ultra, no open avenues of attack. Dashy from in time out there being destructive. All right, there goes Insight. No Drake missile there. Why did Optic play Ultra on a map they're undefeated on? Uh, maybe they didn't want to play something else. Or I mean, Optic are also really good at this map too. So maybe they just wanted to square up. They're confident in themselves. But he's ready for it. Dashy gets Dashy with a Drake missile. Six there. Dashy has a cruise missile to play with. Well, Scrap's actually made it through as well. That's a big goal. All right, wait. Scrap taking away some time there. Oh, he died to a nade. All right, I mean they got they stopped them from getting like five to ten seconds. They're ahead of the rotation as well. Freddy corner though from Shotzi and well they'll Shotzi have two and so six start you want to see him to get heaten but also Envoy two and Shotzi and Envoy are both getting cooked so it's okay dude I want to see a game five so bad bro let's check the break now from I want to see if Ultra has some ice because obviously Optic are cooking them in search and destroy recently so but in game five on LAN is is a different story it's not about who's better at search it's about who has the ice one direction to look it's both these players stuck on the steps with Fred waiting a child they're gonna get to heal up oh down as well good hold that ultra they get the spawns and they might good hold that ultra man classic high low with no hope of any team fire Dashy though on the pinch slides in unable to take down Dashy's cooking this series too here from Toronto Ultra they're pushing things forward they're catching up to get away can Kleenex get another one no Pred brings him down new hard point up but Dashy and Pred are both and Kenny I mean everyone everyone's doing their thing this series but I feel like Dashy's really been shooting oh yeah Envoy's feeling himself now oh yeah he's feeling himself now he's screaming in the mics 
I love seeing Envoy cook, bro. <laughs> Shazi just got ripped out of the air. Holy crap. Scump has 95k. Dude, I'm not I'm not surprised. If this goes game five, Scump is going to have 120k minimum, bro. What is Shazi doing? Yeah, I don't know if he should have jumped there because he just got ripped out of the air. If he would have stayed down, he definitely could have killed uh, Envoy. This might be a... Uh, not the best map pick out of Optic, but also they might they just didn't ban it, so Ultra probably picked it. That's the thing. When you play a good team, you're going to have to give them a map they're good at eventually. Every good team is good at multiple maps. They're never going to... What's it called? You're never going to be able to like ban every good team's maps. Shotzi 3 and 14. He's trying his best, guys. Toronto Ultra. Right now, got oh, someone just screamed. This is why you got beat by a nine-year-old to Shotzi. Did you guys see that on Twitter? Shotzi did the 1v1 thing and a nine-year-old beat him. He definitely, like, didn't let the kid win, maybe, but he definitely wasn't trying his hardest. I think it's hilarious. Optic pick Karachi? Yeah, it makes sense. Wait, he got a double? How did he kill Shotzi? How did he kill Shotzi? Shotzi was so far away. Wow. That's actually crazy. I can't believe that. Is that Aix? Yeah, dude, Aix is in the crowd right now. Hollering at Shotzi, bro. Alright, only down only down uh 50-ish, 45. Clean how did he just read him there? That's crazy. P2 is gonna be big here, I think. Envoy should go right to P2 right now. He should go right there. Yep, he's going. He's going, he's gonna get there too. Dude, I'm surprised they're not just going to someone's not just going to sit in P2. Yeah, it's not Shotzi's best map, but you know what? It happens, bro. Everyone has bad maps. You of course want to see him doing better, especially because everyone wants to shit talk him or praise him at all times. But Shotzi's gotta go crazy here. They call them out too. Oh, he's moving right now. He's moving. Shotzi could go insane here. Yo, Shotzi's making plays. Oh my god, Shotzi's making plays. Oh my god, Shotzi just won them P2. He just won them P2 by himself. I mean, the, the, the Drake missile out of Dashy was nice too, but... Wow, dude, that was a good play out of Shotzi playing his life there. Not just throwing it away, good discipline. Oh, yo, chat, we might have a banger map here. We might have a banger. Shotzi has a cruise too, so. Seven spree and just made the best play we have ever seen on Skid Row. The dance he just did. He Here we go. Here comes the cruise. Now Ultra are down in this game. A 20 point gap and the cruise from the killer. Well, it doesn't kill Okay, well, the they probably could have played that cruise a little better, but if they pick up the kills, it's all fine. Straight on the point we go. Good nades. Oh, they got a trophy out. Can you get them this time? Ah, uh, dude, Ultra's teamwork is insane on this hill, bro. Their teamwork on this hill is crazy, but Optic have close spawns, so they, they took it. Wait, Optic might start chaining hills here. Ultra gotta be careful. Ultra gotta be careful. Optic are already at the new hill, too. Shots is already at God Steps. Uh-oh. This could be it here, man. Optic might win it. Over 200. Barber shops up. Preds handing out haircuts. And he's in between a couple different players now for Toronto. The stun is on point. Well, so is Ultras. But Kleenex got to finish the kill. Oh, Preds heating up. 
Oh my god, Pret's heating up. Optic are tearing it up on Skid Row. Oh my god, Ultra bottled it. Ultra bottled it. Ultra bottled it. It's a regular sweetie Todd. He has made mincemeat of Toronto Ultra. Oh my god, Ultra, we'll see you in losers bracket, baby. Okay, is the reverse psychology working? Are they gonna start turning up for me? For the pickums, Ultra, please. For the pickums. Wait, eight. No, Kleenex. Chalk it up and go for the rotation. Pred the cutoff man towards the tunnel. Oh my god, Pred took them both down. Yeah, dude, there's no way they're breaking this, bro. Unless Insight somehow gets a Drake missile. If Insight can push out here and get and get a cruise, maybe they break this, but this is gonna be really hard to break, dude. Yeah. Chalk it up, man. Chalk it up. Wait, Insight got the cruise. Does he use it? Insight's dealt the damage, but the time's still ticking. Cruise might be too slow. You have to get on the point. Hit the gas. Hit the go button. Is it enough? They win it. Toronto Ultra. We'll see you fudging later. Optic Texas win it. It was too little too late. <laughs> Dude, Alex is yelling your ass. Did you see that? He was yelling your ass. Oh my god. Toronto Ultra. What happened? He was 4 in 16, What happened? Dude, you see Alex Rick? He's going crazy. He's going crazy. I love it. Shop, the ever present force on the map from Dashi as well as is tradition. Most hill time in the lobby in the kills on point as well. Oh my god, dude. At Attach tweeted just when I thought the day couldn't get any worse. A bird shits on my head. That's horrible, bro. Attach got shit on by a bird, I guess. Oh man, chat. Leads the squad, the king of the hill. Wow. Now play Atlanta phase. That's a that's a win right there, man. That's a win. Envoy? Wow, look at that sat. Did you see that scoreboard? Envoy had the most damage on his team, but he went double negative. That's crazy. Envoy had 4,200 damage, the most on his team, and he went double neg. Bro couldn't buy a kill. That's actually, that sucks, dude. That actually sucks. Dude, poor Envoy. Mark Rubin cleared up the rumor, did he? Nothing about the delays, anything about new features. Alright, dude. They, people just be making things up, I guess. Yeah, the Optic fans are going crazy right now. Shotzi on the stage. Let's hear it. Let's hear it from the superstar. Look at Alex with that hat on, bro. I almost thought we were going to go to a Mat 5 after that uh, loss in the control, but when we go into that, <laughs> when we go into that skid row right there, you're down. Next you're match down. is uh, Talk about P2 on a New York versus Ravens. That you made there, just hopping around the windows to get that 7th Street. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, obviously we were down by, I think, uh, 80 seconds or something like that. So I knew that we had to change P1 to P2. So it was me versus Insight on the rotation. And then <laughs> it was me and Insight on the rotation. And I knew that if I got this kill, we win P2. And then uh, I'm pretty sure I was in a 1v2. I somehow play, played my life. And then from there, we changed P1, P2, and P3. Uh, it was perfect. Okay. He said, I somehow played my life. You said I was about to streak. Kenny said, streak out, brother. And that's exactly what you did. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. A crazy series right there. Now, talk to me about what this win means for you to be able to be uh, without a loss going up against FaZe in the winner's finals and how your team has been playing. How proud are you of the squad? Uh, I mean, I'm proud of the squad. Oh. You know, I feel like we've been looking really good in, in every single game mode the past uh, month, I'd say. So, 
Uh, we're very confident going into the phase match. Obviously, we lost them uh, last tournament, so looking for that re revenge and keep up my mind going. All right, and man, what do you want to say? I said on the last series that I haven't seen this many people at the front of the stage, but the green wall said, Blaze, hold up real quick. Okay, we're going to show you something. What do you want to say to these fans that stand in the front of the stage cheering your name, Superstar? Appreciate appreciate the green wall, of course. Uh, you know, I appreciate you guys as always. You guys make this funner than it should be. So, <laughs> all right, shout out to the green wall. Shout out to the green wall, man. You got, you, dude. You got to tip it, man. Every every team wishes they had a fan base like that for sure. There's Alex again, bro. Look at him. All right, let's look at the scoreboard real quick. Looking at the scoreboard, Envoy minus 31, and Scrap the only one positive, plus 17, highest in the lobby, highest damage in the or second highest damage in the lobby. But god damn, minus 31 out of Envoy, plus 14 out of Pred, plus 12 out of Dashy. I mean, minus three out of Shotzi, but he made a lot of big plays. Not good for your daddy, Earthless. Not good. Yeah, minus 31 is not great. I mean, I, you also, you do got to tip it, a, not tip it, but you do got to give him a little bit of slack. He had more damage than Kleenex and Insight, and he still went minus 31. Um, I mean, he literally had one more damage than Kleenex, but like... Envoy was shooting, he just couldn't finish kills, which happens, bro. It, do, it does be happening. Also, uh, North Carolina is beating Michigan now, so that didn't last very long. Just a beautiful play from Jotzi. Yeah, he did a really great job. You know, he was playing around Garage on that P1. They get about three kills, and he's like, okay, somebody's probably going to be rotating. Wraps over, but he takes his time and lets Dashy use that streak. Yes. Once Dashy finds the kill, then a player gets over towards P5 to get more intel for Shotzi on the cross. At that point, he knows there can only possibly be one guy here, so then he engages. So the small talk, absolutely on point for Optic, and also the play is there as Communication well. Communication on point. The comms were in, and Shotzi executes the plan perfectly. Perfectly optic moving in to the winners. Poor envoy, man. Poor envoy. Ben YSL, don't slam Ravens. Your day is fully chalked. Yeah, that's not really good for the pickums. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I, I ultra need. I needed that for the. I needed that for the picks there, ultra. I needed that for the picks. But hey, optic top three, phase top three. And uh, we're gonna at least know the other two teams that are gonna be top four by the end of the day. Two more series, chat. Two more series. Hey, welcome back, Sean, by the way. Welcome welcome back. We got uh, we got Ravens, New York. And then we got LAG versus uh, Toronto to end out the day. Austin doesn't seem happy. He's definitely not happy, bro. His team just lost. I wouldn't be happy either. Pickums are chalked. Yeah, I mean that's not that's not really great for my picks either. Yeah, ultra play LAG last map last match today. And then so winner of Ravens New York will play winner of uh, ultra LAG tomorrow. Then optic phase loser of that versus winner of the first series and then grand finals. Yeah, Pred was cooking, bro. Pred was cooking this series. I gotta give it to him. Regardless of who wins Major 2, Scrap still MVP. We'll see, man. We'll see. If Ultra go out top 4 and FaZe win, if FaZe win the event, dude, I might be Simp MVP, bro, over Scrap. If Faze go ahead and win, it might be it might be Simp or Cell as MVP over Scrap. But Scrap's obviously still going to be top three no matter what happens, for sure. Sauce Gardner's there. Isn't he a football player? He's an NFL player? Superstar on his way up. It's so awesome to have somebody like that visiting us in the CDO. Wow, dude. Wow. Chat, absolute banger. Yeah, no, Scrap doesn't have bad games, though. 
He might have a game here and there where he's not like insane, but the dude was doing everything he could to put his team on the, his back there. So, uh, winner's final is not today. Winner's final is tomorrow. Winner's final is tomorrow. We got two more today. We got both losers round four matches to, to, for the rest of the day today. Two more. Or is it losers round three? Losers round three, losers round four? Whatever it is. Upgrade your game with a scar. I'm gonna hit a 2x chat. If you haven't 2x my stream in a minute, make sure you do so. You might be behind and you just don't know it. We're all behind. I'm behind on this stream and you're behind on me, which means you're seeing things probably like a minute after, <laughs> a minute after uh, that actually happens. Grand finals prediction? Dude, based on what we've seen, grand finals prediction, I'd probably say optic phase. I'd probably say Optic phase, honestly, Grand Finals prediction. I would say Optic probably, based on what we've seen, Optic probably beat phase tomorrow, and then phase come from losers into into finals. Hey, have a good rest of your night, Sean. I appreciate you hanging out today. Hopefully, we'll see you here tomorrow for some uh, Championship Sunday action. Phase doesn't get to warm up. Yeah, bro. They be chalking up their freaking warm ups, I guess. Wow. Chat, look at this stat, man. Look at this stat. Optics start the season with back to back top three placings for the first time in nine years. They haven't made top threes in the first two events in nine years. That's actually crazy, dude. Even that's it since Advanced Warfare, even like the Dynasty back in freaking IW and stuff haven't. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. Dude, that was back when Nate Shot was on the team the last time they did that, bro. Shout out Nate, man. That's crazy, yo. That's crazy. Josh on the screen. This is apparently the highest KD Pred has had on land in his career right now. I'm not sure if I'm getting old, but I swear to God, Joe, sometimes wow. Selium talks, all I hear is... Yeah, CDL TV is, is trash, brother. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep it, uh... I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. They need, uh... They need some new clips for this goddamn thing, dude. These clips are so bad. Not that the clips are bad, but we've seen them like a million times. It would, it would genuinely, it would genuinely take them an hour to find new clips and get them all set up for stream. Like, I almost guarantee they could, they could find... 10 to 15 clips in an hour if they just if they just did it real quick like come on there is only like eight or 12 employees or whatever it is so i guess i do got to give him a break it's a lot for Semp to deal with and he is dealing with it four and oh start just sensational he gets stuck. He, yeah, yeah. That, that was directly to his forehead, I think. Yeah, Toronto Ultra trying to get water side. You know, flip spawns for the second hill. We're going to head towards the left side of your mini map, dude. Over towards the kitchen. He gets stuck, too. That's crazy. Was that, was that it's like four in a row. Talk about aggression. You think LAG are going to beat Ultra? Oh, Lord. If LAG beat Ultra, I don't even know, man. That's, that'd be insane. Look at these old clips, man. They got to do that. Dude, MLG Esports report, bro. Why do they not do this anymore, man? Why isn't someone doing an MLG Esports report? Draws a post? What did that boy Draws say? What did that boy Draws say? 
3v2 and a BZ still alive. That's a, a GG. Draws us an optic tomorrow for grand finals with him walking past Kenny, dude. That's that's cla that's a classic right there. That's a classic chat. Optic tomorrow for grand finals, man. Dude, gotta tip it, man. If you're if you're if you're nade shot, at least your 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 boys are still uh, flourishing. Your current team might be uh, kind of ass, but at least your old team is all doing well. <laughs> also, what's with them running intros with the countdown timer still going on? Why are they doing that today? Not a fan. I like seeing the intros in full screen. Nade's family tree, honestly, bro. Bottom. Yeah, they're definitely running behind, that's why. They're, they haven't been doing, like, the little, like, intro before series type things. They're trying to speed it up. Chat. Alright, hear me out, man. Hear me out. What if Ravens beat New York and LAG beat uh, Toronto in these next two series? What if we have a Ravens LAG optic phase top four? Aches of call this event a fluke? Dude, actually, if optic go on and win this event, but somehow LAG or Ravens are top four, Aches is just going to say that it's a fluke and that optic aren't really the best and shots. He's not really a superstar. Dude, random. I'm holding you to that. I'm holding you to that, bro. Elimination bracket. Welcome back in, everybody. As we are about to bear witness to New York versus the Carolina Royal Ravens. This is crazy. Mickey Mouse event, honestly, bro. There's a top four seed. A lot of hype coming in, going up against our team that was near the bottom of the leaderboard in Carolina Royal Ravens. But somehow, Allie, Clayster, TJ, and crew, they are still in it, and they're looking fierce, especially in Search and Destroy. I mean, you forget what those guys can do when they all get put in the same environment on land, but their biggest struggle right now is that New York started to warm up near the later half of that series and already got to play today. And you know who didn't forget what these guys could do? It's the New York subliners who Carolina smoked at the last major 3-1. So New York, they're going to have to come correct today. Hell yeah, Rick. You know, bro. You know when the cam goes away, I'm blowing my nose. God damn, what is that on the screen? Get that away. Yeah, dude, we're playing hide and seek. I'm going to turn my camera off and you guys have to guess where on the screen I'm going to pop back up. Before New York came back Here, chat, you ready? And that's just a testament to New York, right? Being our Where am I gonna be on the screen when I pop back up? Get your get your your get your things in. Top left, top right, middle, middle right, middle right. Where do you think I'm gonna be when I pop back up? I'm already locked in, so I'm not gonna move, I promise. Maps and modes. Yeah, we got Rio, thank God. Different maps in all of them too, by the way. Alright, chat, I'm about to pop back up. Where am I gonna be? Where am I gonna be, chat? What's up? I'm in the middle. Nameless, you're back on top, my guy. You called Optic in the last series. Who are you calling in this one? I'm going with the New York Subliners. They played some great Call of Duty earlier. I think they do it once again. Top four seed moving forward. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I'm dead center, dude. Ego child, the hell out of you guys. New York Subliners. Ego child. Of the predictions totem. It's time to climb back up by choosing the same thing as you guys. New York Subliners. <laughs> yeah, New York's gonna win this one. Sorry, Royal Ravens haven't been further than this in the elimination bracket going up against New York. It's gonna be a tough one. It's time to get the party started. Miami, make some noise as we send it to the stage with Guy Blaze. All right, thank you, Chris. Miami. We Nobody picked Ravens. I'm not really surprised. I'm not really surprised. Elimination matchup coming to the stage. And the first squad is looking for I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of the crowd cheering for uh for Clay and the Ravens, though. I think most of the crowd is gonna be cheering for the Ravens. Guy Blaze Sim. If NYSL lose, Sib is gone. I don't know, dude. What is like? Who are they gonna bring in? You know what I mean? 
Like, who do you... If you drop Sib at this point, what do you even bring in? You know what I mean? Try to convince Priesta to come back. Offer Priesta an absolute bag to come back. You got to sauce... You got to sauce Priesta like a $1 million one-year deal. Go get attached? I mean, that would be insane. Bow, bow. Look at Clay. Look at Clay. Come on, Clay. Give me something, man. Give me something. Yeah, I mean, this is an insane talent diff. Obviously, New York are way, way better. But hey. You never know, man. Clay, fellow, Gwyn's been shooting. It's not always about who has the talent. When you're on stage, on land, elimination match, bro, it's not always about talent. Sometimes it's about composure. Sometimes it's about sometimes it's about ice. A lot of memorable days throughout my casting career, but this one quickly going up there. Like it has been banger after banger. Ravens, New York for top four. Loser is out top six. Yeah, it is. I, I mean, obviously, you would think just the way Carolina played online throughout stage two, New York, it's just a complete opposite, right? But every single time, Carolina plays them tough. We heard that. But we'll see, man. If, if New York come out one. slow like they did against FaZe, it's possible Ravens can win this. You don't want to come out slow. You don't want to come out slow in any series, no matter who your opponent is. is really found form throughout this weekend. They're going to have to keep that up, but I just think they're confident playing against this team. They're confident, I think, just in... Ravens need CL points in a bad way. I think no matter what happens here, Ravens jump up to eighth in the CD, in like CDL points. I think they're, I think they're top eight after this uh, event, no matter what happens, whether they win or lose here. Now you try to rebound, you try to answer, you try to come in here and fry, because you're going to be battling... All right, dude. I, I, I got to tip it, bro. Ravens squaring up against New York on Rio is insane. But also, we saw what just happened against Faye. So, in the series that we saw them earlier today, Hydra might come out and just absolutely choke slam. Though I'm not gonna lie to you. We're down 100 points early in a hard point. Oh shit, chat! Chat! Wait, this is insane, chat! This is insane. Look at this! Look at this, chat! Rich and Lonely did a a a, a, a freaking giveaway for their for their their scump stuff. Bro, I won blue light chat. Yes, I mean obviously in a perfect. That's actually insane. Game one. I won the rich and lonely giveaway. That's crazy, bro. Are you kidding me? That's so random. I literally open Twitter, I see a notification, I click on it, and that's what I see. Hey, yo. For the subliners here, I thought we're thinking the last match of these two teams played. First Carolina. So Kismet, Sim, these two pop it off. Yeah, it's just these two versus those teams. So uh, I mean, this this was the duo that really stepped it up for the end New York subliners. Uh, yeah, as, uh, they were popping off, especially kids once again in the search and destroy. So, I mean, we saw. That's actually crazy, chat. That's actually crazy. Yeah, uh, I mean, Sib just felt like. Sorry, I'll uh, let me put this back up. I don't know. Any and let me two X this. Why are you pausing, bro? Unpause. Somebody had to win just an insane one. Let me hit a two X. Let me hit a two X real quick. Sorry, I'm trying to retweet it, but I can't. I, I couldn't see what I was trying to click, bro. I'm out here losing my mind. Dude, streamer luck. Is that streamer luck, chat? Is that streamer luck? That might be streamer luck. That's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, they're just waiting. He's probably got some audio issues. Why he doesn't have his headset on? Yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe uh, just a moment or two more before we get in. Sorry, I may have lied. I That's actually so crazy, dude. I can't believe I won that giveaway. Lucky DM cell about the body shooting and scrims. Come on, man. Look now with the monster pregame while we wait to yeah, not nah, simp looks short compared to Ace, dude. Simp looks really short compared to Ace. But look at that opening dual win rate. 69% a fantastic number. And then Clay has been going huge in search 1.39. A couple of clutches. And then not only Clay, but also his AR doing fellow, right? Just any time they planted. 
on that bomb at A on Invasion, he was clutching on up. Well, we felt like broken records because in Major 1, we casted them a lot, right? And, uh, you know, when they start to make some improvements, when the team change comes in, we're thinking if they can just get the SD to a decent spot when the hard point was improving, this is a team that could beat anybody. But then there was regression across the board. I don't know how it's just starting to click, but it is. No, it has. And they, on top of their search, their control looking better and better. 2 0 record getting better on both sides of the moat. You get better everywhere. Which... Except for, yeah, except for like hard points, right? I mean, yeah. Rich and Lonely is a crazy brand. Yeah, Aches yeah. tweet? Oh, yeah. Lord. What did Aches say? Is it about uh, X Defiant or is it about COD? It's probably about X Defiant. Just like online, two superstar performances today in the top four. That's crazy, bro. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. I mean, listen, I don't know if Aix is even watching this series. I'm not, I don't, I couldn't tell you. He might not even be watching, but Aix is, is, is he, he's not watching. Shotzi, even though he has minus three, was making insane plays for them to win. So, whether you think Shotzi is a superstar or not, you got to tip the, the play, bro. He was, he was doing good. But I think the big thing there is the post plant win percentage down to 12. That was one of their strengths going into that match was sort of their post plant and how good it was. And right now it's kind of sitting at 12 throughout the major. So can that get better here? And then their defense, uh, five and zero uh, in control. Yeah, LAG and Ravens top six at the very least is really tippable. Considering how they looked online, you got to tip it. Defense specifically, Hydra has been a monster. We're going to take a look quickly at now our major two kill leader as in KD leaderboard of where people sit. Hydra, we know how phenomenal he can be. And uh, Gwen also going to be sitting inside of the top 10. Yeah, just uh, just these guys always rising up those leaderboards doing so, so well. So again, we, we have an audio issue on the stage. So uh, thank you for staying patient with us as uh, we get that figured out. Gwen has been amazing, right? Like this guy, uh, we've talked a lot about rookies. Oh, uh, been the front runner. Of how is Ravens going to handle the Hydra spot? I mean, who you knows? He's going to get stuff, pissed on. Has just been so, so oh, let me put up the poll real quick. Major two, he's sitting at sixth overall. Um, doesn't really seem that guilty. Let me put up the poll, the chat. Get your votes in on the poll. Who do you got winning? NYSL or the Carolina Royal Ravens? Very consistent. He kind of feels like the last match, you know, the real hard point. AD leaders, Diamond Con number one. Dashy Pred, Scrap Cell, Gwyn Nero Kenny. Pretty good. This is about a run past nine. Yeah, bro, for sure. This is our first, like, real delay I feel like we've had today. So, honestly, not terrible. Not terrible. We've been live. Or I, I, Yeah, we've been live for seven hours, chat. Thank you to everyone who's been hanging out all day, man. Most of you guys in chat have been literally hanging out with me all day, so I seriously appreciate it, man. It's an absolute blast just vibing. Just vibing together. How big of a... For the crowd, which we imagine is going to be behind kind of the Ravens, one with him being the underdog, two with ha kind of having Clay on the squad, how big of a player is it in this series? Well, I think Gwyn, it, yeah, Gwyn know, versus Hydra is going to be interesting, man. I think it helps players like Gwyn. Hey, thank you, Random. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think when the crowd's going nuts, Clay's probably making a play. Chat, Show give me one second. I got to uh, I gotta turn the heat off, bro. I'm starting to and, sweat you know, in here. I'm not used to that either. True? Yeah, yeah. As you were uh, kind of chatting like, about the S&D improvements and stuff, yes, they've improved your Carolina, but this is arguably the best S&D team in the world. I mean, maybe, okay, argue with me about it with FaZe, you just beat them in two, but have they improved enough? Do you think they've really got a shot in some of these searches? Yeah, I, I think so. I think this is, uh, again, I mean, we saw it last time that they played. They were able to win an invasion, search, and destroy. So a lot of these maps are going to be repeats uh, throughout this series, a little bit different uh, on some ends, but you're going to see the sub base hardpoint map four if we get there. You're going to see the invasion, search, and destroy in, in map number two. So, yeah, I, I just, it feels like all the online games, all the practice, maybe now you're finally starting to get those results. And how you said they sort of, uh, I don't know, always perform against this this team. I, you competed a long time, had a storied career. Was there ever, like, I don't know, teams better than you, but you always just played well against them? Is it a, just a mental thing? Like, you know, you know someone's on the other side of the stage, you're like, oh, I'm going to piss that guy. I mean, I, I think that always kind of happens, just the, the way that, you know, you're, you're performing against them at a tournament. But I, I just more so mean when, when you're a lower seed, maybe things are going up uh, for you. Maybe you're playing a phase, an optic. 
Maybe you don't feel as confident. Oh, man. You you match them top, Dude, it was so uh, cold like, this morning line, that I had the heat on, good. but then yeah, now it's 70 it. degrees, so it's a little bit too hot. 51 likes on the stream. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Chat, we're over 50 likes. God damn. First time ever, man. First time ever over 50 likes. Yo, thank you guys so much. Holy crap. Thank you guys so much, man. That, that's insane, bro. Thank you guys so much for the support, man. 50 likes for the first time ever. I appreciate it a ton, man. Come to my mind in terms of sort of those entry guys leading the way, always being the first one in and search and destroy. Yeah, I mean, we saw it last year. There's a reason why. Wow. Thank you guys. Thank you guys a ton. It's only at 38 for you. It's at 51 for me. So, major shout out, guys. I appreciate it. And now we're finally hopping into the game. And welcome back, Danny, by the way. Let me hit another 2x real quick, just in case. Just in case we'll hit another 2x. It's 38 degrees. Oh, gotcha. Damn, yeah, that's cool. Break that. Yeah, somehow I, I literally 2x, what, five minutes ago? And somehow I fell behind that far? Uh, that's a good question, Sanders. I don't know if they would have won. Maybe, dude. Gwyn and Fred could have been a nasty duo. 78 where you're at in Florida? Hell, hell yeah. Kind of a dud. The guy can hit though on this map will be so crucial for this Royal Rain. Oh, Clay putting down Hydra. Oh, Clay putting down Kismet. Hey, thank you so much, Danny, man. I really appreciate it, dude. I really appreciate it. Long skies. Trying to finesse it, but he gets hunted down by fellow. You're going to see Kismet on rotation. Keeping that locked down, but if you give this up, if you are New York, that's close to 50 Dude, seconds. Dude, 36 so is insane, bro. I'm so glad it's not 36 degrees here. Any time that he can, but he's gonna get taken out. Yeah, it's still gonna be close to 50 seconds. Yeah, you take that. Plus, you have a three. Wow, that's a lot of time on P1. God damn. Up the four, not able to finish through with a fifth, but. Hey, you're good, bro. You are good. Streak potential. He's gonna be by himself though. Can he make the individual play? One more in front. So we sliding through. Both guns getting it done. Snap back for the help is there. Clay is moving right now, dude. Clay is moving right now, chat. All right, dude. Hide you just annihilated him. I think he kind of lost him there. Clay is kind of, kind of getting, kind of moving, bro. It doesn't look that old. But you're already here. If you are Carolina, as Gwyn's gonna find two. This is nicely done. A nice start, but seven skies. The AR. Ah, that's a good. That's a good two, three kills out of them. For subliners. That's good kills out of them, man. When they are really hitting, but yes, you were small. Chat. We still have two series. We still have this whole series and the next one. This is insane, bro. This is about to be a ten-hour day at COD. But on the map, we see the rotation starting to come in. One and four starting to stretch the map on the other side of this four New York subliners. You take this junk time if you're Royal Ravens. Yeah, I mean, you, you flipped out. It's probably not what you want if you are Carolina, but you find some time, I guess. Now you start to work up the map. Skies with a great knee. That hits two. All and right, let's see if New York can get some time going here, bro. Here for the subliners. Fellow opens let's see if New York can, can get some time here. Kismet. Couple kills. Gwyn, couple kills. Well, it's the opposite way this time. Kismet starring out slow instead of Hydra. Bring back Super Weak. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Oh, Clay. Clay starts 8 and 3 and Fellows 7 and 4. What is going on? Quite get four as Kismet is there, but looking at a tie game, maybe a lead change here looming. What are we seeing here for next? Dude, game? holy a moment, maybe for Gwyn in the timing versus Skies, and he's able to find it to at least get some presence because you needed that. That's a P2 and a P3. Back oh, Hydra's P2. moving. Oh, oh imagine if you would have turned on Tej there. Now they're trying to early break on through behind Hydra's double, and that might just be it. Ooh, okay, everyone. A lot of two pieces this freaking. Oh my god. This is now three in a row that have not. A lot of two pieces. Royal Raven starting to put a sequence together. If you are subliners, pinch opportunity though. As felony gets a kill on disguise, you might be able to collapse on this if you can get there in time. But no, sir. Subliners find the kill. Yeah, this is this is clinical right now in New York, man. This is clinical. Now push this lead up to twenty. 
but still a tight game. Just really a dude. Honestly, he's got so much time to pee one of your Royal Ravens. Like, hey, Danny, that's that. awesome, bro. That's super dope. He's fought an outright side, but he's that's that's super dope that you get to play in the same team with him. That's actually really sick. Works out. They realize where the push is coming from. Maybe they were thinking they flip sim, trying to find number six, almost snaps. But he does get taken down, and yeah, after just New York are rotating well right now. They're holding and rotating. On rotation, kids with oh, if he would have hit by or cheesed him there, that'd have been insane. Guys, this is why they are number one in rotation. Now set up here for P5. Yeah, just dude, are Ravens even rotating at all? Have <laughs> Ravens rotated once? He had P2 rotations because they spawned on that side, but other than that, these boys are not rotating. Not starting to come through. It's just second by second, bit by bit. You take some chunks with the time, and you open up a massive lead here soon. Yeah, He's the striker and you're the goalie. Hey, that's a good combo though. That's a good combo. You could boot some passes up to all the way up the field to him. Give him breakaways. Yeah, these next two series could be really uh could be really quick, honestly. We can see some three out sma like smashes. I'm excited to see how LAG plays though. I'm excited to see if LAG comes out firing like yesterday or if they just come out and like kind of don't look very good. With the double, he's up to four in a row. And again, that break kind of starts with Fellow and sort of the pinch he was able to develop. But now, as we head back to P1, you already see Hydra in position. Clay switching to the rival. One more bullet than would have had to five in a row. Dude, I keep getting the hiccup shot. Can he get going here? Is he sitting at 10? I've had the hiccups like five times today. And yeah, I, mean, I think you're, what do you think? Pretty thankful you it's a 30 point game if you're Royal Ravens right now? Right? Oh, absolutely. Set, I know that about I mean, P1, this is P1, this has been their home. You get into this second set and maybe you try to make some. Hey, nothing wrong with playing in the lowest levels, bro. Avoid some of those At least you're playing. You're That's the fun part. Just the timing within the next set of Roto. All right, Ravens. Ravens keeping it close, man. Ravens are keeping it close. From the right side, right? You had to hold it from the left. We weren't quite able to flip it, but Carolina, they are battling down 20, looking to an upcoming rotation to P2. Let's hear the comms. A listen now with Carolina. Oh, T just getting hyped. Jake Maverick football team? Team? Hey, let's go, dude. Let's do it. Can't stop hiccuping, bro. I hate this shit. Dude, Ravens are in the lead, man. Oh, T just heating up. T just heating up. T just T just like minus four or five earlier. Dude, there's no. Hey, if Ravens beat New York, I'm gonna lose my mind. Not just in this in this map. I mean, in the series. Dude, T just locked. Look at his cam, bro. T just locked in. Dude, can you imagine if, if if Ravens make a run and win this event? I would love to see Clay win one more event, bro. One more, dude. One more series after this, Danny. One more series. Alright, dude, let's see. They really gotta break this hill because New York could pull away big time. They've been holding this one good. Fellow playing his life? Oh. Uh, Hydra with a good pinch. Uh, Hydra shooting too, bro.
Oh, that's all dead. Skies has a Drake missile. You have to drive one and a half hours tomorrow? Oh, that's ass. Another individual moment for one of the elite players on this subliner team. 50 points. Yeah, Danny, I wouldn't watch this whole thing if I were you either. Royal Ravens, you need something brilliant. You need it soon because Hydra's starting to get going. Yeah, it's just these P3s and P4s just back to back. Oh, Hydra's heating up, bro. It might be over. Hydra's looking like an MVP again. Here comes the Drake. Oh, we're paused on the Drake missile. Everybody look at Drake's missile. Take feast your eyes. And he hit the... Not to the connect, okay. I think just hits a pole up top. But they're going to work the P5 rotation 30 points away from going up 1 0. Hydra's literally dancing on their squad. This sequence is. Oh my god, so, Hydra. So good. 27 and 21. Five Hydra can't die right now. Like okay, I, I jinxed him. I jinxed him. Okay, dude, T just still shooting. I, actually, he's, he died 29 times. I didn't even peep that. If you're going to make the run, it's got to be now if you are Carolina. Can they muster up something truly Let's special? See, Hydra's gonna go crazy. Yep, Hydra's going crazy. Yep, Hydra's going crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's doing whatever the hell he wants right now. Is he gonna beam with the SMG at range? There's no way. Oh my god, with the rival from there, dude. They didn't get any of this time, though, really, New York. Hydra did all that, and they barely got any time. I mean, it's over either way, but... This would be the most insane uh, hard point comeback ever if, if Carolina did this. The one -on -one mid -map should do it. Yeah. All right. That's one, New York. Map one to subliners. That is one. And for the most part, when we're talking about like, the crowd and, you know, how big it'll be. That is one, man. It because, yes, you were in the game if you were Carolina, but they were just always ahead on rotation. So it kind of stops like those big moments, those big rallies in the runs. I mean, yeah, it was hard to roar if you were a Carolina fan. Uh, I mean, just the the way they were able to kind of combo P3, P4, and P5 both times through. Uh, I think majority of time for Royal Ravens is, is through the first two hills. Yeah, outside of that, it's like they, they got some scrap time. Here My hype for there, Vista and departures and ranks. I mean, that's definitely dope. I really don't play that much rank, but I do like that they're at least testing it, bro. Just a little relief hey, Cohen, thanks for hanging out. Have a good rest. Hopefully, I'll see you here tomorrow, but uh, I appreciate you being here today, man. Clinical gameplay we saw from Hydra at the end. That, that Sky's moment. Yeah. Because that, that, that is the one late in the game where you get two kills. You Hydra know, like, 33 and 23, and yeah. 6,400 damage out of Hydra. God damn. Yeah, I mean, didn't get a kill. If he got one kill there, alive that long, he's probably need to learn for school tomorrow. Hey, dude, you got this, bro. You got this. Lock it in, Cohen. Have a good one, man. How often, though? Like, it, it's... Listen, all, they're all professional players. They can all do it, but I feel like we see it from Sky so often we're on somebody else <laughs> thank you thank you I'm still cra it's still crazy I won that giveaway I actually can't believe it that's actually wild you know what I mean like all the time just those little tippy tap jump shots he's great at it no he is yeah I mean putting those shots in the damage going up and just buying time for his teammates he knows just gotta Anything that he does is going to allow Hydra and Kismet Siv to get to their spots, and that's going to lead them to a map win. Especially in Rio. <laughs> yeah. You're spotting pretty close, and you can rally over pretty quick. Ravens Neslo. Dude, imagine. If, they ra if the Ravens pull up a Neslo here, I'd be crazy. Whoever at New York found Hydra, I think it was Clay, bro. It's 170 to 148. Or was it Clay who found Hydra? Was it Zuma who found Hydra? Uh, Danny, I want a giveaway from Rich and Lonely for a t-shirt. Uh, Embo's uh, apparel company. Yeah, that was your chance. You couldn't capitalize. But it's a great individual moment there from Skies. Just wonderful use of the van and cover. But yeah, you see where it's... Clay got Hydra picked up? Yeah, I mean... And now he's now he's facing the consequences. <laughs> Dude, the hiccups, man. I can't take it. Five hills, 23 points through those five hills. So just completely controlled by NY, uh, YSL the back half of that game. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I know you talked about the P3, P4, P5, but that's really, that's really a full, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's a full set. Dude, like, they, they, they did it like the whole second half of that game. Phenomenal stuff. Bam, bam. Map one win. You don't have to battle back in this. And now it's going to be Carolina that's going to be a bit tested.
you won't go up in this series. You won't have the edge. You're probably wanting some revenge if you're subliners. I'm sure you've experienced like team BT knocks you out of one tournament. You get another shot. On the oh yeah, dude, you still got to wait your for your Miami jersey. Obviously, New York. They want to do. They want to do anything better than Major One. Well, they want to slam everybody and prove, you know. They, yeah, that, that's just it. But a hundred percent. Dude, I can't get over Maven's freaking outfit, bro. It, they did it online. It, the, the pattern is hilarious to me, but it's the hat that really gets me, dude. It's the hat that's really getting me. Just watched them, and they had a lot of creative things. It's so funny, dude. It's so funny. Not gonna play as tough. Like we're gonna show. Listen, you should. On paper, this should be like a 3 0 to New York more often than not. With the Carolina we've had in the past, they're going to come out and try to absolutely body them, put them in the dirt, move on. You've already Leading into the drunk the uncle vibes, one. honestly. A dude. wild one, but you know, Clay's uh, Vickle has your number now. Hey, let's go, dude. Die or go away. He, let's go. We're going to get you. need to get you on Miami. I think they need some help anyway. Yeah, and I mean, listen, you look at this map for both. Maven reminds you of Joe Rogan. Yeah, I see it. I do see it. Didn't have the best game. He got caught a lot of that time, but as it really mattered, still having a great search and destroy major. And then on the other side, yeah, Maven, Maven's calmed down a little bit. He has. He probably had to. Now it's like a franchise league. There's probably some rules about some of the things he can do or say. Like that was just a bees he put on. We're talking about Hydra's clinic, kind of in a respawn. You're learning Spanish? You are, bro. You are. He was taking the first bloods he was getting. He didn't even have that, like, insane of maybe a stat line, but, like, he was in unbelievable throughout the course of that. And, yeah, made a lot of issues, I'm sure, for Kismet. But now, what can he do here? Up against Royal Ravens. I uh, just got an alert that they're still, I guess, trying to resolve an audio issue on the side of New York. So More audio issues, up. man. Come on. We There's said earlier how we were we were lucky. I even knocked on wood that we had no delays. And look what happened, bro. We jinxed it. I knocked on wood and everything, and we still jinxed it. We go back to the CWL. Do we see some retired pros come back? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Sometimes, I mean, that's going to be uh, that's going to be the case. Like, you know, you don't see him in the online matches. We come to tournament time. And once you're starting to battle for top three or championship Sunday, all the tricks start to come yeah, out. I don't know if it'll come out here, but yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not, but they make a deeper run. But uh, Clay on the other side of it, trying to fight through in this series. We're come on real quick and a preview. Of Ravens have looked pretty good at SND and uh, in, in the last bit. Hey, AM, thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Hopefully we'll see you here tomorrow as well. Okay, game is ready. Never mind. So uh, we're not going to take a look at the doc, which uh, no, I'm actually excited to see how that turns out. But I think it right is our production team told us we were going to go to that to buy some time. We're uh, hopping in. Them game was ready. So never mind. We're going to get into the action. Just a minor blip on the radar in this series. We continue on. The players take a deep breath. They get ready to get locked and loaded. And we move on to the search and destroy. And yeah, you just worked on this one. You were just here. Battling against phase. Now you try to see what kind Scum of said he'd come back with methods both in nade shot and optic nation. Yeah, bro. None of those guys actually honestly methods is probably the only one who actually really wants to come back, dude. I can tell Method still wants to compete. Um But uh I Scump does not want to come back and compete. There's no way. Dude's living it up. We need someone with fat pockets who loves God. Hell yeah. My name is James Eubanks, known as Clayster Online. Shout out James Eubanks, bro. Clayster. 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 Did you guys watch this Breaking Point? Uh, Over 10 years. Did you guys watch this Breaking Point thing? This uh, documentary? Why I'm still competing is because I want to win. I got to help uh, Breaking Point with the research for this documentary. I was in a group chat with Shawston and a couple Breaking Point guys, and I was helping them do research for the doc, which is pretty cool. It came out really good, man. It came out really good. If you haven't seen this doc, man, and you like COD, and especially if you like Clayster, definitely watch it, bro. It makes you feel for the guy, and it makes you really want to see him win, dude. Winning on stage in front of a crowd is the best feeling in the entire world. I hope they continue doing more. Like, I hope there's more for the rest of the season. I think that'd be sick. <laughs> just one more dude just one more for clay man that's all we want dude i mean the the doc the doc is called one shot which obviously is like a cod thing but it also means he has one shot so that makes me think this is his last season 
Because it's called one shot, as in he only has one shot left. But we'll see, man. He'd try arc next year. He might want to keep playing. No, it has, yeah. Lots of ups and downs, but he always bounces back. That's just what the man does. Make a self assign roll with what content you live on for Discord? That could be cool. That was me. All right. Dude, how how do we not get Cowboy Hat Clay at this major, bro? I thought he was gonna whip it out. Oh, we're headed to a break. Oh man. Three minute break, chat. Okay, wait, chat. Real talk. While we have we have a break, I thought about this last night, and I wanted to ask for your guys' feedback. So obviously. I, when I stream, I pretty much just stream the watch parties for the most part, and I stream the podcast. I want to know, what do you guys think I should stream outside of, like, watch parties and stuff and the podcast? Because when the CDLs got breaks, like, when there's weeks, there's no matches, or even in the offseason, I still want to stream. But what should I stream? I know I can play COD, we can do hide and seek, we can play eights, but I'm trying to think of other things, too, because I can only, I can only play so much COD. On YouTube or Twitch, I, I don't really think the platform matters too much. I'd probably just stick to YouTube since that's where my audience is and that's where all the members are and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Random, is like, it, it's hard for me to step out of like what I do and still get viewers, which is fine. Like, I don't need to have 17 viewers every stream. Like, it is what it is. Like, we'll get there eventually. Um, but I'm trying to think of other things that we can do that are like fun or like ways I can still stream every every week um I don't really know I'm not sure yet I've been trying to think about it do what you want to still watch hey that I mean that's very nice of you Danny that is very nice do I want streams to do well or do I just want to stream for fun I mean streams doing well is is the cherry on top for sure but I if, if I was streaming and there was only five or six of you guys in here, but I still got to chat and stuff, like, that's good enough for me, you know what I mean? It's better than me sitting here by myself playing games. Um, but of course, streams doing well is obviously really nice. Inside the mind of a KBM player? Dude, you want to know what's inside my mind and he's a KBM player? It's, ho holy shit, my sensitivity's a little too high, bro. I'm gonna miss my shots. That's what's going through my head 90% of the time. Trying the worst rated Steam games? That could be fire. Become an Ultra fan, you'll tune in all the time. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lax. I'm a, I'm an LAT fan through and through. Do I want to incorporate chat or do solo things? I'm good with either. I, I When I stream, I want to stream to talk with you guys and to talk with chat. Like, I don't stream to, to, to not engage. Like, that's the whole reason I want to stream, obviously. So... I would want to play a game where I could still talk to chat, whether it's a game that you guys are playing with me or it's a game that like I'm just playing, but I'm still talking to you guys like that's still the goal either way. Horror games. Oh, Lord, dude, I'm bad at horror games. I'm not going to lie to you. Let's plays could be fun. Valor Rocket League could be fun. Rocket League could be a lot of fun, man. I'm, I'm not very good at Rocket League, but it's a very fun game. I also play a lot of Apex. Apex could be fun too. We are back. Minecraft, We're Minecraft could be fun too. I do love Minecraft, bro. You random, you make horror content, don't you? Don't you mainly post like horror game type stuff? Play COD is a horror stream, yeah. Honestly, bro, my COD gameplay is not good. Well, We're finally getting into the search, bro. Yeah, I mean, reaction videos? I do want to do some reaction stuff, like watching some COD stuff that we've seen, or like watching old matches, old events, old highlights, I think could be fun. Viewer games on Rocket League, you can cast it. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of ideas. You guys just gave me a lot of ideas. Thank you. To push this one. Yeah, Rick, I saw that, dude. First time in nine years. Shout out to Nade Shot, man. That's what happens when you get rid of Nade, man. You can't win. You can't get top three in your first two events. Mukbang Q&A stream? Dude, that's what these are like, basically. These, these streams are basically mukbangs, bro. I eat at some point during all these streams. Are we going to another break? Caster rates matches try to get hired by the CDL. Honestly, they might. I don't think they're hiring any more casters because they're broke, apparently.
This war is mobile. Lucky Nade. Is oh, wait, is Nade not watch partying today? I thought he was going to be live today. What happened? Warzone streams, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I hate Warzone, dude. Warzone's kind of fun when you play with friends, but I hate Warzone, bro. You die in like four seconds in Warzone. Is Nade not with LAT? What do you mean? He's still, he's still a part of 100 Thieves, but he's not like at the event, if that's what you mean. Getting a nuke with every single gun in MW3. I do think it would be a cool stream if I did streaming until I get a nuke. Like, not ending stream until I get a nuke. I think that could be fun. That could be a fun one. Reacting to viewers ranked clips, that could also be fun. X Defiant streams? Yeah, that game's never coming out, bro. He's not watch partying? Dude, random. Listen, chat, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm not I'm not happy to admit it. I have never gotten a nuke in Call of Duty. I know. I've been playing COD since COD 3 and I've never gotten a nuke. I do wanna say, I've never really tried to get nukes. I just play I just I just run at you. I, I play like Kleenex, bro. I play like Kleenex. I just I just sprint forward. I play like vivid, you know, I just sprint forward and try to shoot things in pubs. So I haven't really tried to get a nuke. That's why I think going for my first ever nuke on stream, not ending until I get a nuke, could be really fun. Play like Nade Shot, honestly, bro. But Nade Shot's gotten a couple of nukes recently. I just don't play a play style that like, like I've gone on big streaks. I mean, like, I went on a 29 a couple weeks ago with one off the nuke, which sucks. I just don't slow down. So that's why like, I feel like if I try to get one, it could be fun. Hello, and skill based matchmaking makes it ass. Do a subathon on Twitch, bro. That'd be the shortest subathon of all time. <laughs> that'd be the shortest subathon of all time, bro. I'd be live for like 35 minutes. First nuke is on COD Mobile. You got one on this COD and shipment. Oh shit, we're in the game. Dude, MW2. I should go back to old MW2 to get a nuke. I could probably get one if I tried. When is the 1v1 tourney happening? That would be a fun stream too. I'd like to set that up. Right hey, Danny, I know you'd come in with the gifted, bro, but you only got so much cash, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want you spending all your money on freaking sending me gifted, bro. Dude, I have no idea, Fueled. I have no idea, bro. One, three hours of ranked play makes me want to pull my eyeballs out, let alone playing it every day for hours. You'd give 300 gifted? I, I don't know how much 300 gifted adds to a subathon stream. I'm not sure how people usually do that, but... A subathon could be fun. The only problem is, like, I have work. You know what I mean? Like, if a subathon, if I started on a Friday, let's say, if I'm still going by Sunday night, like, what am I supposed to do? I got work on Monday. You know what I mean? Trying to find something. Look at this. It is just a three. Uh, yeah, LAG play after this. LAG Ultra after this one. And we really haven't seen a setup like that to sort of see the cross over towards A. I imagine if Sib doesn't get stream work, can you imagine? Just sort of three hit the B street. I wouldn't be able to freaking. And then just sort of I wouldn't even be able to focus if I was trying to stream work. Even better, Sib finds that. Yeah. With some great shots. I'd be sitting here not being able to focus trying to talk to chat. Just they'd be down a man every time he found that kill. Down a man every time Skies found that kill. This time you get the first blood, you play with That is true, Rick. I was <laughs> I was still in chat watching games anyway. You start out strong Hydra with two as well as he got into the enemy back line. Now as the utilities exhausted, aggression is coming in pretty quick. It's gonna be custom zombies could be a ball. Dude, I like custom zombies a lot, I'm not gonna lie. They're just shouldering for information. Information received in the way of bullets. Yeah, I mean you have Clay all the way in the back, so. He's gonna be the lone man, maybe watching that crossover towards the bomb. TJ working the weekend subathon. Side. Yeah, there's probably some things we can oh, figure out, bro. Win, but New York hasn't moved the bomb. Lax and Austin are pissed. I mean, I don't blame them, dude. Their team just got crapped on by Optic. Where they want to go with this? Here they start to go. So I do not blame them. Trophy out for coverage here. If you are Clay, so you my vibe was down bad yesterday, so I'm sure they're feeling the exact same way I was feeling yesterday. Rally across. Hydra gets to the pocket. Both players. 
24 hour ranked play stream, brother. I, 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 24 hour ranked play stream, if I started in bronze, I bet you I'd end in like gold. <laughs> I would, I would be, I would be, I would be stuck, bro. Watch Miz give in to Dan Clancy. I could watch that, yeah. Yeah, no, Ultra is still in the event, so they're all right. This guy Hydra is so good, bro. This guy Hydra is so good, dude. You're able to stay up really until Sky's there to make the play. I mean, that's it. You yeah. are waiting on this man. House of the Dragon he comes out in June. Oh, and nice. Go to get there with him. Because Carolina, they're thinking, all right, we haven't spotted him on the flank. Maybe he's over towards... We got triple here. Karachi for Ultra versus Gorillas, by the way. Karachi high-rise, Karachi sub-base, Karachi. Cross, and that's the round. It seemed like, I mean, at the point where you lost a player, they get to buy... It seemed like he was so far away. I'm like, no way are they going to buy time. And not lose yeah, this might be a skill dip here in this series, man. Skies is the closer in the round. It's fast. Now I watch Game of Thrones. I haven't I haven't watched the like new series that they've put out, but I watched the original Game of Thrones, like the original eight se seasons of whatever the the first show. Set up right now towards B. It looks like Sib going to rotate back. Skies all the way back bridge, just watching the cross towards bomb right now and yeah he's in a spot tj tj is, ha is ha house of the dragons the new show like well i guess it's not that new at this point but this time though spotted by fellow and clay on the flank yeah is it any good rick should i watch it i heard some people say it wasn't that good so i didn't watch it but maybe the people that i heard from on twitter are just faded it's really good ah oh, shit all right i got i'm gonna have to watch it then i just don't watch a lot of tv i'm a big youtube guy they cannot skies takes out another Trade is there, though. So I'm a big YouTube guy. I really don't watch yeah, a lot of TV. Right, Kismet gets one and puts you into two versus two. Now bomb will be planted. Kismet and Sib trying to get it done. Bring it back in the two <laughs> The last four are mid. Yeah, you're not wrong. And it's on Clay. Clay 1v2. To make a play. And he's dead. Wait, he's not dead. What the hell? With the rival. When is that child come in? Is he even ready? Kiz, can we get active? To get around. Now it's time to finesse. But All right, yep. Three out. But Kismet and Sid worked the two on three wonderfully. Great three shots out. out of Kiz on the player who plants that was Gwyn trying to get away from the bomb, but the rival connects. Uh, his spidey senses started tanking. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of movies either. We watched the we watched some more movies this year. We've been watching like a movie a week pretty much. Um. So yeah, I've just never been a big TV or a movie guy. I just like, I don't know. I'd rather be doing something than watching something. So like a lot of the time, if I'm, I just, I just be playing a game instead of watching something, you know? I'm very restless. It's very hard for me to sit still, so. And they have shut it down. The retakes looking good so far. Three straight for kids. They're gonna make like two to three more spinoffs. Oh damn. It's a four man wolf pack headed over towards B. You've got two players there in the way of TJ and Sounds dumb for a watch ready guy. Dude, the difference, Danny, is I'm talking to you guys. So for me, it's very engaging. Because I'm reading chat and talking to you guys the whole time. If I was if I was like not a streaming, I would be watching this on my second monitor and probably like play Apex or something at the same time. Unless LAT were playing, then I'd be locked. But for the most part, I'd probably be doing multiple things at once. Because uh, my attention span is fried, just like everyone else's. Yeah, I mean, that was really a nice shot to recenter onto the second player. Wow, dude, this isn't even close, man. This isn't even close. They get the first blood, they get through on the smoke. Take advantage of the Can we chalk this up, bro? Can we chalk this up? Trying to work the two-man game, B Street. Some initial shots come in, but then Clay gets caught, and that just kind of leaves TJ all by his lonesome. And then there's that pinch inside of Broken. And then Gwyn, Gwyn almost made it happen. Well, I think that two-man game, like, if it's a slower push <laughs> towards the site, maybe you can catch somebody, win a gunfight, take it to a one. But unfortunately for them, subliners were getting very aggressive through it at that time. It's had numbers. Five in a row now for Kiz. Two in that round. One away from a cruise. Not sure you're going to need it because you blanked him right now. Not a round on the board yet for Royal Ravens. They've been stacking three towards B. <laughs> Dude, you're not wrong, Danny. Got them there again. Seven hours of COD is, is pretty engaging, though. I'm not going to lie. They yeah, have the first blood, though. Finally, for Carolina. Yeah. Okay, kids, kids I don't think that's position. done one anywhere. He knows he's on a five. You do have Hydra, though, inside of D. You're playing COD and watching? Yeah, exactly, Lax. That's what I'd be doing if I wasn't streaming, probably. It's just playing and watching. 
I might not be playing COD, but I'd be playing something. Oh, bad timing for Hydra. All right, Ravens get around. Ravens get around on the board. Now around four Royal Ravens. Try to build off of this success. You had three people here on defense for New York, but Ravens are getting around on a board, man. Are we gonna see a comeback? Yeah, just nice adjustment. We might see a comeback here. Come on. Just working that B street. Time and time again, A has not worked out. Fellow gets on the board as well. He was so pivotal a lot of the times on offense for them last match, but a slow start here. Yeah, I mean, he was really just uh, last alive in so many clutch. scenarios. <laughs> and yeah, when he needed to be clutch, he did it over and over and over again. Just reading the play well, biting the clock, doing a good job. But I will focus on this round as once again, it's heavy handed for subliners towards B Street. Putting bomb on the ground, swapping hands for a second, giving it to Kiz. Yeah, maybe with this aggressive setup here, the shots come in through Cafe. They kind of know. Maybe this is light over towards B. Did I build so my I own PC? Towards, I did. Should I hit a 2x2 while I'm at it? Have that yeah, I, I, I built my PC um, in 2019. Uh, I, had friend, I, had, I had help from a friend who had built PCs in the past, so I, like, I didn't just do it all my own for the first time. Um, dude, build the PC part scared the, scared the shit out of me. I'm not going to lie to you. I got a... Uh, one versus I got three. um a new CPU recently such a slow build and um putting the CPU in dude I was terrified I was gonna I was gonna break something what are my specs oh lord dude I'm bad at this shit bro I have a 5600 uh 5600 X I think is the is the CPU and uh 50 5700 XT GPU I think 32 gigs of RAM Something like that, bro. Something like something like that. Your entire execution on the site unravels. Now back to back rounds for Royal Ravens. You're in an 04 hole. You're bringing it back though. Make it a competitive. Is a 3080 good? Yeah, the 3080 is good. Loss. Dude, 3080s were like freaking the thing and uh, during COVID, right? Seeing Hydra all the way back, Palace. You know he's looking to. Uh... But now they got like freaking the 4090s and shit too. We'll see what this man is capable of. The French magician. Yeah. A lot of numbers and letters. Yeah, dude, I get them all mixed up. I just usually, I just do what my friends who, uh, who are good with PCs tell me to do, bro. All of my friends literally went to school for, like, computer science. They all do, like, software engineering, like, tech-type jobs. So they just all tell me what to do when it comes to the PC. Just a question of when are you going to go? Sib just standing on his trophy. The lead guy here to stop this for subline. Yeah, <laughs> dude, sorry, lag, sorry. 40 remaining on the clock. Haven't found the opening they like yet, but as they're shouldering for information, they see something they don't like. They opt to wrap this out. Tags in from Kiz. That's all the info. Now, we try to get this down. 30 to go. Still need the plan. Across the bomb. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hydra's just pulling out spots like crazy! What is this? Chat, what is going on? Bro, is Hydra just like... They're going to lose the round too. Bro, he just shot through an entire building. That building is thick too. He shot through it. Just no middle of these buildings, huh? Doesn't exist. That's crazy, bro. Everything. Wall bangable. I think Clay saw him. It's a house made of glass, Joe. But a nice recovery here from Carolina. This Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Hydra's pulling out the randomest things. I mean, they're gonna lose the round too, but what is this? For the Ravens. Three straight. You deal with the cheeky spot. The kill from Hydra, the lone one in the round, and doesn't end up mattering. Now the crowd's starting to come alive. Not a lot of chances for them. As we take a look at the wall bang yet again. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. That's actually crazy. That round, but still fun to see. He's getting damage in the bow. Maybe he doesn't realize his two players. Oh, yeah. He's going to kill the bomb player. PC check. Honestly, dude. Player. What the hell? Still just, uh, the first blood yeah, blood using that in a series versus Ravens, Ravens is crazy. But this is an elimination. They close the round out. This is an elimination. And Ravens are uh, chaining rounds together, man. It's 4-3. Yeah, the oh, they're, they're hitting A. Newark might be blind cow around him here. Is they chip away at this moment by moment. 
It's a deep setup defensively on B. Really just Clay going to be the guy there. You get really aggressive on A if you're Carolina Royal Ravens. The guy's got to deal with that disguise. He's the guy watching the flank always. They found that trophy that was forward. Uh, Ravens wrap back. So I thought they were going to hit through, dude. I thought they were going to flank. They need it. They're looking like LA Thieves round 11 versus phase, bro. Kremp had a flank, dude. Kremp was like all the way up into like freaking rugs, dude. And he came all the way back and they triple hit through dark and got fried. Not able to get it through the wall. Plant is down. Four on four retake situation to tie this up if you're Royal Ravens. Yeah, exactly, dude. Fueled, exactly. Building the PC is, is it's scary, bro. Able to hit this through the mid cut. A lot of the time Does LAG beat Ultra? Dude, players. I don't know how LAG is going to play. If they come out like yesterday, maybe they have a chance, but I'm still going to say Ultra probably win. You have to go. Starts with Gwyn. He's the first one through. Sip takes care of him. TJ's up next. It just feels like they had no response All right. in the retake. In New York, they get one back. All right. Yeah, wait, no, that was a uh, good round. Good round, New it's York. 20 seconds go by. It's like, who's going to go? Finally, Gwyn does. That's the first domino, but... You usually Great round. Need somebody, somebody to win a nutty fight, maybe. Let's go. Fame masterclass on how to suck. Oh lord. Dude, imagine Fame comes out and just choke slams them because like twelve and two in SND. Yeah, yeah, could have been. Lose my mind. Down for New York, so that just means it makes it that much tougher to retake it. That's probably the case. They were waiting there to go, and then once that hit. Your optic soup in the pickums group. All right. My bracket is uh not looking great. Not looking great. Could be worse, but it's not looking good. I'm not gonna lie to you. After three straight from Royal Ravens, match point. If, if New York wins this, it would help my bracket a little bit. Um, but Optic, Optic kind of chalked it up against Ultra. I had Ultra on that one. LA Thieves chalked everyone's bracket, dude. Everyone had LAT again, top six. Or everyone had LAT basically in like this round, and they screwed that, bro. God damn. Legion also losing to Ravens didn't help me. Because there's two men set up from Kismet and Sib. Sky's on that A Street Bridge. And here we go. Could just come down to this man. If they can kill him, there's not really you gotta, a trade. You gotta find him first. Let's see it, Hydra. Come on. Oh, he got stunned. Oh, there you go. Okay. Just try to stay up. They catch him. Yeah, no trade. Real opportunity. 5 3 curse. So the low man 5 3 curse. Gwen able to take down two. Sky's left by himself. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bombs. The Royal Ravens. Get by. Yeah, dude, PCs are no, kind of terrifying. No, they're kind of terrifying. Down around. Dude, five three curse might be in, dude. If Ravens win this map, they win the series. I'm gonna say it. If Ravens win this map, they win the series. That's my call. It's big play out of to stop the flank. Carolina's still alive, now back on defense. Yeah, just no one was really in a position to help Hydra, so like, there had to be some movement to try and get into that after he got stunned, I'm sure, and everything sort of falls apart. Can he get it to a round 11? Royal Ravens, TJ, Boy. very weak. I should ask Breaking Point if I can get a fantasy group for next split. Dude, that would be crazy. I don't know, I don't know if we got that kind of pull just yet. I mean, I could ask if we could get like an around the CDL, uh, Group that could be kind of cool. I mean, Alex is working with Breaking Point. Preston's working with Breaking Point this weekend. I've worked with Breaking Point. Maybe we could swing a little something. But it's just too many players now. New York playing the bomb towards a fellow able to bring it back. Who runs the Jake Maverick fan account on Twitter, brother? I have no idea. I have no clue. Oh my God! He gets hit down to 25 with an eight. Two on two, fueled. Hold on, you better hold with that GG, dude. Brings it back to a two versus two. TJ though has been spotted. Okay, yeah, not TJ. Fellow for the ace to get this to around 11. Bit of information. Okay, wait, wait, wait. One v one. Wait, fellow for the bread. For the bread. Oh my God, fellow. Oh my God, he just aced them. He just aced them. And we're headed to a round God 11. damn! <laughs> I you ain't never seen nothing like that. Round eleven. Wow. Oh baby. Two versus four. Oh my God, fellow on land is different, bro. Fellow on land is different, dude. Just every 
single pick. You're able to get one near the Oh my god. Down the player inside a DB. Fellow fighting for a spot. Facts. Dude, Sky's getting peace off the heady like that. It's crazy, dude. I'm surprised Sky's even peaked. Why did he peak? Round 11, man. Come on. If Ravens win this map, they win the series. That was my call. Wait, Fellow's one off the cruise, bro. Hold on. If Fellow gets a kill and gets a cruise here, I think Ravens just win. A shot for him to be the hero here for the Ravens. Usually a lot of utility though did Carolina. The smoke went out some stuff. He didn't respect Fellow. He thought he could just kill him easy. If they can work this B bomb. I mean, I don't blame him. Fellow's gunny hasn't been anything crazy in recent years. But yeah, Fellow, if he gets the cruise, that might just be it. Okay. They got across. The smokes, the stuns. Sim cross back. Bomb is by itself here. Number five. Yeah, he gets ripped. No. Smoke, but not gonna happen. The trophy is Oh, dude, Tej might have just trolled. Tej might have just trolled, dude. Dude, fellow, if he can get a kill and whip out the crews and just Drake missile them immediately. I, dude, I, it might be chalked. He's not gonna have time to use the crews here. Win gets Sib. Hold on. There's the Drake. I don't think he has time to use it though. He's gonna pull it out. Wait, the Drake missile. The Drake missile. He doesn't have time to get the bomb. Oh, he doesn't have time to get the bomb. Oh, man. Oh, no. Dude, Teach kind of trolled. I'm not going to lie. Oh, what just happened? Did he step on someone's headset or something? Oh, man. Yeah, dude, honestly, if Clay won the second gunfight, I think Fella was going to kill him with the cruise, though. I don't know if it made a difference, because Clay died, and then the cruise hit, like, a second later. I don't know if Fella would have been able to swerve that in time. I don't know if people's reaction time are that quick. You have one chance. I just wonder if there was, like, a delay there, see if Clay would win it, but it doesn't matter, and I just kill both. Like, you, you got to get the kill. No, I, I just think, you know, sometimes the angles of those... Yeah, no, 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 you're right, you're right. But in entering them, it's like watching... Wow. ...grandma try to operate an iPad. That's true. That's true. Oh. Oh man, play with almost 3k damage. God damn. Wow. But felony. Yeah, I don't know what Tej. Dude, I thought Tej was gonna kill Hydra off bomb. And he ends up getting getting ripped. I mean, Sky's great job staying up in that situation because he was weak. You got I don't know, two bullets and two Wow. That's crazy, yo. I thought the Drake missile was about to go crazy for us, dude. Yeah, just to buy more time. Oh, because it fell down the street then. They probably win the right over. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. But my God, uh, a crazy search and destroy. Skies shot at him at the end of that one. And. Woo, you're probably frustrated. Like, you got the win. You're up 2 0. 56 like, likes on the stream. You know, Holy oh, shit, dude. We've beaten the record by 10. Oh, and it nearly slipped away, but jeez. Yeah, and obviously, uh, discussing things with uh, what's under there, their coach, right? Just kind of what went wrong. They were up 4 0. God damn, guys. Thank you so much for the support today, man. This has been insane. Rounds. Some things to fix, it's gonna take it's gonna take some serious oh, some, some crazy yeah, shit crazy for us to beat this like record bro it's gonna take some crazy stuff to beat this like record we also had a uh, 45 viewers this morning at one point which is insane we peaked at 45 viewers earlier which is absolutely crazy I might have to go live hella early tomorrow and see how many people want to just vibe out and talk about cod before the matches before anyone else goes live, y'all. I'm gonna be live at 6 a.m. Dude, I can't stop hiccuping, chat. I'm losing it. Upgrade your game with a scuff. The Ravens are legit. Dude, the Ravens look look good on land, man. They look good on land. Get better with a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash cdl to change your game. Oh, I can't stop hiccuping, bro. Is brought to you by Monster Next Energy. month, I'll hit 100 likes. <laughs> Dude, we'll see, Danny. 100 likes would be crazy, but I definitely will not be forgetting you, Danny. I definitely won't be. Also, Danny, let me, um... Let me mod you on this account, too, bro. I modded you on the other accounts. 
So I might as well mod you on, on this one as well. So no matter which account you're on, you still have mod. Dude, if Ravens get into winner's bracket next major, they could actually be, they could be dangerous. Chat, I'm gonna get more water real quick. Oh, I'll be right back, bro. I can't stop hiccuping. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose it, chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. Lord. Chat, I've never hiccuped this much in my life. I've had the hiccups like seven different times today. I don't know why, but it's pissing me off, man. It's pissing me off. And the hiccups are making me more mad than LAT getting double first rounded. I'm not even going to cap. Those, dude, those motherfuckers got double first rounded. Sorry for cousin. But dude, those guys got double first rounded, bro. Oh, it makes me feel so bad from eating too much bread or grain for you. Yeah, I didn't really have that much bread today. I had some wings. I mean, I guess the wings are breaded, but like it's not more than I feel like I normally could eat. It's the yeast. Boom, boom, boom. Boop, boom, 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 boom. Boop, boom, 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 boom. Yo, chat, for real though, I, I know I say it, I know I'd say it a lot, bro, but I really do mean it. I, I seriously appreciate the support that you guys show, like, a lot. Like, I genuinely don't think I could say it enough or I could articulate it in a way that shows how I truly feel, but, like, the fact that, like, 15 people are here right now that want to watch COD, we had 20-something earlier, we have 55 likes on the stream, like, I, seriously, it's actually insane to me. Um, so I, I seriously, seriously, like, appreciate it a ton, dude. I appreciate it a ton, man. I wanted to be a YouTuber since I was, like, 10 years old, bro. I have videos that I uploaded when I was, like, 10. Um, 10-year-old, 10-year-old me would be looking at 25-year-old me absolutely amazed, so... I might not be some big time freaking massive YouTuber making millions of dollars, but like this shit is way more than I ever would have thought or asked for. So seriously, I appreciate it a lot. 56 likes, don't lie. It says 50. Oh, okay, now it says 56 on my screen. Mentally, I'm still 10. Hey, yo, what the hell? That's insane. Hey, thank you, Fueled, man. I appreciate it. I just like, dude, I just make the content that I have I have fun with. I just like to talk about the things I have fun with, and there's other people that like that, which is really cool. You know, I don't, I don't expect to ever be like some 100,000 subscriber... 50,000 viewers in a stream type of streamer, bro. Like, I'm cool with having 15, 20 people in here and just chilling. Just vibing. It is a it is a hobby. If I could do it full time, trust me, I totally would. But, like, goddamn. How many dislikes? Dude, I can't see dislikes. I can't see dislikes. It doesn't show it. It shows viewers. It shows likes. It shows chat revenue, new members. That's the numbers I can see. Average view duration, total views. But it doesn't show dislikes. I would imagine there's probably more than one. If we count your one, I'm sure someone else has dropped a dislike at some point in here. That guy who came in here earlier and said never to stream again because I only get 30 viewers. That shit had me laughing, bro. I wasn't even going to say anything about it, but I thought it was funny. Looking to close it out in convincing fashion. 
They've let Ravens beat them. They've let them push them the distance. This time yeah, facts, Field. I'm not, I'm not quitting my full-time job, bro. Early on, bro. Definitely not. The frustrations of that search and destroy. And right <laughs> I know, Rick. I know, bro. I know. Yeah, I'll just play with you. I want to do full-time. need more Danny's facts, bro. I need more sugar Danny's, dude. More sugar Danny, sugar daddies. Chad, I'm thinking about ordering ice cream, and I, I feel like I shouldn't do it, but I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I could absolutely annihilate some ice cream right now. I'm going to hit 2x, by the way. Stop him now, but uh, get progress early if you're Royal Ravens. Now they'll try to get back to it, but Kiz is dancing. Clay, though, is able to get the trade. Now Hydra will try to give it in kinder. Bang. Bang. And now we get a big buffer. And after that buffer, we're probably five seconds behind again. You got a bunch of those Snicker bar ice creams? Oh, nice. Feel like you're getting sick? Oh, no, Danny, that's not good. Dude, make sure you drink a lot of water. Get good rest tonight, dude. Get good sleep and drink water. That'll cure your sickness before it happens. Unless you are already sick, then you might be chalked. Dude, I hate hitting the 2x because then it just buffers like freaking the whole time. They got those two ticks, and they've done a good job of, yeah, just not getting completely pinned or trapped in because that's. Get some sunlight and touch some grass. Dude, touch some booty. That's what I. Dude, I thought you said touch some grass booty. If it says boy, just a couple of those. I was like, what? Grass booty? It's not a ton of progress. Hate this map. Dude, I actually like this map. I just hate the freaking tankers, bro. I like that this map has more action than a lot of the other maps. Like, this is better than invasion control, in my opinion. Like, you can at least maybe win an offense on this map. Yeah, a couple of great moments. I think from Kiz really controlling the heli helicopter side. Not allowing Gwyn to get near windows, and then uh, when you had two players on the point, early, it's too small. It is pretty small. Cloth the whole the day. Oh, that's no good, Danny. So that's no good. Well, that's like Definitely try to get your rest, bro. Try to get your rest. Based on offense, like we, I've seen Skip, uh, Skies, I combine them both. Skies or Sib just win a crazy fight or something, get some wild shots in from their base and get them out of that trap. Like they do it a lot. On the other side, I don't know. Right, we'll see next time if they lock them in. Who's going to be the playmaker? Maybe to get him out. You send two. Underground from Heli side quickly. Daddy up for kids. Seven and three start for him. Looking to hit it quick. You have to think of the timing here and imagine he'll be there quickly. Rise your turn to react though. Unfortunately, there's a team kill that comes through on Royal Ravens. Happens on this map. Yo, yeah, We've yeah. all been there. Sure Let's does. see if Hydra gets Hydra active here, man. Aggressive. He's going to get one. Does get taken down. Really, you're, you're just Daddy, you gotta go to bed, brother. You gotta go to bed. We saw Hydra do this so much just against FaZe. Like, whether it was defense or offense, just getting uh, yeah. and staggering their You can see my cat. Stagger it, stagger it. Don't let him get into their four man spots. He's well over there. Dances, hits the headshot. He's just trying to look out the window. He likes to try to break the windows. Uh, he, he fucks the blinds up in the, every room, bro. Every room, the blinds are like sauced. Uh, his name is Goose. I don't think I saw progress at B secure. Is that so alley cat? Oh lord. Definitely not. If they get on the point, cat does the same shit, dude. Yeah, cats are just eight. little shits, bro. Still can't tell. I love him, but he's he's a little shit. New York trying to find an opening on the B. Yeah, no, didn't get that. Need so, to call it alley, brother. I have a feeling that would not go over well with my fiance. I don't think I should do that. They don't finish it, so no takes through yet. And Hydra going up over the top, but Bellow and Clay give it Oh god, shot. Rick. Oh, Rick's gonna get himself banned. Off of the points. A clearance once again. A great defense here. Even better than what we saw really on the other side. Can they get in and go? Oh, they are getting locked in. Did not expect to be this dumb wow. of an effort, but fantastic stuff in five and This is a uh... chance for another streak. These offenses are not, are not going good. Five in a row, and yeah, only give me up one. Take a progress. Try to find a done fight for the cruise. These these offenses are not going good right now. From fellow, he wanted it. Would have loved to have that piece of utility, but your defense better than New York's. Well, it's just one of those maps where, listen, over the course of our titles, like sometimes you have a lot of spots that are clear of streaks you can get and hide i hear once you're out by the objective it's tough <laughs> you gotta really scramble if you're gonna get away so he knows how big that could have been on either side of this but just a cat if you want short, dude lord Bellow still playing very very well great defense there oh dude look at him he's just laying bro this will switch. he's just laying we'll see if royal ravens can be five more is zinni and ali still hooking up no they are not dating anymore 
They so broke up months ago, I'm pretty sure. Really find anything else through the course of it. No, hopefully this time they'll have some trophies if they do. Like get many months ago. Trophies. Zinni's got a new girl. He's been he's been with someone for a, for a couple months now, I'm pretty sure. Did it catch him? So three go down. Fellow, the last man up, not able to find a kill. So look you gotta start looking for a different third mode. Yeah, dude, I agree. I would love a different third mode, but I have a bad feeling that we're gonna be stuck with control for quite some time. Unless we get some advanced movement and we get uh, we get uplink back, I have a feeling we're gonna be stuck with this for a while. Dude, I have 50 emails. I guarantee you, not a single one of these is important. Yeah, they're not. Really inside of a live match like yeah, control, control, control isn't and terrible. Oh, wow. Skies is up top. I mean, you can cover the entire map. Control you know, isn't terrible. So I feel like control is good for the players. Skies. Like to demonstrate how good you are. But it's not really a... Uh... Ooh! Gwyn just ripped him. But also, it's not the funnest thing to view. It really isn't. It's crazy how it works out, but yeah, 10 seconds. Dude, I would love to play to see Blitz, bro. I thought Blitz was cool. I don't know why we haven't seen it again. Once again. I thought Blitz was really cool. It was, I mean, Blitz was kind of like uplink, but without the movement. You know what I mean? It's, and instead of a ball, there's just two goals. So, and so people could play sneaky, bro. They could play like ninjas and they can get around. Been their defense. I mean, even versus phase, you've given up B a couple of times, but... Besides that, Loki kind of talks. You can do that in a match. I mean, it, it is a little bit, uh, and well, we thought Carolina it is a little bit, uh, you haven't seen it before. And they give up zero in that round. <laughs> so it's literally two, then one, then zero. It's like, how much can we improve the defense? Now it's going to be negative. What is Blitz? Blitz was a game mode back in COD Ghosts where each team has like a goal. So you had like a spot somewhere in your base, and the objective was to run and run into the other team's goal. And it would teleport you back to your base and you'd get points. So it was kind of like, uh, it was kind of like capture the flag, but instead of having to run the flag all the way back, you just got the points as soon as you got to the flag sort of thing. It was pretty cool. I actually really thought it was cool. You could see people like sneaking around and stuff, like playing stealthy to go get points. You could sometimes you'd see people like just like spawn trapping them, like instead of getting points. There was some strategy to it. I thought it was cool. But I do think uplink on the ground could work too, low key, bro. Yeah, dude, Nade was good at Blitz, dude. I miss Ghost Nade, bro. I miss it. Your aim assist gets a little wonky there. Oh yeah, every gunfight seems difficult, and then uh, suddenly someone just sticks on a head, and it works out perfectly. Great stuff. You pause the clock with 49 seconds, so still some time to go. Nobody oh, Zuma moment. tweeted out a gif. He's VAR checking skies right now. Is it is it GA to go up top on the roof? Zuma is VAR checking skies right now. Well, what did he do? He just tweeted out 30 seconds ago, so he must have did something, Skies, for Zuma to be uh, tweeting out the the ref, the ref listening to his his mic gif. Not the point. Yeah, what's, Dude, what's can we see some offense? Like God damn. Five ticks through Just four rounds is insane. Four go. Five in a row and a chance. Stair glitch? Did he stair glitch? Honestly, I didn't even I see it if he did. Anywhere near the edge of the map if I was closer and close to a streak, but what do I know? <laughs> Dude, Maven. Did he find a, a number six or a cruise? If Clay falls so, off the map here, I'm going to lose my mind. Round. Right Too sexy? Time. Honestly, maybe, bro. Clay do what he does, so you have that to work with. Got the cruise. Okay, probably didn't have to use the trophy there, but I like it. I tip it. I tip it. Could be everything. We'll see. That that cruise could be the difference. As it maybe just to help them get out. You know, if they get trapped quickly, because you know, calling it in. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Obviously, uh, defense spawns in with a, a ton of cover. Can't really use it there. But I'm gonna have to keep checking Zuma's Twitter, man. Out. I gotta see what he's throwing out here. From New York. Well, yeah, which could be the difference, because that. Wait, did he delete it? Oh no, he just it's an app. Just trying to battle out of your base. Maybe the cruise is what does it for you. Nah, he's still checking. For your livelihood now, it's a loser's bracket match. We'll see, man. We'll see. Phase Black lost. Oh lord, what did they place? Top twelve, top sixteen. What are they even at at this point? Top eight? I don't even know. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't have it. Never mind. Escort from Bo3, kind of like an Overwatch type of mode. That could be kind of cool. Okay. So still some work to do. Like an Overwatch uh, Team Fortress 2 type of thing. 
that you do our observing team. Yeah, so. you sometimes see six and just the assumptions there, and now he falls one kill short, so <laughs> take back everything that we said. That's Joe and I. You don't think they're out, but they lost to Gunless's team? Oh, okay. The opportunity we were talking about where you would love to Get Big B back in the league, man. Get Gunless back in the league. Hello, Carolina. I'm in your base. I'm in your face. Trying to find the third. Not able to do so, but he is going to buy so much time for his team. Yeah, no, I mean, we would have said Ah, dude, I, I, I don't want to go back to 5v5. Please, no. Great breakdown despite us being idiots. Uh, <laughs> round five continues on. Ooh, three to go fellow. Now, with some kills to get them out. T just getting Seattle. cooked this map, bro. T just getting absolutely fried. Come in. Try and clear them off Dude, this is going to be one of those 3-0s where, like, somehow it's just close the whole way and then they get 3-0'd anyway. 11 v 11 with a goalie can you imagine bro really getting all the kills right now imagine 11 v 11 cdl that'd be insanity staying alive dwin got off the point for a moment to keep this forward position and he's gonna win the gun fight yeah well dude we'll see if god can follow and overwatch his footsteps one day eventually another contest back and forth waiting for some help do you have a trophy dude if we go back to an open bracket league bro i'm trying to uh we're gonna get a team going we're gonna crowdfund our own team good he does it again you still have a body here, so at least you stop the clock. But yeah, with that play, the moment here on the That is true. There were more spots than 5v5, which was nice. Yeah, but if you're back and forth, you'll take that if you're the defense, right? You need a wave of them. If you are Carolina, you go one for one. You feel pretty good about your opportunity here to shut this down right now. If you are subliners, now TJ, now Clutch. Yeah, YouTube contract will keep the uh, will keep them going for a, for a minute. Okay, they're gonna cap B. They're gonna cap B. We aren't going the Spanish route. Dude, we might have to go the Dutch route, bro. We might have to build our a, a, a full Dutch team, bro. Kind of staggers you a bit, gets back, but now the Clay's POV. His chance to mimic Hydra. Maybe some success inside the base. Oh, Clay's getting active. So does your forehead pick up the bullets. Yeah, you can see now Sid watching this way. The problem is, though, while Clay got... Oh, T just getting fried, dude. ...was captured. All three of his teammates die. So they have an idea sooner or later. They're going to look behind him. But now he's just got to wait. Wait for his team. Maybe he can help... Oh, no, Clay. Four lives remaining. The last life here for Carolina here at Major Okay. Nice this is it. 7v4 to keep kill. themselves alive. You have no bullets, it says, in your gun. Just around the corner, another one. Felony. Massive in the last map. Trying to do it again. Doesn't Clay have a cruise or am I faded? Did he use the Drake missile already? How this series can change. 6v4, man. Oh, one's gonna kill seven. We'll see you later, fellow. Oh no. And that's gonna do it, dude. And that's gonna do it. Carolina Royal Ravens, we'll see you later. We'll see you later, Carolina, man. And you know what? Bam. Of map one, it, it is a close battle Bam. on the control on S and oh, yeah. oh, I think yeah. for Carolina, you obviously win two matches here. You get top six. This is a squad that we were Damn. just worried about. All right, one more series, chat. One more series. We got a uh, LAG versus Ultra purple battle. New York ain't back. Yeah, I mean, honestly, they didn't look crazy in that series. You would have liked to see them look a bit better in that series. I'm not gonna lie. Fantastic for them, and yeah, I think that series was sort of a kind of a breakdown of their improvements and maybe regressions. Like the hard point. You lose, but you've improved so much in search and destroy and in control that those are an absolute battle. Like, this is a 3 0, yes, but a very competitive 3 0 against a very good team in the. Well, New York got uh, their revenge on land versus Ravens. You know, you go back a month. Each kind of, uh, maybe you're really struggling. Kind of threw a little bit there. Yeah, here's a look at the stats. I mean, three players. Curious to see this one. Dude, we'll see, man. I'm excited to see how LAG play. Everybody right around the same damage. On the other side, a tough game for yeah, Clay's stand-up stand -up guy, bro. Stand-up guy. That is what's going to happen. Nice map out of fellow with 21 non-traded kills. North Carolina ended up beating Michigan State. Okay. Iowa State is beating Washington by eight right now with five minutes left. Just checking up on March Madness. But yeah, let's focus in New York and now. They're moving forward as we start to solidify our top four. Really just waiting on one more team that'll get to Sunday. That'll be in our final match of the night coming up. And you still feel, I mean, after that series, how close the phase one was, like... 30 CDL points for uh, Ravens. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, they made it to Sunday. Anything could happen. Yeah, who knows? Not bad at all. Maybe, you know, you look if your optic as you have those moments if your phase. 
If Ultra lose this series, Scrap might not tweet for a month, dude, honestly. There's no way Ultra lose, bro. There's no way. There's just no shot. Thank you so much, Maven and Merck. Miami, show some love to the New York Subliners as they make it to Championship Sunday. Now, Skies, I know you guys didn't want to be in this lower side of the bracket taking that loss to FaZe, but you bounce back, you get this dub, you make it to Sunday. How are you feeling in this moment? Uh, I'm feeling good. I feel like our respawns are actually really, really, really good right now. Mm -hmm. I feel like our search, we just got to be more decisive. I feel like we're giving people too much respect for no reason, mm -hmm. and we just got to be, like, when we think of something, just do it. Yeah, our response are pretty good right now. Dude, Danny, you got this, bro. Go cook him, dude. Just go cook him. Got away with it by a few seconds. Be confident. Play confident. Now, as you guys end up preparing for your match tomorrow, we don't know who you're going to play just yet. Still one more match today. But what is it that you guys want to improve on going into Championship Sunday? Uh, just our SSD, like I said, our, our, heart, our heart point and control. Yeah, he stole Pred's quote, bro. If we get our SSD on point, like literally before the split, like we were just smoking teams because of SSD mm -hmm. as well, like we looked unbeatable. Yep. Just lock in on S and D, keep our response the same, or we should be good. And you guys would be good right there, okay? I'm gonna let you start getting ready for tomorrow. I know you're tired, you wanna get up out of here, but what do you wanna say to these subliner fans who stayed to watch the match and who are in the chat right now, chatting? Uh that I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for supporting. Unfortunate loss, but you already know we're gonna bounce back. We love losers bracket runs. Right. They love losers bracket runs, chat. You heard it here first. They can get it done. Chris, let's break this one. The subliners love losers bracket runs. Clean. Well done, Subliners. Damn, well, fellow clean, plus eight on the series. Despite a round eleven, that was probably the tightest. Fellow of the plus eight on the series. Everyone else negative. TJ minus seventeen. Not the best map. Not the best series out of the SMGs, bro. Only nine K damage. Dude, Clay was shooting, bro. Clay had the second most damage in the series. So shout out Clay, man. He did everything he he did everything he could, bro. He did everything he could. Able to be made on the side of the Carolina Royal Ravens. Let's talk about New York, though, Nameless. This team is powering into our top four now. They oh, shit, Danny, that's hype, bro. Go win that thing. Go win that thing. Just got to play confident. Confidence is key, man. You heard what you heard what Skies just said. Don't give people too much credit. You just know you're better. But, yeah, I mean, they get it done there in that round 11. On the side for the Royal Ravens bench. Yeah, dude, honestly, Rick. Honestly. We'll see, dude. We'll see. Ultra have to beat LAG, and we get the top four as the top four exactly as expected. I mean, we'll see what they do, man. We'll see what they do. Are Ultra going to respect everyone's pick and make top four, or are they going to get absolutely... Uh, absolutely chalked in a... That second and What's it called? Were very, very close. Yeah, uh, by LAG. Ravens ran out of a little bit of gas after that map number two and hanging to map number three. It was a slow start and then a very hot finish, but it wasn't enough to force that game four. Uh, for, your nor for your New York fans, you're feeling good. Just tighten up. Oh, man. Well, I guess I might as well get the poll up in chat. In this series and allowing the nah, there's no way Ultra Troll this. One defensive team in the building when it comes to search and destroy. You got to start showing. I might as well get the poll up in chat. You guys can vote. To have it down now, maybe we see some different looks. Look at that bracket, man. Way, Optic like phase winners finals, man. That's what everybody uh wants to see, bro. That's what everybody wants to see. Who will play the subliners on championship Sunday, and that's where we are. There ain't no one that wouldn't want to see an optic phase matchup on land, bro. Envoys Ultras X Factor, yeah, facts, facts. Hey, Danny, have a good rest of your night, man. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you for the gifted earlier today. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a good day tomorrow. And then, yeah, if I, we see you in stream tomorrow, man. I'm looking forward to it. But, yeah, have a good rest of your night. Upgrade your game with a Boom. Save $30 Chat, one more series, man. One more series. Co slash CDL. Get better with the scuff. I've been live for eight hours and 13 minutes. This has been lit, dude. This has been lit. I hope you don't shit your pants tomorrow. Oh, Lord, brother. Don't do, don't do that. Do not do that. Grab yourself the CDL operator, weapon blueprints, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in-game now. Oh, man. Assault overpick? Hell yeah. Did I order ice cream? I did, Rick. I did. 
I ordered a Cold Stone. I got a uh, peanut butter, peanut butter, like a Re like a Reese's chocolate ice cream, basically. Chocolate ice cream with Reese's and fudge and stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that sand, bro. Shout out Krim, dude. Take from but Dashy, maybe just gets oh, given a gift. No, Dashy didn't if see you him. Open your eyes. Oh no, he didn't see the player Kleenex lying down in the alleyway. Oh my word, and oh. Kleenex. Oh man, get that thing on the screen, bro. Dude, I also, how did we? We got like a whole like three minute freaking video and all this stuff, and now we get the countdown timer. And now we get the countdown timer. Come on, man. Come on, chat. Chat, how we doing, man? How we doing? It's been a long-ass day of matches, bro. We've been live for over eight hours. We've been watching COD for six and a half hours. We've seen four series. Uh, how are you guys doing, man? Little little check-in, bro. How's everyone doing? How are we all feeling? I know our EU friends have probably all gone to sleep at this point. Doing great? Hell yeah, Rick. Now 16 and 9 and forcing the issue on Golden Knights play tonight. Oh, nice, nice. Chilling. What a blast. How we doing, man? Dude, I'm vibing, chat. I'm vibing. I got ice cream on the way. Uh, we got one more series. It should probably be a 3-0 Toronto if all things go uh, as expected. But maybe LAG give us a series, man. And then we got we got Championship Sunday tomorrow. Optic Phase, likely Ultra New York. Oh, we're going to have such a good day tomorrow, man. Optic and you Purdue tomorrow too? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. They get the plant down safely. I like the trigger discipline here for oh my sweet Jebediah. He's gonna yell for it. Oh, try to catch the timing. Oh, tries to ah, catch it. It's done. Hope everything is good with Mac. Yeah, no, apparently things are going better for Mac. I think um, I think his mom is doing a lot better now. So we'll see if he ever makes a comeback. Getting Brahms. Now I ordered Cold Stone. Did Mac ever come back? I don't know if he's playing in challengers or not. I couldn't actually tell you. But, um, I know his mom, I think he didn't play because his, mo his mom had health stuff going on, but she's been doing better, apparently, I saw on Twitter, so. Maybe he'll come back, man. Maybe he'll come back. Mac was an impact player, bro. He might have been dropping, like, point eights, but he was an impact player. There he is! Speaking of him, bro, speaking of impact. Dude, right on cue, bro, what the hell? That was actually crazy. That was literally perfectly on cue. But early in our seventh circle here, there's still 30 teams left. Bro, stop with the Warzone clips, bro. We don't want to see this. This is the CDL. This we don't care about Warzone. No offense. No offense. Oh, intro's out. Intro's out. Dude, the Surge intro is pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. Or not Surge. Well, Surge intro is good too, but the uh, LAG intro. Being better if Ultra 3 0? Yeah, facts. Dude, if we see an LAG upset though, I'm gonna lose my mind. Dude, you can't say this intro isn't actually that, it actually doesn't go hard. The music goes hard, but the intro also is pretty sick. And then here we got another great intro. Possibly the best intro in the league right here. Dude, 
dying from the simp interview. Are you still laughing how sure he looked? Look at the spawn up sweet. Let me pull this spot out to it. Welcome back dude, look, to dude, look at this guy, bro. Look at him. He's like, oh shit, I gotta yell at them, bro. I gotta yell at them. That's hilarious, dude. Shout out Fred, man. Shout out Fred. That's crazy. He literally, he literally goes, oh shit. And then he turns around and yells at them. Look at this, look at this, look at his mouth. He literally says, oh shit. And then he turns around and starts yelling at Ultra. That's actually hilarious, bro. That's actually hilarious. I'm not going to lie. So I rock the LAG skins. Did they pull it out? Hey, let's go. Retweet breakdown suite so they can bring a championship. Dude, I'm going to let you in on it. I'm going to let you in on a little insight here, Slayer. They're going to wear championship whites whether I retweet that tweet or not. I, no one, they could have had zero retweets and they're wearing championship whites tomorrow. I'm going to tell you that for sure. I'm going to tell you that for sure, dude. Unretweet that thing, dude. Nah, I mean, you can retweet if you want. I ain't going to stab you from retweeting. I'm going to go first here. Chat, let me uh, turn the light on outside so the DoorDash driver can see when they get here. To an upcoming color caster. He's been nominated for an esports award about six times, but hasn't made it to the stage yet. And Chance, the caster, told me that it is going to be a 3-0 LAG. He's going to find another squad slipping. It's LAG with the upset powering into the final four. It's Chance's prediction, though. I just saw Chance stealing Monster out of the fridge on the casting deck, so I don't know if I'm trusting his choices right now. I'm going to go with Toronto Ultra. Going Toronto Ultra. Nameless? I'm going with Toronto Ultra, but I think it could get a little ugly in this series. Can you give me a series score, then? 3-1. 3-1. Let's find out. His name was right once again. We send it to the stage with Blaze. Oh, all right. Light is turned on. I mean, it's still right, light outside, but in case it gets too dark, I turn the light on for him. Before championship Sunday, and I'm excited oh, last match start. chat. We got 23 people in here for the last match of the day. That's insane. We had like 12 in the last series. A lot of Ultra fans, I guess. Or LAG fans. All right, Ultra. Let's see it, man. Show me something. You can't come out flat. If LAG 3 I'll never see you again. All right, dude. Uh, hopefully they don't 3 -0. What if they 3 1? What if they just 3 1? Big Blaze fan over there, Fueled? Big Blaze fan? Before it's lights out, let's turn the lights up. Get ready. Here comes the Los Angeles Gorillas. LAG. LAG. Dude, I love how he says Estrel. He never says Estriel. He says Estrel. He's got the hand warmers. If LAG wins three maps, you're gone. Dude, if LAG beat win today, I think you got to become an LAG fan. Dude, can you uh, can you imagine an Optic Phase New York LAG Championship Sunday? I, I, I can't even fathom those three with LAG in the top four. What is Chance doing? Why is he so close to the camera? What is, what is he doing? Why is he standing so close? It's an interesting series. I know the top four have really set themselves apart in this league, but LAG, Why is bro standing so close? What if LAG upset Ultra here? I think we all lose our minds if that happens. I think we all lose our minds if LAG upsets Ultra here. I'm not going to lie to you. I think we start screaming. We start screaming. 
we're still exactly where we should be. Uh, we have some fun news. I just bet another gentleman whose birthday was, because every day, apparently, I didn't know this, but there are birthdays every day. Birthdays every day, chat. You heard it here first. It's for our director, Mike Alu. Happy birthday, Mike. We love you. Mike from Columbus. What that is Mike from Columbus. But birthdays. Are... Any more birthdays? Anyone else? Hands up. There's one. Oh. We'll give you a song later. Either way, though, we do have a very, very exciting matchup coming. Um, I think the lobby's nearly ready to roll. Charles, I'm going to come forward and join you up. Uh, this camera shot lasted so much longer than I was expecting. There we go. <laughs> we got a little bit of freedom here. It's perfect time. <laughs> this is great. I was going to uh, chat. Who we got, man? Who we got? Keep this going. Toronto Ultra Los Angeles Gorillas. Who do y'all got in this one, man? Kick things off. We're having way too much fun here up on the stage, and I'm sure you're having dude, a good time. Dude, chance isn't actually here, bro. That's like a hologram of him, dude. What the hell's going on? It could be weeks from now, months. You never know. How's the weather? This could be the team that wins or loses being haunted by the mistakes. Oh, man. Chad, if you haven't hit the like button on the stream just yet, give it a little clicky. We're going to see if we can hit 60 likes before the end of this series. We're at 58 right now, which is already a record. So if you haven't hit the button, hit the button, goddammit. Hit that button so hard you break your monitor. LAG win, you'll leave Ultra and rep LAG. Ah, dude, I'm holding you to it. What can these teams bring to the table? All right, let's see it, dude. Having a good time as well. So we haven't seen LAG play yet today. They've been warmed up by. That's first blood for Envoy. The tournament. Estriel. Oh, inside there. Yeah, Estriel have definitely. Estriel. LAG have definitely been warming people up probably today, so they should be relatively warm. Eight to be sure. Not too shabby. Now you got scrap. They should be relatively warm, all things considered. Intel on Diamond Con very early on, and this is easy overlooking moments here for a scrap. He does get cleaned up though for assault to inside. Pressure now on him inside the time. A little flank coming through, and Estriel at least gets the kill before he falls, and the team kill from Kleenex. Maybe makes the job for LAG just a little bit easier. Decent chunk of time giving away on P1, but LAG may be happy to check <laughs> For LAG, please. That new time. I wouldn't mind seeing LAG win this for the sake of the upset but i also do like ultra i mean i i, I like all the guys in ultra especially envoy um and obviously i would love to see a top four battle on sunday a quick contest his teammates have found the kills all over the place so dylan hand can see dude power rankings are going to be insane to freaking put together i'm gonna uh, it's gonna actually be a struggle trying to put my power rankings together uh after the event might have an angle but for the moment the gorilla is not able to apply point six boy that's messed up dude that's that's messed up final two lives remaining though for ultra at least on that hole they do get broken down in 30 seconds that is a good chunk of scrap time that you were able to collect so Gorilla is going to be happy for it. Yeah, hold that. Try to work on this so, yeah. as well. Astriel going to be leading the charge. And, well, not for long. Let it as best he could valiantly. Assault there from top third. Finding these kills. Pushing over towards new. Assault over, dude. Uh, upcast. What's the what's the line on the assault over for this series? Manages to help out, but Kleenex flies forward. Assault good coverage. Still not have to really get the back spawns though. That's what Envoy is right now. Sends it top rope. Not enough to get the kill. Envoy holds. Diamond cons in. Oh, Diamond cons getting kills. Oh my God, he's heating up. He's heating up. For the chow, unfortunate for Diamond Con, he is gonna fall. His teammates quick enough to get towards the time. Estriel, the Estriel's on six. Insights on six. Insights been starting off pretty good. Chalked enough money today. He's not even worth it. Not even worth it. I don't blame you, bro. I missed my prize pick today, too. It is what it is. Now, if Ultra cooked the brackets, that would be really sad. I had Ultra in the finals, so, like, I really need them to not cook my bracket. Up and down he flights. Bro, you guys had the pole really close, though. I'm not going to lie. You guys had the pole really close. That's crazy. Across the map we now go. JCAP School of Lethals. That's hilarious. So good for LAG. Dude, LAG, man. Also, it's tripping me out that Ultra are purple and LAG are white because I kind of feel like it should be the other way around because Ultra's logo is literally completely white and LAG's logo is more purple than white. So I feel like the color should be reversed, but what do I know? What do I know? But this is all about the set of gunfights coming through before either team can collect. Ultra a bit scattered in the moment. <laughs> Dude, shout out J Cat, man. Inside. He has been alive this entire time, top third. Basically, the safety net for the squad. And you can see, just making sure Gorillas can't collect any of this time. Oh, he's looking for streaks as well. Four completed. Six 
Insight on a four spree. Insight on a five spree. Dude, a Drake missile would go crazy for Insight right here. Insight. Oh, he's got two bullets. He picked up a rival. Ah, Jacob, you, you hate fame, bro. You hate him. Oh, they saw him. They saw him. He's dead. He's dead. They didn't see him, and they didn't see him. Drake missile on Insight. I could have told you that, though. I mean, look at that guy. That guy's definitely got a missile. See that mustache? Goddamn. Find these kills now. Take the lead back. Oh, that's a big gunfight win. Oh, that's two out of fame. Jacob right on cue. Scraps gonna get shot in the back. Oh my god, he got up. He jumped down. No more in that life. His teammates are looking for the trade. Kleenex from upstairs finds himself two. Kleenex gets two. Fame with two. God damn. You <laughs> Dude, Jacob, you said love seeing fame negative and he's ten and he's ten and eight on a five spree now. That's insane, bro. You just jinxed you just jinxed it. You jinxed it in a good way for him, bad way for you. And for Ultra. Oh, and he got the cruise. Secured there from fame. And he got the cruise. Still have the lead. Going over towards a P1. Might not be the worst time to call it in if you would like. Nades over top. Nades up. <laughs> Drake <laughs> missile coming in. Here comes the hit. Toronto Ultra, the purple arrows on the mini Bro, kill the guy's top three. What? I feel like killing the guy's top three is a is better use of the cruise. Insight used his cruise too. Maybe I'm faded, but I feel like getting the guy off time isn't that good when they have two guys top three. He might have been able to kill both of them top three too. Honestly, as far as the game is concerned, this has been the hill where Toronto have just set themselves apart. They're going to get the final 10. Envoy 7 and 11, well. struggling a little bit. Little but his teammates are really Ultra picking it up in the slaying department for him. So Ultra Shemang definitely leading slaying wise. Sing the sweet lullaby that is the Toronto Ultra. Quick listening. Oh, Ultra listening. Here we go. Dude, it's amazing how quiet they are, bro. Ah, oh, fame's piecing, bro. Jacob, you jinxed it. Oh my god, Jacob, you jinxed it! That's insane! Bro, fame is cooking ever since you typed that message. That's actually crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ultra, can we get a kill? Okay, there we go. Good calls out of them. See, no, he got through there. Why did Ultra spawn out? What? Because they were pu pushed up. Dude, that's weird. It was crap. I don't even know why they spawned out there. Envoy double neg again. Yeah, he's struggling, bro. I wonder why he's having such a rough one. He wasn't really struggling that bad online. He was actually doing better than in Insight and Kleenex online. So I, I wonder why he's struggling today. Oh my god, Fame is pissing. Fame is slamming. That was the dulcet tones of late night radio ultra and they are singing pretty right now the dude this is close this is close without any problems and kleenex is one hell of an issue to deal with by Chikku. are lag him strong hill as well nice need coming through from fame to strip away a little bit of extra time so maybe not quite a full 60 there from ultra but a good hill to at least build that lead lag though on that rotation domicon with the big two but funnel enough ultra actually get this spawn out so they're going to be torn Towards the new time, just a little bit faster. LAG still have their work cut out for them, but they are soaring. You know, LAG are good at a Karachi hardpoint. They're actually pretty good at Karachi. I mean, ever dude, they've choked Karachi hardpoint like three or four times now, so they've definitely gotten better at it. Fame with another two piece. Fame 
What the hell? Lower levels of the map there with his rival nine. And with eight, eight kills, dude. Not his eight kills. For now, but Come on, Dill, turn up for me, bro. Yeah, this hill is literally a waste of sixty seconds. This hill is literally a waste of sixty seconds. Oh, three out of Kleenex. Toby's cooking right now. And two of those players that he killed, well, they're gonna spawn out. Diamond Con holding the line alone. There's a very awkward spot. All right, a little bit of a gap here. Ultra getting a little bit of a lead. LAG hot on their heels. There's no way Envoy turns around for this one. Estriel now on the approach. Good shots. Good kills. The second? No, the trades are there. Still, with that time gained, that is an LAG hard point. And this is the hold that LAG, they are going to need. Scrap the ripping players away. And now, unfortunately for Assault, if you're on time, two directions. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Dude, I feel bad. I love Envoy, bro. I love this guy. But he's getting cooked today. Kleenex is Ultra's more important player. Not wrong. That should be it. The, the front line SMG Extra is right like Loki always going to be the most well. important player. In the hill, finding the time. Kleenex and Strat might just be out here calling game. That is number 26. But also, it's going to be, it's hard to win when you got a guy double neg, bro. They needed it the most, and well, not that you necessarily need it, but wouldn't have gotten the But the rest of his teammates are cooking, so who cares? I mean, Insight's nearly triple, or double pause. From the sky, you're not going to have, and it's just a very tough spot. Players coming off spawn. They're doing what they can right now. Towards B1, Ultra are here first. They're carrying him. It's simply not missing. No, not at all. Tobias Yul Jonsson. Back at it again, still flowing. Three in a row. That's Good lord. Okay, I think it's over. I think it's over. Dare I say. Envoy soaking, though. He died. Uh, dude, how did he die there? Oh my god, why did he jump up and try to chow that? He had a teammate looking over him. He has been a walking two piece on these final three hills. And Dude, Dude Envoy's carrying, bro. Game. Two more seconds collected in Ultra. All right, that's one. On that's one. Starting off their series right. Dude, that's crazy, bro. LAG. Plenty of life in the game, Dev, as we see in the game flow. Once Ultra got going, there was no stopping them whatsoever. Point five, God damn, dude, God damn. They won though. Who cares? Thirty out of Kleenex, cooked. Solid start, chance. Over to the search we go. Yeah, that is an interesting scoreboard though. That's a few. You care? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, you, but you got like a one point eight out of insight. You got like a one point five out of scrap and Kleenex, something like that. So. The other players were cooking. Maybe they just weren't enough kills for Envoy on the map. Dude, drop Envoy for Hixie? Question mark. That scrap was winning on that rotation. It was brutal to watch, but Ultra bring Hixie team back team in. Can you imagine? Maybe a yellow cautionary flag for Envoy there, but outside of that, business as usual. Highlights now. Plenty of pieces all aside. We also, whatever happened with uh, ridiculous one from Kleenex and the with uh, Zuma's the monster whatever he was doing with Skies. Uh, unbelievable stuff. So again, across the board, a lot of very very strong multi kills. Fame with a lot of great plays. What even was it about? I don't even know. Not necessary enough as a team effort when it comes to LAG. I mean, I can't really think of anything else that stood out too much. It was just solid effort from Ultra from start to finish. Apparently, happy to see that go their way. Apparently, high the roof of High Rise is GA. The cruise missile from Fame being a good example. Apparently, the roof going on the roof on High Rise is GA by the pros, and so Skies broke the GA. That's why Zuma might give him a red card. Uh, X Define is trending on Twitter because someone came out with the report, like Charlie Intel posted about it, that they are delayed because they're trying to steal things from cod and then the the head guy of x defiant came out and said that's not true so now there's beef beef chat my ice cream is going to be here soon oh we're going speaking of high rise we're going back to it uh, map of this series, of course, that search and destroy sub base. If we can see a big old side, we're going back to it. LAG, because I think at this point in time, I mean, we're looking at the you know, coming into this tournament, Ultra, one of the click up favorites to win the whole thing alongside New York Subliners, alongside FaZe, alongside uh, Optic Texas as well. How, what are we seeing differently this tournament, though? LAG, strong resurgence, maybe not necessarily enough. Ultra looking a little weaker in, in places, Vegas taking them down a notch. 
It's a weird series. I, I mean, bar LAG pulling off this upset, what we're seeing, though, is the top four teams just being a clear-cut step ahead versus yeah. everybody else. And then the bottom eight teams, it is just chaotic in that situation where... Don't be stressed, Lax. Don't cry, day. Lax. High-rise S&D, though. An interesting map pick to see. Toronto. Avoid it's going to be okay. Twice. You're playing LAG. On it in the you're playing LAG. Even if Envoy shits the bed, bro, you're, you're going to win. You're going to make top four. Now, you better hope tomorrow he doesn't shit the bed because then you're good. You're going to be out top for but repetitions in the competitive environment hopefully he gets a good night's sleep tonight has a good dinner to get back in the series and they, he comes out tomorrow on price the map to do it we'll see if that is the case the flank saying lag coaching staff is coaching for free oh lord talk it up bro for free and they're playing like this give him a contract God damn, if they're actually coaching for free and LAG look like this, they better get a contract. They better get a contract right now. I know throughout the major two qualifying stage, they've had a few players. Diamond Con being a prime example of not looking quite as strong. He's been balling out all oh, land. Man. These guys have talked their smack and, well, backed it up as well. Parasite mentioning as a rumor. Yo, Par Parasite's close with a lot of the guys in LAG, I'm pretty sure. So, honestly, he'd be the best source to get that info. So, if he says it, I would kind of believe it. Fame complaining about something? Yeah. From the chow, but I mean, they did his lost, so. His team got cooked. His team all dropped 18. He dropped 23. Come on, man. Come on. Let me see it, chat. Let me see it. Ice cream is about to be here. Ice cream is about to be here. I'm so lit, dude. I'm so lit. Did I see the Apex stuff? Yeah, dude. Yeah. That shit's crazy, bro. Giving someone hacks mid tournament is insane. Multiple people too. It happened to. Going to be a focal point as well. It's B Street. Typically, he's going to roam. He'll do it on the offensive and defensive end. And oh, we got to We not getting into the lobby just yet, chat. Did you actually think we were getting into the SND? Nah, nah, nah. All right, again. No, no, no. From LAG for Toronto, an 0 and 2 record. It's rare to see him on it, but rip optic apex, bro. These guys are going to be banning Terminal potentially the entire tournament. It's a few series in a row now. Oh, my door dasher's outside, chat. My door dasher's outside. As soon as the notification says that it's dropped off, I'm I'm running. Ice cream will melt instantly outside, bro. But the elevator is on its way. We've called it. We're waiting for it. Uh, chat. My ice cream's here. I'll be right back. We appreciate your patience at home too. Mike Alu, you know he's only 27. It looks fantastic. Oh, Honestly, exactly. doesn't surprise me. Doesn't I was looking at him. I figured it'd be 28, so 27. What do you know? Crazy. Well, you were close. Happy birthday again, Mike. Hope all's well. Almost ready to get in there, guys. We appreciate, again, the patience. A lot of fun had this day. Really a crazy day of COD. I mean, from start to finish, we have seen literally everything today. Good aces, good matchups, nice round 11, big game five finishes, some upsets, some crazy stuff fan favorite moments and again like you saw the best play uh, on a p2 skid row of all time well the only thing we haven't seen today though is a, a really clean search and destroy performance from toronto ultra online they've had a, a little bit of s d struggles but obviously at major one toronto was perfect here at the major though the one in one record not quite as strong the conversion rate as well a team that is typically completely on point anytime they get the advantage well especially so against optic earlier today they just struggled and oh yeah from the qualifying stages it is rung true so far yeah i'm in line. i'm in texas brother it's hot well it's, it's actually only 70 degrees but team, but again also okay hold on so i got the ice cream right but for whatever reason like I, I don't know why they they sent me they they sent me a chocolate dipped cone and a chocolate dipped rainbow cone. I didn't order either of these. I literally only ordered the ice cream. So I don't know why I got these, but I mean, I guess it is what it is. I, you know, free free things. I don't, you know. Ooh. Explosives, gunfire, you name it. Here's the ice cream. It's a little bit melted already, unfortunately. Yo, Humix, what's good, bro? Feel your optic win this event, bro. They might. They might. They felt like I needed it, dude. They said they also sent two spoons, which makes me think they thought this was two people eating this for whatever reason. So I'm a little bit offended, but it is what it is. 
And of course, the beast tree domination. Diamond Whoa. counter assault. Love working it together. I guess I'm just going to, like, well. bite the cone. I don't even know. A bit of pole dancing backs away. Gets out with his life. Hey, yo. Hey, man, even Jesus had a plan B. He was a carpenter. Oh, another point. That's a lot of damage. Not enough for kills, though. Estriel's going to get that. Walk away with it. Plenty of space now to work with. Over Dude, Envoy's going to drop a... Envoy's going to go 11 and 7 this map. Now in a 1v4. Bomb down as well and nades landing at I didn't hear what Miles that said. What did he say? Round there from LAG. They did not fall into any trap and assault doing nice I just jit my hand in the ice cream. No funny business here. No opportunity for I'm the a dumbass. Push, and that is a perfect round from LAG. I literally dipped my ice cream and my hand right in the ice cream. The nades that make their approach and no one gets caught planting either. They have plenty of time on their side. They let the kill. Yeah, um, the ultra game was not very good, Humix. It was not very good. Envoy dropped like a point five, and he also just dropped like a point five in that last map. So it's a dangerous look in that opening round. LAG exceptionally strong. <laughs> Nice two from S. Damn, there. Miles cooking. We're going to see what Ultra have got in store for this attacking round. And then it'd be interesting to see if Ultra are ever be able to take a, a commanding sort of front over on the B Street. You see a lot of emphasis here for LAG. All the nades landing out the windows. I see a trophy on the other side. And well, if you were the only good thing you missed during that uh, Optic Ultra Series Humix was Scrap Drop 44 and a damage record in the control. So if you're an Ultra fan, that's the only thing you missed was Scrap's control game. But other than that, you probably don't really want to watch the rest of this series. <laughs> Envoy's gonna get it down. They bottled like a hundred point lead in Skid Row hard point. Long enough assault. It was just not a good one. Moves a quick dance now. Looking back towards that bomb site. Tags in a scrap. Can fame clean up? This would help a lot. The slide. Oh my! Scrap guns him. Scrap still going. Gets both. That's a dominant finish from Ultra. Yeah, and Scraps can be thanked. Yeah, we do got good casters in COD, man. We do have good casters. Thank God. Into fame there on the trade. Fame would have had an easy cleanup kill on Scrap until he gets the calm and well defeats him in. Tell the Scrap man is hyper consistent. Does not miss and automatically locked in. Able to give you that round. So that's a nice little clip. Dude, Scrap is going to like. LAG kept things mixy. Scrap is going to, it's just going to will them to, to this yes. next round, dude. It goes a long way. Scrap is, sorry for LAG cousin. Is that what you're saying right now, Lex? Sorry for cousin. Trophy's back at it again. This is B Street. An explosive opener either way. However, I, at this point in time, LAG a little slower to the draw here. Waiting out the explosives. Waiting out the lethals. Happy to take their time as well. We see a lot of those slow B approaches. You got to watch all the little jump up spots. Scrap finding the opportunity to get aggressive. So he's made it here without any intel on him. In the meantime, though, Assault actually gets a downrange first blood on Insight. So we get to test their conversion rate once again. It's a clean first blood. You get plenty of time. If Scrap don't win MVP, you're going to freak. Dude, he might not win MVP if they don't win another event. If, like, FaZe come out and win two events somehow, dude, Simp's going to win MVP. Yeah, Scrap is always streaming, bro. He was on, like, a thousand sub train the other night, which is absolutely insane. Again, Kleenex, 1v4 spot to be in. So, so tough. That's the round. A little bit of an ego child, maybe just unwilling to relent on that B Street. LAG take the lead. Their bread and butter, absolute wheelhouse. And again, Assault getting that first blood just makes the round that much easier. You take your time, group up together, and no mistakes being made. If one player from LAG is challenging, I'm actually surprised they're playing LAG on this map. Well. I'm not going to lie. Not that Diamond Con needed the help in that gunfight. He lives for it. Did we not see what LAG did to FaZe? And LAT on this map in SND. Why are we playing this round? Statistically, we don't see too much love towards the A bomb site. B bomb site, far more attractive, a little more cover there. Scum still has 44k on YouTube. God damn, really? For this matchup? Kleenex. I mean, I guess it's a little bit interesting, but I'm kind of surprised. Just trying to not give away the information. 44k for the, the fifth series, non optic, is actually pretty good. Toronto, you just see the stack that they have. Estriel actually getting tagged up and forced to bag down. Kleenex, maybe trying to use this as the moment to be aggressive. You see Envoy made his way to the site. It is pretty clear. Dimecon's outer elevators, though. Maybe an opportunity to play spoiler, but no one's checking outer just yet. And in the meantime, Insight, I don't even know how he falls off the map in that situation. But oh, no. Insight fell off the map. Hey, chalk it up. Ultra, we'll see you later, bro. Insight falls off the map. You might as well just call it, bro. Kleenex manages to put it all down. You might as well just call it. Last man. Now it's a 1v1. Envoy has the bomb still. 
Wait, if Envoy wins this 1v1, though? He's in a position to do so. Wait out the move. Big tags. Not enough for the kill. We have 30 seconds for this fight to take place. Yeah, Fame doesn't know what direction he went, though. Is he going for the child or going for Bro, the Bro, everyone on Ultra is trolling right now. Envoy's got point fives. Insight's blowing off the map. The nope, Envoy misses him. So now neither player has any intel, but Envoy forced to plant the bomb. Fame in prime position to make the read. He's just going the wrong way. And now the round really begins. Hey, Harrison. You, yeah, you know how it goes, brother. You know how it goes. Envoy. Oh, oh my god, is this a pea shooter? Damage, but it's not enough. Oh my god, the rival is a pea shooter. His iron will Envoy just shot him like seven times and he just dies instantly. He goes maybe a little out of control there from Ultra. <laughs> Kleenex did the same thing in the 2v1. That's just crazy. Sent it, child, but fame, well, he brought the gunny. Guns clean fame actually Envoy shouldn't have won that. Fame actually shouldn't have won that. That Envoy should have won that for cross. sure. There's a wonderful play there from fame and... Again, on that 1v1, no intel between those two players, and now we get to see it from both POVs. Indeed, well, the power position that Fame was in, if you could call it that... Facts, Slayer, facts. Charger next to the bed is, 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 is the thing, play. bro. It's the thing. From his perspective, instant snap. No questions asked. 3-1. And in a godlike spot, too. Yeah, Envoy... Dude, I actually can't believe Envoy just lost that. In that moment. How many times did he shoot that guy? But, 3-1 edge in a great deal of damage this out by fame i don't see a trophy oh either my. but the damage he does sets up diamond con for the kill another player hit by the nade as well so ultra feeling the pressure kleenex aggressive down the b street able to get one but the trade looking like it's probably going to come through oh, no. <laughs> able to get it from lax i'm pretty right. sure at major one so sadly, you were probably so happy they dropped pixie for envoy and then now you're not really as happy anymore is this enough for the kill? No, he knows it's not. Stay hidden. Son. You guys can't win every event. It's just how it is. Because here comes the bomb. Oh, the timing. You're not going to win every event. Right now, finds it. Oh, we're seeing a suicide by Semtex, too. Make no mistake, this is an elimination match. Ultra not looking super clean. And LAG taking full advantage. Right from the jump, Fame has to dish out maybe 250 amount to three different players. A great deal to set up Domicon for the first blood. Then explain Cold War phase. Hey, they didn't win every event. Same thing with New York last year. Just because you, you, we win Major 1, you want to go and win Major 2. I get it. But, like, realistically speaking, it's very hard to just win back-to-back -back events. You know what I mean? It's okay. It's only Major 2. You still got Major 3, Major 4, and Champs. We're not even halfway through the events this year. Let's find out. You can let someone else have Major 2, it's alright. I'm playing with a, an absurd level of confidence right now. Oh, this is also B Street, Ultra, Underground, and on the street. They're looking well, yeah, they, 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 you, you want them to make Sunday, I hear that. Blood. He's I hear that for sure. The radio tower Envoy just got pissed on. Trade, though, from Kleenex comes through. Oh, wait, two, never mind. I still didn't kill him. Looking for kill number five here, Fame. In a row, that is. Scrap cut down by Assault. All on a Kleenex. What can he do? Spots out fame, beautiful shots, and a nice snap, but not necessarily enough. Grab that bomb, and maybe, maybe... Dude, be able to the fact that B, Ultra didn't lose a single SND at Major 1, and now they can't even win an SND at Major 2 is actually insane. Fame from Top Heli has been like, how, how did they fall off and search and destroy so bad? Almost yet it must have been the Skid Row thing, bro. On point. The trade's rolling through Were they banking situation. on Skid Row too much? It's almost like LAG are playing with their food. Playing with something on that table. 5-1. Map point. I mean, LAG dude, this is insane. Years. LAG. Ultra not LAG. Left Toronto in S &D. was yeah, unstoppable at Major 1, bro. Unstoppable. Like, it's not even an overstatement to say that. They lost, like, what, two maps at the entire Major? And then uh, now they, like, can't win a search and destroy to save their lives, it seems like. Like, I don't understand what's going on. I know Insight said, like, oh, everyone has a lot of VOD on them, which makes sense, but, like... Not without being you can't tell me you just can't win your gunfight. Like, I just feel like they're not even winning gunfights in Search, bro. They're not playing trades or like. For you, Ultra. I don't know, man. It's gonna be in the back right window. 
See the spidey senses tingling of players around these sites, but a double stack right now effectively, or maybe Scrap gonna back down, but Kleenex oh, Scrap. Yeah, Fame is oh, yeah, six and one. He's on a five spree right now. He might get he, he could get a Drake missile pretty soon here. Here from Ultra trying to shake up the attack. Estrial still with that bomb in hand. LAG Neslo, can you imagine, dude? They really want that cruise. Scrap gonna back down as well. Inside it switched up the position and Kleenex gets the first blood, but inside he's out there making the play. Goes they killed Fame. The no Drake missile. Just right. Now Scrap knows Diamond Khan's above him. Wait for the child to roll through and he can see the entire way. It's Envoy that ends up getting the kill. One versus three for Mestrial. Hello? Hello. Uh oh. He might have just been able to Time. plant that. He's gotta get the bomb down. Oh no! He's making a fight of it, Estri. Oh no! An unfortunate timing moment. He jumps off the bomb plant, where he conceivably could have got it down. Dude, and take the fight. Can, can we ben fight back, now. Ultra? Way, Ultra. Can we fight back? Signs of life yet here on high rise. Yeah, unlucky for Estrell in the end. But like, show me like something, bro. Inside. They spot him yeah. in the back window. Ultra, this is too much about the game. Lost focus, dude. Maybe, maybe bro. Maybe for just a little too long and inside. It's just like it's crazy to see this kind of fall off in in one mode. You know what I mean? Though, for Toronto, they want to try to win this match. Like, it's one thing to like not be as good as you were in Major 1 because they were literally about as good as you could be. But like they went from undefeated in Search and Destroy to have a losing record in Search and Destroy. It's crazy. Diamond come back at it with Scrap here over by this long line of sight, the B Street. Deep pocket of defense there by the A side of the map for Fame and Assault. But for now, a couple of rattling a gunfire. Just over a minute to go here and oh, that's a Kleenex right up in your face. That's what Domicon does. That first blood rate has been absurd this tournament. He delivers one. Yeah, Harrison, I feel you, bro. I'm pissed. Out instantly, so I'm pissed. Three v three and oh the shit! Sixty-one likes on the stream, guys. Oh my god! Thank Number you so much. Three, first time we've hit sixty. That's actually insane. We'll get a freebie. Kill. Major W. Thank you guys a ton. Holy shit! Eventually. Here it comes. You might be able to get more than one. This is a great spot to be in. We're starting to string the first ever 60 now. not 60 one 69 one first ever 60 That's like stream is crazy envoy 1v2 and we're buffering Can you find anything? and fame no rips him bro fame. fame doesn't fame doesn't Absolute lose his ones and it's 1-1 one, one. and That's it is 1-1 one, one. that is 1-1 one, one. here at the major and that is a heads up play by fame as well the patience to let the kill to come to him Instead of forcing the issue, high rise was mapped. It. The grills were very happy to see they take full advantage and dominate Toronto in the map. Chat, what is two. happening right now? Still looking for a respawn. Can someone explain to me what's control. happening? Could be it on Karachi, but either way, uh, Karachi control. Performance is through and through. The first bloods for Diamond Con completely on point. Vein eight and two, as good as it gets, an assault as well. Showing up the feed there on the first blood category in eight kills as well. LAG barely breaking a sweat there in that game. And well, for high rise S and D, Toronto 0 and 3 on the year. Bit of a soft spot. Culture's issues, they don't like the game anymore. I mean, if you don't like the game that you have to play every day, that could definitely be a problem. But also, you're getting paid a shit ton of money to play this game. Whether you like it or not, you better find out a way to be good at it. You know what I mean? Some magnificent looks out of LAG. High rise continues to be an absolute delight for them. Ultra back to the like these game. ultra guys, they probably have some of the bigger contracts in the league. And they better figure out a way to win, bro. If they're getting paid to pay to play every day. We seem to enjoy them so much, and yeah, that's right. We're playing control, so we're gonna spend plenty of time in at least one of those cafes. Think they're too cocky? I mean, they're not too cocky anymore. <laughs> they're definitely not too cocky anymore. That's for sure. Roll to a commercial break. Spicy series to close out the day. One of these purple teams is going home. We're going to break. You're gonna get yourself a snack or maybe even a drink. Oh, Miles, I already got a snack, brother. I'm munching over here. I don't know. If LAG win this, they're definitely the fifth best team, bro. For sure. They're definitely top five. If Bulls are losing this, you want to see them 12th in the power rankings? Dude, if they lose this, I don't know if they're top four anymore, man. Sorry to break it to you. Ultra ain't even the part. Save thirty dollars on the official CDL collection at scuff. Yeah, bro. If you don't like the game, you have to play every day. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt your performance. I get that a hundred percent. I get that a thousand percent. But also, like, 
you gotta find a way to still be good, bro. If you don't like the game, like, then just quit. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't like the game and you're gonna cost your teammates by not playing and, and, and liking it, like, it, just let them pick someone else up that's gonna play hard and like it. Yeah, Scrap does stream almost every night. He must like it enough to play it on stream. Unless he just plays code names all the time and doesn't actually stream COD. Why did it have NYSL top after they got first rounded? From this event or last event? Because from this event, I can't predict them. Oh, they didn't even get first round of this event. I mean, they got first rounded, but that was five weeks ago. Five weeks, a lot changes, especially when hardpoint spawns completely change. We get a whole, it's like a whole new game. Now, Ultra would still probably be top four if they lose this this uh, match, I think. Unless LAG go on like win the event or some shit. Man. Can we? Uh, dude. I can't even believe this is 1-1 right now. Ultra might have... They might have less round wins in Search and Destroy at the Major than round wins in Control. Like, it's actually insane. Probably not what they beat. They beat Legion, but you know what I mean. You get the point I'm making. Honestly, dude, if I'm ultra and you guys you guys get eliminated here, I'm selling scrap to optic. I'm selling insight and Kleenex. I'm, I'm selling envoy and I'm picking up a challengers team, saving my cash. Let's get it. Skirt. Scrap over who in Optic? I mean, I guess the obvious answer would be Kenny. Although I think Kenny's really good. Keep dreaming. <laughs> Dude, Lax, you better keep dreaming of uh, Sunday because I have a feeling you're not making it there. I have a feeling LAG is going to be hit playing on Sunday, bro. Nah, I still think Ultra are going to win. If this goes game five, I'd be terrified if I'm an Ultra fan, but I still think Ultra is going to win this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Call of Duty League. Not only taking place here in Florida, but also in Columbus at our command center CDL studio. Bunker deep underground where they keep the nuclear... I'm going to, uh, I'm going to 2x. If you guys haven't 2 x to my stream, make sure you do it because you, you might be like an hour behind at this point, bro. You might be an hour behind. Dude, LAT were an unstoppable in Vanguard, bro. At the end of that year. Best team in the game. Best team ever. You ain't wrong, Lax. You ain't wrong. So I know they're going to be confident if you're the fan of the squirrels, but LAG, they have been the an squirrels. incredibly dangerous team, especially the so squirrels. in format. They're just looking down and take a, another top four team, add it to the belt. Another brought down. We'll see if that can happen, but still scary stuff. LAG have brought the thunder thus far in the week here. Looking at control, though, again, I mean, this is here. Major two control major metrics. Both, both of them are 2-0. and o. Both teams with solid KDs. It really is the, wow. uh, it's the attack and defending rounds. Like, Wait, what? Oh, LAG are 4 and 0 on attack and <laughs> Ultra are 0 and 4 on attack at the major? That's kind of crazy. Wait, that's an insane stat. Perfect in their offensive struggle point. That's actually an insane stat. Specifically, though, Ultra, they ball out on both sides. If you're LAG, this is buckle down time. You're going to need to play some perfect Call of Duty. 
And again, I've said it a few times in this series, it's been more of a thing in Hardpoint, a little less so in control. Yeah, bro, if LAG win this map, then Ultra have to push it to five, and I don't know if they can win the SND. And if Ultra win this map, then they could probably just win the HP too. Oh, yeah. Man is an absolute shooter, but there's the map specific stats. Dude, yeah, Pred was all over the place in the offseason, dude. I think he was just trolling people. I'm not gonna lie to you. Best team overall. Second best team overall. We'll see if that matters not here in land. And oh, uh, and we're gonna restart. We're gonna be diving back into this one ASAP. It's a draw, boys and girls. Well, we'll find out why in a moment, and if not, uh, we'll just roll on out. We'll find out why in a moment and get back into the matchup ASAP. Again, that's map number three. If you've just joined us, as you can see on screen, tied up one to one. God, I was excited for that one. I can't lie. Dude, I'm, you nailed that. Well, I'm tired good. of hearing this music. I'm not going to lie to you. Controller issue on stage there. Looks like one of the this music. Doom, 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 doom. Dude, I've been hearing this music for like a, an hour straight, it feels I mean, like. Fix or it's all been playing. It's unreal. Really, we have no idea. Uh, either way, though, I think the bigger point of concern from LAG, you saw... Between Major 5 and Champs last year, only one team beat Ultra. Do I know who it is? What do you mean? Like, between those those two events these guys have been going crazy in the small break that we've had in between the qualifying stage i mean new york being my champs obviously for these very moments because they have been going on a tear thus far in this tournament oh speaking of this tournament let's have a look how this tournament has been taking place we've had one hell of a run so far our teams are still in it this is to play the subliners in that lower bracket of course optic phase tomorrow that winner's bracket final matchup will be a treat i can assure you of that both teams looking very strong indeed phase nysl is the only team to beat them coming into this tournament yeah close matches against both the thieves and the sub nysl are goaded optic last year very flashy chance and very very fun They've had the, the pop-off moments, and that is the reason why Toronto is currently in the loser's bracket, continuing to play and pushing us into the wee hours of the night. But I would say... Can we get into this match? God damn. The bracket. There's a couple of loser's bracket matches that could have gone either way, and maybe the Ravens upsetting the Legion, one of the bigger standouts. But again, land time is different. It is the opportunity for the Vets to reign supreme. And of course, more veteran players here on the side of Ultra as well, looking to clutch up and make sure they don't let anything get. Given I think New York should have gotten Kenny instead of Sim. Dude, set here on stage. Ken would have been insane on New York if they could have gotten him. Going back to the if they could have gotten it, it would have been Both insane. Teams have had a fair run of the game mode in the tournament so far. Those game threes have been kind to both of them. The means at which they are winning those game threes, though, very, very different. Defensively, I think heavy uh, for Toronto Ultra attacking rounds there for LAG. It could go the other way around because it's late and crazy, but. I'm very interested to see how this one goes down. And again, what we're testing here, not only for these players, is, is their sort of stamina. LAG, last match of the day, they have a long wait throughout the day. They have to conserve their energy, try not to sort of burn anyone out, and they still have to be warm. It's a difficult, difficult, difficult thing. Ultra as well have had a big day of COD. Massive series against Optic Texas. Now they find themselves in a similar situation. Well, I, with a 6-2 like that on high rise, they're on an Ultra do look. Oh, all the viewers are leaving because they're not playing this freaking game, bro. Flat. There's a couple overchilds. They were making mistakes. It is not everyone's leaving we went from 24 viewers to 14 viewers perfect gameplay we're used to seeing from toronto so i think this is an opportunity for lag to play spoiler to crank up the heat and apply pressure lag could win sub base bro they really could we saw them win the last two times they played it they beat phase they beat uh la thieves but i just know that the vibes are not exactly at an all-time high for toronto ultra yo caleb what's good you got sick hey man i'm sorry to hear that hopefully you're feeling better uh rundown from today i mean let's see ravens beat legion in game five uh game five round 11 ravens beat legion upset them then phase beat subliners new york almost reverse swept but phase beat him in game five optic uh kind of kind of gave gave ultra the work they won 3-1 and then new york 3-0 ravens so now we're watching lag ultra winner goes to top four at the end of the day, I mean, so they've got absolutely nothing to So we got do. Optic Phase winners finals tomorrow, and we'll have New York versus the winner of this series uh, tomorrow. So we're, we're moving and grooving over here, but good lord, this is taking forever, bro. Dude, I literally, dude, I literally said like a couple hours ago, like, holy crap, we haven't had any delays today. And we've literally had like four delays since I said that. I jinxed it. 
it's been rough they did not have a good time and that is certainly a situation where the rookie imagine Astro on a grand final on seriously is gonna yeah, i'm gonna put the uh, rest of my ice Roster cream in changes the freezer. are always out and about in the call of duty world but these guys have overperformed and then some they've, they've been confident they've tomorrow. stuck together and i know a player Don't like Astro specifically right we have genuinely been watching improve from day one so i've enjoyed watching him grow as a player so far this year and i mean still a big opportunity on the main stage he has been dialed in he basically doesn't blink no not at all he's got his eyes on the prize not only playing for placement of course running up to champs playing for pride but also playing for prize money eyes on the prize here at the major one thing to lift the tr trophy another thing to watch your bank account explode there's a lot of cash on the line here for our players all year long one of the perks of being a professional Call of Duty player is playing for great sums of money. However, the stress and the difficult lifestyle that comes along with it, any position of uh, tremendous pressure is exactly what you're looking at here. And for these boys, damn, at major two, 150,000 clams and 100 CDL points for first. We've already decked out the bottom three. We'll see how far this one goes. And you can jump up in the CDL point standings quite a bit. Matches are like 50% more valuable for a win on the lower side, but they ramp up in how many points you get as the tournament goes on. So it's not just the cash that you're playing for, but 30 points for LAG can go a long way. Literally just the fifth, sixth spot there from the Ravens. They went from the 12th seed coming into the tournament. They've now jumped into the top eight, which of course is that champs threshold. And LAG, again, oh my God. already in a good spot for how can we get into it? This tournament and a win here. They launch themselves up. Anyone have a good a March Madness bracket? Benefit long term. Um, my br I have a couple brackets that are okay. But LAG, I had one or two brackets that were like in the 90th percentile. I don't know how they're doing right now. Getting ready to get back into that Karachi control. My best bracket is in the 96th percentile on ESPN. Um, but other than that, you know, they're just all wash. Oh, the stakes are pretty high indeed. And again, we will be looking towards that. We're not 96th percentile, but 96th percent, I guess. Correct or something like that. Well, into the top eight rather the bottom side of the board those four teams will not be going towards champs here we go ladies and gentlemen. dude yeah if, if dude if they get top four well they, they probably won't drop salt they probably will this is for the lead in the series. yeah kentucky and auburn chalked all my brackets i'm pretty sure by the end of the by the end of march madness my brackets are gonna look like shit because i had kentucky and auburn i think making like some runs in, in most of my brackets want to come out punch him in the mouth straight away and try to set the tone if ultra lose do they make a change fast control game so uh, probably not probably not We've already broke i don't think so seven and a half minutes. they won major one you want to play i'm sure they would like to think possible. they could i know ultra nah there's the opening break though and more bad news lag they are many things but they are not yet ready for karachi control at least the salts controller works. He's been tapping his boys. Look, he's just coming over there, bullying him, stealing lunch money. Uh, oh, yeah, so man. We'll get back into this one. Hopefully ASAP. Chat, I'm losing my interest in this series the longer it takes. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. I lose the interest the, ever, the longer it takes every time. I've been live for nine hours. We've watched four series. We can't get through the goddamn fifth series. It's insane. Play some music, bro. We got music on right now. You don't hear this? Do COD Guesser. I can pull up COD Guesser again. I, I did obviously the one today. But I can pull up COD Guesser again. We can do the archive. I've done one through ten already. So we can do this. This oh, this is Crown Raceway, is it not? What? No! God damn it. Target neutralized. I literally got that in one chat. I literally got that in one. All right, chat, what is this map, bro? Somebody lock in and help me out with COD Guesser right now. What is this? I have no idea what this is. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> that looks like a Cold War map. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 3, Apocalypse. Sure, dude, I'll type in Apocalypse. I don't even care. Dude! Why is it not letting me? Well, it's not Apocalypse. These are some of the pictures. What are we thinking, man? There's bananas. Anyone remember a map with bananas in it? Zoo? 
From which map? Cold. I don't think this is Zoo. IW map? Oh, I didn't even play. Dude, IW is the only game I didn't play, so. Is it Rebirth? I don't even know if it can be Rebirth. It can't even be Rebirth. I guess it, I don't think it can be uh, w like Warzone maps. Look at another pick. This one. Maybe. Anyone remember this? If this is from IW, like Lack said, I, I don't. I don't know any IW maps. I literally didn't play the map or the game. Looks like launch from BO1. Nah, this is definitely not launch. I remember most BO1 maps pretty pretty thoroughly. It's definitely not launch. There are no bananas on launch, I'm pretty sure. It's Cold War. Chat, someone's got to know what map this is. Someone's got to have an idea. Dilo from Black Ops? Is that what you want to guess? I'll guess it. It's not Silo. Okay. But wait, wait. We went from we went from infected monkeys to hay bales to bananas to the Statue of Liberty. What? That's actually crazy. What is it, dude? What is the name of the island the Statue of Liberty is on? What's the name of the island the Statue of Liberty is on? Because I feel like I remember there being a map from. Dude, it might have been MW3 or Ghost or Advanced Warfare that was on the island. No, it's not Staten Island. Dude, there's a name of the... There's there's a, a name of the freaking island, bro. Oh my god. Where is the Statue of Liberty? Liberty Island. Is there, is there a map called, like, Liberty? Liberation? It's not liberation. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it does say state of New York right there. Beheaded? Is that a map? Beheaded from Vanguard? Nah, I don't think it's Vanguard. I feel like I would recognize it pretty, pretty early. Chat, we're bad at this, man. We are bad at this. No one's got an idea. This is AW. Ghosts. What does that say? L L I A D R C. Liberty Island, something, 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 something. Bro, chat, no one knows who this is, man. Are we chalked? Are we chalked at? Are we bad COD fans? Well, we get one more guess and then it gives us like a, like a prompt to read. Someone give me a map name and I'll guess it, bro. Someone toss out a map name. Here we go. Liberty Island? Yeah, I tried. I tried. I typed in Liberty. And I took Liberation. It wasn't bad. I don't play any mobile games. I know it's like it's the, the kids. They love it in their fingers so fast. Mine? Not so much. I can't even play keyboard and mouse. I'm, I'm oh. caught through and through, man. That's my guy right there. Well, we're almost ready to party. Scrap, get that yawn out, son. We got a game to play. Fist Dude, chat, we're bad at this, man. We're bad at this. As ever. They're about to get into the map and we can't even get this. Yeah, the game's about to start, I think. Liberation? That's not even an option. It's not an option, unfortunately. Quarantine? Advanced Warfare? Bang! What a pull! It was Quarantine from Advanced Warfare. Are we hopping in? Oh, good pull. Good pull. In control, very much. Paying attention towards that cafe, the B zone, the A zone in the middle of the map. Adam Assault, also a, uh, a red card uh, player now. I saw the snakes he was throwing. Ooh. Started that game. Form honestly on point. All right, Just here we go. We're finally run. actually getting in. Zuma, not even Oakland kidding. NC in the last 13 seconds. Oh, shit. 66 66. Goddamn. He's my MVP. Thought it was Garrison. The patron saint of no snakes. Speaking of Assault, flying into the feed. Looking for that map control. Salt red card is with chance being serious or we see drolling. Right yeah, I, I don't I don't think we're getting a restart. I think we're good. Well, two players underneath them. There's trade number one. Doesn't read the next player underneath, but scrap. Well, gonna have to take it. Oh my god. Assault's cooking. It's over. It's over. Uh, dude, Toronto Ultra, we'll see you later, bro. What the hell? Get a bit of map control, play for some spawn kills and 
Look for number five. That's a freebie. Next guy off spawn. Well, hey, he gets away. A cruise missile can go a long way in this game. It does go a long way, all the way from the sky to the ground. LAG, though, first segment at A gone. Assault still going his little run around, trying to find these last few players. A uh, six and oh start six for assault, bro. Perfect. He has streaks. Oh, oh seven and oh assault right now combined or what dude assault legacy run right here assault looking for his second championship make it eight. Oh, dude if he would have killed kleenex i would have lost it i would have lost it if he just killed kleenex but fame gonna have to stay alive i mean no one's earning trophies but assault right bro, now in this moment fame is the only other person with a kill he has nine the rest of his team have, have one combined what is happening where are his teammates it's a flying kleenex gets it Stops him for an hour. Estriel win it with a pistol. Capture the zone. Oh, Estriel's God, throwing nades in the middle of a gunfight. Diamondcon gets involved a little late. Can he get a second? Kleenex. God, he's hard to kill. Dude, that's an insane Everyone scoreboard. One, 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 ten. That's an insane scoreboard. And now he can't win the gunfight and insight backing these players down. Oh, what could have been or maybe what can be. Fame stopping the clock. One gunfight to win. And he cannot get it. Ten seconds time is ticking. Dude, maybe that reset was good for Envoy. Maybe the reset was a good little a good little break for Envoy to regain. He's playing alright right now. And Adam Assault able to get eleven. But his team couldn't give him much, so Toronto, they get the round. What a crazy round and what a fun one. Well, you'll take it, Ultra. Final moments there, Kleenex getting the job done. Dude, Assault is, is always, is somehow doing enough where he's not going to get dropped. I can feel it. Assault is doing enough where he's going to be on this team again, bro. Dude, I mean, with how they look on land, you almost don't want to make a change. Yeah, you hear you, you hear the guy in the, in, the, in the crowd, bro? I don't even think any of them are drunk. There's no liquor at the venue. I don't think they allowed any alcohol. They're not selling any alcohol at the venue. I don't think anyone's drunk. Unless they went outside, like, took four shots, five shots, and came back in. Early investment of the cruise missile. Yeah, why did he just cruise? On defense that they might not why did he just cruise? What? Away, what just happened? In the feed. He Three just used the cruise, cruise and they're cruise literally giving up A. Hey, that's insane. And this is nice pressure what kind of cruise? Well, Dude, the, 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 the amount of players that use their cruise missiles poorly is insane to me. Like, you ever notice that, like, I feel like probably like 7 out of 10 times someone calls in a streak, it's like a waste? Our, cru our, our, our cruise missiles just not that good? Like, are we overthinking how good they are? Or, like, unless it's search and destroy, I feel like they're kind of ass. Doing everything to hold it down, but as he falls, well, Toronto, you can see where they're on on the minimap. Two players near that B zone, setting themselves up for some spawn kills. It looked like Toronto Ultra taking a page out of Trey Zero's book. Their pistols only on the approach towards the point. Oh my god. Halfway through it, Estriel slowed down. Diamond Con, heavy damage there. Scrap, good work. Envoy. Is Assault the only one shooting his gun right now? What's going on? Kleenex versus Assault. There's the contest. Can he win at least one here? Waiting for the boys to get there. There's one. Oh my god, he got two. Oh my god. Kleenex, that's insane. Forced to arrive. The back door. Here comes Envoy. Insight in the feed. And that could be it. Oh my god. Kleenex, that was insane, bro. Did you see those shots? That's 2-0. Kleenex is beasting. That's 2-0. Spawns against LAG. Dios mio. No time wasted. Two quick caps coming through. And almost not a trade to be found. LAG falling a little bit flat here. On yeah, World War II is Assault's only win, bro. World War II champs is his only win. He has one event win and it was a ring. It's actually insane. It's actually hella typable. Can Ultra get it done or will LAG start to fly? Because these stat lines are bizarre. I mean, you have, what, 6 and 23 combined right now? From Dude, Assault needs some help so bad. Shades of two players, we can get three, Dude, they have six kills combined. He still has more kills than all three of his teammates combined. We're two rounds in, and he has more kills than all three of his teammates combined still. Kleenex right back up top. is home, able to get one, doesn't even get shot. Man, has been a walking two-piece all series, and he's going to get it once again. So smooth. Envoy's double positive. It's over. It's over. Ultra are back. middle of the map. 
Ultra are back. Envoy and Kleenex are cooking. Silence now as well. So with a streak in his back pocket, that boy could cause some serious damage. And this is the way it starts. Nice work out of Estral just to be able to stop that hurricane before it started hitting. Oh no, Jacob, you said it, bro. You said it. He's gonna turn up now. Oh lord, Jacob, you said it, and he's gonna turn up now. It's over. GG. Is, I like you just won this map. Diamondcon showing up in the feed so there's a little bit of life and fame has made his way towards the objective and wins the gunfight from the time as well scott throw Bang. over top of the coordination from the nade able to get him out of the the objective now from lag maybe a little concerned about getting away from your spawn inside spotting these players on the cross and the wings of the map ultra attempting to keep under control it's too late for lag it's never too late a couple players from it's LAG never San too late he's trying to stay alive and absolutely get himself involved here here comes the streaks though this is going to certainly slow down the progress at a by some time as we watch diamond con take a tumble after a cruise was why did he even get in the Astro point trying to stay alive now keep his spree going envoys moved into a and there's insight through the window but heidi this is going to be a quick 3-0 it took us three tries to get this map going and this is what we waited for whatever it's called it's definitely old school we had we had two restarts just for this map to be a quick 3-0 Oh, are you kidding me? I mean, at least they respected our time to get it going quick, but inside absolutely do a scattered attack right now from the gorillas and well only five seconds left on the clock. Three They're gonna get on A. They might be able to they're gonna cap it, I think. That sucks. Are you kidding me, bro? Gorillas, please just let it end, dude. Can we go to let's go map four? Not over just yet. Kleenex can hear something as can we below him. Uh -huh. Oh, he's not going to spot the other guy in the back. The guns are at the ready. Oh, he's going to kill him. So any further than that, though, Ultra now scrambling on the defense, trying to catch out these players before they can even get close to the zone. Burn the clock. Yeah, Estro going to be playing with the spawner as well. He's got another fight with Kleenex and maybe buying some time for Diamond Con to work the flank as well. Estro's cooking. Keeping them pinned in there. Estro and Diamond Con in the spawn. Wait, wait, wait. LAG might be able to three stack this. Oh, Scrap's going to rip him. Scrap able to well show up in the feed and Oh, Scrap got two. Well, Scrap really slowing things down. Picks up two kills. Estro. Estro will do that. What the hell? Or so good. That's a five spree and the pressure around the time. Oh, he was doing it for a moment long. Diamond Con there now into the zone. One more player there. Diamond Con's got to go huge. Help the boys stay alive here. Scrap can't get out of spawn. The player has been forced to the point right now. Assault got to be the man to dive in there. Anyone watching it? No, they haven't seen him. He's able to get in there, but he's waiting for more than just one. Estriel on a worldwide tour going through the middle of the map, cleaning house. Dude. Still need more players. Okay, for LAG. What's going on here, man? We were three seconds away from Ultra 3 0ing, and now we're freaking five seconds away from LAG winning the map. Diamond Con with two. Picks up two, and while well, the other two players are going to be coming off. This is a this is a big this is big here. This is big. These guys have to go crazy. Estrell, you got to get across, brother. You just got to get to that objective. Wait a minute, they're still able to contest. Estrell, the damage is in. They won. We're falling asleep at the wheel, and LAG have captured the brother. Last series of the day. Come on, man. Putting on a little bit of pressure, and the gun's starting to get a little bit hot. Now for LAG. Diamond Con struggling the first two rounds, but nice little pop-off performance in this one. Assault just begging for some help, and he saw it appear in the feed as well. A nail-biter of a God round. God damn, bro. LAG continue to fight. Still, though, a decent ways to go. Yeah, Ultra through. What the hell? Slang performance. Nearly all four players positive there from Ultra. They've been feasting in the kill feed. Oh, yeah. Come on, chat. Lock it in, man. I got to lock it in, too. I'm not going to lie. I'm running a little bit out of energy. It's uh, this 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 series is kind of whatever to me. I feel like Ultra should just win it. But, like, I got to lock in. I got to lock in. Assault is only 18 and 16. I don't know what happened. Homie was like 14 and 4 at one point or some shit. Dude, if some if, if Assault's teammates end with more kills than him, he should be ashamed. There's no world in which Assault's teammates should end with more kills than him at this point. Dude, Jacob, you literally said it, bro, and they won the round. 
the A zone. Fame is uh, almost uncontested. Fame is still negative, but he's doing better than he was. Just trying to solve the envoy problem. He's been able to heal up, but eventually the late trade comes through. Oh my God! Assault gonna give you two, so assault pissing on him. Slow capture, no extra space is going to be taken outside of maybe a scrap flank, but. Right now, a ton of map presence in control. Assault pushed out junkyard, but Envoy's having a good one now. Gorillas, a little bit stagnant. They've let him through, but they don't seem to mind. Number five. Dude, when Scrap is the only one negative on Ultra, you know that they're like just cooking. Because usually he's the only one positive. Gotta watch out for this flank play. But they can get to the point where he's negative and everyone else is frying. That's great. There we go. Scrap springs into life. Oh, that's a chow. Oh my God, he's so much better. Enough to buy his boys a little bit of space. He's so much better. Yeah, still not getting a close spawn either. So Ultra is still going to have to do a little bit of a hike before they can make things mixy. Two players working. Well, make it three top red. Kleenex and Insight. Well, long time. Well, Ultra are going to get defense for round five no matter what. They're already up on six, so. Fame just gonna shred a, a fame is slamming. As well, and fame is slamming right now. One spot on Void. Oh, oh my god, Jacob, you jinxed it. Delivers. Jacob, you jinxed it. He's slamming. He's slamming. That's so close to it. Scrap back at it again. Like waves crashing upon the rocks of LAG. But Can Scrap is also slamming. The opener? There's the contest. Scrap is slamming. Inside the cafe. Fame's on the outside as well. Sends it. Oh my god, Scrappy! Oh, Envoy with three! three! Envoy with three! Surely the opportunity now as Estrel dives over the wall into the fight. Oh my god, Envoy with a huge three piece. What the hell? The first segment's gone. Scrap finds himself too. And we're going map four. Sub base hard point, here we come. God damn. I will say that's one of the things I love about control is how it can be slow, 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 and then all of a sudden the team wins the round. Wow, Scrap and Envoy just cooked them. Just cooked them. The strong showing there, three one. An incredibly slow start from the gorillas in the beginning of that map. Do, the first two do, 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 very do, do, dire. do, do, If not for that one turnaround, this would have been a faster, faster game indeed. But kudos again to Ultra. They managed to close it out in the end. And again, it's just one window. You find it, you punch on through, you get enough bodies onto that point. But it takes a lot of coordination. It takes a lot of team kills. You can't necessarily get it done alone. You have to get two, maybe three down. Four All right. You need to push in and actually cons you know, convince. Now we go to sub base, so. which I mean. LAG have won two sub bases in the last couple days. On last week. Another one? You want another one? Alright, another another cod guesser. What do we got, chat? What do we got? Tell me. Tell me. What the hell is this? What is this? Azir Cave? I don't even know. I'm thinking Azir Cave. It looks like Afghan. Unless you are playing perfectly, you are Afghan playing cave. What do we got? What do we got? What do we want to go with? One poor performance, and it is almost a certainty. Is anybody confident in their guess? That's what we do. We punish these teams who make the mistakes. Highlights once again, folks, as we close out Karachi here. We still have one more Karachi left in the series, and that's the final map in the series. That's the S and D. Afghan, then cave. Sure, we'll go Afghan. Target neutralized. Holy shit, Slayer! What the hell? Now the next hard point. It was Afghan. God damn. He just pulled that out of nowhere. That is the, the good old snow map. It has been a uh, sort of backbone for LAG at least wow. early on. But that was insane. First try, Slayer. Holy shit. All right. We'll go on another one. What do we got? Uh, we got an old, bloody, blurry bathtub. Old, bloody, blurry bathtub. Just a very difficult player to Gulag deal. showers. It's just those very quick pop off plays. It's not Gulag showers. Finding the routes through, and his shot just looks absurdly clean. We talk about how the energy feels a little bit low on the main stage. Wait, is this Alcatraz? This man's POV. Is this a zombies map? Or um, not Alcatraz? Mob of the Dead? From scrap, and again, him and Envoy, wonderful coordination. Is that what it is? Mob of the Dead is the is the Alcatraz zombies map? This looks just like it. Am I tripping? Yeah, it's a sigh of relief. Plus, the bloody bathtub gives me zombies vibes. You're not quite done yet. What do you guys want to guess? You want to guess Mob of the Dead? Target neutralized. Hey, it is Mob of the Dead. We cooked. 
we go okay, yeah, this one would have made it really easy. This one would have made it really easy if we got these. Bang, all right, another one. Oh, what the hell? I mean, this one's got to be a newer map, right? It's got to be a newer... Uh, I would imagine this is probably a newer map, but I don't know what map this is. They're used to the gunfight styles we have on this map. We're used to the power. Any ideas, Chad? Any ideas? Shooting in the map three. And as long as Cold War. Okay, that doesn't really help me here. Raid. Raid from Cold War. Is that what you want me to guess? I'll do it. Monster it's not raid. Toronto Ultra coming in this one again. The hard point's been very, very strong for them, particularly against LAG. Is this Piccadilly? Will that be the same here? Holds not. Is that Piccadilly? Isn't there? Isn't that one of the rooms you could just run straight through this building and there was a statue in the middle? When it comes to that one. So what do we want to see? We want to see them break these hard points and try to hold. I think this is Piccadilly. No, you want to see them clean up. Target neutral. Hey, we cooked again, chat. We cooked again. It can be a feels bad moment. Nice, nice. Another one. Handle the spawns well. You can really chain hills together on this map. That's a a blurry picture. That's a pretty blurry picture. I'm not gonna lie. Spawning on the deep subsection of the map on a P2, a P3, or a P4, it can be a devastating moment if you're getting those spawns at the wrong time so when you get those holes you gotta keep them for i don't know i don't really have a guess of the hills it had cave in it is it azir cave is that what you're talking about azir cave from 2019 i see a young one just off to the side massive fan of scrappy just i think we're about to get into it anyway it's all right we're gonna get we're getting into the map no delays we're getting right into it bro if people start killing each other i'm gonna lose my mind the venue for you at home it's time to get into the game ladies and gentlemen map number four toronto ultra taking on los angeles gorillas here we go chat opening salvo as well diamond con a force i'm gonna hit a 2x make sure you guys hit a 2x if you haven't Everyone 2x. Ultra undefeated on this map. It's over. Dude, we'll see. They just beat FaZe and Thieves on this LAG, so... Not that beating Thieves and Hardpoint is that much of an accomplishment, but... Beating FaZe is pretty good. Although FaZe are bad at this map. Just a difficult moment to collect any themselves. Astro is... He is flowing right now, man. I mean, this that late night game. He's been shooting bots for about seven hours. He's feeling himself. He's looking good on the map. Can they look good in the rotations as well? Though Ultra's gonna get the final few moments here. Well, this could be our last map of the day, chat. This could be our last map of the day. I do want to say thank you guys for all the uh, all the support and the vibes today, man. 63 likes is a record for our watch parties. We had 45 viewers earlier. That's a record for the watch party. So if this is your first time here, your hundredth time here. I appreciate you guys for for, for chilling with me today. Play eights after? I would. I'm gonna, I'd rather. I'd rather. Uh, I'd rather cut my left foot off. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Do the hiccups again. I'm gonna lose my mind. I think I've had the hiccups more more than I've had likes in the stream, bro. Lovely time though, gain from Ultra here on this point. Looking towards new, but it's very much LAG's map. You've got this part of the hard point. Scraps the only one positive, but they're cooking right now. So who really cares? I guess. Where they actually have players like this pushed out and going for these cutoff kills, but they didn't actually block the back spawns for the P3. And I fear they might not be doing the same thing again. Gotta be very cautious about where these players are oh. popping up on the mini map. Trades being exchanged, but the first players off spawn are on That would have been an insane win. Spawns are secure. Scraps gonna slide it and die immediately on the push. Kleenex now through the tunnel. No trophies to be found. 64 so likes now, even better. He does have his lethal and his tactical to play with, but a little unfortunate bit of geometry on the floor there has slowed that down. The source up next, but it's no problem. Kleenex on a three. Yeah, he just glides himself into the uh, the old irons there of Kleenex. <laughs> Whether or not it's a tricky word to say, it's also a tricky moment for this spawn. LAG Dude, honestly, fueled. Back, New York, Toronto could just be a matchup so of ins Conrad mistakes. Make the play. You're to the 65 likes now. Good lord, guys. You guys are cooking. 66? There's no way. It's still said 65 on my side. You guys are going crazy, though. His team has to come and help him, but he is desperate for this help. Oh, committing hard 66 Brim likes. Holy trip. shit. You guys are crazy. <laughs> we we broke the like record by a mile today. By like 20. 
That's true. It was 46 two before today. That's insane. It might be a minute before we break the like record again, man. Yeah, it's just so difficult. Fame buys you so much pressure, but really that only gets you maybe seven seconds of time that Toronto were not able to collect. Fame again leading the charge for his team. Maybe a slide out and jump top three. Oh my God, the hiccups are driving me crazy, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Nice wins as well. Diamond picks one up. It's one guy on time and scrap towards the back and now scrap that last man standing. 67? God damn, bro. What's going on? Is it, are people hop, hopping out burners and hitting the like button right now? Trying to collect this time. Time to call it as well. They're finding the time. He is the captain of the sub right now. I don't know the doc's position to be in, but hey, it's a piece of cover. Put scrap down. Well, this game is the opposite of last game, where Assault was the only one doing anything last game. Now Assault's the only one not doing anything on his team. He got four burners, Dixon. I love it. The more burners, the better, chat. Front line insight upstairs. He should be able to cause some problems here. No trophy. He has one, but he's not opting to use it here. Kleenex looking for the streaks. Ah, he doesn't get it. We've been here before, Kleenex, haven't we? Three though for insight. Fame shooting hot this series. Doing what he can, but still that last man standing around the time. Scrap able to win his. Hey, I respect the grind, brother. Gives his time to get I respect the grind. I have a bunch of YouTube shoot, accounts too. Gets caught, ten I just don't want to like my own stream because I feel like that's cheesy. Well, LAG getting all the kills. That's a four man wipe. They don't flip the spawns, but maybe buy themselves an opportunity to get set up around new. Get set up, get cozy, get ready. Stick the all right, 70 first. point lead for. Uh, for Ultra right now. Sorely need the time. Insight. Introduces Salt to the barrel of his MCW. Now Scratch is back in his home. Fame's been waiting to make his... Envoy double negative. We're right back where we started today. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Doesn't need to. Looking for that easy cleanup kill, but forced to back down. So he's calling out Fame and looking for the rest of the guys off spawn. But it has been a P1 where Scrap has been hanging on the hill almost completely uncontested. Finally, Fame's there to take him down. It's yeah, Scrap and Kleenex are cooking right now. Dude, poor Envoy, bro. He's using the sub on sub base. No, no. You know, sub on sub base. Uh huh. But yeah, you're just getting, you're getting fried if you're using the one using the sub on sub base, I feel like. Sneaky Scrap. He's on that fence line just providing information to the teammates. Where are they going to be spawning if they broke Yeah, I, I fear if LAG don't get a good hold on this hill, it's over. Oh, this hill, I think, makes or breaks it for gorillas here. And it's looking like it, it's looking like Ultra are going to crap on him. Oh, my God. They're just pushed up, slaughtering people. Monster crates covered in pieces of LAG players. That's a missed opportunity there for the Gorillas. And again, the coordination and timing from Toronto. Yeah. To oh, okay. Big two out of Diamond Con. I mean, I guess anything's possible. Envoy's trying to stay alive. He's going to get one. Another double okay, 20, 30 seconds for, for LAG here, but you're up by a lot. Seven versus two is going to be big here. Seven versus two is huge. Seven wins it. Okay, they're set up for new, actually. LAG might be able to change something here. LAG might be able to change something here. Do not push out too far and have them spawn behind you, though. Yo, Speedy, what are my prize picks? I mean, this is the last series, so I didn't have any prize picks. My picks today did not hit. Well, actually, they weren't even my picks. I let chat do the picks today, and they did not hit. For tomorrow, though, I have no idea. I wish we knew map sets earlier. I don't even know, honestly, for tomorrow. I'll take the over on bread, probably. Over on bread, over on Celium seem to be locks right now. 69 likes? You guys are cooking. God damn. Good number. Great number. Gonna copy my picks tomorrow? Oh, Lord. That's where we'll see, man. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be live tomorrow before matches start, and we'll probably do picks again, so. If you want to see my picks, be here tomorrow. Before matches. I'll probably let chat make picks again, too, for the fun of it. Hell yeah, Speedy. Hell yeah. 
Toronto Ultra forward trying to close the series. All right, dude, let's see. The, this, I, I've been, I keep saying it, but this hill is going to be big here, man. This hill is going to be big. Gorillas got themselves back in this, but now they got to, they got to break. But it's Envoy that I think that might end up being, they got to play spoiler. Kleenex gets the they have one. to break. Okay. They're not breaking. Ooh. Yeah, they're not breaking. He's gonna fall in Again, <laughs> they're not breaking this hill. They can't win here, but I mean, they basically, like, they're gonna be within 10 points. It's basically over. But they're doing a damn good job of getting close to that finish line. Hard point still in the hands of Ultra. Slow hit now through the front from the Gorillas. Here comes Fame. Tagged. From up high. Yeah, dude, people have been hella inconsistent today. We had the Hydra over on Rio. That didn't hit. We had Sib attach over. Attach got absolutely cooked. Like, the picks today were honestly not that bad. Like, I actually pretty much agreed with all of our picks that you guys made today. They just didn't hit. Just did not hit. As we start this new time, Ultra just going to be eight seconds away. Kleenex just stuck that pole, I'm pretty sure. And really sealing the fate of the top four. Time to throw bodies towards that BTR. Get over towards that broken down tank. Scrap's going to be the man up top. Stun connects, but not enough to really get these players off of it. Ultra are far away. All right, dude. This is going to take a miracle. For LAG. A matter of this is going to take a miracle for LAG to win this. They need a perfect hold here, and then they need, like, a perfect holder. What, you know, the, don't let them get any points on p1 somehow and that's gonna be another four down there from ultra lag holding on i would love to see it though i'd love to see it and more importantly they don't have a trophy oh it's over that's gg that's gg lag it was a good run man it was a good run but uh toronto ultra are top four at major two they're not even happy they're not even excited because they should they should have dominated as LAG fought their hardest. All right. Yo, shout out LAG, man. Top six, considering you were one in six with seven map wins online is actually insane. Dude, LAG, I think, won more maps on land than they did online, and they played like half the series. Wait, that's actually crazy. Is that true? Maybe a couple different opportunities. Hold on. Wait a second. On the map, but Ultra again. Oh, wait, hold on a second. The teamwork showing off. A couple late flanks there from Scrap on the P2. LAG won seven maps on land. And online in the entire of Major 2, they won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. LAG won the same amount of maps on land as they did online in half the matches. That's insane. That's insane. Tomorrow's if today wasn't enough. Brian Ellicott fans will see you all again. We'll see what we get for an ultra interview. I couldn't imagine it's going to be much. There's not a single cheer in the crowd right now. This is the quietest crowd I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, Envoy has to get a good night's sleep, bro. Eat a good dinner tonight and come out frying tomorrow. Because if he plays like this versus New York, they're going to get cooked. We'll see you all tomorrow. Very exciting time that we had here in the CDL Major 2. Shout out to Miami Heretics. They took an early exit from the tournament, but they put on a real fun show indeed. Stats there on your screen, ladies and germs. Who's it going to be? Scrappy Scrappy interview? What are we thinking? Kleenex interview? Kleenex cooked that series. We could get a Kleenex interview. Yeah, no, people don't care about other teams. It's true. It is true. People do not couldn't care less about um, any other team other than Optic. And then FaZe, I guess, have some fans. That's it for us, Joss. We're going to say goodnight. We're going to say haggly ho to who's out on stage. Is Scrap. Scrap on stage? Win a spotlight. Let's see what he's got to say. Thank you so much, he's probably going to say we're shit. We should have won way quicker. To Toronto Ultra as they will make it to Championship Sunday. Scrap. We got like six Ultra fans. Let's go. Bracket. But how you feeling after, you know, you guys take that loss? Did you guys feel like you worked on what you wanted to after taking that loss and coming into the series as you guys move forward? Uh, yeah, honestly, I didn't think we played that bad. Um, you know, it was a couple of hills that we kind of choked, and if we held them, we'd probably win both hard points. Um, yeah. So honestly, they could have all the props they want. They won, you know what I mean? But that shit was closer than they think, and uh, we'll be back. Exactly. He's still talking shit. He's still talking starts. shit. You love it. You love it. You guys are looking to go back to back. I know it's been a long day, and you're ready to mm -hmm. get ready for it, but...
you know, um, what do you want these these Toronto Ultra fans to know that's in the chat, that stayed all night in the venue to watch you guys play as you get rested for tomorrow? Yeah, you know, shout out everyone here. I mean, yo, you guys are actually godlike for being here. Uh, appreciate everyone online. Uh, appreciate everyone tuned in. And uh, yeah, let's come win shit tomorrow. It was a grueling series, but yo, Scrap shouted us out, chat. He said, appreciate everyone online, yo. He's chatted us out directly. He was talking about us. Let's wrap this one up and get the championship Sunday. Yeah, dude, everyone went home, bro. Thank you, Scrap. Everybody went home. I don't necessarily blame them. Because honestly, like, you just think Ultra should win this, so it's like, let's just go home. But chat, I think that's going to do it. We can finish this last COD guesser real quick. I saw you say high rise. I don't know where you think this is high rise. Where did you see? Where do you see this? Let's do this last COD guesser and then I'm hopping off. What do we think? What do we think? Someone sauce me a pick, bro. Someone sauce me a pick for this thing. Yeah, he didn't trash talk LAG, which is nice. I mean, what is he going to say? I mean, we should have beat him. You got to respect it, man. LAG looked solid. It's the AP, the app map. Ambush from COD 4. I'll type it. I'll type it. Ambush from COD 4. It's not. Oh, what the hell? I didn't see that coming. Fossil? Is there like a fossil map? Or like a... Or like a... You think it's a Zier cave? This is definitely not a Zier cave. There's no, not a fossil like this on a Zier cave. I can confirm. What is this, dude? Uh, like... Fossil or like dig? Is it dig? Or like bones? I'm trying to think. It could be dig. Dig is a map. Or like... It, what is it? I'm trying to think of museum. There's no museum. It could be Dig, I guess. Dig was a Black Ops 2, uh, a Black Ops 2 DLC. I don't remember every DLC map perfectly. I'm not going to lie to you. Dig's not bad. I mean, you dig for fossils. That's my thought process here. It's not Dig. It's not Dig. Foster? Is there anything called Foster? There's not. I don't know. You remember this map? Oh, Slayer's, Slayer's, Slayer's pulling deep. Slayer's pulling it out from deep right now. The DLC map in MW3. Oh, God, dude. I don't remember. 2011 DLC maps? You got me cooked. I'm not going to lie. Quarry? Nah, Quarry's in the current game. Jack said MW3. We need the name of the map, Jack. You got it in there? You got it in your brain of yours? Dude, I can't remember. I'm bad with DLC maps. I'm not going to lie to you. Search up MW3 DLCs. I feel like that's cheating. I feel like that's cheating. You were seven when this came out? Oh, God. You don't got it? Oh, you're all good, Jack. None of us have it, bro. None of us have it in our heads right now. I can't see. Here's some other pictures, Jack, for you. If you want to see what the other ones were, if these help spark your memory. I, I can't remember. I can't remember what this is, man. Town something like I'm trying to think of different like things I can type in that'll show us maps. You know what I mean? Because we can start typing and see names of maps. But like, it's not really going to Oasis. This doesn't look like an Oasis, bro. Next clue. Well, we got to guess to get the next clue. So we need something to guess if we're going to if we want the next clue. Try something with forest. There's not even anything with forest. Rio is definitely not Rio. What's an MW3 DLC map? Can you think of any names? Gulch? Target neutralized. Oh, Slayer pulled it out, dude. Slayer pulled it out. Good shit, Slayer. Goddamn. Good shit. What a pull. U turn? I don't, dude, I don't remember U turn either, man. Goddamn. Show the other picks. These are the other ones. Uh, I would have remembered it from this pick, I think. I think this pick would have given it to me. These are the other ones. Dude, Codguesser is really cool. They update this every day, chat. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but the guy who made it follows me on TikTok and has thanked me for like playing it and stuff. If you guys want to play Codguesser, it's literally codguesser.net. Um, it's actually really cool. They do a new one every single day. They do a new one every day. We'll do one more. We'll do one more, chat. Why not? What the hell is that? 
Explore Lord Dobby. What is this? Dobby. Lord. Bra Bracamonte's Island. What is this, dude? Lord Dobby. Uh, dude, I've never seen this plaque. What is that map in a cage? Is it cage from COD Mobile? Dude, what is that? I've literally never seen this in my life. I swear. Sir Rosa's castle? Rush? Nah, this is definitely not Rush from PO2. Has a cage on top of it from MW2019? Frick, dude. I don't know. Cliff? Is there something with Cliff in it? Cliffside, maybe? This is 2019? Oh, Lord. English Castle? That's not a map. Stonehaven? I guess maybe it could be Stonehaven, but I don't remember this at all on Stonehaven. I'll guess Stonehaven since you guys guessed. You guys Target said it. Neutralized. Yo! Wait, I don't rem... Okay, well, this would have... I would have gotten it from this. I don't remember this sign on Stonehaven. I don't remember this sign at all on Stonehaven. I remember all this, though. Wow, I don't remember this sign at all on Stonehaven. Play Stonehaven on launch. What is the map with a cage on top of it? COD map with cage. Cage. I don't know. You got it from the rock texture in the back of the photo because no other cod rod rocks look like that. Holy shit, Austin, you pulled that. You pulled that shit from deep. What the hell? All right, now we're going to do one more. We're going to do one more. This is actually too fun. All right, what is that? This shit looks old as hell. This shit looks old as hell. I'm usually not the best at getting this from derail from MW2. Is this one of the stores that's all the way in the back? Oh, it's not derail. Wait, is this standoff? It's standoff. Yeah, because I think, is this the, um, this is the building on, like, the, the, this is the building that's, like, in the, I don't even know how to explain it from here, but this is standoff. Target neutralized. We all knew it was standoff from there. That's not bad. I feel like I haven't seen the original standoff in so long, because obviously we played it again in Cold War, that I remember what the Cold War one looks like, and not the original one exactly. Play this till 10? You want me to play this for the next 15 minutes and see what we can do? I'm down. I can play this for another 15 minutes. I'm down. Tropical Reptiles? Is this like Zoo? Or like... Uh... What is that? What is... Is there like an aquarium map? Is this aquarium? Or zoo, maybe? Something like that? I mean, it looks like something you'd see in an aquarium or a zoo. Anybody got any, anybody got any ideas locked in their head? Zoo? I can type in zoo. We can go with zoo. Which one? Cold War, Black Ops or Cold War? I feel like this looks too aquarium for... Yeah, I kind of feel like this is aquarium. If anything, I feel like this is more aquarium. Target neutralized. Locked. Locked it. Chat, we're cooking. We're cooking. We're on a roll right now. Unmarked mine shafts. Oh, Lord. Mine? It's not a, not a game. Shaft? Shaft is not a name either. Satellite? Satellite from Cold War? Really? Not satellite. Caution clowns? Oh, God. What's with all the clowns? They got a clown fetish in this? What the hell's going on? Circus? It's not a map, apparently. From Advanced Warfare? Dude, the clown Advanced Warfare, like, operator skin was fire. Um... Oh my god, dude. Uh, my brain is so fried right now after watching 10 hours of COD. My brain is so cooked after watching. Sideshow? You guys just type that at the same time, so I'm going to trust you. Target neutralized. It is Sideshow. Good pull. That's a good pull right there. Yeah, it's this map. Okay. Okay. What the hell is that? 
Is this, um, this is the COD 4 map, isn't it? Is this the COD 4 map where there was like the stairs that went up and you could walk along this wall? Is it, is it Block from COD 4? It's not Block from COD 4, apparently. It's in NW 2019. This looks too old to be 2019. Is this a remastered block? Is this like the Modern Warfare remastered version, you think? Are we crazy? It's not that either. Oh, chat, we're faded. We're faded, chat. We're faded, we're bad. We're ass. We're ass and we're faded and we're bad. No, not block. What is the name of that map, dude? Pipeline. Pipeline. Is this the 2007 or the remastered version, though? Okay. It's the remastered version. Target yeah, neutralized. okay, dude. It was pipeline. I knew when you said block, I was like, that doesn't sound right. But I didn't overthink it. I just went with it. Yeah, it was pipeline. God damn it, dude. I should have known that earlier. I'm telling you, if we played this tomorrow morning, I'd be doing much better. My brain is fried. What the hell is that, dude? Is this, an, is this the Advanced Warfare map with the frickin' it's like orange and shit? Oh, God, dude. High Rise? Shipment? Skyride? Is Skyride a map? Skyrise? Is that what you mean? Not Skyrise. Oh lord, cargo? From BO2? Nah, that's not cargo from BO2. There's no way that's cargo from BO2. I feel like I remember a pre most BO2, BO1 maps pretty well. Pretty H it is pretty HD too. Is it IW? If it's I it might be IW because I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't recognize it at all, and I didn't play IW. It's the only one I didn't play. Chat, who's got IW maps locked in their head? Anyone got IW maps just, like, ingrained in their brain right now? They could pull it out for me? Well, you know, you can pull it out, whip it out, you know what I'm saying? Uh... Someone's got to have something. Someone's got to have something up there in their brain. Yeah, I literally didn't play one game of IW either, so it's not going to... Something Depot? Depot 22? Target neutralized. Dang, Slayer is pulling, bro. Slayer is pulling. Good shit, Slayer. Yeah, I was never going to get this. I literally haven't played IW. Good shit, Slayer. That's a good pull. Okay, this is an old map. Another teddy bear. Where are the MW2022 maps at? I don't know. We haven't gotten one yet. I mean, we're only 23, 23 in. This is an old map, dude. You, you can tell how old this shit is. Dude, I, I'm telling you, my brain is so cooked right now. OG Quarry? Mm, I don't know. Is it OG Quarry? I mean, I'll type it in. Whatever. Frick it, dude. Who cares? It's not Quarry. Oh, dude. Is this the World at War map? Is this the map from World at War? Or is this Wasteland? Target it is the original Wasteland. Wow. Dude, I remember too. Because remember we were playing Hide and Seek? And I was like, oh shit, there's a dead cow here as we were when we were playing? That's what that is. Let's see. We'll we'll get some new games, some new maps soon. All right, we got bikes. We got a bike store. We got a bike store. Oh, Slayer knows it, dude. Slayer's like a speedway. That's not even a name. This is an MW twenty twenty two map for real. If this is Austin, dumb yell, you guys better lock in, bro. You guys are the ones saying you need some new maps. It doesn't look, tw it doesn't, I mean, it, the, the thing is, the thing is with the pictures is it could be zoomed in. You know what I mean? Like it might not be like from player perspective. It could be a picture and then zoomed in and that's why it looks blurry. 
Speedway? Speedway 4? There's apparently no, nothing called Speedway, Lex. Sorry to break it to you. But there's apparently no maps called Speedway. Looks like an IW map again, bro. This is not going to help me. Well, definitely in Europe, because we got a Swiss flag and a... I, dude, I can't, I can't think right now. We got a bunch of flags right there. Croatian flag or something. I don't know. I can't think. Someone's got to have something, bro. Someone's got to have some good, decent guess in their brain. Just someone give me a guess, and I'll put it in. Whatever you think. First thing. What the hell did you just type? Brother, what is this map? This was in the game last year? I've literally never heard of this. Oh my god. Was this a DLC map that came in later in the game? Because I genuinely have never heard this name. It's not, but... I've genuinely never heard that that map you just typed that you just told me to type in. That just shows you how much MW 2022 I ended up playing, bro. Remember this vividly? Miami? Nah, I don't think this is Miami. Vondell? Vondell Waterfront? Brother, what are these maps? Oh, this is the IW map. This is... Chat, what is the name of this IW map? I remember watching clips of it. I, I remember watching this. What is the name of this map, bro? I'm telling you, I, I literally didn't play any IW, so the map's never stuck in my brain. What is the name of this map? There's so many IW comp clips from this map. We literally see the CDL TV clip where, like... Remember the CDL TV clip where Nameless uses the operator thing? And he turns into, like, a dog and he's jumping around? He literally jumps through the, the broken window over here in that clip. That they show on CDL TV, like, four times a stream. What is the name of this map, bro? I wish I could just, like, type in Infinite Warfare and it would show me maps. Oh, chat. What is the name of this map, bro? Breakout? It's not Breakout. Are you trolling me right now, bro? Are you trolling? Chat, we're, tr we're trolling. We're trolling. Retaliation? Target it is Retaliation. Okay. It is. All right, all right, all right. We're on 25 now. We got Blueprints. What is that? What are these blueprints of? A building? Das House? Is this Das House? It literally says Das Weiss, Das Weiss House right there. Is this Das House? Hey, am I using context clues? Paleo's Lighthouse? Is this Paleo's Lighthouse? I'll trust you. I'll trust you over me. You think so? Which one, Fuel? You think it's Paleo's or you think it's Das House? It's Das House from Vanguard. All right, let's go for it. Target neutralized. Yeah, bang, chat. Context clues, baby. Uh, it might be harder for you guys to read what's actually on here because it's on my monitor. Obviously, you're looking at the stream version. So, good shit, good shit. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? That's This has got to be like COD, COD 2. What the hell? Or this might be... This might be... Uh... Dude, this could be block. Wait, th this could be block. From COD 4. Because there was a building where there was a staircase over here and you could go across. There was there was apartments. Crossfire COD 4 or block. Uh, dude, this could be block. It's not. It's not block. I've faded. Crossfire? Do you want me to try crossfire too? Do you want me to try crossfire? I'll throw it in there. I'll do crossfire. We'll see. Okay. We're we're we're, we're patrolling. Oh, this is overgrown. Right? This is overgrown because this is where the water is. And you could go up these stairs into this building. I don't remember that. I don't remember this. This is definitely overgrown, but I don't remember that. Target neutralized. The shitty table makes sense now. Dude, I literally don't remember. I don't remember this at all. This isn't ringing any bells. I think this might be the building that's, like, broken. It's, like, this whole right side is completely broken. It's, like, it got bombed or some shit. And then there's a doorway that goes in where you can kind of walk in to the building. I don't know. 
Chat, what the hell is that, bro? What the hell is that, bro? It looks like we're in a shipping container and there's a rug. Dude, for a second, I thought I needed glasses. I'm not going to lie to you. I, this picture came up on screen and I was like, brother, am I losing my vision? Am I going blind right now? <laughs> this has got to be the blurriest picture. That, is this shipment from COD 4? It's not. It's not shipment from COD 4. Okay, wait, but this doesn't look as bad. I feel like that's just a really zoomed in picture. Because this doesn't look as bad, I feel like. Shipmas? Oh, there is snow. I guess it could be sh shit miss from Vanguard. No, not shit miss. Or is it ship? Is there a shit miss from World War II or shipment 19 1944? Stay frosty. I mean, whoa, dude. From MW 2022. It's not even an option. You can, I mean, you can see there's only one shit miss option and I clicked on it, right? I did click on it. Yeah, shit miss. Did I just do shit mint 1944 from World War II? What the hell? What the hell? Wet work? Nah, this is, there's no way this is wet work. Is it actually? There's no shot this is wet work. I don't remember there being Christmas lights on wet work ever. It's holiday shipment? Is that... It's holiday shipment. Why is... Why is it not called shipmas? <laughs> Why is it not called shipmas? Target neutralized. That's crazy, bro. It's called holiday shipment. All right, chat. This is going to be the last one for real because it's nine o'clock or 10 o'clock, wherever you're located. So this is last one for Rizzle. Uccello. Uccello, chat. Uccello. What do we got? Last one. Let's get this on one, bro. Come on. Moscow Plaza. You guys are just shooting names out. Moscow Plaza. What do we think, bro? I need someone to come to a consensus. We got two for Moscow. We got Slayer said Plaza twice. Hotel Cold War. This could be this could be Plaza, right? I can see Plaza. I can see Plaza on this one. I'm not gonna lie to you. I kind of see what I kind of see what I see Slayer's vision. I feel like with Plaza, because this is the one building on the side where you can come through. There's a staircase like up over here that goes to mid. Um, there's like the glass that's shattered on the floor. I think maybe it's on the other side because there's other window entrance over there, like big window entrance. It's not like just like an actual window. It's like a big ass glass wall that looks like it's shattered. Yeah, I'm thinking Plaza. Oh, we sold. We sold. Oh, we're selling. We're selling. We're selling, chat. We're selling. Well, there goes our dream for one. Dude, I don't know. Casino? Casino from BO4? I'm going to try Casino. Target Bang! Bang! What a pull. What a pull. Okay, chat. I'm actually going to end. We're just going to do... We're going to go to 30. So we'll do 29 and we'll do 30. We'll do two more. This is actually a lot of fun. But we'll end on a round number. We'll end on 30. So we can remember what we ended off on for tomorrow. I don't even know, brother. What is that Hitler? Don't, am I going to get demonetized if I say that? Wait, maybe I shouldn't have said that word. I'm not good at World at War maps, man. It was so long ago, and I barely played World at War because I just went back to... I just went back to COD 4. Gustav Cannon? Not Gustav. Hotel. Lock it in. No, I mean, it's... I don't know. What do we think? Stun... Stun... 
Dunblitch. Dunblitch a word? There's a throwback. Hotel from Black Ops 1? You think so? Not Hotel from Black Ops 1. Nightfire? Bang. Target Bang! Oh, the hiccups are back again, bro. All right, chat. This is actually the last one. Uh, this is this is a lot of fun, but I'm not going to lie to you. My brain is cooked. <laughs> my brain is so cooked. All right. We got another picture. We got another picture. Havana? BO4 or BO1? This has got to be BO1, right? It do be looking blurry, though. Hanoi? I feel like it doesn't look dark enough to be Hanoi. <laughs> Villa BO1? Target neutralized. Bang! Bang! Good, good pull. Good pull. Oh, uh, yeah. I would have gotten it on this one, I think. Wow, dude. I haven't, I haven't looked at this map. We probably should have gotten it this off this one. Cuban rum, and there's literally Cuban flags on the front. Nah, dude, that's it. We're ending it. We're ending it on number thirty, so we know what we are at yet for for tomorrow. Look, we'll, we'll end it on number thirty, so tomorrow it's easy pickings. Oh man, yo, chat! Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I mean, everyone who's in here in chat right now is probably in here all day. So I hope you all have a good rest of your night. Um, I'll be live tomorrow. I don't know what time I'll be live. What time do matches start tomorrow? What time do matches start tomorrow? And I can tell you what time will be live. Matches start at 12.30 again tomorrow. So I'll probably honestly be live like 10.30, 11, like, an, like two hours, an hour and a half before matches tomorrow. So yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out today. I hope you all have a good rest of your night. I'll see you tomorrow morning for, for more shenanigans until, until COD matches. But I appreciate you guys a ton, man. This is an absolutely insane stream, though. So. Thank you guys. Random just got back. Random, we're, we're closing it out, brother. We're closing out. I've been, I've been live for 10 hours and 15 minutes. I'll be live tomorrow about two, two hours, one and a half hours before matches start. 70 likes on the stream. Dude, this, this was the most insane stream ever. 70 likes, 45 peak viewers. I appreciate it a ton, guys. Gifted subs from Danny. Absolute insanity, man. Absolute insanity. Thank you guys so much for the support today. Like I, like I said, I'll be live tomorrow about two hours before matches start. So I hope to see you all there and 